Before the college entrance examination, a fire broke out at school. I suffered extensive burns all over my body while trying to save my non-blood-related younger brother. Later, my parents promised in a written document that they would take care of me for the rest of my life. However, two years after my skin graft surgery, when everything seemed to be back on track, my parents set me on fire while I was sleeping. They said that if I had saved my younger brother earlier, he wouldn't have lost his legs, so they used my life as an initiation. Opening my eyes again, I found myself back to the day I was just found. In my previous life, I was the lost young master of the Jiang family in Haizhou, who was brought back by them on a rainy night. However, instead of immediately clarifying my identity as a member of the prestigious Jiang family, they made me temporarily stay as the nanny's son. At first, I didn't care about my status and identity. After being an orphan for 16 years, I cherished the precious family affection that came to me in Chengdu. But since this year, no matter how hard I try to please them, I have never received any response. Even Jiang Feng and Lu Qian, who are my biological parents, treat me as if I don't exist. On my birthday, they even left me alone at home because of a minor issue with the height of the fake young master, Jiang Huayan, completely forgetting that it was my first birthday back home. But actually, I don't care about these things. After all these years, birthdays have become irrelevant to me. Until one day, the Jiang family villa caught fire. My three sisters and parents were too busy saving Jiang Huayan, who was still asleep. They completely forgot about me, who they had locked in the nanny's room as a punishment. I will never forget the pain and agony of every inch of my skin being burned. Maybe even heaven couldn't bear to see it. So it gave me a chance to start over. But this time I'm really tired. I don't want this long-awaited family affection anymore. So you're throwing a tantrum. Ha! Huh? Open the door quickly. I should have known that you're an ill-mannered child. I shouldn't have brought you back to the Jiang family. Before Jiang Zi, the second sister could finish her sentence, I opened the old, dilapidated door. Zhang Zi was about to speak, but she saw me raise the wooden puppet with one arm broken and smash it heavily on the ground. In my previous life, I was so busy that I even had a big fight with Zhang Huayan. It was because this puppet was given to me by Zhang Zi when I first entered the Zhang family. I always treasured this puppet and even placed it on the head of my own small bed. Zhang Huayan knew all this, but he still wanted to snatch it from me. And when he accidentally broke the puppet's armpit hair, the smile at the corner of Zhang Huayan's eyes seemed to warn me not to expect something I couldn't have. But now I don't care. I don't want to experience that feeling of being burned by flames again. At this moment, the people downstairs also heard the commotion and saw the scene upstairs. When Zhang's father saw the cracked wooden puppet on the floor, his brow couldn't help but furrow slightly. And Zhang Huayan, as the young master Jia, instantly turned red-eyed. I'm sorry, brother. It's my fault. You can hit me, scold me, but don't get angry at my sister. She went upstairs to call you for dinner because she cares about you. After hearing these tear-related remarks, if it were said earlier, I would have definitely been infuriated. But now I find it so funny. All right, you, a man who easily cries, don't you feel embarrassed? Even Jiang Huayan was a bit confused when he unintentionally said this to me, and even asked me to come downstairs for a meal. Have any of you ever waited for me even once? Whenever it's time to eat, nobody ever informs me, regardless of whether I'm late or early. I will always be scolded by my father, Jiang Feng. If I'm late, it's because I don't know table manners, and if I'm early, it's because I'm greedy. It's truly a case of double standards taken to the extreme. I see that you're becoming more and more disrespectful, and your younger brother is also looking out for your own good. At this moment, Mother Lu Qian stepped forward, looking at her own son Jiang Huayan with some heartache. It's clear that I am his biological mother. But his attitude towards me and Jiang Huayan is completely different. As for this blatant favoritism, I have seen it countless times and can only helplessly wave my hand, accepting whatever is said. After saying that, I directly closed the door. Next, Jiang Feng couldn't bear it anymore. His voice filled with anger. You want to rebel, right? Then don't eat today. After saying that, he took a few people downstairs, leaving only Jiang Zi, his second sister. Standing still, Zhang Huayan wanted to take Zi downstairs with him, but he was taken away by Mother Lu Qian. Zhang Zi stared blankly at the broken puppet on the ground. It suddenly occurred to her that this was something I had personally given her before, but I had considered it the most important thing. Why did I smash it to pieces today? She felt like I had changed, but couldn't pinpoint what was different. I didn't care about what happened outside the door and went straight to bed. The next morning, after a quick wash, I left. No one would care about my presence anyway, so it was better to leave early and not disturb this family. 
I believe they would be happier without me. But unintentionally, I ran into Zhang Huang, who was drinking coffee in the corridor. Zhang Huang was dressed professionally, accentuating her well-proportioned figure, a true businesswoman, and she was indeed successful. She started working at the Jiang family company right after graduating from university, and under her leadership, the company flourished. She secured several international contracts, making the Jiang family company a rising star in the Beijing and Hai markets. This also made Jiang Huang a highly sought-after figure in the entire Beijing and Hai region. I didn't want to bother with this older sister, but as soon as I opened the door, a cold female voice came from behind, asking, Where are you going? The cold tone carried a hint of authority. More like an interrogation than a question. School, I said, and without giving Jiang Huang a chance to react, I walked out of the Jiang family villa. Jiang Huang frowned, not understanding what was wrong with her younger brother. He used to come up to her and greet her sweetly whenever he saw her, but today he completely ignored her. Basically, as a member of the Jiang family, there is usually a dedicated driver responsible for transportation, but I don't have one. I have always walked or taken public transportation to school. I have never asked for these things before because I don't want this family to think that I am someone who was after money. But in the end, their perception of me hasn't changed. As I walk on the road, I feel the long lost breeze, which makes me realize that I am truly alive. It turns out that if you don't care, you won't get hurt. The affection that I desperately long for is perhaps just a joke in their eyes. From now on, I will no longer yearn for these things. When I arrive at school, I sit in my own seat and open my own textbook. This year, I will face the college entrance examination. In my previous life, I put all my thoughts on those so-called family members, wasting my great talent, which also led to mediocre grades. This time, I will study hard and make up for what I missed before I return. At this moment, Jiang Feng silently searches for the dining table, like a volcano about to erupt. Where is Jiang Haoyu? Hasn't he woken up yet? It's already this late. Do we have to wait for him alone? Jiang Huayan also softly says on the side. Zhang Haoyu might still be angry with Zhang Zi. Let me go and apologize to Zhang Haoyu. As Zhang Huayan is about to get up, he is stopped by Zhang Zi. What right does he have to be angry? Isn't he just a broken puppet? I can just buy him another one if it's a big deal. When Zhang Zi was about to speak, the eldest sister, Zhang Huan, who had been silent, spoke up. He has already left. As soon as these words were spoken, the dining table immediately fell silent. After a while, John's father spoke. Where did he go so early? Butler, come here. Next, Lu, the butler standing aside, quickly appeared in front of Zhang Feng. What's wrong? Sir, who is responsible for picking up and dropping off Zhang Haoyu? Sir, Zhang Haoyu has always been going by himself. Zhang Feng slammed the table suddenly. Who allowed him to go by himself? Does he think our Zhang family is not even worthy of a driver? Sir, you said that the young master just returned and should not attract too much attention. I apologize for not arranging it for him. Lu, the butler, said softly, as soon as these words came out, Jiang Feng fell silent. He habitually thought that I had just returned from outside and must still be carrying something bad. He didn't want to make a scene in front of others. According to what I did to make the Jiang family lose face, they temporarily didn't arrange for someone to pick me up. Suddenly, a year passed so quickly. Zhang Feng rubbed his tense brow and said, Send someone to pick up Jiang Haoyu. He walks around like a child every day. Clearly, it was his own fault, but he still wanted to push the blame on me. Master, Lu the housekeeper will take care of it and find a suitable person, said Lu Qian, Zhang's mother, looking at Jiang Feng with a face full of blame, as if blaming him for not discovering it earlier. He didn't realize that for this past year, I had been walking to school alone, but it didn't mean that Lu Qian was good to me. It was just that as a mother, she felt ashamed of her negligence. Yes, after school that evening, a luxury car stopped in front of me. Young master, please get in the car, said a young man in a suit, quickly getting out of the car to open the door for me. And sitting in the back seat was Zhang Zi. I was a little stunned, standing still, seeing that I was not moved. Zhang Zi frowned slightly and directly pulled me into the car. Xiao Zhang, the driver, coughed awkwardly a few times and started the car after reminding us to be safe in the back seat. What, do you still want me to apologize to you? Zhang Zi looked at me displeased, but I completely ignored her. If this had happened before, I would have been very excited for Zhang Zi to come and pick me up. But now, I no longer cared. Seeing that I was not moved, Zhang Zi became extremely angry. She grabbed my wrist and only then did she realize how thin and fragile I was. 
Now she could see clearly that I was extremely thin. I was already an orphan before, and as an orphan, it was common to go hungry. Surviving was already extremely difficult. When I came to the Jiang family, I often missed mealtimes because everyone ignored me. Sometimes, I would manage to catch a meal, but halfway through, I would be scolded and criticized for various reasons, which naturally made me lose my appetite. As an esteemed family, the Jungs had strict rules, and once mealtime was over, eating was not allowed. As for snacks and treats, I never touched them again after being reprimanded once. If it weren't for the nanny who lived in the adjacent room secretly leaving me some food, I would be even thinner than I am now. Have you always been thin? I just came back from smoking and said lightly, I want to thank the Jiang family for giving me a place to stay. What do you mean by this? What is your relationship with the Jiang family? The remorseful attitude of the Jiang family just now was instantly replaced by anger. Aren't you a member of the Jiang family anymore? If it weren't for you intentionally pushing Jiang Huayan down and colluding with those dubious people outside, would everyone dislike you so much? I no longer pay attention to Jiang Zi and turn my head to look out the window. After returning to the Jiang family villa, looking at the food on the table, I felt extremely hungry. It has been a day and a night since I last ate. Do you still remember coming back? Jiang Feng suddenly slammed the table and stared at me fiercely. In the past, I would have lowered my head, trembling with fear under Jiang Feng's scolding, and then slinked back to my own maid's room to reflect. However, there was one time when I sat down directly, took out an agreement, and threw it in front of Jiang Feng. When Jiang Feng saw the contents clearly, he stood up and kicked me to the ground. Are you rebelling? Looking at the imposing Jiang Feng in front of me, I lay on the ground for a long time before recovering, with even blood staining the corners of my mouth. At this moment, Jiang's mother, Lu Qian, and Jiang's second sister were also shocked by this sudden scene, while only Jiang Huayan sat in his chair, secretly delighted in his heart. When Lu Qian reacted, she hurriedly went up to hug me. Jiang Feng, is it you? By this time, I had already passed out. In my last moment of consciousness, I even felt the sensation of my life ending. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to die like this. Jiang Feng also realized that he had gone too far. His expression no longer as dignified as before. His eyes were filled with uncontrollable panic, urging someone to call an ambulance. The older sister who had been watching the whole time quickly took out her phone and dialed 120. When the ambulance arrived, more than 10 people hurriedly lifted me onto it. Lu Qianpu Waterfall sat by my side the whole time, praying that nothing bad would happen to me. Jiang Feng wanted to get on the ambulance, but was stopped by the doctor. Several people had no choice but to drive to the hospital themselves. Jiang Feng also wanted to go along, but was directly refused by Jiang Feng, just stay at home. After saying that, he left without looking back, leaving only Jiang Huayan behind. Looking at everyone's frantic actions for my sake, Jiang Huayan's eyes were filled with a resentful expression. In the hospital at this moment, I was brought into the emergency room with an oxygen mask on. Several people at the entrance were stopped by the doctor outside. Lu Qianpu was so anxious that she kept patting Jiang Feng's body, saying, You used such a heavy hand on the child? It was just a momentary lapse, mainly because of this. Speaking, Jiang Feng handed the agreement I gave him to everyone, and it was written on it in bold letters, Agreement to Sever Parent-Child Relationship. In an instant, everyone widened their eyes, looking at the agreement in disbelief. It wasn't until the doors of the operating room opened that everyone snapped back to reality. Who among you is the patient? Asked the doctor, holding a list in his hand, dressed in a white coat. I am his mother, Xiao Yu. Suffering from insomnia, Lu Qian stepped forward and held onto the doctor. The doctor looked at the people in front of him with some confusion. They were all dressed nicely, probably looking like wealthy individuals. So why were the patients inside so emaciated? They are fine now. Just long-term malnutrition causing their lack of vitality. They should rest and supplement their nutrition when they go home. The doctor explained. Hearing the doctor say that there was nothing wrong with me, Lu Qian breathed a sigh of relief. Doctor, can we go in now? She asked. Yes, but don't disturb the patient. The doctor replied. Lu Qian quickly pushed open the door to the ward and came to my bedside. While Zhang Feng wanted to go in but was stopped by Zhang Huang. Dad, you wait outside for now. He said. Jiang Feng didn't say anything, feeling guilty himself. He just wanted to teach me a lesson, but he didn't expect my body to be so weak, and I was perfectly fine, yet they wanted to sever our parent-child relationship. If it weren't for the Jiang family, I would still be an orphan. At this moment, Jiang Feng still hadn't realized his mistake. If it weren't for them accidentally pouring me outside all those years ago, 
How could I have suffered so much hardship outside? I haven't even experienced the warmth that a normal family should have. Lu Qian looked at me, pale and thin, lying on the hospital bed. Tears welled up in her eyes, and she reached out to touch my cheek. However, I dodged her hand, leaving Lu Qian awkwardly suspended in midair. In the end, she could only reluctantly withdraw her hand. Stow you, it's mom's fault. Can you come home with mom? Upon hearing this, I sat up with the support of Lu Qian, fearing that I would be hurt again. It's okay for me to go back, as long as Zhang Huayan leaves. He has dominated my life for 17 years. Isn't it too much? Before, I didn't care whether there was one more person or one less person around me. I didn't have any family or blood ties. I was even willing to seriously consider my identity as the fake young master Zhang Huayan had occupied for over a decade. But later, I realized that Zhang Huayan never intended to seriously consider me. What he wanted was to drive me away and completely take over my identity. Don't be too naive. Zhang Zi was the first to speak up, looking at me with anger in her eyes. Yes, Stao Yu. Xian is already pitiful enough without any family. How is he supposed to live if you make him leave now? Lu Xi's hand also trembled as he unintentionally made such a request to me. How is he supposed to live? He's been living just fine. Can't he take care of himself? Then how have I managed to survive for over 10 years as an orphan? I, who have always struggled to survive. How can Jiang Huayan, a lively grown man, not be able to survive? It's just an excuse. Don't push your luck. At this moment, the eldest sister, Jiang Huan, who had been silent all along, spoke up. She admitted that she had been somewhat negligent towards me as her younger brother. But compared to me, what she cared about more was Jiang Huayan, with whom she had lived together for over a decade. If there were other conditions, she might have agreed, but not this one. I looked at the three people in front of me, yawned, and I had already anticipated this outcome. Since you all say so, what else can I do? Hearing that I admitted defeat, Lu Qian felt slightly relieved in her heart. Deep down, she still didn't want Jiang Huayan, whom she had raised for over a decade, to leave the Jiang family. After all, the love and care over these years were not fake, but she had never realized that making two children with swapped identities think together was already a wrong decision. Favoring one and neglecting the other was destined to lead to tragedy. Well then, let's go home. Lu Qian hadn't finished speaking when I interrupted her, saying, then let's sever our relationship. What did you say? Although she had seen the paternity severance agreement right outside the door, she hadn't expected that Zhang he would say it outright. Are you threatening us? Zhang Huang was even more frowning. She only felt that this brother had changed, the former Jiang he would never say such words. But the Jiang he of old wouldn't have thought that they would leave themselves alone in the fire and burn alive. I say, since you guys aren't willing to send Zhang Li away, let's break off the relationship. Zhang he said word for word, afraid that they wouldn't hear it with their bad ears. At this time, Zhang Qin, who had been outside the door, couldn't hold back any longer and pushed the door of the room open. Fine, fine, from now on, you're not a member of the Zhang family. After saying that, Zhang Qin then directly signed his name on the agreement, then violently threw it in front of Zhang He. He believed that Zhang He was definitely just doing it for show, and didn't dare to really sever ties with him. After all, being able to become a member of Zhang's family was something that many people dreamed of. Before long, Zhang He would cry and apologize to him. Absolutely. In fact, even Lu Ru as well as Zhang Huan, Zhang Zi felt the same way. They likewise thought that Zhang He was merely speaking in anger. Cool, then I have to thank Mr. Jiang. Zhang He also didn't hesitate for a second, directly picking up the pen used by the doctor on the side and quickly signing his name on it. This scene made several people freeze in place. How could they not expect that Zhang He would actually sign his name? Even the eldest sister, Zhang Huang, who was a strong businesswoman, looked at the agreement in Zhang He's hand with 10,000 disbelief. Could it be that Zhang He really? She didn't realize until now that Zhang He really didn't care anymore. You you you, rebellious son. Zhang Qin angrily stared at Zhang He in front of him. How could he not expect that Zhang He, the rebellious son, actually dared to sign? Very well, let's go. He would like to see, without the support of Zhang family, how should he Zhang He live? After saying that, Zhang Qin turned around and left. And Lu Ru also rushed forward, trying to pull Zhang Qin back. Although she also did not expect Zhang He actually really want to cut off relations with them, but after all, Zhang He is her biological son, is a piece of meat that fell off her body. Zhang Zi was even more frozen until Zhang Huan beside her pulled her sleeve, then she reacted. Zhang He, don't cry and beg us when the time comes. It was only then that Zhang Huang reacted that it wasn't that Zhang He didn't care about them, this was just a way for Zhang He to attract their attention. It was believed that in a short while, he would run his ass back to plead with them just like before. Wait. 
Jiang He shouted at the few people who were about to leave, and Jiang Huang even snorted coldly. Sure enough, she knew that Jiang He was just bluffing, and as soon as she saw them about to leave, she immediately sat down. This time, she wouldn't forgive him so easily. Just by the fact that he wanted to drive Jiang Li away, one could see how vicious he was. Lu Ru was also slightly relieved, okay okay, as long as Jiang He was willing to admit his mistake, she wouldn't pursue anything. No matter what, they were still family. Until now, Lu Ru still thought that all of this was Jiang He's doing something. This so-called mother of hers was really ridiculous. I didn't spend a single penny of the money you guys gave me, a total of $20,000, as is, in the card you gave me. Also, in this year, I haven't eaten a few meals at home, but I still count every day, counting $50 a day, a year is $18,000, not too much. Tuition you have paid once, before that, the tuition is all dependent on scholarships and poverty subsidies, counting $4,000 for you is not too much, right? Before Jiang He, never is the existence of the top, scholarships and poverty subsidies, school leaders and teachers are also very care of him, naturally falls on his head. Originally Jiang He returned to the Jiang family this matter and no one knows, he can continue to take the poverty subsidy, but Jiang He refused, these still should be left to more needy people. To be a human being is to have a backbone that belongs to oneself. Instead of being a parasite like Jiang Li, who was obviously sucking the original owner's blood, but still had to drive the original owner away. A total of 22,000, I'll make it a hole for you, 30,000. Saying that, Jiang Yi quickly tore a white paper from the medical record sheet just now, and brushed down the IOU. Don't worry, you hold the IOU, when I go to college and can work part-time, I'll pay you back. At this time, Jiang Qin, his face has been completely ironic, he never dreamed that Jiang Yi actually really want to draw a line with them. Even Lu Ru is also pale, she did not expect, this year, they give Jiang Yi spend money, counting tuition, actually not even 30,000. To know, Jiang Li's pocket money in a week is more than 30,000. Looking at a few people left, without the intention of picking up the IOU, Jiang He also had to put it away. Looking at the miserable white ceiling of the hospital room, but Jiang He felt unprecedented comfort. Perhaps, he really, really cherished this affection before. But now, it won't be. When Jiang Qin and the others returned to the villa, Jiang Qin was so angry that he directly smashed a valuable vase on the dining table. How dare this kid? Could it be that our Jiang family has done him any wrong? While Jiang Li who hit upstairs and eavesdropped was secretly happy inside, it seems that Jiang He made them angry again. This was Jiang He's own death, no one could blame him. Butler Lu, take me to that kid's room and pack up all his stuff. He just didn't believe that this kid could survive leaving the Jiang family. But he seemed to have forgotten that Jiang He was an orphan since he was a child. Without relying on the Jiang family for so many years, he survived as usual. Although Butler Lu was a bit intolerant, he could only sigh inwardly, then he was ready to do as he was told. Forget it, I'll go with you, this kid has been dirty before, stealing his big sister's necklace, who knows what else he's hiding. Jiang Qin said, then followed behind Butler Lu, Lu Ru also did not know what to say, so they could only follow them together. When the several people came to the nanny room in front of them, Jiang Qin's several eyebrows were also slightly wrinkled. Jiang Yi's temporary stay in the nanny room was arranged by him. Originally, he thought that he would change a room for him when he had time, but it had just been delayed. The nanny who lived next door to Jiang He's room, after hearing the commotion, thought it was Jiang He coming back, so she pushed open the door of the room, ready to give the small bread in her hand to Jiang He. Jiang He this child, has always been very understanding and obedient, to them these nannies are also very respectful, these she a nanny in the eyes. She also knew that Jiang He had not been treated well by her family, and would often fail to catch up with meals or be reprimanded for not being able to eat, so she would often take out some of the snacks for her grandchildren and give them to Jiang He. Jiang He would bow to her and thank her every time, and she sometimes wondered if such an obedient child would be good for her grandson. But for some reason, the old master and wife just didn't seem to like this child, and she was a little confused. The moment she pushed open the door, she realized that the visitors were actually Jiang Qin and Lu Ru several people, and thought that it was because they finally noticed the existence of the little young master, and for a moment, she was a bit elated. What are you holding in your hand? Jiang Qin was indeed nonchalant, his voice filled with questioning and the nanny shuddered slightly, taking out the small bread in her hand. The little young master often doesn't have enough to eat, so I. Don't you know that the Jiang family doesn't allow these junk foods? Or do you think that he doesn't get enough to eat because the Jiang family is abusing him? Jiang Qin's eyes were cold as he looked at the nanny in front of him, he didn't allow his authority to be challenged. No, it's not. It's just that young master he. The nanny still wanted to explain, but was directly interrupted by Jiang Qin. Alright, next time, you won't have to do it. After saying that, he led several people to Jiang He's room. The nanny also had no choice but to resentfully take back the small bread in her hand, and at the same time, she also realized that Jiang He didn't seem to be back yet, could it be that the school was dragging the class? 
When Jiang Qin and the others saw Jiang Yi's room, they were directly dumbfounded. A simple bed, a desk placed on some small objects, and a small closet, which placed a few pathetic pieces of clothing. The rest will be no other. Lu Ru was also shocked speechless, just cover their mouths, tears are non-stop slide down. However, as a mother, nearly a year, have not come to their own son's room a trip, is not a big joke? Until now, can she still think that she is treating Jiang Yi and Zhang Li in the same way? People who are biased never feel biased because their hearts are just biased. Zhang Huang stared blankly at the small objects on the desktop. If she remembered correctly, these were all the small objects that the sisters had given to Jiang Yi at that time. There was a potted plant from her, a photo frame from her third sister, and a Rubik's cube from her fifth sister. The potted plants were growing lushly, it was obvious that Jiang Yi was really taking care of them seriously. Suddenly, as if Jiang Huang thought of something, he turned his eyes to Jiang Zi who was frothing at the side. Second sister, the puppet of Jiang Yi before. That's right, that's the one I gave him. Jiang Zi remembered the way she had reprimanded him at that time and suddenly felt a pang of discomfort. So, were these so important in his eyes? Then why did he break them again? Master, do you still need to clean up? Butler Lu opened his mouth at the right time and asked, while inwardly feeling sorry for Jiang Yi, it took so long to get the attention of his family. At this moment, Jiang Qin was also shocked to the point of freezing in place. He originally just thought that he would caution Jiang Yi that even if he was a member of Jiang's family, he couldn't be big spending and paper drunk. But he didn't expect that in this year, Jiang Yi would live so. Pack what? Jiang Qin I tell you, if you don't get Xiao Yi back, I'm not finished with you. Lu Ru couldn't hold back any longer and directly spoke out to stop Jiang Qin. She was going to find Jiang Yi right now. But what's the use of all this? Late feelings are cheaper than grass. What's more, that agreement has already been signed. But when Lu Ru rushed to the hospital again, she found that Jiang Yi had long disappeared. And they also looked for a few days in a row, before they found Jiang Yi in the school. At this time, Jiang Yi was sitting on a chair in the classroom, desperately brushing up on problems. He had made a lot of progress in the past few days, his foundation was very good before, he was just delayed by that family. Now Jiang Yi returned to the orphanage that belonged to him, the director of the orphanage was an old woman who was nearly 70 years old, and when she saw Jiang Yi come back, she didn't say anything, she only said that the room in the orphanage had always been reserved for Jiang Yi. Jiang Yi realized at this time that there was someone else, in a silent corner, who loved him. Just as well, now that he had grown up, he could also contribute to the orphanage. To be honest, now that the country's life was getting better and better, there were fewer and fewer orphans, although there would still be just that, after all, no matter what era, there would always be irresponsible people. But the existence of orphans is getting less and less, this is also what Jiang Yi would like to see, only when you have really experienced it, you know how bitter orphans really are. Suddenly, the door to the classroom was opened, and the principal asked the students in their seats, Jiang Yi come out for a moment? The principal naturally recognized Jiang Yi, he just didn't know what the few people behind him came to find Jiang Yi for. Jiang Yi also hurriedly put down the books in his hands. What did the principal come to find him for? What's the matter principal? These people claim to be your mother and sister, do you recognize them? The principal also knew that Jiang Yi had been an orphan since he was a child, so he even brought two security guards to follow him, fearing that these people were some kind of human traffickers. The people in the class were also somewhat curious as they looked out the door. Wow. Who are these people? All so pretty. Indeed, whether it was Zhang Huang, a businesswoman, or Lu Ru, a noblewoman, they were all extremely eye-catching. Even the third sister behind them, Zhang Jiang, even with sunglasses, it was hard to hide her temperament. Xiao He, where have you been these days? As soon as Lu Ru pulled Zhang He's hand, tears fell directly. But Jiang He didn't give any face, and directly drew his hand back. I don't know you guys, please leave. After saying that, he directly returned to the classroom. Seeing this, the principal also stopped Lu Ru who wanted to rush into the classroom. Since you don't know each other, please don't mess around, please leave. After saying this, he was going to bring the security guards to drive away the few people. After all, it was the Jiang family that didn't allow Jiang He to say that he was a member of the Jiang family, so up to now, except for the Jiang family, no one knew that Jiang He was the young master of the Jiang family who had been lost for 16 years. I am his mother. You guys let go of me. Lu Ru still wanted to say something but looking at the security guards in front of her, she could only slowly leave. It was only when he brought a few people outside the school that the principal left with peace of mind, and also instructed the security guards at the door not to let a few people in. The third sister, Zhang Zhang, who hadn't said anything, removed the sunglasses from her face as soon as she did. If someone was by her side, they would definitely recognize that she was the top stream singer, Zhang Zhang, who had recently risen to fame. Zhang Zhang's own conditions are extremely good, coupled with the Zhang family behind the backing, naturally smooth sailing, and now even received several large production movie cameo, for the formal entry into the film and television industry to pave the way. 
Song Film and Television 2 grasp, in order to be invincible in the entertainment industry, this Jiang He really got the better of us, actually dared to say that he didn't recognize us? Jiang Jiang looked at the school's gate angrily, but she seemed to have forgotten that it was the Jiang family that didn't allow Jiang He to tell others about him being a member of the Jiang family. Now they were actually blaming Jiang He? Alright, let's go back first and wait until tomorrow. Ah, uh, still have to come? According to me, just wait for a while, wait for a while and he'll naturally know it's wrong. Jiang Jiang was certain that Jiang He was just playing the trick of trying to catch him. After drying him out for a few days, he would obediently come back. This, Lu Ru still wanted to say something, but she was directly pulled away by Jiang Jiang without a word. Jiang Huan also looked at the direction where Jiang He's classroom was. Although she did feel guilty about this brother, it was not true that he had once stolen her jewelry. What if this was really Jiang He's means of trying to catch her? Or they should wait for a few days first, maybe Jiang He would really be obedient and come to the door to apologize, begging them to have themselves back. Hurry up and go ah big sister. Have you forgotten that today is Xiao Li's birthday? Even if Jiang Li was not related to their Jiang family by blood, but Jiang Li had saved her life, back then, she got lost because of playfulness and accidentally fell into the water, if it wasn't for Jiang Li, she would definitely not be alive now. Plus more than 10 years together, she does not think, just blood relationship, can break her and Jiang Li's feelings. Jiang He, who was sitting at the window, watching several people leave, also didn't say anything. But he also couldn't figure out what these few people were still here for. Wouldn't it be better to have a home without him? Jiang Qin wouldn't be moving around in a rage, Lu Ru wouldn't dislike this or that, and the several sisters wouldn't look at her in a bad light. No matter how you think about it, you shouldn't come back to him, right? Suddenly, Jiang He's eyes went black, followed by a burst of ringing in his ears, and then he fell straight down in front of his desk. In the end, only the shouts of his classmates could be heard. When Jiang He opened his eyes again, he only felt a flash of afterglow shining on his cheeks. Just as he wanted to get up, he was stopped by a hand as white as jade. Don't get up yet. A female doctor in a white coat stopped Jiang He and lowered him onto the bed again. Malnutrition plus hypoglycemia, just wait for the infusion and go home to recuperate for a while. Originally, Jiang He's body was already weak, and after running out of the hospital a few days ago, because he was afraid that the orphanage director would be worried, he didn't say anything about him being in the hospital. Thank you doctor. Jiang He was a little short of breath, he knew that the infusion was estimated to cost quite a lot of money, just that he really didn't have any money right now. He also didn't know if the infirmary could make an IOU. Seeing Jiang Yi in this state, Jiang Xian, who was the school doctor, also probably understood what was going on. Then he lifted the glasses on the tip of his nose and said with a smile, It's okay, you go home early later, got it? After saying that, he was about to leave. Wait, what's wrong? Jiang Xian was a bit puzzled as she looked at the wasted boy on the hospital bed, thinking it was because he was not feeling well again somewhere. I'm sorry doctor, I don't have any money for now but I can help do things to pay back the money. Cleaning, moving things I'm good at it. This wasn't Jiang He talking nonsense, all these years before he was picked up by the Jiang family, this was how he came to be, cleaning, brushing dishes, cooking, running errands, anything that could subsidize the orphanage, even if it was only a little bit of pay, Jiang He did it without complaint. After all, before Jiang He did not adult, most bosses are not willing to use Jiang He, only those who see Jiang He low price, only willing to let Jiang He do a little miscellaneous work, but also are the same day settlement, for fear of being reported on the stall. Jiang Yi naturally understands, and has never complained about anything, but is very grateful to those bosses who are willing to take him in for a while. As for the return to the Jiang family, Jiang Yi is still very hardworking, often helped the nanny to do some of the household chores that can be done. It was a good thing that after today, he was a real adult. No need. Jiang Xian still wanted to refuse, but after seeing Jiang Yi's determined eyes, she can only sigh. She knew that if she refused, the boy in front of her would inevitably find a way to make money to pay her back. In fact, this amount of money is nothing to her at all. She was originally the eldest daughter of the Jiang family in the capital city, but also the top senior student of the capital city medical university. The reason why she came to this school to be the school nurse, but also just an assistance mission issued by the school. Alright then, every day after school, set aside an hour to help me move things for a month, is that alright? It just so happened that the school was in the process of updating its medical equipment and medicines these days, so it would be good to have one more person to help out. Hearing this, Jiang He then smiled a little and nodded his head in agreement. At this time, in front of the Buckingham Palace Hotel in High City, people were coming and going, and the entrance was even filled with luxury cars. With the sky completely darkened, Jiang Qin also stood on the stage with a happy face and said to the guests below, Thank you all for attending my son's bar mitzvah, the dinner party will officially begin. As Jiang Qin's words fell, the curtain of the dinner party was considered officially opened. 
More than a dozen young masters and young ladies from prestigious families in Jiang City surrounded Jiang Li in front of him, sending gifts belonging to them one after another. Jiang Li also thanked them repeatedly, and his face couldn't stop being happy. Jiang He actually really left. This time, the entire Jiang family would be his alone. If you want to blame yourself Jiang He, you shouldn't have come back. At this time, Jiang Zi, who was sitting on the sofa in the center of the banquet, was dressed in a gorgeous gown. The look was somewhat absent-minded. What's wrong second sister? Jiang Huan was still in that standard professional outfit, she wasn't too used to those heavy gowns, it always felt like it was binding her. No. Nothing, just thought of Xiao He. With these words, Jiang Huan also fell silent. Indeed, today was likewise Jiang He's birthday. Big sister, second sister. Jiang Li walked over at this time and smoothly sat beside the two. Where's my present? Jiang Li asked for the gift from the two of them as if she was pampered, her eyes filled with anticipation. Jiang Huang naturally would not forget and directly pulled out an exquisite small box from his back, which could be seen as extraordinary just from its appearance. Jiang Li opened it and saw that it was actually a Patek Philippe. Do you like it? Jiang Huang touched Jiang Li's head in a doting manner, as a strong businesswoman, she left her soft sigh to these younger siblings. Like it. Thank you big sister. At this time, a group of rich second generation also looked at Jiang Li with envy in their eyes, this watch was at least above two million dollars, although their family was rich, but it was still far less than the Jiang family. At this time, Jiang Zi was still absent-minded, and only reacted when she was woken up by Jiang Li's voice. Second sister, where's my gift? You wouldn't have forgotten it, right? How could I? Jiang Zi also hurriedly handed a car key to Jiang Li's front, after all, how could an 18-year-old not have a car of his own? Looking at the Porsche car keys in front of him, Jiang Li's face was happy, but he wanted to have a car of his own a long time ago. Just what Jiang Li didn't know was that behind Jiang Zi, there was still a small box, inside the box, it was the puppet that had been thrown on the ground and smashed by Jiang Yi before. I, I'm going out. Before Jiang Li had time to thank her, she saw Jiang Zi quickly leave, holding an unknown box in her hand. When Jiang Yi returned to the orphanage, he realized that there were still a few lights still on. Are those few little ones being naughty again? Jiang Yi walked into the courtyard, but didn't find a single person. Ha, huh? did they forget to turn off the lights? Jiang He had just wanted to return to his room when he heard a bang. The lights in the hall suddenly lit up, then the gift flowers scattered all over the sky, slowly falling all over his shoulders. Brother Jiang He, happy birthday. A dozen or so little carrot heads quickly hung all over Jiang He's body like they were climbing trees. Brother Jiang He, this is your birthday present, a portrait I drew for you with my own hands. Looking at the figure in front of him that was made up of countless messy lines, Jiang He was willing to call it a representation of abstraction. But Jiang He still accepted it with full of joy. Brother Jiang He, this is my gyroscope, the flaming cyclone, you should treasure it. And mine. Mine mine mine. Looking at the miscellaneous gifts in front of him, there were gyros, yo-yos, and all kinds of Ultraman cards, Jiang He was also a little bit in tears, but all of them were thanked one by one, and solemnly accepted them. Because he knew that these things that don't seem to be worth a lot of money, for these little carrot heads, it's the best thing they can come up with. All come down, are you guys going to crush brother Jiang He to death? At this time, a 15 or 16 year old girl stood out and loudly reprimanded this group of little carrot heads. And the little carrot heads all came down from Jiang He's body as if they had seen some kind of flood beast, and came to sit in their own seats. Ha ha ha, it's okay little Li. Lin Ruoli glared at the little carrots in front of her before slowly walking to Jiang He's front and handing out the gift that belonged to her. Looking at the jar full of thousands of paper cranes of various colors in front of him, Jiang He instantly felt a warmth in his heart. He understood that this was the young girl who squeezed out that little bit of time after her studies and folded them for him with her own hands. Jiang. Jiang He you don't think nonsense. These are all bought by me. It's not that they were folded with my own hands. Lin Ruorue stood in place stomping her feet with some anxiety, her handsome little face unconsciously stained with a trace of redness, not explaining it is okay, explaining it is a little bit like trying to cover up the meaning of it. Aha, uh -huh, I know. Jiang He naturally wouldn't break down the lie of the young girl in front of him but instead touched her little head. No touching. Feeling the touch on her head, the young girl's cheeks became even more flushed, as if they could drip blood. This would definitely break her heart if the students in her class saw that the high cool goddess plus school bully who had always been indifferent to everyone would actually reveal such a cute expression. Okay, okay, no touching. Seeing that the young girl was about to blow up like a kitten, Zhang Yi also withdrew his palm at the right time. He remembered that a long time ago, this little ninny liked to be touched on the head by him the most. It seems to have grown up. All right. All return to your seats. A somewhat old voice rang out, and Jiang He also rushed back to his seat. As a figure appeared, accompanied by that, were the expectant eyes of the little carrot heads. Dean, I. Jiang He just wanted to get up, but he was stopped by the Dean's grandmother. Today is your bar mitzvah, 
I don't care about the past few years, just sit obediently today. Her voice was mixed with majesty and unquestionable, and Zhang Yi had no choice but to obediently sit in his original position. With a less than 8 inch cupcake falling in front of Zhang Yi, the sights of the little carrot heads, too, followed. Xiao Li, turn off the lights. As Lin Ruoli turned off the lights, the faint candle flame on the cake became the only source of light in this darkness. Happy birthday to you, wish you. As a birthday song rang out, under everyone's gaze, Zhang Yi remembered all the things he had done in his past life, and a wave of sourness surged through his heart. In his previous life, he was preoccupied with those so-called relatives, but neglected these people who really loved him, it turned out that in this dark night, there is still that a weak candle flame, is burning for him. Just like this moment, although the candle flame is weak, but it belongs to him alone. A tear, also don't know when, somewhat indisputably fell from the corner of Zhang Yi's eye. Seeing this, Lin Ruoli hurriedly pushed away the chair and went forward to hug Zhang Yi. Feeling himself surrounded by a warm embrace, Zhang Yi also smiled and rubbed Lin Ruori's little head. This time, Lin Ruori didn't resist or say anything. She didn't know what Zhang Yi had gone through in the Zhang family over the past year, but she knew that in the future, no matter what, she would always stay by Zhang Yi's side. Alright, alright, turn on the lights, I'll cut the cake for you. Zhang Yi blew out the candles in front of him, but didn't make a wish, instead of believing in that vain wish, he should believe in himself. Yeah, eat the cake. The little carrot heads all looked extraordinarily excited, and Zhang Yi was happy to share all the cake with them, not leaving any for himself. But even so, everyone could only share a little bit. When Lin Ruoli saw that Zhang Yi didn't leave a bit for herself, she was a bit angry. Nah, this one is for you, don't think too much, I'm losing weight. Lin Ruori handed the cake in her hand to Zhang Yi with a haughty face, seemingly very satisfied with what she said. Zhang Yi looked at Lin Ruori who was even slimmer than him in front of him, smiled, and just divided off a small piece to taste. And at this time, outside the orphanage's door, a silhouette dressed in a gorgeous dress was constantly hovering. As if making some kind of determination, Zhang Zi carried her own dress and stepped over the threshold of the orphanage which was already a bit worn out. As the second miss of the Zhang family, I'm afraid this is the first time she has come to such a place. With the sound of footsteps, the eyes of the crowd gradually fell on the silhouette at the door. When Jiang Yi saw the visitor clearly, her brows couldn't help but furrow. I'll go out for a while. Under the curious gazes of the crowd of little carrot heads, Jiang Yi got up and walked out. The others might not understand, but Lin Ruoli did. Isn't this the second miss of that what's her name Jiang family? She had seen it on the news on TV before. It seemed like she was representing the country in some international painting competition and won some award. But she was just about to go out when she was stopped by the dry hand of the dean's granny. Granny I. Let little Wu choose for himself, he's already grown up. Granny Dean didn't even look at her. She knew that Zhang Yi was different from before, she could feel it. Whether he left or stayed, it was all up to him, this belonged to Zhang Yi, his own choice. However, Lin Ruoli did not understand, of course she understood, if Zhang family really treat Zhang Yi well, how could Zhang Yi come back? And how could he be as thin as before? How she wanted to rush out now and pull Zhang Yi back. Zhang Yi looked at Zhang Zi in front of her and sighed, hadn't he already left that home to Zhang Li and the girls? Why still refuse to let him go? Do they have to leave him to burn to death in the sea of fire before they are willing to? Miss Jiang, if there's nothing else, you can go back. Zhang Yi really didn't want to say anything more to this stranger, if it wasn't for the fear that they would use the power of the Zhang family to take the orphanage, Zhang Yi would have cursed out long ago. I, I'm your second sister. Hearing Jiang Yi call her Miss Jiang, Jiang Zi's face was instantly red with anger, he had called her sister before. Not anymore for a long time, why, do you still want me to show you the agreement? After saying that, Jiang Yi was about to turn around and go back, but he was stopped dead in his tracks by Jiang Zi. Go back with me, just apologize, they won't say anything. When these words came out, Jiang Yi didn't know why, but a trace of sadness rose within him. By now, he still had to apologize? Then please tell me, Miss Jiang. Why do I need to apologize and where did I go wrong? Jiang Yi wanted to see how he himself was wrong. I. Jiang Zi stammered for half a day, but she couldn't say a word as if a fishbone was stuck in her throat, because she knew that Jiang Yi didn't do anything wrong at all. She just still thinks that Jiang Yi is the same as before, regardless of whether it is his fault, should take the initiative to admit his fault and apologize. After all, he is, outside the wild child, do not know the rules. You shouldn't have threatened us with the agreement. Perhaps in Jiang Zi's eyes, that agreement, just Zhang Yi threatened them to drive Zhang Li away means, as long as you apologize properly to father, father will definitely take you back. Didn't I say, send Zhang Li away? Zhang Yi remembered that this was something he had said before, right? It seemed that this Zhang Zi's memory wasn't very good and needed him to remind him again. But in fact, even if they agreed to send Zhang Li away, he wouldn't go back, not to mention he knew that they would never send Zhang Li away. Zhang Yi, why do you have to send little Li away? 
Jiang Zi's voice was also much higher, on one side was the adopted brother with more than 10 years of affection, and on the other side was the bloodline of her own brother, how could this let her choose? Don't you go too far. Aha, it's indeed me who went too far. When these words came out, Jiang Zi immediately brightened up, thinking that it was Jiang Yi who had loosened up and promised her to go home and apologize to the crowd. She believed that as long as Jiang Yi was willing to apologize, even her father wouldn't disagree with Jiang Yi returning to this home. Okay, okay, you go. Jiang Yi waved his hand somewhat feebly, he originally didn't expect anything from them. But Jiang Zi still tugged on Jiang Yi's arm with a deadly grip. Not going back. What the hell do you want? Must I scold you right? After saying this, Jiang Yi took several deep breaths before finally calming down. The kind of stupidity of having expectations for this group of so-called family members, having done it once in his last life was enough. At this moment, even Lin Ruoli in the orphanage looked at Jiang Yi with some surprise, in her impression, in more than 10 years, Jiang Yi almost never exploded foul language. Jiang Zi also froze in place, and the hand that was originally tugging Jiang Yi tightly, also silently loosened. Right. I'm sorry. If you're really sorry, then hurry up and leave. Jiang Yi once again gave an expulsion order, originally today he was in a good mood. Jiang Zi also knew that Jiang Yi was really angry, so he had to pull out that small box from behind him. I was wrong before, I shouldn't have said that about you, this is a birthday gift for you. After saying that, he opened the small box, revealing the intact puppet inside. I put this together with my own hands. Jiang Yi also picked up the puppet and scrutinized it. Well, thank you. But in the next second, under Jiang Zi's shocked gaze, Jiang Yi directly threw it into the trash can on the side. Well that once regarded as more important than life puppet, personally discarded. When Jiang Zi returned home in a state of dismay, everyone was already waiting in the living room for a long time. I'll go back to rest first. Jiang Zi just wanted to go upstairs, but was called by Jiang Qin. Wait, your brother's bar mitzvah, where did you go? Jiang Qin was very angry, just now when the group photo was taken, only to find out that there was actually one person missing, what does this look like? Even the fifth sister Jiang Mo who was attending school in the capital city was called back. Jiang mother Lu Ru also seemed anxious to go forward, pulling Jiang Zi's hand, she did not know what happened, actually let Jiang Zi into this appearance. Xiao Zi, what exactly happened? Don't scare mommy okay? It was only at this time that Jiang Zi came back to her senses and looked at the crowd in front of her, saying word by word. I'm going to see Xiao He. With a loud bang, Jiang Qin directly slammed an expensive cup hard on the ground. Who told you to go see him? Even Jiang Li, who was on the side, clenched his palms in death, and didn't feel the slightest sensation even though his nails were pinched into his flesh. Jiang He. Why are you disturbing my life? Why? Why don't you die there? You should have died there a long time ago. Why? Why do you appear in my life again and again? At this moment, Jiang Li's inner resentment towards Jiang He was practically overflowing. He didn't understand why someone who had already left would still affect this family that belonged to him, to him alone. Today is Xiao Yi's birthday. The moment these words came out, the scene was silent, and even the words Jiang Qin was about to curse out were gagged in his mouth. They actually hadn't thought about it, the two were held wrongly back then, and their birthdays were naturally the same day. If the outside world knew that their Jiang family had thrown such a grand bar mitzvah for a fake young master, but kicked their own son out of the house, they didn't know how many rumors would spread. Lu Ru's eyes were also instantly red, she, as a mother, had actually forgotten her own son's birthday. But she seems to have forgotten that before she left Jiang Yi alone at home because Jiang Li had a fever, accompanying Jiang Li to spend his birthday outside. Thinking about it now, isn't it a bit, late? I'll go back first. Jiang Zi's expression was still despondent, she still couldn't believe that Jiang Yi actually threw away the puppet that she had put together with her own hands in front of her. But, but clearly it wasn't like this before. Obviously before, no matter what happened, Jiang He would listen to her. Jiang He would put the puppets she gave her, carefully placed at the bedside. But why, has it all changed? She only, only reprimanded him twice. But why did she reprimand Jiang He again? It seems like it was because of that puppet. Because Jiang Li accidentally broke the puppet's arm. But Jiang Li didn't do it on purpose, he said he just felt curious and wanted to take a look. Suddenly, Jiang Zi looked like he thought of something. Jiang Li obviously does not lack anything. Why should he only want Jiang Yi's puppet? Could it be that? At this point, Jiang Zi, who had locked herself in her room, completely panicked. She refused to believe that Jiang Li would do that. How could it be? How could it be? Turns out, her heart, really is biased. That's how people are, bias and prejudice, just like a big mountain. How could the person standing at the top of the mountain feel that he or she is not right? Only those who stand at the foot of the mountain can clearly know that the mountain, how high it really is. And Jiang Yi, has always been the one at the foot of the mountain. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jiang Zi sat paralyzed against the wall, buried her head into her arms, and hugged her legs tightly in death. 
At this time, Lu Ru was also panicked, and hurriedly asked the driver to prepare a car, she wanted to go find Jiang He. Alright, it's too late today, I'll go with you guys tomorrow. After saying that, Jiang Qin got up and left. There was no other way, Lu Ru also had to return to her room with Jiang Huang's support. As the people in the hall gradually walked out, the only one left in place was Jiang Mo who was a bit puzzled. She could clearly feel the prejudice that this family had against Jiang He. It was as if, no matter what Jiang He did, it was wrong. But she didn't dare to say it, because she had once been scolded for just speaking up for Jiang He. Just that time, it was clearly not brother Jiang He's fault. You can never wake up someone who is pretending to be asleep. When everyone thinks you are wrong, then you are wrong. Jiang Huan pushed open the door to Jiang Zi's room, only to find Jiang Zi sitting crouched in the corner. There was nothing she could do but sigh. Second sister, just talk to little Wu tomorrow and go to bed first, okay? But Jiang Zi was shaking her head and said, he won't forgive us. The moment Jiang He threw the puppet away with his own hands, she knew that Jiang He really really didn't care. When Jiang Huang saw this, he just frowned. Who was he to ask him to forgive himself? Isn't it a fact that he stole his jewelry and targeted Xiao Li? Only after confirming that all the little carrots, including Lin Ruoli, had gone to sleep, Jiang He started to clean up the table. Suddenly, Jiang Yi thought, why don't we set up a stall at the night market next door, and also earn more to subsidize the orphanage. Once this idea popped up, he couldn't stop it any longer, and he also had some ideas that were uniquely his own. Until the next day after school, Jiang Yi's mind was still planning. Oh yeah, still have to go help out here. Jiang Yi had just walked to the entrance of the school before he remembered that he had to help the school nurse work to pay back the money coming in. When Jiang Yi arrived at the entrance of the infirmary, the school nurse, Jiang Xian, was looking at the several large boxes in front of him with a bit of a headache, as well as some medical equipment. Dr. Jiang. Seeing Jiang Yi come over, Jiang Xian was relieved, she thought Jiang Yi wouldn't come. Mr. Jiang, are these okay? Jiang Xian looked at Jiang Yi's slim body with some concern, just wanted to reach out to help but was stopped by Jiang Yi. Don't worry Dr. Jiang, I can do it alone. Although Jiang Yi was thin and somewhat malnourished, these jobs were really nothing for him. He had once done work that was much more tiring than this, and he still made it through. Looking at Jiang he actually moved a big box up. Jiang Xian's eyes couldn't help but become surprised. Moreover, Jiang he was very skillful, in a short while, he moved all the things in, and also arranged them neatly according to her order. It can be seen that Jiang he didn't do this less. Jiang Xian was also a bit distressed by Jiang he, and quickly took some hot water and handed it to Jiang he. Jiang He also did not polite, took the disposable cup of water and drank up. After drinking, she got up to pick up the broom to clean up, but was stopped by Jiang Xian. Rest for a while, there's no hurry. Unable to argue with Jiang Xian, Jiang He had no choice but to continue to sit on the chair and rest. Seeing that Jiang He did not resist, Jiang Xian then smiled slightly. Right at this moment, a tall silhouette appeared at the entrance of the infirmary. The man wore a straight high fashion suit and held a bouquet of bright red roses in his hand. May I ask if ms? Jiang is here? At these words, a trace of unnaturalness surfaced on Jiang Xian's originally gentle face. Jiang Yi naturally saw it and said with a smile. It's Dr. Jiang's suitor right? Indeed, the Jiang Xian in front of her, although she was wearing a white coat, she still couldn't hide that proud figure. Her delicate face, with a little bit of powder, was a perfect color on earth. Small nose, plus a pair of glasses, can add a touch of flavor. In school, I don't know how many boys deliberately pretend to be sick, just to be able to look at Jiang Xian. You don't learn at a young age. Jiang Xian gently tapped Jiang He's forehead with that white finger, making him flirt with himself. At this moment, that exquisite suit man also pushed open the door of the infirmary, looking at Jiang Xian in front of him, his face could not stop being happy. And Jiang He, who was on the side, was naturally directly ignored by him, but it was just a student. Jiang Xian, I finally found you. But Jiang Xian did rub her forehead with some headache, this Lu Yu, she all came to high city can find her. Looking at the flowers handed over in front of her, Jiang Xian has no intention of accepting them, and Lu Yu has no choice but to resentfully put his hand back. Why did you come? I just wanted to come and see you. Then you finished watching it, watch it, and leave. I. Lu Yu still wants to say something, but he is pushed out by Jiang Xian. Looking at the closed infirmary door in front of him, Lu Yu could only give a bitter smile. He naturally knows that Jiang Xian doesn't like him, but what can he do? His family does not let him take down Jiang Xian at all times. Only by taking down Jiang Xian could he obtain the help of the Jiang family, and their Lu family's status could be taken to the next level in the capital city. And he did like Jiang Xian, after all, Jiang Xian was the school flower of the medical university of Beijing city back then. But now it seems that there is little hope. Otherwise, temporarily stay in high city first? Saying so, Lu Yu directly took out his cell phone and made a call. 
Zhang Yi looked at Zhang Xian in front of him, not realizing that the gentle-looking school nurse lady would actually have an angry side, but it was kinda cute. It made Zhang Yi couldn't help but think of Lin Ruoli that little ninny, always moving to get angry at him, but actually in Zhang Yi's eyes, it was like an angry bunny, not to mention how cute. You still smile? Zhang Xian looked at Zhang Yi who was full of laughter in front of her, her anger was even more unbearable, this kid actually dared to laugh at her. Okay, okay, I'm wrong dr. Zhang. Zhang Yi raised his hands in surrender, then he got up and started cleaning, he had rested enough too. There's no rush, just take your time. Zhang Xian knew that Zhang Yi was a good boy, and there was no need to be too anxious about cleaning. As time passed, Zhang Xian looked over the medical books in her hands, yawning from time to time. It was obvious that she had stayed up late last night. When Zhang Yi finished the work in his hands, he found that Zhang Xian actually fell asleep on the table. Zhang Yi also had no choice but to smile, put the tools in his hand away, and came to Zhang Xian's side. Looking at Zhang Xian's stunningly beautiful sleeping face, Zhang Yi also couldn't help but feel a tremor in his heart, and then hurriedly shook off these thoughts. Picking up the blanket on the side, he gently covered Zhang Xian's body, and also thoughtfully helped her remove the glasses from the tip of her nose. He took one last look and closed the door behind him before leaving with peace of mind. When Zhang Xian woke up, it was already dark. Feeling the blanket on her body, as well as the glasses on the desktop, Zhang Xian smiled slightly. This kid, he's quite thoughtful. At this time, Zhang He had already returned to the orphanage, and he was ready to put the idea of setting up a stall into action, but was stymied by the startup capital. Zhang He sat on the door bar and smiled to himself, was this considered to be a startup? But then he got up again, as if making some kind of decision. The matter of money, naturally, can't talk to the dean. Then go to work part-time, before Jiang He is calculated, probably need $4,000, can support a small stall. Then this $4,000, it would be up to him. After this period of revision, Zhang Yi was confident that he would get a good rank in the next midterm exam, and the probability of getting a scholarship would be higher. Although $2,000 was not much, but for the current Zhang Yi, it was like a huge sum of money. Suddenly, a few luxury cars, in great numbers, drove towards Zhang Yi's location. As the existence of an urban village, the location of the orphanage was not considered remote, but most of the surrounding residents were workers who came to High City to work, and living here was just a way to get a cheaper utility rent. But these few luxury cars, really seems out of place here. The surrounding residents who were off-duty also cast curious gazes at them. When Jiang Yi noticed a few people, it was already too late, and just when she wanted to close the gate, she was called by Lu Ru. Wait Xiao He. Lu Ru opened the car door in a hurry and ran towards Jiang He. Sighing, Jiang He didn't choose to directly close the gate after all, if he didn't make it clear to this group of people, he was afraid that it would be endless. Seeing that Jiang He didn't close the door, Lu Ru inwardly let out a sigh of relief. What's wrong Auntie Lu? Looking for me for something? As soon as these words came out, Lu Ru's heart felt as if it had been viciously stabbed, she didn't expect that Jiang He actually refused to even call her mom. Xiao, little wa, I'm mom. First say what's the matter of looking for me? Zhang Yi just wanted to hurry up and get rid of a few people. At this time behind them, Zhang Huang, Zhang Zi, and Zhang Li only slowly appeared in front of Zhang Yi. Zhang Li's eyes were even slightly red, reaching out to try to pull Zhang Yi, but he was directly shrugged off by Zhang Yi. Damn, a big man, every day pretend to be pitiful, evil not disgusting? Don't fucking touch me. In an instant, Zhang Li directly froze in place, where he was scolded by others like this, the resentment in his eyes even flashed. Lu Ru also looked at Zhang Yi with unbelievable face, in her impression, Zhang Yi had never scolded anyone. Zhang Yi looked at the somewhat dumbfounded few people in front of him, but he felt a lot more comfortable. Sure enough, when you speak dirty words out, your heart is cleaner. Brother Zhang Yi, as long as you're willing to come back, I'm willing to do whatever you want me to do, even if it's to let me leave this home. Here we go again, looking at the incomparably pretentious Zhang Li in front of him, Zhang Yi said that this kind of performance, he had long been tired of seeing. At first, he was also deceived by Jiang Li's face of this false god, and thought of getting along with this so-called younger brother. Who knows, this Jiang Li actually falsely accused him of associating with social misfits and said that he had found someone to beat him up. At that time, no matter how he explained, all to no avail. At that time, this was what Jiang Li said, ostensibly toward him, but in fact, he was sitting on his charges. Xiao Li, your brother isn't that kind of person, right Xiao Yi? Lu Ru hurriedly stopped Jiang Li, then looked at Jiang Yi with pleading eyes. She believed that Zhang Yi would not really drive Zhang Li away, the words in the hospital before were just words of anger. Ah, uh, if that's all you guys are doing for this matter, then I won't accompany you. This matter, he had already made it very clear that there was him without me, and me without him. What, it's all come down to this, and you're still playing dead? Only Zhang Zi knew that everything Zhang Yi said wasn't just gaslighting. Wait, mom is here to give you a birthday present. 
It was only at this time that Lu Ru also reacted, and hurriedly pulled out an exquisite little box. Little wa, this is. Lu Ru was interrupted by Jiang He before she could finish her sentence. Take it back, my birthday has already passed. After saying that, he directly closed the door and left. Obviously yesterday was his birthday. What kind of thing is giving gifts today? Also, really think he doesn't know anything? Didn't Xiang Zi dress so grandly last night just to attend Zhang Li's birthday banquet? It's really funny, driving her own son away, isn't it for that Zhang Li's comfort? Only coming to him now, isn't it a crime? Shua. Shua you open the door. But no matter how Lu Ru calls, there is always no answer, there is no way, a few people also have to return unhappily. On the way back, Zhang Li sat beside Lu Ru, although his mouth comforted Lu Ru, the corners of his mouth could not be restrained from rising. At this time, Jiang Zi, who hadn't said anything, suddenly looked seriously at Jiang Li in front of her. Jiang Li, did you deliberately break Jiang Yi's puppet before? As soon as these words came out, the spacious carriage suddenly fell into a silence. Second. Second sister, you. Why did you say that? Instantly, Jiang Li's eyes turned red once again, watering with sobs, so pitiful. Lu Ru also stood out at the right time to speak for Jiang Li. Isn't it just a puppet? Little Li didn't do it on purpose either. But that was the puppet I gave to Little Wa. Why did you favor that puppet? As Jiang Zi pressed on, Jiang Li couldn't say anything for a while and could only stammer out an explanation. I. I'm just curious. Second sister, I can compensate brother Jiang He. As long as brother Jiang He is willing to forgive me, I'm willing to do anything. Before the words were finished, Jiang Li's bean-sized teardrops had already rolled down. Seeing this, Lu Ru also hurriedly held Jiang Li in her arms to comfort her. Okay Xiao Zi, Xiao Li didn't mean it. At this time, Jiang Zi only felt a splitting headache, but did not say anything, just sat quietly. And Jiang Li's aggrieved face, in Lu Ru's arms, where others couldn't see, gradually became distorted. He hated Jiang Yi, obviously before the second sister was toward him. Why would she come to question him for Jiang Yi today? This also caused Jiang Li to develop a sense of crisis. If this continued, it was very likely that his position would really be replaced by Jiang Yi, and at that time, what if they really wanted to send him away? No, he had to make Jiang Yi disappear. Instantly, a vicious plan gradually surfaced in his mind. Since that plan a few years ago didn't make Jiang He go to hell, then he would do it again. He would like to see how many times Jiang He could dodge it. Returning to the Jiang family home without any words, Jiang Zi said a word and returned to her room. She planned to wait for a few days, and then go to find Jiang He. She wanted to ask everything clearly. At this time, Jiang Qin also couldn't help but frown, looking at the several people behind him without Jiang He's figure, but also couldn't help but rise a wave of anger. That kid still refuses to come back? You tell him, if he doesn't come back, he won't even think of entering the Jiang family's door in this life. Until now, Jiang Qin still thought that this kind of threat was useful to Jiang He. He didn't think that if Jiang He was really just threatening them at the hospital, he wouldn't hesitate to sign his name on the severance agreement. When Jiang Huang, as the eldest sister, returned to her room to take a bath, she thought of Jiang Zi's words. However, she quickly threw these distractions out of her mind. No matter what, Jiang Yi did steal her jewelry once and hid it under her bed. The next day, when Jiang Yi came to school, he found that his classmates were preparing something. What's wrong? Jiang Yi put down the school bag on his body and asked his deskmate with some curiosity. His deskmate was a strong man with muscles all over his body, and usually took great care of Jiang Yi. Although Jiang Yi had a good reputation in the class, he seldom spoke, and Jiang Yan could be said to be one of Jiang Yi's few friends. Today to school organization to watch a movie you forget it, yesterday the teacher did not say? Don't freeze, hurry up and pack up. Waiting for Jiang He to finish packing, Jiang Yan directly clamped Jiang He's as well as some other classmates things with both arms and violently rushed towards the bus at the entrance. Man, be fierce. Looking at Jiang Yan who was like a gale, Jiang He also cried and laughed a little. Just at this moment, a girl suddenly ran to Jiang He, lowered her head and handed a letter to Jiang He, and quickly ran away again. Watching a movie is also considered an old tradition of the second middle school, will be in the college entrance examination before the 100-day pledge, the organization of the students to go to see an inspirational movie, the purpose is to encourage the students. However, Jiang Yi didn't really look into it, the whole time he was thinking about one of his previous questions, and from time to time he had to accept the fierce feeding from Zhang Yan. It was not until the movie ended that Jiang Yi remembered the envelope who handed him earlier. Suddenly, Zhang Yan also noticed the thing in Jiang Yi's hand, and at the same time quietly stuck his own head over. Who gave it to you? Zhang Yan's sudden words startled Zhang Yi. Taking a look at the white envelope, Zhang Yi thought about it, it seemed like it was given to him by Lu Cici from their class. Lu Cici gave it to you? Zhang Yan's pupils shrunk slightly, to know, Lu Cici is the class flower of their class, not only is she pretty but her grades are also good, she doesn't know how many boys dream girl she is, and now she actually took the initiative to send a letter to Zhang Yi. 
What are you thinking? I'm not familiar with her. Looking at Zhang Yan's scrutinizing eyes, Zhang Yi hurriedly explained. He hadn't even said a few words to Lu Cixi, okay? Probably just wanted to ask him questions or something like that. But who's a good person to ask questions with an envelope? At once, Zhang Yan a fierce man fell into tears. Sure enough, all the talk about liking muscles is a lie, they still like little white guys like you. I have to say, Zhang Yi looks really good, white, tall and thin, after all, the face value of Zhang family members are all placed there. Hurry up and open it, let me die. Looking at Zhang Yan's dying look, Zhang Yi was also speechless. All said, should just want to ask questions. Only to see Zhang Yi just opened it, three small words appeared in front of the two. I like it. In an instant, Zhang Yi closed the envelope and inwardly said that it was bad. Then he threw his school bag directly to Zhang Yan and left in a huff. Hey hey hey, Zhang Yi, you are also too unrighteous. There is no way, Zhang Yan can only bring Jiang Yi's school bag with indignation. On the car back to school, Zhang Yi was like a nobody, as if he never received that letter, only Zhang Yan was anxious. That's Lu Cc Ug. Why don't you have any reaction at all? If he had received Lu Cc's love letter, he would have jumped up to the sky by now. At this time, Lu Cc was also in the car, but her pretty face was slightly red, and she had been silently focusing on Zhang Yi's expression on the seat not far away. Inside was even more incomparably bumpy. Cc. Who are you looking at? As Lu Cici's good best friend, Zhu Xian had noticed something wrong with her along the way. Her eyes drifted, and even when she was watching the movie, she was absent-minded, as if she was looking for someone. But Lu Cici was putting all her attention on Zhang He at the moment, where would she pay attention to her good best friend's words? CC? CC? Lu Cici? After calling three times in a row, Lu Cici reacted. Ah? Uh, what? What's wrong Xian Xian? Looking at the panicked expression on Lu Cici's face, Zhu Xian knew that there was something going on with this BFF of hers. Say, who are you looking at? Ah, uh, no, no ah. Uh. Seeing that she was about to be recognized, Lu Cici hastily waved her hands to explain. Still not? Your eyes are sticking to others. Zhu Xian turned her head towards the direction Lu Cici had looked at before, and then she revealed a surprised expression. You don't like Zhang Yan. As soon as these words came out, Lu Cici hurriedly blocked Zhu Xian's small mouth with her hand. What are you saying? He he he, just kidding. Of course, Chu Xian knew that it couldn't be Zhang Yan, it was just to swindle her good girlfriend. At this moment, Zhang Yan couldn't help but sneeze. Ha, huh? who missed me? Zhang Yan, who was innocently lying down, expressed his innocence. I a Cici, just tell me. Chu Xian's eyes were full of pleading, to be honest, she didn't even think that this BFF of hers actually really had a favorite, to know that before she didn't know how many boys had pursued Lu Cici, but they were all rejected by Lu Cici without hesitation. She was also curious to know who actually took the heart of Goddess Lu. Faced with Chu Xian's stalking, Lu Cici had no choice but to tell Chu Xian everything that had happened to her before. What? At that instant, Chu Xian stood up in direct shock by Lu Cici's words, instantly attracting everyone's attention. And after Chu Xian felt the gazes around her, she also hastily covered her mouth and squatted down. Then whispered, You actually wrote a love letter and personally gave it to that person? Chu Xian couldn't believe her ears, this this this, is this still the high school female school bully Lu Cici she knew? Cici, you don't have a fever, right? I see why your face is so red? Chu Xian stretched out her own small hand and placed it on Lu Cici's forehead to try. No fever either? Oops, I, I. In fact, Lu Cici didn't know at that time where she said she got the courage to hand over the envelope that told of her love to Jiang Yi's hand. Jiang Yi will not think she is a frivolous person? But she had never been in love since she was a child, let alone writing love letters to boys. But Lu Cici knew that if she didn't hurry, there was a good chance that she would never have the chance to say it again. Perhaps Jiang Yi himself doesn't even remember what happened back then. If it wasn't for Jiang Yi, she would most likely have been abducted and sold to which deep forest, to the old bachelor as a daughter-in-law. When Jiang Yi appeared in her sight again, and was still in the same class as her, her heart was about to pop out. But she didn't t dare to say anything, because she didn't t have much time left. As a congenital heart disease patient, Lu Cici understood from a young age that her life, at any time, could end. Therefore, she never dared to make deep friendships with people, she was afraid that because of her departure, she would bring pain and sorrow to those who cared about her. However, when Jiang Yi's thin body blocked in front of her, it was like a high wall, letting her feel unprecedented peace of mind. When Jiang Yi appeared again, she could no longer stand it. She understood that it was selfish to do so. But she really couldn't restrain it, she really couldn't restrain it. But when she sent the letter that represented her heart, she was incredibly regretful. However, selfishness was originally human nature, and there was nothing wrong with chasing what one wanted. CC, have you really thought about it? Chu Xian looked at Lu Cici with a serious face, afraid that she would be tricked. 
Well, don't worry XIN XIN, I've thought about it. Lu Cici revealed a smile, hoping that God would forgive her selfishness. Also, who the hell is it? I'd like to see who hooked our goddess Lu's heart away. It's, it's Mr. Jiang He. Lu Cici also gathered her courage and stopped retreating. Jiang, Jiang He? Chu XIN showed a shocked look on her face, how could she not expect that it was actually Jiang He, but the two of them didn't seem to have spoken much, right? Until the end of school in the afternoon, Lu Cici's hanging heart never dropped. She was thinking, what if Jiang He didn't go? What if Jiang He rejected her? When Jiang He left her seat, Lu Cici also got up immediately and silently followed behind Jiang He. Until Jiang He came to the door of the school infirmary, Jiang He turned to look at Lu Cici in front of her. And Lu Cici instantly blushed to the root of her ears when she saw that Jiang He was looking straight at her. Jiang, student Jiang, I, I'm sorry, I don't have any plans to fall in love right now. Jiang He didn't leave Lu Cici with any illusions. He knew that Lu Cici was a good girl, but precisely because Lu Cici was a good girl, Jiang He couldn't hurt her. At this moment, Jiang Xian inside the infirmary also heard the commotion outside the door and quietly came to the door, looking at everything outside through the doorway. Jiang, Mr. Jiang, do you still remember me? You saved me five years ago. Lu Cici seemed unwilling to face her rejection and just stammered something. HM, you do? Jiang He also remembered at this time. It seemed to be the one who was almost kidnapped by the traffickers at that time. It's me, student Jiang still remembers me right? Lu Cici's voice trembled, then slowly approached Jiang He. Jiang He student you will promise me right? Noticing that something was wrong with Lu Cici, Jiang He frowned slightly. Suddenly, Lu Cici began to pant heavily, reaching towards her pocket to rummage for something. At this time, Jiang Xian, who had been eating melons, could no longer stand up, and hurriedly pushed out the door to hold Lu Cici in her arms. Medicine. Hearing Lu Cici's faint voice, Jiang Xian hurriedly pulled out the medicine from her pocket, then took out a piece and sent it into Lu Cici's mouth. Jiang He, go find some water. Jiang He also didn't dare to have the slightest delay, and hurriedly received some warm water from the infirmary and handed it to Jiang Xian. Placing Lu Cici on the hospital bed and watching Lu Cici gradually stabilize, Jiang Xian was slightly relieved. But based on Lu Cici's behavior just now, Jiang Xian also roughly guessed what her condition was like. Jiang He also sat on the chair beside Lu Cici's bed with a furrowed brow. What the hell is going on here? Lu Cici looked at Jiang He, she didn't know what to say. Jiang Xian also saw Lu Cici's dilemma, so she kicked Jiang He out for the time being. There was no way out, and Jiang He could only wait at the door. He didn't expect that the girl he saved from the traffickers back then would actually turn out to be his classmate. At this time in the infirmary, Lu Cici slowly and methodically told her story, to Jiang Xian. I'm sorry, am I being selfish? Lu Cici said softly, her beautiful eyes filled with despondency and despair. She knew that once Jiang He refused, she would not have another chance. After Jiang Xian heard this, but she smiled faintly and gently stroked Lu Cici's hair. How come everyone has the right to pursue love, there is nothing wrong with that. Unexpectedly, such a pretty little girl has actually experienced so many things, these things are hard to accept even if they are put on an adult, let alone a little girl who has just reached adulthood. But, Mr. Jiang He has already refused. Instantly, Lu Cici's eyes were like a dead gray. It was also true that she was such a selfish person, how could she get Jiang He's love? Hearing this, Jiang Xian didn't know what to say. She didn't know why Jiang He refused, after all, this little girl was so pretty. But in fact, Jiang He was not to blame for any of this, ever since he was burned to death in the sea of fire in his last life, Jiang He seemed to have lost his sense of love. He didn't dare to easily believe in other people's love for him anymore, and he trapped his heart, after curling and folding it, somewhere in the bottom of his heart. This is a kind of fear, the fear of love. Suddenly, Lu Cici looked like she had made some kind of determination. Since she was already so selfish, let her be selfish to the end. Dr. Jiang, can you call student Jiang He back? Yes. With Jiang He's reappearance, Lu Cici's originally pale and pretty face was once again colored with a touch of redness. Fellow student Jiang He, I actually have congenital heart disease, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have kept it from you before. Congenital heart disease? Jiang He frowned deeper at this point. Yes, classmate Jiang He, I probably won't live much longer. She had undergone surgery before, but with little success, and the doctors had told her family that she might not live to be 20 years old, and might even die at any time. Then Lu Cici looked at Jiang He and said the most difficult words in her life. Mr. Jiang He, one month okay? Just one month, for the sake of me not living long. When these words came out, even Jiang Xian looked surprised, she didn't expect that Lu Cici would say this. After saying this, Lu Cici couldn't stop the tears from the corners of her eyes, she had finally said it. Using the patient's identity, she morally kidnapped Jiang He. She could really be a selfish and shameless woman. Please, 
Lu Cixi sobbed uncontrollably, she didn't even dare to look at Jiang Yi's face again. Yes. Jiang Yi looked at Lu Cixi on the hospital bed and finally nodded. Really? Really? Of course. He understood that feeling of longing to be loved, and even more so, he understood the pain of immense anticipation, yet being out of reach. He didn't want Lu Cixi to be plagued by that feeling as well. Perhaps Lu Cixi's feelings for him were nothing more than a whim, or perhaps it was a cognitive error, mistaking her previous gratitude and dependence on him for love. But these Jiang he believed that under the wash of time, Lu Cixi would understand. However, Jiang he did look at Lu Cixi's condition before agreeing. Otherwise, no matter what, Jiang he would have just refused. Being indecisive would only bring more pain. But it's only for a month. Aha, uh -huh, one month is enough. Lu Cixi hurriedly got up and pulled Jiang he's hand with that cold and pale little hand. Brother Jiang He, do you still remember? That was how you held me back then, holding me for a long, long time. That feeling, Lu Cixi would never forget it in her life. Jiang He felt the coldness in his hand, also blushed slightly, he was also the first time being held by a girl's hand to come. Ugh, really, be careful I'll tell your homeroom teacher. Jiang Xian also looked at the two with a helpless face, this is the door to feed her dog food to come? It's just a matter of who let them be young? Can only sigh a sentence, young is really good. But Jiang Xian for Lu Cixi, more or sympathy, after all, a flower girl will not live long, who cannot help but feel sorry. Unfortunately, she wasn't an expert in this area either. Right, she could ask her mentor. She remembered that her mentor knew quite a few experts in the field of heart. But what Jiang Xian didn't know was that Lu Cixi's family had taken her to the capital city to see a doctor before, but the conclusion was that it was difficult to cure her even with a new heart. Right, I'll send you home later. Said Jiang He then got up and started to work for Jiang Xian, while Lu Cixi also wanted to get up to help but was held down by Jiang Xian. Just rest well, this kind of work won't tire your little boyfriend. Aha! Uh -huh. Seeing Jiang Xian calling Jiang He as her little boyfriend, Lu Cixi's little face instantly turned red, just like a ripe apple, but she still felt a slight sweetness in her heart. Just like this, Lu Cixi lay on the bed, keeping her eyes on Jiang He the whole time. Before, as Jiang He's classmate, she could only secretly look at him in an unintentional moment but now she could finally look at him openly. Lu Cixi gently covered her chest, feeling the somewhat irregular beating of her heart, the heart of this moment, is uniquely belonging to Jiang He, beating for Jiang He. Jiang He who finished the work, his forehead also seeped out some delicate beads of sweat. Lu Cixi also very carefully took out her own tissue paper to wipe for Jiang He. This scene directly looked at Jiang Xian's body trembled, good guy, showing love in front of her, the school nurse? Then I'll leave first, I'll come back tomorrow to help, by DR. Jiang. Thank you DR. Jiang. Looking at the two people in front of her, Jiang Xian also waved her hand repeatedly. Hurry up and go, be safe on the road. It was only until the two left that Jiang Xian breathed a sigh of relief. She didn't know what Lu Cixi had done, whether it was right or wrong, none of this was for her, an outsider, to judge. Ugh, it made me want to fall in love for fun. Jiang Xian waved her hand, she had been a school bully since she was a child, even without the existence of the identity of the Jiang family's daughter, she was still the pride of heaven. In the face of those who pursued her, she had never refused, after all, falling in love and whatnot, was too mind-consuming and would become a stumbling block for her to move forward. And so it was that she too hadn't fallen in love once, and didn't even have a single ambiguous object. But what happened today had changed her mind about love. It would be nice to be in a relationship that is not mixed with other interests. Unfortunately, the very existence of the identity of the Jiang family's first miss had cut off Jiang Xian's fantasies. The intricate involvement of interests, this was what she could not avoid. Finding a true heart in the midst of interests, how was it different from looking for gold in a garbage heap? Even if you find it, it has long been eroded. At this time walking on the road of the two, are no longer have the good sense to hold hands, or Lu Cixi spoke first. Jiang. Brother Jiang He, can I go home with you every day? Of course. Jiang He smiled and rubbed Lu Cixi's head, to be honest, he was still only treating Lu Cixi as a younger sister, he really couldn't accept any feelings right now. Then. Then can we go on a date together on the weekend? Lu Cixi didn't know why she was so bold today, her ears were even more involuntarily red. Right at this moment, a Porsche stopped beside Jiang He. With the window slowly falling down, third sister Jiang Jiang's face with sunglasses appeared in front of Jiang He. Jiang He, come up to talk? At once, Jiang He frowned slightly. He remembered that when he spoke to Jiang Jiang before, Jiang Jiang never ignored it, so why did she come to him today? No time. Jiang He bluntly pulled Lu Cixi then walked forward quickly. Lu Cixi felt the warmth of her hand and suddenly her small face turned red. Jiang He actually took the initiative to hold her hand. So shy so shy. And Jiang Jiang didn't expect Jiang He to actually reject her invitation directly, and hurriedly drove to follow. Wait, I'm talking to you, didn't you hear me? 
Zhang Jian didn't have the good sense to say to Zhang He through the car window. With that, she even throttled the gas and blocked the car in front of Zhang He. Zhang He, I just want to talk to you, do you not even listen to your sister's words? Zhang 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 got off the car and came in front of Zhang He, this younger brother of hers is really getting more and more unruly. Looking at Zhang Jiang in front of her, Zhang He sighed and didn't say anything after all. Wait until I send CC home first. Yes, get in the car. Zhang 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 looked at Lu Cici beside Zhang He and didn't say anything. No need. So, Zhang He and Lu Cici walked in front, and Zhang Zhang drove behind and slowly followed. The pedestrians passing by couldn't help but look at the somewhat bizarre scene in front of them. Brother Zhang He, is she really your sister? Lu Cici clenched her small hand somewhat nervously, she remembered that Zhang He seemed to be an orphan. Before it was, now it's not. Zhang He said lightly, he didn't want to deliberately hide anything from Lu Cici. Let me accompany brother Zhang He. Lu Cici turned to look at Zhang He seriously, a young girl's mind is delicate, how could she not see the status quo? Zhang He smiled, in front was Lu Cici's home, gently removing the fallen leaves from the young girl's small head. Hurry back. I. Lu Cici still wanted to say something, but Zhang He had already turned away. She also had no choice but to stand silently in the same place, waiting until Zhang He's figure could no longer be seen. At this moment, Zhang He was sitting in the car, and he now didn't know what Zhang Jiang had come to find him for. Your little girlfriend? Aha! Uh -huh. Zhang He admitted it with a big smile. Since he promised Lu Cici, there was no need to hide anything. Zhang Jiang saw that Zhang He admitted it just like that, but he changed his opinion of Zhang He. Still considered a man. Not long after, the flashy Porsche brought Zhang He to a restaurant. Hello, several people, do you have a reservation? Two people, previously booked a private room. Following the waiter's lead, the two came to the box Zhang Jiang had previously booked. Waiting for the waiter to leave, Zhang Jiang opened the door and pulled out a bank card from her bag, and then placed it in front of Zhang He. Zhang He glanced at it, thinking how this is so much like the development of a luxury dog and pony show. Here is two million dollars, take it and stop pestering the Zhang family. When these words came out, Zhang He actually didn't produce any emotion, still thinking that he actually guessed right, it was really the development of the mansion dog blood drama. I know you've been wronged all these years, this money is enough for you to improve your current life. Since you chose to leave the Zhang family, don't presume to come back or think of anything else. With that, Zhang Zhang's words became harsh. This is your only chance, take the money and disappear in front of us, or I will make you regret it. For this blood brother, in her heart it was completely inferior to Zhang Li, after all, Zhang Li had saved her life back then. She thought that the reason why Zhang Yi was willing to leave the Zhang family must be seeking something bigger. But when she looked at Zhang Yi again, Zhang Yi was actually sipping tea without slowing down. When Zhang Jiang saw Zhang Yi's unmoved appearance, her heart was even more filled with contempt. What, two million dollars can't even feed you? Then say a number, I'll satisfy you. What a white-eyed wolf that can't be fed. If it wasn't for the Zhang family, he would still be an orphan, and he should be grateful if the Zhang family was willing to take him back as a wild child. One hundred million dollars then. Zhang He faintly voiced out. One hundred million? Are you crazy? Zhang Zhang directly shot up, angrily glaring at Zhang He in front of her. She knew that Zhang He was greedy for the Zhang family's property. One hundred million dollars, he really dared to say it. Yeah, I'm just crazy, if you don't give me one hundred million dollars, I'll pester you guys every day, ha 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 ha. Seeing Zhang He's frowning and smiling look, Zhang Zhang knew that he had been tricked. Very well. Zhang He don't you regret it. After saying that, Zhang Jian was about to splash the water in her hand at Zhang He. However, Zhang He snatched it away, then directly splashed it back. Jiang. Jiang He. You you you. Zhang Jiang felt the water droplets continuously dripping from her cheeks, how did she not expect? Zhang He actually dared to splash her, knowing that when Zhang He saw her before, he didn't even dare to breathe for fear of upsetting her. But even so, Zhang Jian was still unwilling to care about him. Now Jiang He actually dared to splash her with water. You what you? Zhang He also didn't know why she had to give her heart for this kind of person before. If you're sick, go find a doctor, don't come to me, okay? Also, up until now, I haven't gone to your Zhang family even once, instead, it's your Zhang family that keeps harassing me. But whatever you think, don't bother me again, got it? After saying that, Zhang He then directly got up and left without giving Zhang Jiang another look. Coming to the street, as the night fell, the dim light of the surrounding street lamps also hit Zhang He's body. Thinking back on what happened today, Zhang He felt a bit unbelievable. He really didn't expect that the girl he saved back then was actually Lu Cici. However, it seems that he had also saved someone else, just that the time was a bit long and he couldn't remember too well. He only remembered that someone seemed to have called her little Zhang. Alas, take a step and see what happens. Zhang He only wanted to stay away from the Zhang family in his life, 
Whenever he saw the faces of those Jiang family members, he would remember the pain of being eroded by the flames. The next day, Jiang He went to the infirmary to help out as usual, except that Jiang He had an extra person by his side. Although Lu Cici always wanted to help Jiang He do something, she was stopped by Jiang He. Tisk, T escape, 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 why are you so cute? Jiang Xian somewhat helplessly pinched Lu Cici's little face. One day you'll be sold by Jiang He, and you'll still be counting the money for her, right? As soon as these words came out, Lu Cici hurriedly waved her hand to explain for Jiang He. Brother Jiang He won't do that. And Jiang He on the side was also a bit helpless. Dr. Jiang, do I look that much like a bad person? Right at this moment, the door to the infirmary was pushed open again. Ms. Jiang. Lu Yu, who had come once before, actually appeared here again. As soon as Lu Yu comes up, he hands over a rose once again, he believes that as long as he persists, he will definitely be able to impress Jiang Xian's heart. At that time, not only would he be able to hold on to a beautiful woman, but he would also be able to use the Jiang family behind Jiang Xian to bring the Lu family to the next level. Then the position of Lu family's head will definitely be his as well. Just as Lu Yu was immersed in his fantasies, Jiang Xian this time was directly throwing his flowers into the trash. Lu Yu, I didn't pick a fight with you before because I was looking at a classmate and didn't want to make things too awkward between you and I. But you're bothering me now, do you understand what I mean? Jiang Xian's face was also completely gloomy at this time, just because she was a kind person did not mean that she did not have a temper. When these words came out, Lu Yu's face was also green for a while, picking up the flowers in the trash can and leaving resentfully. Just when Jiang Xian thought that Lu Yu was already going to give up, Lu Yu's voice sounded again outside the door. Ms. Jiang, I will not give up. One day I will make you fall in love with me. When Jiang Xian rushes out, Lu Yu has already run without a trace, he is not stupid, isn't facing Jiang Xian at this time just looking for a scolding? Anyway, he has already found a job in the sea city, come the day, there will be a day when Jiang Xian will belong to him. Returning to the infirmary, Jiang Xian also involuntarily rubbed her eyebrows, she also did not expect that this Lu Yu would be so difficult to deal with. Sister Jiang, are you alright? Lu Cici hurriedly helped Jiang Xian to the bed and looked at her with a worried face. It's fine, I'm just pissed off. She was thinking about what to do to make this Lu Yu completely die. Don't think she doesn't know that Lu Yu is not only interested in her, but also the Jiang family behind her. Suddenly, as if Jiang Xian thought of something, she pulled Lu Cici's small hand, her eyes filled with pleading. Cici, can I borrow your little boyfriend for a while? Ha! Huh? X2. Even Jiang He, who was cleaning at the side, was startled, not to mention Lu Cici. What's it got to do with him? How could it even involve him? Cici don't misunderstand, I don't mean anything else to your little boyfriend. Looking at Lu Cici's eyes with a little skepticism, Jiang Xian hurriedly waved his hand and explained. Hearing this, Lu Cici was slightly relieved, in fact, she was really afraid that Jiang Xian would compete with her, in her eyes, Jiang Xian was not only so good looking, but also a healthy person, and she not only has a heart condition, but also uses her disease to coerce Jiang He. Thinking of this, Lu Cici's head lowered again. Perhaps, Jiang Xian is the right match for Jiang He. This sensitive-minded little girl started to ruminate again. Seeing Lu Cici lower her head, Jiang Xian became even more anxious, she really didn't mean anything else. Cici, my sister just wanted Jiang He to help me get rid of that Lu Yu, she really didn't mean anything else. Really? Really? Of course, I don't like my younger brother. This year, Jiang Xian is 24 years old, 6 years difference with Jiang He, she doesn't like to eat young grass, it will make her feel guilty. Then, then you ask brother Jiang He about it. Lu Cici looked at Jiang He not far away somewhat nervously, she was afraid that if she made a decision for Jiang He privately, Jiang He would hate her. Alas, this little girl is good at everything, but when facing Jiang He, she always has some inferiority complex, she feels that she is not a perfect person, and she is always afraid that Jiang He will hate her. Jiang He, however, just put away the broom and said to Lu Cici, These are fine for you to decide, I'll listen to you. Since the two of them were now a couple, these matters concerning other women should naturally be decided by the woman. Ah. Ah, uh, I. Lu Cici met Jiang Xian's pleading eyes again and had no choice but to nod her head and agree. He he he, thank you CC. Jiang Xian directly hugged Lu Cici and kissed her on her small face. After Jiang Xian said his plan, briefly, to the two of them. Lu Cici and Jiang he looked at each other and both nodded as well. Jiang Xian had helped him before, so Jiang he couldn't refuse. CC, if you're not sure, just follow along, it just so happens that there will be a lot of delicious food at the banquet so you'll be in charge of eating it then. Ah, this, is this good? Don't worry, your sister I still have this strength. Jiang Xian patted her chest and assured Lu Cici that this banquet was supposed to be a business party between the capital city and the sea city, and as the spokesperson of the Jiang family in the capital city, 
if she didn't even have the power to bring a few more people with her, it would really be a waste of time. But Jiang He forgot that since it was a business evening of the two cities, the Jiang family, as the business leaders of High City, would naturally attend. As the sky darkened a little, Jiang He sent Lu Cixi to the entrance of her neighborhood and was ready to turn her head and leave. But the next second, Jiang He felt a warm embrace. After a while, Lu Cixi reddened her little face and slowly let go of Jiang He. Yesterday I said, a date is it? Of course, how about this weekend? Jiang He smiled faintly, he naturally hadn't forgotten what Lu Cixi said yesterday. He understood that Lu Cixi wanted to experience the feeling of dating and didn't want to leave any regrets just, so he naturally had no reason to refuse. Aha! By brother Jiang He. Lu Cixi left with a smile, only in the moment she turned around, the tears still couldn't stop falling. How much she wanted, how much she wanted to just live like this forever, but that faintly aching heart, all the time no longer reminds her that her time is running out. Brother Jiang He, I'm sorry. Lu Cixi clenched her small hand in death, she couldn't let Jiang He see her crying side, she had to be strong, she had to be strong. Just arrived at the door of the orphanage, ready to open the door Jiang He saw a silhouette standing by the front door. Miss Jiang? Why are you here? Seeing that the person coming was Jiang Zi, Jiang He said that she really had a headache, how could the shadowy soul not come back? Little. Little Wa, can you invite sister in to have a seat? Jiang Zi looked a bit haggard, and the whole person also looked anxious, as if she was afraid that Jiang He would refuse. But it was indeed as she expected, Jiang He didn't hesitate for a second and directly refused. If there's anything, let's make it clear here. Who knows, Jiang Zi actually once again pulled out the puppet that was previously thrown away by Jiang He. Little Wa, go home with your sister, okay? I'll explain to mom and dad as well as big sister. Only now did she realize how excessively she had treated Jiang He before. Explain? How will you explain? Jiang He looked at Jiang Zi with interest this time. Explain that you only broke off your relationship on impulse. I believe mom and dad won't. But Jiang Zi was interrupted by Jiang He before she could finish her sentence. Then how are you going to explain to her that I stole Jiang Huang's jewelry? When these words came out, Jiang Zi was immediately choked. I. Jiang He looked at Jiang Zi's eyes and continued. Then I'm hanging out with unsavory people, how are you going to explain to them? I'm going to find someone to beat up Jiang Li, how are you going to explain to them? Say it, how will you explain? Jiang He wanted to see what Jiang Zi would say. Actually, you've always thought that I did all this, right? Jiang He didn't have any scruples and said it so plainly. They actually didn't even realize that these things, there was no evidence at all that Jiang He had done them. But just based on Jiang Li's words, he sentenced Jiang He to death. If he explains himself, it means that he has no remorse. Oh yes, before being burned to death that confinement because of what came, seems to be Jiang Li said he and the little sister early love to come, but also the other people's stomach got pregnant. That family is really ridiculous, do not know anything, on the conviction of him, only based on a photo of him and the little sister. But Jiang He didn't know that person at all, not to mention early love. And Jiang He died in that fire for no apparent reason. Also, it seems that Jiang Zi didn't even think of him as his real brother who was locked up at that time, right? Little Wa, just as my sister begged you, you can't just give in? Jiang Zi's eyes are full of blood, she doesn't understand, why Jiang He just won't give in to softness. As long as he was willing to give in, wouldn't he be able to return to the Jiang family and not have to live in this dilapidated orphanage anymore? Concede? Jiang He burst out laughing on the spot. Ha ha ha, Jiang Zi, have I convinced softness less? You guys said that I'm a wild child, that I don't know the rules, that I'm impersonal, what did I say? But isn't it all because of you? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been an orphan for 16 years. Now, it's all my fault? Jiang He had never complained about anything before, and in his eyes, affection was more important than his life. But what did he get in exchange for his softness? Eccentricity and stereotyping. Jiang mother Lu Ru talked about treating everyone equally, but what did she do? Afraid that her adopted son would think they didn't want him, she left Jiang He alone at home and they went out traveling together. What the fuck is this called treating everyone equally? I'm sorry. Jiang Zi froze and looked at the puppet in her hand, didn't say anything else, and her departing back was full of despondency. Watching Jiang Zi leave, Jiang He then breathed a sigh of relief. Tomorrow is the weekend, and Jiang He is also planning where to take Lu Cixi on a date. But he could be said to know nothing about dating or anything. Why don't we go ask little Ruoli? Lin Ruoli and Lu Cixi were about the same age, both high school students and both girls. When they said they would do it, they did it. And so, what happened next, everyone could probably guess. Jiang He had just returned to the orphanage and told Lin Ruori about it, when she was directly hit out by this little ninny. Roll na. With a bang, the door of the room was ruthlessly shut, Jiang He, who had touched a nose, stood in the doorway holding the pillow that had just been smashed out by Lin Ruori. What's wrong with this little ninny? Was she bullied at school? 
As soon as he thought of this, Zhang he was a little anxious and knocked on the door again. Ruri you open the door, is someone bullying you? But Jiang he didn't say okay. As soon as he said it Lin Ruri became even more angry. As soon as she pushed open the door of the room, Jiang he was startled. Looking at Lin Ruri's red eyes, Jiang he just wanted to say something, the pillow in his hand was snatched by this little nymph, and then with a bang, the door of the room was closed again. This time, no matter how Jiang he knocked on the door, Lin Ruori didn't pay attention to it anymore. Lin Ruori shrank in her own cot, tightly hugging the pillow in her hand, biting the corners of her mouth tightly, but tears still indisputably slipped from the corners of her eyes. Didn't we agree to be together all the time? Why, why did you leave her behind? She was just in elementary school before she was sent to the orphanage, and that was also the year that her parents both left because of a car accident. Those so-called relatives of her family, seeing that she was just a brat, had simply thrown her into the orphanage alone after hijacking her family's property. At that time, she still did not know anything. She only knew that everyone around her had changed, her mom and dad never showed up again, only the director of the orphanage. At that time, how frightened and uneasy she was. Those classmates also mocked and bullied her after they realized she was an orphan. The girls, jealous of her good looks, took up scissors and cut her head of hair to pieces. The malice between children is no less than that of adults, and even more so. I believe that everyone has experienced this. At that time, it was Zhang Yi who stood out, protected her in his arms, and cut those bad kids' hair in the same way. Those people even had to call the police to arrest him. But Zhang Yi was also a minor, not to mention that those people also started it, so the police could only criticize and educate him and then leave it at that. Since then, the whole school knows that Lin Ruoli is not an orphan, she has a super powerful brother, super powerful. At that time, she asked Zhang Yi, asking if the two of them could be together forever. After receiving an affirmative answer, how relieved she was. But not long ago, Jiang He left once. That was when Jiang He's family came to the door. It turned out that Jiang He had a family. But she didn't get angry, instead, she was happy for Jiang He, happy that he was finally not an orphan. But she was also sad for herself, sad that she lost her brother and she became an orphan again. When Jiang He came back again, she was so, so happy. But why, so soon, once again breaking the promise between them, once again leaving her alone? Liar, Jiang He you big liar. Lin Ruri buried her head into the pillow, tears from the corner of her eyes, quickly wetting the corner of the pillow. Why, why did you lie to me? Suddenly, Lin Ruoli looked like she thought of something, and also looked like she made some sort of determination. Then she stood up, casually wiped the tears from the corners of her eyes, organized her somewhat disheveled hair, went to the door of her room, and took a deep breath. She knew that Jiang He was right outside the door. Opening the door to her room again, Lin Ruoroi's eyes brought a smile to the corner of her eyes. Zhang Yi, why don't you take me along, how about I personally give you guidance? Ah, ah, this is good. No refusal. Okay, okay. Zhang Yi was also afraid of upsetting Lin Ruoli this little ninny again, but he and Lu Cici were dating and this little ninny was on the side, would it be a bit awkward? Don't worry, I'll just follow you guys and won't disturb you. Seemingly seeing Zhang Yi's difficulty, Lin Ruoli spoke out. She would like to see who that vixen was. Also, okay. But Zhang Yi still planned to tell Lu Cici about this, and if Lu Cici didn't want to, he would talk to this little nymph again. Hoomph. How many people have begged me for help, but I don't even bother to take care of them. After saying that, Lin Ruorue closed the door to the room once again. She pressed her body against the door of the room, her hands tightly gripping the pendant between her neck, which was the only relic left by her mother. When it was snatched away by the punks, it was also Jiang He who recovered it for her. Brother Jiang He, don't leave me. The bottom of the young girl's eyes flashed with a hint of despondency. The next day after school, Jiang He told Lu Cici about Lin Ruoli wanting to come alone. Lu Cici was very generous. It's okay, I don't care about that. The fact that Jiang He could tell her this meant that Jiang He had a clear conscience, and also respected her as a girlfriend. This also made Lu Cici somewhat happy. That's fine, go back and I'll talk to that little ninny, just tomorrow morning, okay? I'll wait for you at the entrance of your neighborhood. After simply determining the time and place, the two parted ways once again. When Zhang Yi returned to the orphanage, a silhouette rushed towards him, then raised his palm and slapped at Zhang Yi's face. What have you done to Xiao Zi? Zhang Huang's eyes were filled with resentment towards Zhang Yi. Since yesterday, Zhang Zi had locked herself in her room and refused to come out, and it had been a day and a night now. And she had come to Zhang Yi before, it must be because Zhang Yi had done something to her to make Zhang Zi become that way. But just at the moment when that slap was about to land on Zhang Yi's face, it was directly stopped by Zhang Yi, followed by a fierce push. And Zhang Huang did not expect Zhang Yi to fight back. Caught off guard, he also retreated back and almost tripped over a piece of gravel. I'm so damn convinced, you two have brain problems, right? How she is, it's none of my business. Zhang Yi was really going to be pissed off and laugh, 
this family still likes to accuse people so much. Who else did Xiao Zi see last night but you? I knew you are not well-intentioned. Zhang Huang gritted her teeth and looked at Zhang Yi in front of her. She knew before that Zhang Yi had a bad character and liked to steal things but she didn't say anything. She didn't expect that he would actually do it to his second sister now. Then tell me, what did I do to Zhang Zi? Zhang Yi understood that he couldn't fall into the self-incrimination trope. Before, when he was wrongly accused, he would desperately try to prove that he wasn't wrong, but what was the use? They had already decided the truth in their hearts, so how would they listen to Jiang Yi? I, say it or get the fuck out. After saying that, Jiang Yi was about to close the gate. And Jiang Huan was momentarily anxious and didn't know what to say because she didn't even know what Jiang Yi had actually done. Wait, you go back with me and explain clearly. Or else, I'll make this orphanage unopen, I'll do what I say. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Yi's hand that was just about to close the door slowed down by half a beat. Sure enough, what was supposed to come was still coming. Although he had anticipated that Zhang's family would threaten him with the orphanage, he didn't expect it to come true so soon. Zhang Yi, you know I have the power. Indeed, the Zhang family was definitely considered a behemoth in High City, and wanting to bring down an orphanage was a breeze. Zhang Yi naturally couldn't get the orphanage involved because of a moment's anger. What kind of man would that be? I didn't expect that the famous entrepreneur, Emma's. Zhang Huan would also threaten others with these dozen or so children from the orphanage, what a good job. I, I didn't. Zhang Huan also realized at this time that what she said herself was wrong, but since she had already said it, she couldn't take it back and could only go one way to the end. It's all because of you Zhang He. If you obediently go home with me and explain, will I make an issue out of the orphanage? Here we go again here we go again, it's all Jiang He's fault anyway, it has nothing to do with her. Behave? Wasn't I well behaved before? A word from you before, I knelt outside the door all night when it was pouring rain, wasn't I well behaved? My good big sister? That. That's also because you stole something, I want you to learn a lesson. John Huang couldn't care about anything else and grabbed John He and shoved him into the car. If it wasn't for you stealing, how could I punish you? All of this is your own fault. Then why are you so sure it was me who stole it? It was found under your bed, who else if not you? John He sat back and snorted coldly. Is it true that anything that appears under my bed is stolen by me? I, Zhang Huang was speechless for a while and could only drive in silence. That's right, you're not in your right mind to remember that I don't even have the key to your room. All said to this point, Zhang He also had to wave his hand, it doesn't matter, tube them how to think. It's your brain that. Suddenly, Zhang Huang remembered at this time that Zhang He really didn't have the key to her room. Since her room had some business documents of the Zhang family, it was all locked at all times. But in the entire Zhang family, it was only her who had the key. Just then, Zhang Huang suddenly remembered that Zhang Li seemed to have asked her for the key once. He said he helped his father to fetch an item, but it was just that one time, and he returned it to her after taking it. Impossible, how could Zhang Li? This matter, I will find out. Don't, don't ever look into it. By the time you find out anything, you'll have to bother me again. If I had known, I wouldn't have said this, when the time comes, I'll have to come and bother him again, and that won't annoy him to death. At this time, the Zhang family gate also gradually appeared in front of Zhang He. Looking at this familiar yet unfamiliar gate, Zhang He's head started to hurt again. Unexpectedly, there would be a day to come back. What exactly do you want me to come back for? Zhang He waved his hand, he didn't know what Zhang Huang had to ask him to come back for. Go in first and talk about it. There was no other way, Zhang He could only follow Zhang Huang. At this moment, Zhang Qin, who had learned that Zhang He was coming back, had already sat on the main seat early and waited for Zhang He. He knew that Zhang He would definitely come back, after all, the days outside, which is not as comfortable as in the Zhang family. This time, he wants to knock Zhang He properly, even if he is his own son, he can't have no big or small with him. He even threatened him with severing the relationship, it really went against the grain. You still know to come back. The first time he saw Zhang He, Zhang Qin slammed the table, intending to give Zhang He a head start. Then I'm leaving. Without the slightest hesitation, Zhang He turned his head and left. Since he wasn't welcome, what was the point of calling him back? What a sick brain. Old Qin. Lu Ru hurriedly got up and went forward to pull Jiang He, while glaring fiercely at Jiang Qin. Jiang Qin also didn't expect that Jiang He actually had to leave without the slightest hesitation, and could only cough awkwardly and sit down again. Little Wa, you have suffered during this period of time. Lu Ru's eyes were full of love, reaching out to touch Jiang Wa all head, but was directly avoided by Jiang Wa. That's not true, this period of time I've lived a very comfortable life so I don't need Aunt Lu to worry about it. This period of time can be said to be the most comfortable few days Zhang Yi has lived, do not need to face the endless humiliation and disregard of Zhang family members, every day just need to study. When these words came out, Zhang Qin on the side angrily got up, what Aunt Lu? That's your mother. 
Jiang Yi also rose without showing any weakness to confront Jiang Qin. Mother? Going to accompany an adopted son on his birthday and leaving his own son alone at home is called a mother? Going on a trip for fear that the adopted son will be too distracted and leave his own son behind once again is called a fucking mother. Just after Jiang Yi finished speaking, the scene fell into silence, and Jiang Qin was even more dumbfounded, because he knew that all of this was the truth. In fact, just now, Jiang Yi almost couldn't hold back to yell out the thing about being thrown in the sea of fire in his previous life as well. But it had to be said that after yelling it out, the mood did get a lot better. As for Lu Ru, she also froze in place, she didn't expect that before, in order to take care of Jiang Li's feelings, she actually did something so excessive to Jiang Yi. It turns out that she really can't be considered a mother in Jiang Yi's eyes. Is it little Wu Hu's back? Jiang Zi, who had been locking herself in her room, heard Jiang Yi's voice and came out of her room in a panic. At this moment, Jiang Zi's hair was disheveled and her eyes were covered in blood. It was obvious that this day and night had not been easy for Jiang Zi. Xiao, little Wu, you are willing to come back? Jiang Zi looked at Jiang Yi in front of her with great surprise, but Jiang Yi remained unflinching. It's your good big sister who threatened me with those dozen or so children from the orphanage, otherwise do you think I would have come? As soon as these words came out, the gazes of Jiang Qin, Jiang Zi, and Lu Ru all gathered on Jiang Huang. I, I'm just, I'm just too worried about second sister, what's wrong with me? With that, Jiang Huang then dropped his vision on Jiang Yi. If it wasn't for you refusing to come back, would I have said that? Oh, so it seems like it's still my fault? Look, isn't it his fault again? TSK, 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 just get used to it. Isn't it your fault? If it wasn't for you, why would Xiao Zi become like that? Xiao Zi, tell me, did Jiang Yi bully you? Jiang Huang stared viciously at Jiang Yi, she just wanted to embarrass Jiang Yi in front of so many people. Big sister, it has nothing to do with little Wu. Jiang Zi was a bit anxious and pulled Jiang Huang's arm, she was the one who went to Jiang Yi. And how could little Wu bully me? Jiang Huang also looked at his sister beside him with some huffing, how come she was still defending this Jiang Yi even at this time? Okay. Let's not talk about this beforehand, Jiang Yi, if you still want to go back to the Jiang family, then apologize to me one by one, I can forget about it, that agreement can also be voided, you remember, this is your last chance. Jiang Qin came in front of Jiang Yi, this was already the biggest concession he could make. Ha, huh? what the hell did you say? Jiang Yi was practically wondering if his ears had heard wrong. Neither past nor blame? A last chance? Then did he still have to be grateful to Jiang Qin, grateful that Jiang Qin could let him return to the Jiang family? Mister. Jiang, you're afraid you don't know, these days, it's always been your Jiang family harassing me, when did I say I wanted to return to the Jiang family? But Jiang Qin was as certain of something, directly coldly snorted. Kid you remember, this is your last chance. At that time, even if you cry and beg me, I won't let you step into the Jiang family again. Then I really thank you ha. Huh? Jiang Yi turned around and left, but was once again pulled back by Jiang Zi. Little Wu, let's say sister begs you, just apologize, is it bad to stay in the Jiang family? But she was mercilessly shrugged off by Jiang Yi. Is it necessary for me to stay in the Jiang family as a dog for you guys to feel at ease? Get lost. Jiang family's dog, he has already been a dog enough, this time, he wants to be a human being. Jiang Yi just went out the door, then he met Jiang Li who just came back from outside. At this time, Jiang Li's side is also followed by four or five friends, there are men and women, dressed very well. Seeing Jiang he actually walked out from Jiang family villa, Jiang Li was shocked inside. Because the Jiang family had never announced Jiang Yi's identity, none of the people who came had ever seen Jiang Yi. They actually greeted Jiang Yi one after another. It had to be said that this scene was more or less comical. Jiang Li, who is this? Someone was also somewhat curious and asked at Jiang Li. When these words came out, Jiang Li immediately broke out into a cold sweat, if these people knew that he was the fake young master, how would they look at him? But just as Jiang Li was about to speak, he was interrupted by Jiang Yi. Who am I? I'm his brother. Instantly, John Lee's heart directly cooled down, he didn't expect John He to actually say it directly. Previously, in order to not let this matter be exposed, he had been coaxing Jiang He, not letting Jiang He disclose the matter of him being the true young master to anyone, and it was also true that Jiang He had never exposed his identity. But why did Jiang He actually directly say it this time? Brother? Shali how come we haven't heard that you have a brother? With those skeptical gazes beside him gathering on him, Jiang Li couldn't help but have a few drops of cold sweat rising from the corners of his forehead. Just as he was thinking about how to explain, Jiang Yi spoke again. It's not pro, I'm the nanny's child. Looking at Jiang Li's nervous appearance, Jiang Yi felt very amused. What, so afraid of exposing his identity? Didn't he say before that he would return his identity to him? How come you're not talking now? In that case, Xiao Li, how come you've never told us about it? At these words, Jiang Li could only smile awkwardly. I, I forgot before. Ha <laughs> ha. 
then your brain is really bad, what did the doctor say? No problem, right? Zhang Yi went up and patted his shoulder, after all, after living with that family for so long, it's normal to have a bad brain. You guys go in first, I'll talk to Zhang Li. Seeing Zhang Yi give the word, several people also nodded and walked towards the door first. What? Afraid of your identity being revealed? Zhang Yi came up and tore his face off, he didn't care about Zhang Li's feelings. In his last life, he was deceived by this face of Zhang Li's, and he didn't realize until he was burned to death that the false accusations he had suffered over the years were all the work of this little brute. Jiang. Brother Jiang He, what are you saying? How could you think that? With that, Zhang Li's eyes turned red once again, as if tears would fall in the next second. Malagobi, if you dare to pretend again, I'll tell the truth now. Seeing that Zhang He didn't eat this, Zhang Li had no choice but to put away his pitiful face. Just then, as if Zhang Li saw something, he pulled Zhang He's hand and slapped it towards his face. Brother Zhang He, if you're willing to forgive me if you beat me up, then do it. Seeing this performance in front of him, Zhang He didn't even want to think that there should be someone coming behind him. Zhang He, what are you doing? Sure enough the next second, an angry shout came from behind Zhang He. Zhang 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 angrily came in front of Zhang He, protecting Zhang Li in front of him. Zhang He, you actually dare to make a move against Xiao Li. Zhang Li also stood out to speak at this time, her eyes still red. It had to be said that with Zhang Li's acting skills, there should be no problem getting a movie star. Sister Zhang Zhang, I don't blame brother Zhang Yi, I'm the one who made brother Zhang Yi unhappy, as long as brother Zhang Yi is willing to come back, how to beat me up. After saying that, she actually really fell two drops of tears, she also covered her slightly red cheeks in a fake manner, as if she was covering up Zhang Yi's crime. Zhang Yi, you don't want to go back to the Zhang family for the rest of your life. Our Jiang family can't tolerate someone as vicious as you. Looking at Jiang Jiang's indignant appearance, Jiang Yi waved his hand, then approached the two straight away. You two remember, the Jiang family is nothing but shit in my eyes. Even if you kneel down and beg me, I won't go back. Seeing Jiang Yi approaching step by step, Jiang Jiang was still about to say something when she saw Jiang Yi directly lifted her palm. You have to. With a loud snap, Jiang Yi's slap landed on the other side of Jiang Li's cheek. This slap directly dumbfounded Jiang Li. He never expected that Zhang Yi would actually dare to really hit him. Phew, nice touch, help you symmetize the two sides, no need to thank me. Since he wanted to wrongly accuse him, then he would help Zhang Li a little bit, how good is it to directly sit on his charges? Zhang Yi rubbed his swollen palms, the force is mutual, physics honestly does not deceive me. Looking at Zhang Zhang's shocked gaze, Zhang Yi was unconcerned. What? Shouldn't this be expected of you? After all, I'm so vicious? Zhang Yi. Ha, ah, I'll leave first, you can sue all you want. It's best to make me unable to enter your Jiang family's door for the rest of my life. After saying that, Jiang Yi left without looking back. I believe that this time, the Jiang family shouldn't bother him anymore. And Jiang Li's eyes at this moment seemed to be quenched with poison, staring at Jiang Yi's back. The next morning, Jiang Yi got up early to clean up, because today he promised to take Lu Cici on a date. Jiang Yi even went to bed at 10 o'clock last night, otherwise he usually studied until 1 in the morning, just want to keep a good state of mind to face Lu Cici, he didn't want to leave regrets for that little ninny. However, since Jiang Yi got up, Lin Ruoli that little girl has been keeping a distance and following behind him, so secretly watching him. Just like now, as soon as Jiang Yi turned around, he saw Lin Ruori lying by the doorframe, only revealing a small head. But as soon as Jiang Yi made a sound, she would immediately shrink back, and then stretch out again after a while. There was no way, Jiang Yi had to let this little ninny fool around. Looking at himself in the mirror, under the white shirt, his slightly thin body, white arms just exposed in the air, the lower body is clean and sharp jeans. How to say it, is too clean, if more strong some better. Zhang Yi was also thinking about whether or not to ask for advice from Zhang Yan, that muscle-bound man. When Zhang Yi came to the door of Lu Cici's neighborhood, he found that Lu Cici was waiting here early. Lu Cici was dressed in a light yellow dress, with a woven sun hat on her head and a pair of small white sandals under her feet. Moreover, Lu Cici very rarely wore light makeup. It should be known that Lu Cici never wore a plain face in school, but even so, she was still the goddess in the hearts of countless schoolboys. But this time, for the sake of her date with Jiang He, she even specially asked her mom for advice. How long have you been waiting? Didn't I say I'd call you when I arrived? No. Not long, just a little while. A little while? Really? Really? Jiang He looked at Lu Cici with some helplessness, this little nymph is good at everything, just too much for others. Right, that sister of mine. After saying that, Jiang He also reached out and pointed towards the back. Sure enough, Lu Cici looked behind Zhang Yi and saw Lin Ruri's small head by the corner not far away. In the next second, Lin Ruri shrunk her head back again. Darn it, it's still pretty to look at. Lin Ruri secretly stomped her feet and secretly compared herself to Lu Cici again. But she found that although she is not worse than Lu Cici, 
but the flat stadium in front of her chest is. Sure enough, arrogant are flat chest, anime honestly do not deceive me. Lu Cici looked at the lovely appearance of Lin Ruoli who once again stuck her head out not far away, she also couldn't help but cover her mouth and laugh lightly. It's okay, I think my sister is quite cute. Ah, uh, it's good that you think it's fine, then let's set off. Zhang He looked at Lin Ruoli's performance, his head was already full of black lines, why didn't he realize before that this little ninny had this kind of dishabag attribute? But last night, Lin Ruri did teach Jiang He quite a lot about the do's and don'ts of dating. Although Lin Ruri didn't have any practical experience either is all. It can be called, one dares to teach, one dares to learn. Jiang He took Lu Cici on the bus, along the way many people would involuntarily put their eyes on Lu Cici, after all, Lu Cici's killing power in this body, is still very big. There are also quite a few little girls who will quietly glance at Jiang He, and then quickly lower their heads to say something to their little sisters. Lu Cici looked at Jiang He beside her, she wanted to hold Jiang He's hand, but because of her shyness, she was hesitant to move, her nervous little face was slightly flushed. Jiang, Jiang, who knew that the next second, the driver made a sharp break, and Lu Cici was not sitting still, seeing that she was about to be thrown out. Be careful. Jiang He was quick, and pulled Lu Cici's small, slightly cold hand. It must be said that Lu Cici's small hand is delicate and soft, in this somewhat hot weather, it is like holding a piece of cool jade. Is it all right? Zhang He looked at Lu Cici's somewhat pale cheeks with some worry, the force of his palm, also because of nervousness and voluntarily increased a few points of force. I'm fine. Lu Cici hurriedly took two deep breaths, which calmed down the somewhat agitated heart. She did not want to ruin this date that she had been looking forward to for a long time because of her own reasons. Tell me if you're not feeling well, big deal, come back at another time, got it? Zhang He was afraid that this little ninny would hold out hard. Aha, uh -huh, I will. Lu Cici felt Jiang He's warmth in her hands, that pale little face, once again colored with a touch of redness. At the same time her heart felt very sweet. As for Lin Ruoli, who was on the seat not far away, her back teeth were about to be clenched as she watched the two of them clasping their hands together. But, damn it. Meanwhile, Zhang Huang was preparing for the party with the business giants in the capital city soon. Looking at the information in his hand about the Zhang family in the capital city, as long as he could get the cooperation with the Zhang family for this gala, then the top of the sea city would truly belong to the Jiang family. Jiang Xin? Looks like we need to prepare properly when the time comes. Jiang Huang rubbed her brow, she was a bit drained by Jiang He's affairs in the past few days, but she still had the confidence to take the cooperation with the Jiang family. Considering Lu Cici's body, Jiang He naturally couldn't take her to any dangerous places, and the previous proposal of climbing the mountain was also rejected by Jiang He. Then the zoo, is a good choice. If you can't, you can go to the road. But Lu Cici actually didn't care about this at all, as long as she could be with Jiang He, she was already happy. Hot. Go over there and rest under the shade for a while. Jiang He sensed that Lu Cici's breathing beside her was a little short of breath, and hurriedly found a place for Lu Cici to go and rest for a while. I'm fine. Behave, I'll go buy you something to drink. Seeing Jiang He's tough attitude, Lu Cici had no choice but to agree and sit on the bench under the shade of the tree, waiting for Jiang He to come back. Soon, Jiang He walked to the small store not far away, took out his cell phone, swept the code to ask for a bottle of vitamins and a bottle of mineral water, he drank mineral water on the line. Looking at the miserable balance in the cell phone, Jiang He can only sigh, it seems to be time to put the matter of the stall on the agenda. But that will also greatly cut Jiang He's study time. That's just it, big deal, I'll sleep at 2 in the future. Time is squeezed out, if not for Jiang He's good foundation, with this period of time wanting to keep up with the progress, I'm afraid it's a bit difficult. At this moment, Lu Cici was sitting on a bench, staring at Jiang He who was not far away, while Lin Ruoli who was not far away would also poke her head out from time to time, observing her. Yo, is the little girl alone? A small young man with a shaved head and earrings, with a big grin, sat directly beside Lu Cici. He saw from a long distance that there was a very pretty looking little girl sitting on the bench over here. Lu Cici frowned slightly and directly stood up, not taking care of him, turned around and walked towards Jiang He's direction. She didn't want to get entangled with this kind of person. Damn, I'm talking to you. The youngster directly blocked Lu Cici's path, he hadn't been ignored like this before. How about this, give me a contact information and I'll let you go, okay? As long as he could ask for contact information, he had ways to take down this pretty little girl, anyway, it was just harassment, this was a trick he had tried time and time again. You get out of the way. Lu Cici only felt her heart suddenly beating a bit rapidly, wanting to leave but was stopped by this youngster again. Little girl, look at you alone, why don't you go with brother, brother will take you to a good place. Seeing the little youth go up and pull Lu Cici's hand, even Lin Ruoli was about to pop out and give this little youth a punch. The little youth only felt a sharp pain coming from his ear. Aha! Quickly fucking let go of me! 
only to see Jiang He yanking this little youth's earrings to death, his body, which was a head taller than him, was even more like carrying a chicken. Apologize, don't make me say it a second time. Jiang He hadn't fought against this kind of people before in order to protect Lin Ruoli, and even more so, he hadn't fought a lot. Don't look at Jiang He's slim body, but after so many years of doing hard labor, his strength was not small. Right. I'm sorry, let go of me. The youngster really couldn't stand the pain and had no choice but to concede and apologize. But just in the next second when Jiang He let go of him, this little youth actually directly pulled out a spring-loaded knife from his waist. Mal Gobi, give me death. Only to see the cold glowing blade flash before Lu Cici's eyes, not far away Lin Ruoli's heartbeat also slowed down by half a beat. Be careful. Just in the nick of time, Jiang He dodged this blade with a side limit, but his arm was still half a beat slower because of the moment he was protecting Lu Cici. Then a cold light flashed in Jiang He's eyes, pulling the arm of that little youth, it was a twist. Only hearing a click, the youngster's agonizing groan resounded throughout the square, and the entire person also fell to the ground, constantly twisting his body in an attempt to ease the pain in his arm. At this time the roadside those who eat melon, see out of the knife, is also rushed to report 110. Seeing that the youngster still refused to throw away the knife in his hand, Jiang Yi didn't have the slightest hesitation and once again added a kick to the youngster's hand that was holding the knife. There was another ear-piercing click, the little youth's hand bone, it was estimated that it could not be saved. This was also Jiang Yi's experience from so many years of dealing with those delinquent youths, as long as the other party comes out with a knife, then there's no need to hold back, make sure to beat the other party until they can't resist. Brother Jiang He, blood. So much blood. Hearing Lu Cici's words, Jiang He then felt the warm feeling on his arm, as well as a puddle of blood on the ground. Lu Cici didn't hesitate, and directly tore the corner of her skirt as a simple bandage to stop the bleeding of Jiang He's arm. But what Jiang He didn't know was that Lu Cici had been afraid of blood since she was a child, and at this moment, Lu Cici's little face had gone horribly pale. Brother Jiang He, it's all my fault, I'm a calamity. Lu Cici couldn't hold back any longer, tears falling down in big drops. If it wasn't for her, how would the family be running around for her illness? If it wasn't for her, how would Jiang He have gotten hurt? Just at this moment, the sound of police siren and first aid came one after another. Jiang He and Lu Cici, together with the half-dead young man on the ground, were sent to the hospital together, and the police even followed behind the ambulance. When the process is finished, it is already evening, the setting sun hangs half in the air. However, the whole thing is monitored, plus there are many enthusiastic people to testify for Jiang He, even if the parents of the young man come over to make trouble, it is useless. Jiang He come over and sign, by the way, do you want to settle? The policeman pulled out a sheet and handed it to Jiang He, but seeing that both Jiang He and Lu Cici were still children, he couldn't help but remind out. Next time don't be so impulsive, that kind of scum, it's not worth pulling on your future, got it? That's a knife, what if it's not a cut to the arm? Ah, uh, we know. Jiang He also knew that he was the one who was impulsive, after all, he still had a Lu Cici with him. Is there still a settlement to be made? The other party's parents are willing to pay 20,000. At first, the parents of this youngster were very arrogant, thinking that their son, who had his arm twisted off by Jiang He and also stomped on three fingers, should be sent to jail. But when the police were in front of them and showed them the previous surveillance, they were instantly abashed, and when they heard that they still had to be sentenced, they were so scared that they directly knelt down to the police. But the police said, it all depends on whether Jiang He is willing, after all, Jiang He is the victim. So the parents of this young man hurriedly said that they were willing to pay, although their family was not rich, but they could only have this one son. CC, you decide. Jiang He left the decision to Lu Cici, in his eyes, Lu Cici was the victim, she should be the one to decide. I'll listen to you. Lu Cici stood by Jiang He's side and hugged Jiang He's arm tightly once again, she listened to Jiang He for everything. In fact, she was still blaming herself until now, blaming why she had to drag Jiang He on a date, if it wasn't for her, how could Jiang He get hurt? Let's settle then, but I need to talk to them. That young man should suffer enough, already broke four bones in his whole body he probably wouldn't dare to jump again for a long time. However, $20,000, was still too little. Yes, come with me. The policeman got up and was about to leave with Jiang He, Lu Cici still wanted to follow, but was stopped by Jiang He. Just wait for me here, okay? The next scene, it was better not to let Lu Cici see it. I, I know. Lu Cici wanted to say something else, but once she thought that she really couldn't help much by following her up, she had no choice but to agree. Jiang He also smiled, and then brought Lu Cici to the front desk beside a policewoman. Sister police officer, can you help look after her? She's not feeling too well. And when the policewoman's sister saw Lu Cici such a quiet little girl, she naturally would not refuse. Wait for me to come back. Only after instructing again, did Jiang He feel relieved to leave. The policewoman saw that Lu Cici was a bit formal, she also smiled and poured her a cup of warm water. 
At this time, Jiang Yi followed the previous police officer to the mediation room, and the parents of the young man were also waiting anxiously inside, afraid that Jiang Yi would not agree. Fortunately, Jiang Yi still came. However, in their eyes, Jiang Yi was just a little kid, $20,000 should be enough. It was our mistake, we are willing to pay. 100,000. Jiang Yi didn't wait for them to finish their sentence, and directly put forward his demand. 100,000. Why don't you go rob? When these words came out, the parents of the young youth were also shocked, 100,000 kai, this was not a small amount of money. He he, molesting a student plus intentional injury, how many years do you think you should be sentenced? Oh yeah, pulling out a knife in a public place to hurt others, threatening the public safety of society, should be able to add more. At that time, I'll find a media outlet and say that your son intentionally harmed a student, guess what the netizens will do? The moment these words came out, even the police officer on the side couldn't sit still. Ahem, it's better not to inform the media about this matter. After all, this kind of incident involving the safety of students once fermentation, they this police station will certainly be pushed into the limelight, and then come back to a big inspection, promotion and evaluation of excellence and so on, that is not to think about it. Who let this matter happened in their district? So, the police were also helping Jiang Yi to speak. There was no way, the parents of this youngster, also had no choice but to nod with difficulty. Good, then let's sign an agreement of understanding between both parties. Seeing that this matter was perfectly resolved, the police officers were relieved. Suddenly, after the little youth's parents left, Jiang Yi pulled a police officer to say something quietly. And this policeman, who happened to be the first sergeant of the institute, agreed on the spot with a smile. Thus, Lu Cixi, who was sitting beside the female police officer, saw Jiang Yi rushing towards her in the next second. Then Jiang Yi violently held Lu Cixi in his arms, that was running away. And behind him, more than a dozen policemen chased out. Stop kid. Don't run. In this scene, even the female police officer sitting at the front desk was confused. What's going on? Lu Cixi was even more nervous and curled up in Jiang Yi's arms, thinking in her heart if Jiang Yi had committed some crime. Should I help Jiang Yi find a place to hide first? Little girl, your thoughts are dangerous. Waiting until Jiang Yi ran out of the door, the little police buddy inside only stopped. Ha ha, this kid is a bit interesting. The old cop who was the first captain also found it very interesting. This kid actually asked them to help pretend to chase him. This was the first time he had seen it. The other police boys also said that they were pretended to buy Jiang Yi. Why don't they bring their girlfriends over to try next time too? Try and die. At that time, the big captain would let them know what it meant to fail at pretending and get hit in the face instead. Alas, being young is good, alright go back. Meanwhile, Jiang Yi was still holding Lu Cixi as he ran through the streets, walking against the off-duty crowd, not caring about other people's gazes. Jiang, brother Jiang He, why don't we just turn ourselves in? Lu Cixi thought it was because that youngster was killed by Jiang He that Jiang He, looking at the worried look of Lu Cixi in his arms, Jiang He put her down gently and said to her with a smile on his face, Exciting? Brother Jiang He, you lied to me. Lu Cixi then also realized that Jiang He was joking with her. I'm sorry, today's appointment was delayed, I just thought of bringing you to experience something different. Under the setting sun, Jiang He looked at Lu Cixi in front of her and said seriously, you don't have to feel guilty about me, since I promised you, I will do what a boyfriend should do, you can be pampered, you can be mad at me, you can treat me as a dumpster for confiding in me, got it? The reason why Jiang He did this was to tell Lu Cixi that he never blamed her for what happened before. At the same time, he also hoped that Lu Cixi would be able to be less formal in front of him, not having to think of him all the time, not having to be afraid of him getting angry for everything. Brother Jiang He. The corners of Lu Cixi's eyes flushed with a hint of tears, then she directly jumped into Jiang He's arms. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that you'll hate me, brother Jiang He. I'm really scared. Jiang He was also gently stroking Lu Cixi's hair, his eyes filled with tenderness. Of course he understood this feeling, that feeling of being afraid of losing, of being at risk, of being afraid that he would anger the other party. That feeling of being humble to the extreme, only to exchange for the attention of his family, only to be able to make his family, not hate him. Therefore, he didn't want Lu Cixi to become like him, that kind of feeling, even thinking about it, would make him feel pain. Don't worry, I won't. This was Jiang He's promise. Then, then can I make a request? Lu Cixi let go of Jiang He, after all, with so many people looking at her, she was still a bit shy. Of course. Now Jiang He is also considered a rich man, when the police call in the money payment in a few days, half of it will be left to Lu Cixi, and the remaining half will be used to pay back the $30,000 from the Jiang family, and he can still save $20,000, which can be used as the startup capital for his stall. I want to go to the sea to see the way the sun sets in the sea. But suddenly, Lucy C thought that the bus seemed to be stopping. It's not going to count, wait for. Only to see Jiang he took out his cell phone, then directly picked up Lucy C again, 
and ran wildly against the onslaught of passers-by. Can still catch up. Zhang He just counted, just in time to catch the last bus back. Even if it's too late, a taxi will do. In this way, the two of them squeezed onto the last bus to the bund in the eyes of other people who looked at them differently. But Lu Cici was still a little worried. Why don't we go back, in case? Get off the bus. Zhang He didn't give Lu Cici a chance to speak, directly pulling her small hand and running towards the bund. Jiang. Brother Jiang He. Lu Cici looked at Zhang He's back in front of her, her voice was full of choking. Catch up, I said. Zhang He once again held Lu Cici in his arms and began to desperately run wildly towards the bund. At this moment, Zhang He's waning body was getting longer and longer in the last rays of the setting sun. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Feeling Jiang He's heart that was beating madly because of the violent movement, Lu Cici couldn't stop the tears from falling from the corner of her eyes anymore. Catch up. Finally, at the moment when the sun was about to set in the last second, Jiang He finally hugged Lu Cici to the edge of the beach. And Jiang He was even more continuous consumption, and inadvertent, physical strength fell to his knees on the beach, but his hands are still dead Lu Cici protection. At this time the sea level, in the light of the setting sun, the sweeping waves are dyed gold. Everyone on the beach was attracted by this scene, it was so beautiful that people could not take their eyes off. But the sun will eventually set, with the last bit of light disappearing, the sea level also returned to its original appearance. At this moment, Lu Cici had already looked dumbfounded, and she didn't care when the sea breeze blew away her hair on her forehead. Thank you, brother Jiang Yi. The young girl's heartbeat, under the ripples of the sea breeze, seemed to magically synchronize with the teenager. Don't have to care about whether your body is healthy or not, and don't have to care about other people's gazes. Since the last date, Lu Cici was more natural when facing Jiang He and no longer worried all the time. However, after Lin Ruoli went back, she treated Jiang He as if she was a different person, no longer being that close to Jiang He, and keeping a distance from Jiang He no matter what. This also makes Jiang He think that Lin Ruoli is growing up to be like this, after all, aren't all brothers and sisters like this? When they love to pester when they're young, they grow up to be immensely disliked. When Zhang Yi finished cleaning up the infirmary, Zhang Xian pulled out a gray suit from the cabinet and handed it to Zhang Yi. CC, you'll follow me, Zhang Yi, are you okay with this? Zhang Yi looked at the suit in front of him, since Lu CC had already promised Zhang Xian to let him help out with whichever Lu Yu to attend whatever dinner party, he naturally wouldn't say anything. So when the three of them appeared at the dinner, they instantly attracted a large number of gazes. Zhang Yi is needless to say, wearing a suit. He also faded away the childish feeling that belongs only to high school students, after all, he is an adult at heart. On the contrary, it was Zhang Xian who turned out to be more eye-catching without the white coat. And at this moment, Zhang Huang was in the conference hall on the second floor, talking to Zhang Qin about something. We must take the cooperation with the Zhang family this time. As long as we take the cooperation with the Zhang family, in the entire high city, if my Zhang family is called second, who dares to be called first? Jiang Qin looked at the business plan in front of him ambitiously, this time was an opportunity for their Jiang family to take a leap forward, they absolutely could not miss it. Xiao Huang, do you know anything about that Jiang family's eldest daughter, Jiang Xian? After all, Jiang Xian was the main character of this banquet. The family group in the capital city wanted to enter the sea city, while the family group in the sea city wanted to rely on the power of the capital city to go to the next level. Both had the will to cooperate with each other, or else there wouldn't be this banquet today. But who would cooperate with whom, that would be a matter of opinion. The Zhang family's most desired partner was naturally the behemoth Zhang family of the capital city. There has been an understanding that a senior student from the medical university of Beijing city has recently come to a school in high city to work as a school doctor. School doctor? Which school? Zhang Qin was a bit surprised, a Beijing city Zhang family's eldest daughter, actually went to a school as a school nurse? School? Seems like it's the second middle school, Zhang Yi's school before. At the mention of the word Jiang He, both of them instantly fell silent. Dad, why don't we let Jiang He come back? Jiang Huang felt a little guilty when she remembered that she had threatened Jiang He with the orphanage before, and it was also true that she had decided that it was Jiang He's doing without investigating the matter of the stolen jewelry before. No matter what, Jiang He is also a member of the Jiang family, if outsiders know about this, it will not be good for the reputation of the Jiang family if it is spread out. But once Jiang Qin heard this, he was even more furious and clapped his hands. I gave him a chance before, but what about him? I said, as long as he doesn't apologize to everyone, he will never want to return to the Jiang family. Looking at Jiang Qin in front of her, Jiang Huang could only sigh. Because she knew that it was impossible for Jiang He to apologize. But how could Jiang Qin, as the head of the family, allow anyone to challenge his authority? At this moment, Jiang Xian was leading Jiang He and Lu Cixi to find a corner that was a bit more remote, she really didn't want to be disturbed by these people. The reason why she left the capital city and came to the sea city was because she wanted to have a few clean days. 
But this dinner party, it was the Jiang family who requested that she must attend and could not refuse, so she reluctantly agreed to do so. When she thought of that sister of hers, Jiang Bai, Jiang Xian felt a huge headache, paranoid, ruthless, crazy, and will do anything to achieve her goal. Although she had no intention of competing for the position of family head, it was better to stay away from it, lest she let Jiang Bai misunderstand. She was really not interested in the position of the family head, wasn't it good to be free? Why must she be tied down? But this time, for some reason, her family had asked her by name to come and represent the Jiang family to come out and make contact with the business families in High City. CC you try this, this is not bad either, and this. Looking at the piles of snack pastries in front of her, Lu CC sweated a little for a moment. Dr. Jung, it's better for CC to eat less. Oh right right right, I forgot, my fault my fault. Lu CC saw Jung Xian apologizing and hurriedly waved her hand nervously. I, I'm fine, it's okay to eat a little less. Suddenly, as if she thought of something, Jung Xian said to Lu CC. Like this, why don't you try a bite of each and give the rest to Jung He. Jiang He, you're okay with it, right? When these words came out, Lu Cixi's little face heated up rapidly. She tasted one bite and gave the rest to Jiang He, this this this, is this indirect kissing? These past few days, although they were boyfriend and girlfriend in name, the most intimate thing they had actually done was just holding hands. Just then, Jiang Huan, who was standing at the stairway of the second floor, seemed to have noticed the silhouette in the corner. The first thing she saw was the presence of Jiang Xian, the daughter of the Jiang family. But at a second glance, the man beside her, why did he look so familiar? When the man's side face turned towards her, her entire body froze in place. Jiang. Jiang He? At this moment, a familiar figure appeared in front of several people. That's right, the person who came was none other than Lu Yu who had been pestering Jiang Xian before. And Jiang Xian rubbed her eyebrows helplessly, sure enough, she knew this guy would definitely come. M.S. Jiang Xian, what a coincidence, this might be fate. Lu Yu still wants to make a deep speech but he is directly interrupted by Jiang Xian. Not a coincidence at all, also, this is my boyfriend. After saying that, Jiang Xian directly pulled Jiang He to her body, and also wrapped her arm around Jiang He's arm. S.H. What? This? How is this possible? M.S. Jiang don't joke. Lu Yu stammered, looking at how young Jiang He was beside him, reinforcing the idea in his heart. Joking? Little Wu Wu open your mouth. Only to see Jiang Xian pick up a piece of dim sum that had been bitten and hand deliver it to Jiang He's mouth. And this piece of dim sum that has been bitten, naturally, is what Lu Cici had bitten before, at this time, this little nymph's face is already red beyond words, even lowering her head and not daring to look at Jiang He again. Lu Yu looked at the side of the dim sum still stained with a little bit of wetness, suddenly his heart was like a knife, he could not believe what was happening in front of him. Jiang Xian, aren't you two as the gap between your ages isn't a bit too big? Li Yu looks at the two with a smile on his face, Jiang Yi looks at most 17 or 18 years old, while Jiang Xian is almost 24 years old. Oh, what do you care? I just like the tender ones. Saying that, he once again leans Jiang Yi towards his arms. This scene completely broke Lu Yu's whole defense. Good. Very good. Excuse me. After saying that, Lu Yu leaves without looking back. However, that ferocious look of gritting his teeth had already revealed his true thoughts. Since Jiang Xian, the Jiang family's daughter, she couldn't move, this damned little white boy, he still couldn't move? As for Jiang Xian, seeing Lu Yu leaving, she was completely relieved and also let go of Jiang Yi in a hurry, turning into Lu Cixi's embrace. Thank you CC. After saying that, she also gently kissed Lu Cixi's small face. No. It's okay. Watching the two people fooling around, Jiang Yi didn't care, since the matter had already been resolved, he was relieved, and in this way, he could also be considered to be worthy of the care that Jiang Xian had given him before. At this moment, Jiang Huang on the second floor stairway, after witnessing the whole process, he was even more shocked to the point of speechlessness. This this this, what's going on? Why would Jiang Yi know Jiang Xian and behave so intimately? And what was the meaning of those words just now? What just like tender? Because of the distance, that was the only thing Jiang Huang heard. Could it be that Jiang He has been adopted? Looking at Jiang He who was not far away, Jiang Huang only felt a wave of powerlessness if Jiang He and Jiang Xian were really in that kind of relationship, with Jiang He's attitude towards the Jiang family, coupled with the threat from last time, this time, I'm afraid that the cooperation would be much harder. With the passage of time, the dinner party also officially began, many people have come to find Jiang Xian, but they were all rejected by Jiang Xian for various reasons. After all, these small families in the sea city could not take her Jiang family's orders. In fact, in her heart, she already had two candidates. One was the oldest family in High City, the Lin family, and the other was the recently risen Jiang family. Or, to directly go it alone, without cooperating with any family, this was actually Jiang Xian's real idea, after all, only in this way, can she not be restricted by others. 
Right at this moment, Jiang Huan also walked over towards the few people. As for Jiang Yi, who was originally sitting on the side, he could not help but pat his head when he saw the visitor. How could he forget that Jiang family members would also attend this kind of dinner? So Jiang Yi got up and wanted to leave, he didn't want to have any contact with the Jiang family. Seeing Jiang Yi was about to leave, Lu Cixi also stood up, after all, she herself was just accompanying Jiang Yi. Shall he wait? Jiang Huang hurriedly called out to Jiang Yi. Ah, uh, you guys know each other? Jiang Xian was a bit surprised, how could Jiang Yi know Jiang Huang? After all, Jiang Huang was the hottest business wizard in the entire high city, so logically, how could Jiang Yi, a student, know such a character? Although the two had the same last name, Jiang Xian didn't associate them as a family. After all, Jiang Yi had fainted before because of low blood sugar and malnutrition, and she had also learned that Jiang Yi really had no money, and even lived in an orphanage, so the gap between the two was really too big. Seeing that Jiang Xian was silent, Jiang Yi had no choice but to turn back and say, Seen a few times, not familiar. These few words could be said to have deeply pierced Jiang Huang's heart. But what Jiang Yi said was the truth. Before when he was still in the Jiang family, Jiang Huang never treated him with love and care, wasn't it not familiar? Little Wa, go home with your sister, as long as you are willing to admit a mistake. When these words came out, Jiang Xian all looked at Jiang Yi with a shocked face, what the hell? Jiang Huang is Jiang Yi's sister? And Jiang Yi also heard something wrong, when did Jiang Huang become so nice? Suddenly, Jiang Yi glanced at Jiang Xian beside him, could it be? You don't have to be hypocritical, I won't interfere in your affairs, that's all. After saying that, Jiang Yi took Lu Cixi and left the dinner party. He had already roughly guessed that Jiang Xian's identity was not simple. Jiang Xian, however, did not choose to go out, instead, she looked at the polished woman in front of her with interest, but she was really out of place with Jiang Yi. You are Jiang Yi's sister? Jiang Xian's eyes narrowed slightly as she looked at Jiang Huang in front of her, and a dangerous luster flashed in her eyes. Alas, I am not afraid of Miss Jiang's joke. This younger brother of mine is a bit unintelligent. Since Jiang Yi had not said anything about her to Jiang Xian, wouldn't the opportunity come? Although Jiang Huang had some guilt towards Jiang Yi, it paled into insignificance compared to being able to work with the Jiang family. But what she didn't know was that Jiang Xian, as Jiang Yi's school nurse, how could she not know about Jiang Yi's situation, even if Jiang Yi never mentioned it, she could still make a guess. Oh, I would like to hear about it, please tell me more, Miss Jiang, I also want to know something about Jiang Yi. Jiang Xian showed a lot of interest, which also gave Jiang Huang even more of a feeling of being a must-have. As for the other families in Shanghai at the dinner party, after seeing the representative of the Jiang family and Jiang Xian actually chatting with each other, all of them had their hearts cooled down, it seemed that this time, the cooperation of the Jiang family in the capital city was already a nail in the coffin. The one who had the hardest time with this was naturally the Lin family, who was the oldest family in High City. But at this moment, they could only be anxious. I'm sorry Jiang Yi. This is all for the sake of the Jiang family. Jiang Huang said inwardly, then turned to Jiang Xian with a sad face. M.S. Jiang, this brother of mine, he has unclean hands and feet, also. Also what? Also stole my necklace, but I didn't blame him, I just want him to learn. Jiang Xian also showed a surprised expression at the side, seemingly shocked by this matter. How come? I didn't expect Jiang Yi Hee. This is all my fault for not educating him well, alas. How can I blame you for this M.S.? Jiang, Jiang Yi is actually this kind of person, too disappointing for me. After saying that, Jiang Xian's face was covered with a layer of anger, as if she was going to be furious in the next second. As I said ms. Jiang, he is not to blame for any of this. Suddenly, Jiang Huang's words changed. But Jiang Yi, no matter what, he shouldn't have severed his relationship with his family. This sentence was crucial because Jiang Huang knew that in case Jiang Yi was really being adopted by Jiang Xian, then even if Jiang Xian was stupid, she should have known about Jiang Yi's current situation. Then why did Jiang Yi break away from the Jiang family? Naturally, it was his own fault, and Jiang Xian must not be allowed to think that it was their Jiang family that treated Jiang Yi badly. What? Break off the relationship? Only then did Jiang Xian understand why Jiang Yi was living in the orphanage, why Jiang Yi couldn't even get a few hundred dollars, and even had to work for her to pay off her debts. That's right, the family just forgot to match him with a driver and he just... After saying that, Jiang Huang even lowered his head, with a look of a family scandal. At this time, Jiang Yi had already left with Lu Cixi, perhaps even he didn't expect that Jiang Huang would actually come to discredit him for the sake of cooperation with the Jiang family. This was a businessman, perhaps in Jiang Huang's eyes, he, Jiang Yi, was that kind of person. Prejudice is a big mountain that can't be crossed in a short time, even if it was Jiang Zi, it was only to make him go home and bow his head and apologize, as for driving away Jiang Li, that was not even a thought. In their eyes, to let him return to the Jiang family, is already a gift from the Jiang family. Suddenly, a Porsche passed by the two. 
When the people inside saw that the silhouette that had just flashed by was actually Jiang Yi, they also cursed their bad luck. That's right, the one sitting in the Porsche was none other than Zhang Jiang, Zhang Yi's third sister. However, she was in a good mood right now, because after her investigation, she found out that the little boy who had once saved her was near this area. She came to search in the middle of the night this time, despite the time, and although she knew that there was little hope, she still wanted to give it a try. Back then, she had gotten separated from her family due to playfulness, and when she came to a water's edge, she accidentally fell into the water. After struggling in vain, she fainted due to lack of oxygen. When she woke up again, she was already lying beside Zhang Li. At first, Zhang Li did say that he was saved alone, Zhang Jiang did believe until now, but then an opportunity, Zhang Jiang but found that Zhang Li seems to be simply cannot swim. So, under the Zhang Zhang's questioning, Zhang Li said that year is two people together to save her. But in fact, Zhang Li came to the water's edge that year, has been found to be saved on the shore of Zhang Jiang, and the boy who saved, only to leave him a figure will turn away. And Zhang Li is also content to accept Zhang Zhang's gratitude for so many years, until he was found not to swim, he also refused to tell the truth. Anyway, after so many years, it was impossible for Zhang Zhang to find that person. When Zhang Yi was walking back to the orphanage, he actually ran into Zhang Jiang again. Originally, Zhang Yi planned to pretend not to recognize him, but he was directly pulled by Zhang Jiang. Let go. Just don't let go. What can you do to me? Zhang Jiang was originally a violent temper. Naturally, it was impossible to obey Jiang Yi. Are you sick? Don't force me to do it. Zhang Yi was really speechless in the middle of the night. What kind of nerve did she have? I, I'm afraid of the dark. Seeing that Zhang Yi was angry, Zhang Zhang then told the truth. Who would have thought that the incomparable Miss Zhang Zhang was actually afraid of the dark? Oh, afraid of the dark? How? What's wrong? Is it embarrassing? This time, Zhang Yi shook his head instead. Since Zhang Zhang was afraid of the dark, why did he lock him up alone in a dark little black house in his last life? Zhang Yi remembered that it was Zhang Zhang who proposed to lock him up in the little black house to educate him, saying something like, let him learn a good lesson? I, bye bye you now. Zhang Yi took advantage of one of Zhang Zhang's inattentions and pulled his arm out, then turned around and ran. Help Zhang Jian? Don't be funny. Jiang He, you come back. Looking at Jiang He's back that was gradually moving away, Jiang Jiang's voice also brought a trace of choking. The key was that this side of the lot was still relatively remote, and there weren't even a few street lights. There was no way out, she could only turn on her cell phone searchlight, and step by step, she approached the place where she parked her car. At the dinner party, Jiang Xian was still chatting with Jiang Huang, nodding her head from time to time. Even Jiang Qin, who was not far away, was very satisfied with the performance of his eldest daughter. Jiang Qin, you really have a good daughter. The representative of the Lin family who came this time was naturally their family head, Lin Qing, just one of his sons, and both of his daughters were existences who only knew how to have fun, so naturally, they were no match for Jiang Huang. But there was nothing he could do about it. Jiang Qin naturally smiled and talked with Lin Qing, in his eyes, this asking for the sea market, is already a nail in the coffin, when the time comes, even if it is Lin Qing, the head of the Lin family, he will have to be a head lower than him. By the way MS. John, this is our Jiang group's plan, please also take a look. John Huang seized the opportunity and handed his proposal to Jiang Xian, she also thought that this cooperation was already a must. The crowd not far away, although they could not hear what they were talking about, saw Jiang Huang handing over the proposal and understood that the cooperation was already over. But just when Jiang Huang was full of confidence, Jiang Xian did not reach out to take it. What? What's wrong in this? Jiang Xian? Zhang Huang could not help but feel a bit flustered when he saw that Zhang Xian was hesitant to take it. Miss Zhang, why is the Zhang Yi in my eyes, different from the one you speak of? Zhang Xian's eyes changed, and her originally pleasant expression instantly darkened with clouds. When these words came out, Zhang Huang's hand that handed out the proposal also trembled slightly. Zhang Xian even got up directly and looked at Zhang Huang condescendingly. To be honest, her heart is very complicated now, she never thought that Zhang Yi's family, actually this look, no wonder Jiang Yi never mentioned it, this is how deeply he was hurt to be so. M.S. Jiang, you said Jiang Yi's hands and feet are not clean, steal your necklace right? Ah, ah, let's talk about this matter later. But Jiang Yi was willing to work as a handyman at my place for a month in order to pay back a few hundred dollars before, do you think, he would steal your necklace? Jiang Xian just looked straight at this so-called Jiang Yi's sister and said to herself, you said that he cut ties with his family because they didn't assign him a driver, right? But he would agree to come here to help me for an act of kindness from me, even if he knows that it would offend an existence he can't afford to mess with. Even if it's just a little bit of kindness, he's willing to pay back with everything he has. Do you still think now that Jiang Yi will cut ties with your Jiang family just because of a driver? 
Jiang Xian believed that even if the Jiang family was a little bit kind to Jiang He, Jiang He would definitely not go as far as severing his relationship. What Jiang Huang had said earlier, even she who had not spent much time with Jiang He was a little hard of hearing. I can see these things clearly as an outsider, let alone you guys as family members. MS. Jiang Huang, I see that between the two families, there is really no need for cooperation. After saying that, Jiang Xian then directly turned around and left, leaving behind only Jiang Huang whose face turned pale. Miss Jiang wait a moment. Jiang Huang didn't glance at the plan on the table this time, but just asked quietly. Jiang Yi how is he these days? Jiang Xian was a bit surprised, not expecting Jiang Huang to ask that. That's for you to ask yourself. Jiang Xian didn't answer positively because she didn't know how Jiang Yi's life was really like, but judging from his thin body, it shouldn't be very good. As for cooperation, in fact, in Jiang Xian's heart, there has long been an answer, the way of business, is in the weighing of pros and cons, there is a give and take between how to maximize profit. That is, go it alone. Do not cooperate with any family, so that the future development, will not be subject to others, is the beginning of some difficulties. The people at the dinner party, looking at Jiang Xian, who left without taking the proposal, were all talking and looking at Jiang Huan with a different look in their eyes. Jiang Qin even came directly to Jiang Huan and questioned loudly. What's going on? Why did MS? Jiang Xian leave? But this time, in the face of Jiang Qin's questioning, Jiang Huang just rubbed his brow. I'm a bit tired. I'll go back first. All she wanted to do now was to go back and investigate the truth of that year and whether Jiang he really stole her jewelry necklace back then. You come back. Looking at Jiang Huang's back as she left, even Jiang Qin's words failed to make her turn back. No one knew how Jiang Jiang went home that night, only that her legs and stomach were trembling when she got home. At this time, Jiang's home was actually a bit cold for a while. Jiang Zi locked herself in her room, saying that she was conceptualizing a painting, and except for dinner time, she would go downstairs, but other times she was nowhere to be seen. Jiang Huang even searched out the surveillance from a few years ago and began to search for the truth frame by frame. Perhaps in her heart, she also doesn't believe that what happened back then was Jiang Li framing Jiang He. Jiang 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 also runs outside from time to time, saying that he is going to look for someone, a go is a whole day, sometimes even on the program will be put off. Looking at the table with only Jiang Qin and Lu Ru left, Jiang Li's heart was filled with resentment towards Jiang He. Why, this family would change so much after he left. Jiang He what right does he have? The eldest sister who originally loved him, now actually proceeded to investigate the truth of that year. Good thing he had already bought through the previous nanny in advance, that section of surveillance had long been destroyed. There is also the second sister Jiang Zi, actually will give Jiang He for a broken puppet, all day to shut himself in the room, but also suspect him, this is how before will not happen. Thinking about it, Jiang Li didn't even realize that his hand had been pinched red with excessive force. What's wrong Xiao Li? Jiang mother Lu Ru is also see Jiang Li's not right, out of the blue asked. Nothing mom, I'm just thinking about brother Jiang He. After saying that, Jiang Li made a sad appearance and lowered her eyes. When Lu Ru saw Jiang Li's appearance, she was even more distressed and held him in her arms. She also knows, before is she sorry Jiang Yi, did not treat the two fairly, but now she knows wrong, as long as Jiang Yi is willing to come back, she absolutely will not be like that before. But why Jiang Yi just didn't want Jiang Li to stay in this family? It was all her fault before, it had nothing to do with Jiang Li. What are you thinking about him for? Jiang Qin slapped his chopsticks, as soon as he thought of Jiang Yi's tit-for-tat behavior with him at that time, he was furious, is there such a thing as talking to your father? Meanwhile, Jiang Huang, who was checking the surveillance upstairs, also found a hint of something wrong. Why is the surveillance missing for this period of time? If you didn't look carefully, you might not have realized that the surveillance during this period of time showed that it jumped from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock directly. Jiang Huang immediately went downstairs. Jiang Li looked at Jiang Huang, who was going downstairs, and was a bit confused for a while. But as soon as Jiang Huang opened his mouth, Jiang Li was instantly taken aback. Dad, who was in charge of the surveillance back then? Why is there a section missing? When these words came out, Jiang Li's face all changed slightly. He didn't expect that Jiang Huang had actually started investigating the truth of that year and had even found this suspicious section. However, Jiang Li quickly recovered again because he knew that even if Jiang Huang really found it, so what? Back then, he had gone to great lengths to wrongly accuse Jiang He. Not only did he bribe the nanny and change the surveillance, he also gave her a sum of money to go far away and never come back. He just didn't believe that the truth could still be unearthed this way. Surveillance? What are you looking at that for? Jiang Qin was a bit puzzled by this eldest daughter's behavior, but still said what happened back then. Leaving the job, right? I know. Jiang Huang's willow eyebrows were slightly frowned, it happened to be during the time of the accident that she left her job, could it be that it was really just a coincidence? Suddenly, Jiang Huang turned his words around and looked at Jiang Li who was at the side and asked. 
Xiao Li, do you still remember when you asked me for the key to my room? When these words came out, Jiang Li's heart was even more shocked, but immediately afterward, her eyes reddened and she looked at Jiang Huan with a watering look. Big sister, are you doubting me? No, I just. I said, as long as brother Jiang Yi comes back, I'm willing to leave this house. After saying that, Jiang Li directly stood up, leaving only a forlorn back. Xiao Li, I'm not. Enough. For the sake of that kid, look at what the house looks like now. What, do you have to force your brother away to do it? Jiang Qin simply can't stand to watch. What has this family become because of Jiang Yi alone? I should have known that I shouldn't have taken him back. A wild child is a wild child. No matter what, he can't change his bad habits. I don't mean that. I just want to know the truth of that year. Xiao Li, are you sure you didn't give the key to anyone back then? Jiang Li also didn't expect Jiang Huang to still pursue the question. He was even more flustered inside. This was a situation that never happened before. To know that before, as long as he pampered himself, no one would blame him, let alone force him to ask. Blame Jiang Yi. Why didn't he go and die back then? Why did he stay to scourge him? But Jiang Li still forced himself to say. I'm a bit uncomfortable. I'll go back to my room first. After saying that, Jiang Huang wanted to ask something afterward, but he was called by Jiang Qin once again. Jiang Huang. Back then, I was the one who told Xiao Li to go to your room to get the documents. What? You're skeptical even of me aren't you? Lu Ru also admonished Jiang Huang from the side. Your brother is not that kind of person. Looking at the two people in front of her, Jiang Huang could only sigh and turn around to go upstairs. She just didn't believe that Jiang Li was that kind of person to give the truth about this matter. She didn't believe that Jiang Li would do something to falsely accuse Jiang He. Maybe he accidentally gave the key to someone else before. Within a few days, Jiang He received a hit from the police, a whole hundred thousand dollars. But no matter what Jiang He said, Lu Cici was not willing to accept half of it, even Jiang He's transfer was returned by Lu Cici. Cici, your little boyfriend gave it to you just take it. Jiang Xian watched from the side as these two pushed back and forth, her head was spinning from watching. No way, brother Jiang He was injured to protect me, how can I accept these? Lu Cici firmly refused, not allowing Jiang He to refute. Let's do it this way then, this $50,000, it's quite your share, so it's always okay, right? As soon as Jiang He said this, Jiang Xian immediately showed interest. Shareholding? What shareholding? Bring me one. Ha! Huh? I'm just thinking of setting up a small stall to earn some money. Jiang He had guessed Jiang Xian's identity before, at least it was not below Jiang Huang, otherwise Jiang Huang would not have taken the initiative to come to her. What's wrong with setting up a stall? Plenty of people have made a fortune from stalls. Jiang Xian was very knowledgeable about this, although she was a medical student, her talent in business was not at all inferior to her genius sister, Jiang Bai. Uh, it can be, but it might. Oops don't bullshit, I'll offer a hundred. How about one hundred thousand? Worthy of being a rich woman, is the atmosphere. Originally, Jiang Xian wanted to offer a million, but thought that these are too large a number for a student, and if he is cheated, with Jiang Yi's character, he is afraid that he will have to sell himself to pay off his debts. One hundred thousand. Dr. Jiang aren't you afraid of losing your money? Jiang Yi was also a bit shocked for a moment, $100,000, say take it out, is this the strength of Jiang Xian? To be honest, Jiang Xian's pocket money for one day is about 100000 This is still just pocket money. It's fine, it's fine, if you lose money at that time, your CC will be mine. After saying that, Jiang Xian then once again close to Lu Cici's small face, after these days together, Jiang Xian also found that Lu Cici is really a good girl, she is also very happy to become a real bosom friend with Lu Cici. Jiang. M.S. Jiang what are you talking about? Yo. You're blushing. Perhaps Lu Cici hadn't even realized that her heart palpitations actually hadn't flared up even once in these days with Jiang He and Jiang Xian. Then it's settled, when the time comes, you take me there and I'll give you advice. Since it was a stall, naturally, a favorable location was needed. It also had to be chosen based on the goods being sold. Thus, the three of them traveled together to the walking street of the sea market not far away, and Lu Cici had also reported her safety with her family. In fact, Lu Cici's family is very agreeable to her in Jiang Yi's matter, since childhood, Lu Cici has been very obedient and understandable, and Jiang Yi once saved Lu Cici, coupled with Lu Cici's physical condition, so they feel that as long as Lu Cici is happy, it's good. But among them, how much helplessness? Right Jiang He, what are you selling? Jiang Xian is surrounded by an endless stream of pedestrians, most of them are small couples who come out to play, after all, this is surrounded by schools, and high city university city is not far away. To be honest, the business that can make money now, has long been done by others, and I'm not using this as my main business, so it's hard to compete with these old greaseballs. Listening to Jiang He's words, Jiang Xian also nodded, he didn't expect Jiang He, a fledgling kid, to actually have such a clear position of himself, completely unlike a rash youth. Suddenly, a figure quickly rushed towards Jiang He's several people. 
Get out of the way. Get out of the way. A young man with dyed yellow hair was about to run into Lu Cici. Zhang He dodged and pulled Lu Cici to his side. And with that, a young girl with a broom appeared in front of several people. The young girl has a clean and sharp ponytail, her cheeks are small and lovely, but the words in her mouth are, Damn it, someone else's old lady caught you. What to look at? Teenage girl fierce look, actually have a different flavor. Seeing the crowd dispersed, the young girl only then noticed the three people in front of her, and her face was filled with apologies. Sorry, I didn't scare you guys, right? Why don't I invite you guys to my store for a bowl of noodles? Zhang Yi just wanted to refuse, but the young girl had already pulled Lu Cici and Zhang Xian towards her store. Without a choice, Zhang Yi had no choice but to follow. The young girl's ramen store is located at the end of the night market, but even so, there shouldn't be no one right, after all, the whole night market, are people coming and going. Looking at the clean environment of the store, Zhang Xian was satisfied and nodded, if it wasn't clean, she wouldn't have said anything to sit down. You guys wait, it will be ready in a while. The young girl was still as thunderous as ever, and after settling the few people down, she headed to the back kitchen to get busy. Not long after, three bowls of beef ramen with bright soup and fresh flavor appeared in front of the few people. I'm really sorry, I almost bumped into you guys just now. After saying that, the young girl looked at the several people with an expectant face. Only, this ramen that looked flavorful on the outside was not the same thing when it entered her mouth. Did you not put salt in it? When Jiang He said this, several people all looked at each other, and the atmosphere was quite awkward for a while. Ahem, sorry sorry sorry, I forgot, I'll go change a bowl for you guys. The young girl picked up the bowl in front of the three people, and then rushed into the back kitchen once again, Jiang He couldn't stop her even if she wanted to. Jiang Xian got up and walked outside the store, nodded and turned back. The location isn't good, but it's definitely not bad either, so why is there no one there? Jiang Xian secretly pondered, while Jiang He naturally also saw some problems. According to reason, how could a chef forget to put in salt, unless the girl just now wasn't a professional? Suddenly, Jiang Xian asked Jiang He, what do you think of this place? Just then, three figures appeared in the store. Just when Jiang He thought it was other customers, the three were the ones who spoke out directly. Zhou Ruayun you come out. The moment these words came out, even if Jiang He and the others were stupid, they knew that the three people in front of them were here to find trouble. Just as Jiang He was about to quietly call the police, Zhou Ruoyun had already heard the commotion and came out from the back kitchen. And in her hand, she was carrying a brightly shining kitchen knife. I said, if you want money go find that gambling ghost. But it was obvious that it wasn't the first time for the trio, and they were completely unfazed by the kitchen knife in the young girl's hand. Chick, other than that, this store is under the name of that gambling ghost old man of yours, right? The burly man in the lead looked around, seemingly satisfied with this store. How about this, if you give me this store, this hundred thousand dollars will be settled. The moment these words came out, Joe Ruoyun's body began to tremble slightly. This store is my mother's. Not that gambler's. Seeing that Joe Ruoyun was about to storm out, Zhang Xian hurriedly stood up and shielded her behind him. A hundred thousand dollars and you want to take away this store, I think you're just being whimsical, right? Zhang Xian estimated the location of the store as well as the area, at the very least, at the very least, it has to be worth 800,000 upwards, even if it is in a hurry to get out, it can also be worth about 600,000. Who are you? What's it to you? The strong man looked at his own small plan was uncovered, is also some anxious eyes. Who am I? I'm the investor of this store. Zhang Xian waved her hand, her name was probably not recognized by these punks. $100,000 right, I'm out. Said Jiang Xian directly pulled out a card from her bag, this was originally prepared to give Jiang He, just used to help him invest. But this strong man saw that Jiang Xian was generous and so good at talking, he immediately changed his mind. It's not a hundred thousand. It's, it's one million. When these words came out, even the little brothers behind the strong man looked at each other in disbelief, it's one million nah. Even the strong man's forehead was in a cold sweat, he was actually panicking. But Jiang Xian just looked at the strong man in front of her with a disappointed face, originally she thought that the strong man would mention how much, but it turned out to be only 1 million. If Jiang He knew that Jiang Xian actually used the word only to refer to 1 million dollars, she would probably vomit blood. But Jiang Xian wasn't an ingrate, how much someone said was how much. Fuck you. Old lady will chop you up first. Zhou Ruoyun's eyes were red, these days, she had spent too much of her mind and soul to guard the only thing left behind by her mother in this family, all she wanted to do now was to fight this group of scum. Miss Zhou calm down. Zhang He and Lu Cici also rushed forward to stop Zhou Ruoyun, this would be more trouble than it's worth if Zhou Ruoyun really chopped these people up on impulse. Zhang Xian faced the punk's lion's share, his eyes gradually became cold and dangerous. Those who are familiar with Zhang Xian know that this is a sign of extreme danger for Zhang Xian. Do you know that the law does not recognize money owed by gambling in transactions? 
Zhang Xian was well aware of these legal regulations. You, what did you say? I, we don't understand, I only know that her old man owes money. Seeing the burly man say this, Zhang Xian naturally expected it, and she also knew that for this kind of person, the law didn't have much of a deterrent effect. So Zhang Xian continued, The thing you just extorted a million dollars from me has already been recorded by me, what? Want to hear it? And the burly man was anxious when he heard about the extortion. What do you mean, when did I extort? You, don't you spit blood. Seeing that the strong man still wanted to deny it, Zhang Xian also had no choice but to play the recording from earlier. Hearing the recording in Zhang Xian's cell phone, the burly man's face also changed slightly, but he still held his composure and said, with these few words? Seeing that the strong man was still unrepentant, Zhang Xian's eyes became even colder. Gambling, extortion, coercion of others, my ability you may not know, but sending you to squat for a few years is absolutely no problem, if you don't believe me you can try it. Thinking about this, Zhang Xian couldn't help but have a bit of a headache, if it really came to that, she would have to go back and face her crazy sister. If she knew that she came to get help from the Zhang family's legal team just for a million dollars, she would still have to laugh Zhang by to death. You you you. The strong man looked at the two little brothers behind him, and when he saw that both of them were also shaking their heads in horror, he also understood that this woman who could casually pull out a hundred thousand dollars was definitely not something they could face. Thus, the burly man took the bank card on the table with one hand, and left in a hurry with a harsh word. And Zhou Ruoyun see a few people finally left, also squatted on the ground and cried bitterly, even the kitchen knife was also thrown aside. Perhaps, that rigid and incomparable character is the protective color that belongs uniquely to a young girl. After a while, Zhou Ruoyun only slowed down, looking at the few people in front of her with an apologetic face. I, I don't have any money for now, can I make an IOU first? After saying that, Zhou Ruoyun also lowered her head, knowing that her current embarrassed appearance must be very ugly. It's Miss Zhou right? You don't need to pay back this money, and I can even invest another hundred thousand dollars. Zhang Xian's big hand was a hundred thousand dollars, giving Zhou Ruoyun a shock. I just want to take a stake. How about we split the profits of this store 37%? Ah, ah, Zhou Ruoyun was a bit confused and hurriedly explained to Jiang Xian. This young lady, I, just call me Jiang Xian. Miss Jiang, this store's profit for a year might not even be a hundred thousand. Zhou Ruoyun certainly wasn't afraid that Jiang Xian would covet anything from her. She just wanted to remind Jiang Xian that her investment might be bloodless. She couldn't afford to screw Jiang Xian over after she helped her so much just now. After all, 100,000 was not a small amount of money. Zhang Xian thought for a moment, but still left the decision to Zhang He. Zhang He, what do you think? To be honest, Zhang Xian was still very optimistic about this store. If she could make a little achievement, the profit would definitely not be small. Zhang He also pondered for a moment. Miss Zhou, why do you think you don't have any customers in your store? When these words came out, Zhou Ruoyun also had a small blush on her face. It's the gang that messed up. Before. And. Zhang He didn't give Zhou Ruoyun any face and directly pursued the question. There's also. I'm actually not very good at cooking noodles. As expected, Zhou Ruoyun still told the truth, as the store manager of the ramen store, she actually didn't know how to cook noodles. After all, she had only just graduated from college as well. At this moment, Zhou Ruoyun's cheeks were even more flushed because she was exposed by Zhang He, making people want to take a bite. Like this? I see. Zhang He thought slightly deeper for a moment, and finally decided to give it a try. Let's do it this way, I'll go to the back kitchen and give it a try. What do you mean? Jiang He could also cook noodles? Jiang Xian was also interested, Lu Cici was even looking at Jiang He with an expectant face, after all, in this little ninny's heart, Jiang He is the omnipotent existence. What are you looking at me like that for? Jiang He looked at the two women's expression, also with some crying and laughing, he this many years of orphan career, if not a little cooking is strange right? But in fact, cooking noodles the skill, or in the Jiang family when? It's just, don't mention it. As Jiang He finished, a bowl of somewhat different ramen appeared in front of Jiang Xian and Lu Cici. You guys can taste it first. Jiang He took out three small bowls and handed them in front of the three of them, signaling them to share a little bit each to taste. Looking at the soup base in front of them, which was actually white, the several women wondered for a moment what exactly Jiang He had put in it. But when they brought the noodle soup into their mouths, since their eyes all lit up for a split second. How is it? Isn't it very fresh? but the flavor is not strange and soft? Seeing the several women nodding their heads, Zhang He then put his heart down, it seemed that the craftsmanship was still not forgotten. In fact, there was nothing to hide, it was just that Zhang He had previously handed Zhang Huang such a steaming bowl of soup noodles every day when he worked until midnight in order to please him. In order to enter the kitchen in the middle of the night, he had to avoid other people and was even scolded by Zhang Qin several times for being a glutton for punishment. 
but it was just a bowl of noodles, and to be scolded for it was really funny. Thinking about it now, Zhang Yi felt how he was so cheap at that time, people didn't even care about him, he still had no choice but to stick it on. How did this happen? Zhou Ruoyan looked at Zhang Yi in front of her with some incredulity, she originally thought that Zhang Yi was just bragging, after all, Zhang Yi looked like he was just a high school student, he could cook the rice and then traveled, but she didn't expect Zhang Yi to be so powerful. What she didn't know was that Zhang Yi had been an orphan for 16 years. As the boss of the orphanage, he was never the one to take care of others. Ahem, secret, I'll teach you after a little while. Being defensive, this was Zhang Yi's experience after coming over for so many years. Then it's settled? Saying that, Zhang Xian wanted to pull out another hundred thousand dollars, but was stopped by Zhang Yi. Dr. Zhang, the previous hundred thousand has already been counted as an entry, I'll do the rest. Saying that, Zhang Yi directly transferred 20,000 to Zhou Ruoyan. This is the deposit, the remaining $50,000, I will give it to you next month, the profit is 37. But before Jiang Yi could finish his words, he was interrupted by Zhou Ruoyan. 50-50 is fine, I actually don't have anything to use. Zhou Ruoyan scratched her head, to be honest, she can only pull a noodle. That's fine, then it'll be dr. Zhang's 30%, and the remaining 20% I'll just split with CC. When these words came out, Zhang Xian also waved her hand. I'll take 10%, just split the rest between you two youngsters. She wasn't so bad as to squeeze Zhang Yi's money, she just wanted to have some fun. After all, there wasn't much use in giving her this amount of money. It couldn't be helped, the life of a rich woman was just so boring. As for the subsequent signing of the contract, Zhang Xian said that it was wrapped up in her, these were all things she was good at. Because it was already late, Zhang Yi first sent Lu Cixi to the door of her house, then sent Zhang Xian back to the school's dormitory. The reason why Jiang Xian stayed at the school was naturally because it was safe, it wasn't appropriate for her, a school nurse, to hire bodyguards, and she didn't want to make too much of a fuss. When Jiang Yi returned to the orphanage, it was around 12 o'clock, but he found a figure at the entrance. When Lin Ruri saw Jiang Yi come back, she also turned around and went back inside without saying a word to Jiang Yi. Ruri wait. Jiang Yi still wanted to talk to this little ninny, but it was as if this little ninny didn't hear him, and still didn't stay for a moment. Having no choice, Zhang Yi could only shake his head. What's going on with this little ninny lately? Could it be that the time for adolescent rebellion has arrived? Right, it should be a normal phenomenon that a sister who likes to stick to her brother when she was young will not care about her brother when she grows up, right? So Zhang Yi didn't put this matter on his mind, turned around and went back to the house to prepare to review until 2 o'clock before going to bed. After these days of hard work, Zhang Yi had already caught up with the progress, but if he wanted to squeeze back into the top 10 of the grade, there was still a small gap, which required Jiang Yi to work harder. And how to achieve a balance between study and work is also something that Jiang Yi needs to take seriously. At this time, Lin Ruoli, who returned to her room, also turned on her own lamp to start reviewing, but no matter what, she couldn't calm down to study. As long as she thought of the time when Jiang Yi was injured in order to protect Lu Cixi, her mind couldn't help but go crazy. Why, you have a family that loves you, why did you come to steal my Jiang Yi? In Lin Ruoli's eyes, Zhang Yi is just a dispensable existence for Lu Cixi, but Zhang Yi is her only. But on the contrary, this existence that is not lacking in love, has to come and snatch away everything from her, on what grounds? Thinking of this, the ballpoint pen in Lin Ruoli's hand was almost pinched off by her. And Lin Ruoli also made up her mind, when tomorrow will go to find Lu Cixi to talk, let her give Zhang Yi back to herself. Of course, for all this, Zhang Yi naturally knows nothing. At the same time, Zhang family's villa was still brightly lit. Zhang Qin looked at the video in front of her, as well as Auntie Zhao, the nanny who resigned before, who was brought back by Zhang Huang, and for a while, she did not know what to say. Are these all true? Rubbing his brow, how Zhang Qin would not think that Zhang Li actually really. Master, ma'am. These really have nothing to do with me ah. It's all because the young master ordered me to do it, I did it, and the young master also gave me a sum of money, so that I should never come back. Enough. Get out. Yes yes yes, I'll get out. Auntie Zhao also left in a hurry with her heart in her mouth, fearing that the anger would be on her head in the next second. Zhang Huan, who had investigated the truth, was also struck by lightning at this moment, she did not expect that her brother, who she had always loved, would actually do something like this. As soon as she thought of the fact that she actually punished Zhang Yi for kneeling in the rain all night before without knowing the truth, her figure was a bit unsteady. No wonder, no wonder Zhang Yi had become so cold towards her. And when she thought of how Jiang Yi would always hand her a bowl of steaming soup noodles when she was up all night before, her heart just hurt. It really hurt. It turned out that she really wasn't a good sister. Where is Jiang Li? Tell him to come back to see me. Young master Jiang Li he went to his classmate's house and won't be back until tomorrow. Butler Lu, who had been standing beside Jiang Qin, also answered out loud. Call. Tell him to get his ass back here. 
Just as Jiang Huang was about to call Jiang Li, he was stopped by Lu Ru. Huang Er, Shali might just be confused for a moment, he, he's just, Mom, what time is it, you are still favoring Jiang Li. Jiang Huang realized at this moment that this Jiang family, how deep their favoritism towards Jiang Li is and how deep their prejudice towards Jiang Yi is, Lu Ru was also quick to explain, I, I just don't want to make Xiao Li sad, he already doesn't have parents, if we then, Jiang Li doesn't have parents to pity, then Jiang Yi has parents but doesn't get the love he deserves, so it's not fucking pitiful? He deserves to be an orphan for 16 years? Okay, let's not mention this matter beforehand, first pick up Jiang Yi back. Zhang Qin kept rubbing his eyebrows and said out loud, Dad, how can this work? Zhang Huang was anxious when he heard this, this should at least be made clear in front of Zhang Li, how can he just let it go? Then what do you say? Our Zhang family just gave Xiao Li a bar mitzvah, if this matter spreads out, where will our Zhang family's face go? When these words came out, Zhang Huang also fell silent. Alas, first pick up little Wa, the rest of the matter, we'll talk about it later, got it? This was already the best Zhang Qin could come up with. There was no way out, Zhang Huang could only nod his head with a lost soul, then turned around and went back to his room. Until the next day when school was over in the afternoon, Zhang Yi first took a vacation from Zhang Xian before sending Lu Cici home early. He was going to make a trip to the Zhang family to return the $30,000 to them. From then on, he would completely sever ties with the Zhang family, and the two would not owe each other. Raising his head to look at the already somewhat dim sky, he let out a long breath of relief. Lu Cici had a delicate mind. Naturally she could see that Zhang Yi seemed different today, so she opened her mouth and asked, Brother Zhang Yi, can I accompany you? Seeing Lu Cixi, this little nymph concerned about his appearance, Zhang Yi also smiled. No, it's just some small things, you go back quickly. After saying that, Zhang Yi turned around and left. While Lu Cixi looked at Zhang Yi's departing back, she also understood that Zhang Yi was still treating her as a younger sister after all. From the beginning to the end, Zhang Yi was just pitying her. But this is good, Lu Cixi smiled brightly. This way when she dies, Zhang Yi will not be so sad. Suddenly, a figure jumped out from the bushes in the neighborhood. And when Lu Cixi took a look, she was a bit happy. Wasn't this the little sister who had been secretly following her and Zhang Yi before? You, what are you laughing at? Seeing Lu Cixi laughing at her, Lin Ruoli immediately looked at Lu Cixi angrily like a kitten that had exploded. It's fine, go upstairs with your sister and have a seat. Lu Cixi went up and gently ruffled the dead leaves from Lin Ruoli's hair. She could probably guess what this little ninny had come to see her for. Of course, all of this Jiang he didn't know at all, he was still on his way to the Jiang family's house, and in his bag was placed, exactly $30,000 in cash. As Jiang Yi came to the front door of Jiang's house, the first one who found Jiang Yi, happened to be Butler Lu. The moment Butler Lu saw Jiang Yi, he was also startled, then he hurriedly opened the gate for Jiang Yi to let him in. Young master you are finally back. Butler Lu looked at Jiang Yi with some excitement, could it be that the master had gone soft? He had always sympathized with Jiang Yi's encounter in the Jiang family before, although he couldn't speak for Jiang Yi in the open, he still took great care of Jiang Yi behind his back. How's Grandpa Lu doing these days? Jiang Yi also smiled and inquired, he wasn't someone who couldn't distinguish between right and wrong, he understood in his heart who treated him well. By the way, there's no need to call me young master, I've long since stopped being a member of Jiang's family. Young, young young master don't joke, master was just being impulsive at the time. Butler Lu was also quick to change the subject and brought Zhang Yi to the Zhang family villa hall. And at this time, Zhang Qin is also sitting in the living room looking at the newspaper. Compared to the cell phone, he still prefers this kind of paper news to be down to earth. As for whether it was pedantic or nostalgic, it was unknown. Master, the young master is back. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Qin also immediately put down the newspaper in his hand and stood up. Ahem, you're back, sit down first, I'll go call your mother and sister down. The moment he heard these words, Zhang Yi was also stunned, doubting if he had heard wrong, was this still Zhang Qin? Ah, uh, can. It was just the right time to make things clear in front of everyone, and save them from bothering him again. When Lu Ru heard that Zhang Yi came back, she immediately quickly stepped downstairs wanting to hold Zhang Yi in her arms. But Zhang Yi slightly dodged and still avoided it. Lu Ru was also slightly trembling, her eyes were red as she looked at her own biological son who was cold to her. Little Wa, let mommy hug you, okay? Lu Ru knew that she was the one who had apologized to Zhang Yi, she only wanted to make it up to Zhang Yi now. That won't be necessary, I'll leave after I finish things. Zhang Yi still said coldly. If it was in the past, if Lu Ru wanted to hug him, he would have been ecstatic. Do you know what a mother's embrace means to an orphan? However, before, when Zhang Yi first came home, Lu Ru withdrew her embrace towards Zhang Yi simply because she was afraid of Zhang Li's misunderstanding. Do you know how disappointed Zhang Yi was at that time? But the current Zhang He would no longer expect it. Why are you leaving? Little Wa, let's say mom begs you, will you stay? 
Even in the face of Lu Ru's pleading, Zhang He still didn't say anything. Then, then mom will take it as a promise from you, Xiaoyi, mom will go and prepare for it, and take you off for dinner at night. Lu Ru was obviously a little flustered, and hurriedly got up to go back to her room to clean up. Looking at Lu Ru's back, Zhang Yi shook his head, it's this time, why bother? And Zhang Zi who was exhibiting, after learning that Zhang Yi went home, also directly put down his paintings and directly left, only leaving the staff who were messed up in the wind. Staff, wait online, what if the exhibitors run away? Urgent. Of course, all this is not in Zhang Zi's consideration, anyway, there is nothing more important than Zhang Yi going home now. But what she didn't know was how much of a reaction she would get from this broken puppet. Meanwhile, Zhang Huang, who had been paralyzing himself with overtime work at the company, also got the message that Zhang Yi was coming home. He directly asked his secretary to prepare a car and he himself even went downstairs as fast as he could. This also scared the secretary enough, thought that Zhang Huang was going to attend some very important meeting, but is not dare to delay at all, the first time will be the car parked downstairs, waiting for Zhang Huang to arrive. At this moment, Lin Ruoli followed Lu Cici back home. Do you want to eat something? Lu Cici opened her mouth to Lin Ruoli and asked while sending a pair of pink slippers with rabbit ears to Lin Ruoli. Oomph, I don't eat. Lin Ruoli of course rejected it outright, how could she accept feeding from her love rival? However, a series of gurgling sounds coming from Lin Ruoli's stomach made her small face slightly red. Because she had been thinking about confronting Lu Cici, she hadn't been in the mood to eat in the morning or at noon, and had been hungry until now. Lu Cici also smiled and told her to sit down for a while while she went to cook something. There was no way around it, so Lin Ruoroi had no choice but to sit for a while first. Surveying Lu Cici's home, clean and bright is the first impression. In fact, Lu Cici is also considered a middle-class family, both parents are high-level intellectuals, if it is not for these years has been busy for Lu Cici's affairs, the current life can be another grade. Now Lu Cici's parents are not yet off work, which just gives the two girls a chance to talk alone. Within a short while, Lu Cici brought out two bowls of steaming, bubbling noodles. Ahem, sorry, I can't do the rest. Lu Cici was also a bit embarrassed, but she couldn't help it, she didn't have cooking skills like Zhang He's, so instant noodles was the only cuisine she wouldn't mess up. It's fine, I don't care about that. Lin Ruori was still very arrogant and picked up one of the bowls and ate it in small bites, she was indeed hungry. Looking at Lin Ruoli not disliking it, Lu Cici was also relieved. Then Lu Cici looked at Lin Ruoli and inquired in a small voice. Do you like brother Zhang He? Put. As soon as these words came out, Lin Ruori was also shocked and a small mouthful of bubble noodle soup sprayed out. Is it alright is it alright? Lu Cici hurriedly took out a tissue to wipe for Lin Ruoli, I should have known that I should have waited for this little girl to finish eating. Cough cough cough, I'll just do it myself. Lin Ruoli took the paper towel in Lu Cici's hand, which one let her love rival wipe her own mouth? You. How did you know that? To be honest, Lin Ruoli admitted that she had a moment of weakness just now, was it really that obvious how she was acting? I guessed, but now it seems that I was supposed to have guessed correctly. Lu Cici's face still had a gentle smile on it, she wasn't angry over this matter. No. That's right. I just like Zhang He. so what? Lin Ruori also directly exploded. She just likes Zhang He. what's wrong with that? Then why do you like Zhang He? Lu Cici looked at this, angry or so cute little girl in front of her with some curiosity. For a moment, Lin Ruoli also looked at Lu Cici with some incredulity, she originally thought that Lu Cici would directly flip out with her after hearing that she also likes Zhang He. But now she was actually asking her why she liked Zhang He. This. Was this something that should be done between love rivals? Or was it that Lu Cici didn't love Zhang He at all and just wanted to have fun with him? All the more reason not to back down. She would never allow a bad woman to play with Zhang He's feelings. Zhang He and I grew up together. Lu Cici repassed a cup of warm water in front of Lin Ruoli, she also wanted to know more about Zhang He's past and why this little girl liked Zhang He. Growing up together makes you like each other? These still made Lu Cici very curious ground, because of her body, she hadn't had any playmates since she was a child. Naturally she was envious of being able to have a companion since she was a child. Naturally not. Thus, Lin Ruori told Lu Cici all about how Zhang He had helped her seek justice and always protected her after her parents died and she became an orphan. Brother Zhang He once promised me that he would always guard me. As she said that, Lin Ruori's voice line also lowered, and her name to Zhang He also had an additional suffix of brother. But, he lied to me. He left me alone. Lin Ruori's eyes were filled with tears, which contained her indignation towards Zhang He, and even more so, her love for Zhang He. After hearing this, Lu Cici was also silent for a moment, she didn't expect that Zhang He was so important in the heart of this somewhat arrogant little girl. Perhaps, the relationship between the two was not too much to call it family. So, please, give brother Zhang He back to me okay? Lin Ruoli looked pleadingly at Lu Cici. She had never begged anyone before. 
Jiang Yi had taught her that when facing any situation, she should be self-reliant, no one else could be relied on, the only one who could be relied on was herself. Over the years, Lin Ruorue had always kept these words in her heart. So she has to fight for first place in everything, grades, sports, she is at the top of the list by virtue of her own efforts. But only this matter, she is really afraid. She is really afraid of losing Jiang Yi, losing this, she has long been regarded as a family boy. Lu Cici looked at the pitiful little look of the little girl in front of her, and just smiled slightly. Actually, I won't live long. When these words came out, Lin Ruoli somewhat couldn't believe her ears. You, what did you say? What can't live long? But Lu Cici seemed to have looked away from this matter. Actually, I've had a heart condition since I was a child, and the doctor said that I wouldn't live long past 20. Looking at Lin Ruoli shocked to the point of speechlessness, Lu Cici smiled again. Also, the reason why brother Jiang he is willing to be with me is because. Thus, Lu Cici told the little girl in front of her what happened between her and Jiang He, one by one. Lin Ruorue, who had finished listening, her entire body fell into a state of confusion. She, she actually pussyfooted around with a heart patient who wouldn't live long. When she thought of this, Lin Ruorue only felt incomparably ashamed. Right. I'm sorry. I didn't know you. But before Lin Ruoli could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Lu Cici. Aya, it's fine, I didn't care about this a long time ago. So. Then how did you and Jiang Yi meet? Do you really like Jiang Yi? Lin Ruoli knew that it was rude to ask Lu Cici like this, and she was sorry for Lu Cici, but she still wanted to know if Lu Cici was sincere about Jiang Yi, or not. It was about five years ago, when my parents took me to the hospital I was targeted by human traffickers. Lu Cici still felt a pang of fear when she mentioned what happened back then. They tricked me into going out with them while my parents were out. By the time I realized something was wrong, it was already too late. That horrifying sight, for a 13 or 14 year old little girl, how desperate it was. Hearing this, Lin Ruoli couldn't help but follow her heart for a moment. Just when I was about to be kidnapped by this group of traffickers, brother Jiang he appeared. Perhaps it was because he heard my cries for help, I only remember that at that time, brother Jiang he was holding a red slate in his hand, and he smashed it against the strong man who was leading the group. At that time, Jiang he's appearance was tantamount to a ray of hope shining into Lu Cici's soon to be dim world. I still remember the scene when brother Jiang he protected me behind him. The teenager's thin body of 13 or 14 years old might seem insignificant in front of that group of vicious human traffickers, and could even be called small. But in the eyes of Lu Cici at that time, Jiang He's body was like a mountain, untouchable. Don't look at that time Jiang He is small, he is not stupid at all. The first time by shouting to attract the attention of the passersby, he also knows that he is not the group of traffickers. And the group of traffickers see immediately exposed, also do not dare to stay more can only drive to escape. However, they were caught by the police at the intersection out of the city. That time, the police followed the trail and saved four or five abducted children who were about to be sold to the remote mountainous areas, so it can be said that Jiang He could not be faulted. If Jiang He hadn't appeared, I dare not think what would have happened, perhaps I would have died in an unknown mountainous area. Saying that, Lu Cici also lowered her head. But in the end, she still used her illness for her own selfish interests to get Jiang He to be with her. And only now did Lin Ruoli remember that there seemed to be another time when Jiang He just came back covered in injuries. At that time, Lin Ruoli asked him why he didn't stay there, maybe he could even get a C at all. But Jiang He said that he wasn't interested in those things. In hindsight, he's a fool. A big fool. But why, on the contrary, was he such a fool and so appealing to people? Lin Ruoli smiled to herself. Didn't she fall for this idiot as well? Since she had already understood almost everything, Lin Ruoli had no need to stay any longer. With that, Lin Ruoli got up and looked at Lu Cici in front of her and said, I'm sorry MS. Lu, I was too impulsive before. Lin Ruoli is such a love-hate person, asking a patient to surrender her love, she can't do it and can't do it. It's fine, I don't mean to blame you. Lu Cici was about to get up, but was pressed down by Lin Ruoli. Just the moment Lin Ruoli was about to leave, Lu Cici called out to her again. If I'm not there that day, brother Jiang he will be in your hands. Lu Cici understood that she would leave this world sooner or later, and she was happy to have such a good girl by Jiang Yi's side. When these words came out, Lin Ruoli's figure was also lurched. Don't you dare say that, you'll be fine. Looking at Lin Ruoli's anxious appearance, Lu Cici also couldn't help but cover her mouth and laugh lightly. She knew that this arrogant little girl had a nice mouth and a tofu heart. Aha, uh -huh, I know. Until she was out of the door of Lu Cici's neighborhood, Lin Ruoli was still in a bit of a trance. She actually wanted to treat a patient just now. Oops. I blame Jiang He. Why, Jiang He you have to be so inviting. Lin Ruoli squatted on the side of the road, her tears could no longer hold back the fall. At this time in the Jiang family, except for Jiang Mo who was attending school in the capital city and Jiang Jiang who refused to come back, 
Basically all of Zhang's family members had arrived, including Zhang Li. When Zhang Li knew that Zhang Yi had returned to the Zhang family, his heart was no less than a bolt from the blue. He knew how Zhang Yi could not give up the identity of the young master of the Zhang family so easily. This was something that many people couldn't even beg for. Zhang Yi, since you have to come and disturb my life, then don't blame me. Zhang Li secretly clenched his own fists, he would never allow someone to replace his position in the Zhang family. But it never occurred to him that this position, which originally belonged to Zhang He, was his to take over the nest for so many years. Since they are all here, then I will say one thing. But before Jiang He could finish his words, he was interrupted by Lu Ru. Little. Little Wa, just this once okay? If there's anything, let's wait until after dinner, okay? Looking at Lu Ru's pleading expression, Zhang He originally planned to ignore it, but thinking that if he didn't make things clear today, I'm afraid that Zhang family members would still come to bother him in the future, so he agreed. Good good good, Butler Lu quickly go prepare the car. Upon hearing this, Butler Lu also hurriedly trotted off to transfer the car. Only, in the dark, Jiang Li, was in an unseen place, looking at Jiang He with very spiteful eyes. Before, all these gazes should have fallen on him. Jiang He what gives him the right. When the crowd came to Buckingham Palace, the waiter at the door had been notified early and was waiting for Jiang family members. Coming to the box, Jiang He still casually found a corner and sat down, anyway, but it is just a meal, just like before, eat early, and leave early. Before, as long as it is out to eat, Zhang Yi is never sitting in the corner, Zhang Yi also understands that this is just Zhang Li's small means of sidelining him, but before Zhang Yi did not care much, now Zhang Yi will add will not care. Little will you come over, sit beside mom okay? Lu Ru saw Zhang Yi sitting in the corner, also hastily beckoned for Zhang Yi to come over. As for Zhang Li who was originally sitting beside Lu Ru, his smiling face also stiffened, but he still got up directly. Yes brother Zhang Yi, this seat was originally yours, I'll just sit over there. Just when Zhang Li was about to get red in the eyes in Hyun, Zhang Yi directly interrupted the spell casting, he really couldn't stand this crying look of Zhang Li. Alright, I'm fine here, I'm used to it. Seeing that Zhang Yi had no intention of getting up, Zhang Li only slightly relaxed, while his fists under the table clenched a little tighter. Xiao, little will you come over, you and little Li both sit next to mom okay? Lu Ru was still thinking that Zhang Yi and Zhang Li could coexist even now. Don't, don't ever, when the time comes to make your son Jiang Li angry, mustn't you kick me out on the spot? Jiang Yi just said lightly, before but whenever Jiang Li suffered a little bit of aggression, they would spread their anger on him, making Jiang Yi suspect that he is the adopted son. When these words came out, Lu Ru was also a bit anxious. Little Wa, Mom. How could Mom do that? Lu Ru still wanted to argue something, but was directly interrupted by Jiang Yi. Jiang Yi pulled out his ears. What? How could this happen? Do you want me to repeat your previous great achievements again? Zhang Yi couldn't care less, it was all in the past. Okay, sit down, don't you see your son Zhang Li's face is white? As soon as Zhang Li heard Zhang Yi point him out, he quickly changed his face, fearing that others would find out what was on his mind. But what Zhang Yi did not expect was that Zhang Zi and Zhang Huang actually took the initiative to get up and sit beside Zhang Yi. HM, what are you guys up to? Zhang Yi was a bit confused, even if Zhang Zi was fine. What's the point of Zhang Huang coming to join in the fun? Zhang Zi was the first to speak, her eyes lowered. Little Wa, it was my sister who was wrong before, will you forgive my sister? As he spoke, Zhang Li's face instantly turned iron blue, second sister actually admitted her mistake to Zhang Yi. How is this possible? Okay, okay, I forgive you, okay. Zhang Zi didn't expect Zhang Yi to actually agree, her eyes immediately became pleasantly surprised, and obediently pulled out that somewhat mutilated puppet from behind her. Then Little Wa, can you take this one? Okay, give it to me. Zhang Yi also accepted it directly, and casually put it into her bag. Seeing this, Zhang Zi even almost cried tears of joy, Zhang. Zhang Yi actually really forgave her. Little Wa, can you call me sister again? Looking at Zhang Zi's expectant expression, Zhang Yi however waved his hand. Let's talk about this later. Also, also, it's sister who's in a hurry. Jiang Zi also hastened to collect her emotions, just now it was indeed she was too anxious, Jiang Yi was willing to forgive her, it was already a great progress, not to mention that Jiang Yi had just accepted her puppet. What she didn't know is that Jiang Yi is now just treating her as a stranger, that puppet which used to be very important to Jiang Yi in her opinion, is now just an ordinary puppet to Jiang Yi. What's the point of forgiving a stranger? He doesn't care anyway, just forgive. Seeing this, Zhang Huang also wanted to say something to Jiang Yi, but he was directly interrupted by Jiang Yi. Let's eat first. Zhang Yi was also afraid that this group of people would make any more trouble, and then they would have to annoy him again, so he would finish eating early and return the money to the Zhang family early, and then the two would not owe each other. Seeing this scene, Lu Ru and Zhang Qin can't say anything else. Little Wa, how are you doing these days? 
Lu Ru still can't help but ask out loud, after all, she hasn't seen Jiang Yi again these days, and when she wanted to go to the school to look for Jiang Yi, she was also stopped by the security guard. And because she was kicked out by the principal last time, the security guard wouldn't allow her to enter the school no matter what Lu Ru said. It's good, sleep well, eat well, can't you see I've gained weight? These days, Jiang Yi can be said to be living a very comfortable life, no longer have to face the endless difficulties of the Jiang family, comfortable and good, right, if they do not come to disturb, it would be better. When these words came out, Lu Ru and Jiang Qin were also a bit embarrassed. It turns out that Jiang Yi left the Jiang family, but instead, she is living better, if this is spread out, where should their Jiang family's face go? All damn this time, still thinking about his Jiang family's face, also really do not know what to say good. Jiang Qin saw the situation also timely open his mouth to speak. Cough cough, Xiaoya, the second middle school, in the end, still can't compare to the sea high, in a few days I will arrange for you to go to the sea high. Jiang Qin just finished his words, then he heard a snap, it turned out to be Jiang Li accidentally exerted too much force and broke the chopsticks. No. Sorry, I'll go to the bathroom. After saying that, Jiang Li hurriedly left his seat. As for why Jiang Li's reaction was so big, naturally, it was because Hai Gao was the best high school in the entire high city, and he was a member of Hai Gao. To know, before Jiang Qin mentioned that he wanted Jiang Yi to transfer to Hai Gao, after all, the gap between the second middle school and Hai Gao is not a little bit of two points. Teacher resources, see high basically are hired senior special teachers, while the second middle school are ordinary teachers, just this point, is enough to open the gap. Educational resources, when the two middle schools are still using chalkboards, Heiko has been used on the electronic screen, and even have a unique school laboratory, even the cafeteria Heiko have three buildings. Of course, there is also a gap in the source of students, most of the students of the sea high, either rich or rich, or is a special recruitment of geniuses, about the elite education. Into the sea high, is equivalent to a foot into the door of a book, not to mention can also make contacts from all walks of life resources. Jiang Li washed his face, looked at himself in the mirror, actually began to live in fear, he was afraid that Jiang Yi would really take his place. Before Jiang Yi failed to enter the sea high, it is his ghost, he spread rumors, said Jiang Yi and off-campus not the three kinds of punks to deal with, but also wrongly accused Jiang Yi to find people to beat him. He spread rumors that Jiang Yi was hanging out with unsavory gangsters outside the school, and wrongly accused Jiang Yi of looking for someone to beat him up. Jiang Yi. I can make you fail to go once, I can make you fail to go to Haikou for the rest of your life. At the same time, Jiang Yi inside the box was refusing without hesitation. No need, second middle school is quite good. In fact, before Jiang Qin wanted to transfer him to another school, he didn't want to go, but he just didn't want to reject Jiang Qin and make Jiang Qin unhappy before reluctantly agreeing. Besides, the principal and teachers of the second high school are very good to him, and there is also a group of very cute classmates, why should he go to a high school where he is not familiar with? Whether you can get into a good college or not is up to you. It's all about whether you want to or not. No matter where you are, if you work hard, you will be rewarded. This was also Jiang He's attitude towards himself. He wouldn't be like Jiang Li, a parasite who only knew how to play hard to get and act pitiful. Disgusting. Jiang Qin also sighed. Little Wala, the gap between this second middle school and Hai Gao is not small, with your grades I'm afraid. Achievement? This doesn't need you to worry about. Jiang He just said lightly. But as soon as she heard that it was about Jiang He's college entrance exam, Lu Ru also couldn't help but speak out again. Little Wala, why don't you still listen to your dad, this grade is still very. In Lu Ru's impression, Jiang Yi's results seem to have always been at the bottom of the pile. Isn't it your good son Jiang Li who said that my grades are at the bottom? Jiang Yi saw through Lu Ru's mind at a glance, and he knew that it must be that kid Jiang Li who was up to no good. But this can't all be blamed on Jiang Li, which parents never care about their own son's grades. What others say is what? Never cared before, didn't even ask, now care, isn't it too late? Ha! Huh? Xiao Li He. Lu Ru was also dumbfounded for a while, she never seemed to know about Jiang Yi's grades from Jiang Li's mouth. My last simulation, the top 200 in the sea city, should not be worse than your son Jiang Li, right? Jiang Yi took a sip of water, he remembered that although Jiang Li's grades were good, but in the entire high city, it was only able to rank around 500. When these words came out, Jiang Qin was also shocked, how could this be possible? In fact, the gap between the second middle school and the sea high school is still very large, the city's full hundred basically all by the C high school round. Jiang Yi, as the top 20 in the second high school, only managed to squeeze into the top 200. And the top 10 of the second middle school, in order to squeeze into the top 100, or lean back position. Little we you're not lying to us, are you? As soon as these words came out, Jiang Qin also immediately realized that he had said something wrong. Only Jiang Yi still didn't care about this, he had long been accustomed to these prejudices. If Jiang Li had said that he had taken the top 200 exams in the entire high city, it was estimated that they would all be having a big feast right now. I don't mean. 
That. I know what you mean, isn't it that you think I'm lying? Zhang Yi said with a big grin. Just when the crowd thought that Zhang Yi was going to come up with some kind of evidence, Zhang Yi was spreading both his hands. Why do I want you guys to believe it? Zhang Yi said, who are you guys? Well acquainted? Why should I prove it to you guys? Seeing this, Zhang Zi was also quick to step forward to round up the situation. Since Xiaoyi doesn't want to go to High Gao, then it's fine, second middle school is not bad. Yeah, yeah, let's eat first. Up to this point, the original somewhat tense atmosphere only eased down again. Suddenly, a dull falling sound came from outside the door. The crowd also put down their chopsticks, Zhang Qin got up and opened the door to see that it was actually Zhang Li fainted at the door. Xiao Li. Lu Ru took a look at Zhang Li fainted, and even the corner of his forehead generated a large bruise because of the impact just now. Quick, quickly send to the hospital. Zhang Qin also hurriedly picked up Zhang Li on the ground and hurriedly ran towards the door. When Zhang Zi and Zhang Huang reacted, the people had already disappeared, leaving only the two of them and Zhang He. Alright, why don't you two hurry up and follow, or else you won't be able to see your dear brother Zhang Li for the last time in case he dies in a while. Zhang He still had that unconcerned look, he had long since stopped holding any expectations for this group of people. There was also Zhang Li, who had really hit himself hard enough, just now that bruise, it hurt Zhang He just thinking about it. But why was this necessary? Not wanting him to return to the Zhang family? But he had no intention of returning to the Zhang family, after eating and returning the money he would leave. Why bother playing such cheap little tricks? As for Zhang Zi and Zhang Huang, they were also ashamed, they didn't expect that Lu Ru and Zhang Qin would just leave Zhang He behind and leave. Little Wa, we. Zhang Huang still wanted to explain something, but was directly interrupted by Zhang He. You guys go first, it's okay for me to go back to your Zhang family villa and wait, right? The main reason was that his bag and the $30,000 he had to return to the Zhang family were still at the Zhang family villa. Upon hearing that Zhang he wanted to go back to the Zhang family, Zhang Zi and Zhang Huang also showed joyful faces. Then, then it's a deal, little way you must wait for your sister to come back. Until the two women left, Zhang he looked at their backs and sat in place for a long time. He still remembered that once in his previous life, they were finally willing to take him out for a trip under Zhang Li's kind request. At that time, he was really happy. He had never thought that he, who had been an orphan for 16 years, would have the opportunity to travel with his own family. Those three days could be said to be the happiest days since Zhang He came to the Zhang family. After all, it was a trip, and even though Zhang He was still not cared about, no one would scold him. Even, Lu Ru personally bought a bottle of drink for him. You heard right, is the district a bottle of drink, is because it is Lu Ru bought for him, he even half a day are not willing to drink a mouthful. When humble to the extreme, even just a bottle of drink, will let Jiang He regard it as treasure. It was not until later that Jiang He realized that Jiang Li's previous goodwill was just a means of teasing him. Similar to today's situation, Jiang Li still fainted. So, all of their gazes returned to Jiang Li's body again. When Jiang He returned to his senses, Jiang He was the only one left on the spot. Ha ha ha, the scenario reappeared belongs to yes. Jiang He suddenly laughed twice in a self-deprecating manner. He didn't even know how he went back at that time. He only knew that the staff of the scenic spot gave Zhang Qin Lu Ru's phone call all over the place, and none of them picked up. Simply because they were afraid of disturbing Zhang Li in the hospital room, they turned off all their phones, completely forgetting about Zhang He alone. In the end, it was the local police station that sent Zhang He back. Why do you think Zhang He didn't use his cell phone? His cell phone was still in their car at that time. Ridiculous or not? Zhang He is really ridiculous. Zhang He stayed for a moment. Finally got up and took a taxi back to Jiang family villa. No one knows what Jiang He is thinking at this moment. Maybe it's relief. Maybe it's relaxation. But most likely, it's probably, let go of it. Meanwhile, after Jiang Li was sent to the emergency room, Lu Ru then remembered Jiang He's existence. I'm going back to look for Xiao He. Instantly, Lu Ru's face turned white. She had previously resolved that she would treat the two fairly. How could she just leave Jiang He behind? Fortunately, Zhang Huang and Zhang Zi arrived in time. Hearing that Zhang He had gone back to the Zhang family first, Lu Ru was relieved. It's because I was in too much of a hurry just now. I will definitely make it up to Xiao He when I get back. At the same time, Lu Ru's heart also had a hint of happiness. Since Zhang He was willing to go back to the Zhang family, then it meant that Zhang He was willing to stay in the Zhang family, so that she could also better compensate Zhang He. Just this time, she may have to be disappointed. In fact, what Jiang He didn't know was that Lu Yu, who had been harassing Jiang Xian before, was in the next box to him. At this moment, Lu Yu was drinking with a red face and thick neck. He never thought that Jiang Xian would actually like a white boy, and said that she just likes tender ones. Drink, drink for me all. 
Lu Yu also had two little old brothers sitting beside him, even if the Lu family behind Lu Yu was far inferior to the Jiang family, but how to say, it was still a super rich second generation, having two little brothers in this sea city is simply too normal, but at this moment, these two little brothers also look at Lu Yu with some fear, this night, Lu Yu has already drunk 18 cans of 500 milliliters of green beer, and then drink on, they are afraid that Lu Yu will die suddenly, big brother, why don't you take a break first, let's eat some food first, the taller and thinner little brother, also hastily pulls Lu Yu's hand that is pouring wine into his mouth, to be honest, Lu Yu was indeed generous to them, these dishes, if it wasn't for Lu Yu, they probably wouldn't have bothered to come once in their lives, oh, I don't want it, why, why did you abandon me, when these words came out, the two little old men also looked at each other, no, a super rich second generation like Lu Yu, wouldn't be working as a licking dog, right, this is not prospering to be ah, the two brothers looked at each other and also nodded, big brother, can you talk to our brother and two, our two brothers also want to learn and study, seeing that the two little old brothers took the initiative to ask him, and that he was now in a drunken state, he naturally knew everything, she, she actually hooked up with a little white boy who was six years younger than her, what point of labor is not better than that little white boy, when these words came out, the somewhat slightly chubby little old brother was also shocked, what do you mean, the old cow eats young grass, big brother, is it possible that they are just acting you, unexpectedly, this thin and tall little old brother, actually said it in one word, impossible, absolutely impossible, Jiang Xin, she has a cleanliness fetish, how could she possibly tolerate others eating her leftovers, but what Lu Yu didn't know was that at that time, the piece of dim sum that Jiang Xian personally handed to Jiang he was bitten by Lu Cici. Seeing their big brother starting to slam dunk again, the two little old brothers really had no choice but to drag Lu Yu out first. What for? Let go of me. I still have to drink. Woo woo. All the way to the edge of the flyover. Being blown by the somewhat cool evening breeze, Lu Yu only then sobered up a bit. Big brother. We can't let that kid continue to be so arrogant. We have to think of a way. As soon as these words came out. Lu Yu also climbed up from the ground and got up shakily. Right. Must give that kid a good look. Fucking actually dare to steal a woman from me. Tired of living. Seeing Lu Yu regain his fighting spirit, the two little old brothers were relieved. Big brother. Do you think that kid? Is it possible that he is still a student? According to the deduction of the tall and thin little old brother, Jiang He was most likely a school student. And most likely also a high school student. Student? Lu Yu carefully recalled the scene at that time. Suddenly, Lu Yu looked like he thought of something for a split second. I remember. He is a student from the Jiang Xin school. I've seen him before. With Lu Yu's shouting, it also caused sideways glances from passers-by. But he naturally didn't care about that right now. He remembered that when he went to the school infirmary to look for Jiang Xin at that time, Jiang He was right beside her. No wonder Jiang Xin kept rejecting him. So it turned out that she had already taken up with someone else. It turns out that he is a clown. Woo woo, big brother cheer up ah, I've thought of a way. When these words came out, Lu Yu was also instantly energized. What way? Quickly say it. Seeing Lu Yu's excited demeanor, the tall and thin little old man also slowly said his plan. Big brother you think, since Miss Jiang Xian is the school school nurse and that kid is a student of the school, do you think, the school will allow this relationship to exist? Yeah, how could the school possibly agree to them being together? When Lu Yu heard that, he became even more excited, why didn't he think of that, and the tall and thin little old man continues, let's report it to the school first, they will definitely not be able to withstand the pressure of the school to separate, and at that time, once Miss Jiang Xian is sad, won't your chance come, big brother, it had to be said that this skinny tall little old brother, was really a talent, but, I've been chasing after Jiang Xian for so long without success, although Lu Yu is shameless enough and patient enough, he really didn't know how to please Jiang Xian ah, big brother have you ever heard of a hero saving a beauty, since ancient times, beauty loves heroes, at that time, Da Zhuang and I will pretend to be gangsters to bully ms, Jiang Xian, big brother, you will then appear to save ms, Jiang Xian, won't this matter be accomplished, after listening to the tall and skinny little old brother's explanation, Lu Yu gets even more excited, good good, when the time comes to succeed, the rewards will not be lacking for you guys. With these words, the two little old brothers are also overjoyed. Now then, ha, huh? Lu Yu directly calls his contacts in High City and asks him to help find out the phone number of the principal of Jiang Xian school. 
Looking at the number in his cell phone, Lu Yu does not hesitate to call it. Hello? Is it the principal of the second middle school? I want to report. When Jiang Yi returned to the Jiang family villa, Butler Lu was also waiting at the door early. But seeing Jiang Yi returning alone in a taxi, he was also a bit puzzled. Young master, why did you come back alone? Where is the master and madam? Butler Lu now thought that Jiang Yi would stay in the Jiang family this time. Is accompanying their good son Jiang Li in the hospital? Jiang Yi also said with full concern. When these words came out, Butler Lu was also shocked. Today was the day that young master Jiang Yi was coming home. No matter what, he should have left someone to accompany young master Jiang Yi. Then little young master, wait a moment, I'll go and clean up the room with you. But Butler Lu was just about to turn around. But he was pulled back by Jiang Yi. Grandpa Lu, don't bother, I won't stay here. Jiang Yi shook his head. He had long since stopped being the young master of the Jiang family. Young master, both of them were silent for a moment. Or Jiang Yi broke the calm first. Take me in first, I'll wait for them to come back and make some things clear. When she arrived at the Jiang family villa, the shift-changing nanny, Auntie Zhang, happened to be tidying up her room. The moment she saw Jiang he was also surprised and happy. Young, young master, you, you're back? Jiang he looked at Auntie Zhang, the nanny who had often sent him some small snacks before. And for a moment, his heart was also a little hard. Auntie Zhang, how have you been lately? This home, the ones who gave him warmth favored these people who were not familiar with him. They might not have much status, but their kindness was engraved in their bones. Good little young master. Little young master this time back. Will he still leave? With these words, several people also fell into silence once again. At this time, Auntie Zhang also seemed to understand something. Little young master. I'm a working person, and I don't know any great principles, but I believe that the heavens will definitely bless you for being such a good child. Little young master. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you Auntie Zhang. Zhang he nodded very solemnly. Thank you for nothing. Take these. They are what I've always left for little young master you before. Saying that, Auntie Zhang took out a small white plastic bag from her pocket, which was filled with some wedding candies or snacks like buns. Even though Zhang Qin had previously said that if she gave Zhang Yi any more snacks, she would quit. Zhang Yi didn't push back. Only her eyes reddened for a moment. Auntie Zhang, I want to go back to my room to see if it's okay? Jiang Yi didn't know why. She just wanted to take a look. That somewhat small room was exactly where he was burned to death in his previous life. The moment he opened the room, a sense of sourness rushed to his heart. Everything was the same as always. Butler Lu also pulled Auntie Zhang's sleeve, signaling to give Jiang Yi a little time for himself. It was still the same somewhat simple crib, and the desk still had those small objects on them. But what Jiang Yi didn't expect was that the potted plant that Jiang Huang had given him earlier was still so lush and green. Obviously someone was taking care of it. Could it be Jiang Huang? Jiang He shook his head. He did not care about these. Suddenly, Jiang He saw the photo frame on the table. The only photo inside the frame was a group photo that Butler Lu had taken for them with his cell phone when he returned to the Jiang family at that time. Originally was planning to go to the photo studio to have a serious family photo. But because of the fear of Jiang Li think too much, it was pushed again and again, and has been pushed until now. Jiang Yi gently wiped away the dust on the surface of the photo frame, and looked at himself in the photo frame back then, and couldn't help but smile slightly. Things are different. The Jiang Yi who coveted affection before died in the fire in the previous life long ago, taking out the photo inside, because it was taken by a cell phone. It was a little blurry. Jiang Yi gently tore off the edge of the photo, and then put the photo back. Looking at the family in the photo, Jiang Yi also nodded with satisfaction. Without him, this family should be living happily right? That way, they wouldn't come back to disturb his life. And from now on, they would be strangers without knowing each other. At this time, Zhang Yi pulled out the puppet that Zhang Zi had just returned to him. First, an arm was broken by Zhang Li, and then it was directly smashed by Zhang Yi. So even though Zhang Zi repaired it very carefully, it still couldn't hide the mottled cracks on the puppet's body. Why bother? Zhang Yi shook his head. He still remembered what Zhang Zi said to him at that time. Zhang Yi, What's gotten into you? Isn't it just a broken puppet? It's not like Jiang Li did it on purpose. Yeah, it's not like Jiang Li did it on purpose. He was just careless and liked it too much. Then why bother to give this puppet back to him now? Perhaps, the Jiang Yi before, did treat this puppet as a treasure. But now, Jiang Zi's previous words were right. It was just a broken puppet. Jiang Yi thought about it, but he still set the puppet upright on the table. Let's just leave you here. To stay with him, it's just a thought, it's better to put it here. 
With these potted plants and photo frames, since then, Jiang He has completely lost all thoughts of this Jiang family. Just don't know Jiang ZC after. We'll think how. Goodbye. Jiang He got up, took a last look, or gently closed the door of the room. It wasn't until the early hours of the morning that the family rushed back from the hospital, and Jiang He had been waiting for almost two hours or so. The first thing Lu Ru did when she got home was to try to go up and hug Jiang He, but it was still the same result, still being dodged away by Jiang He. I'm sorry Xiao He, just now it's because mom was in too much of a hurry that she forgot about you. Mom will clean up your room right now, okay? After saying that, Lu Ru is going to go upstairs to clean up the room. As for that nanny room, naturally she can't let Jiang He live in it anymore. No need. I'll leave in a while. When these words came out, Jiang Zi and Jiang Huan were also shocked and hurriedly went forward to pull Jiang He's hand. Little, little wa, didn't you say you'd go back to the Jiang family and wait for us? Why are you still leaving? Jiang He gently pulled his hand out of the two men's hands. Yeah, I just said I'd wait for you guys to come back. I didn't say I'd stay at the Jiang family, right? Lu Ru also looked at Jiang He with tears in her eyes. Xiao He, I know you still resent mom, but your brother He, it has nothing to do with Jiang Li. Jiang He waved his hand, caused now this kind of scene. Jiang Li's really credit, but if the Jiang family can be treated fairly Jiang He, Jiang He and how will come to this step today? Prejudice is the blade that kills Jiang He. At this time, Jiang Qin also stood out to speak. Little Wa, it was father who apologized to you before. As long as you are willing to come back, I will immediately announce to the outside world that you are the identity of our Jiang family's young master. Jiang Qin still thought that Jiang He left the Jiang family because of these false names. Mr. Jiang, don't you think that these are things that you should have done a long time ago? But what did the Jiang family do? Referring to him as a child of the nanny family. Was that so-called reputation of the Jiang family so important? Jiang He now wishes that he really is the nanny's child. Then all the pain in his previous life. Maybe it won't happen to him. Jiang He, don't give an inch. Jiang Qin couldn't hold back any longer and directly growled out at Jiang He. This Jiang He was actually still calling him Mr. Jiang. What? Does he really want to break away from this family? Old Jiang. Lu Ru also rushed forward to stop Jiang Qin who was about to explode. Look. It's clearly your fault. Now it makes it seem like I'm the sinner. Jiang He waved his hand. Even now, Jiang Qin still didn't recognize his mistake. What's wrong with me? Without the Jiang family, where would you brat be now? Jiang Qin was still angrily questioning Jiang He. Over the years, he had poured all of his heart and soul into the Jiang family. He would never allow anyone to destroy the reputation of the Jiang family. Not even himself. Is that so? Then how did I come through these 16 years? Jiang He also didn't budge at all. He had already backed down enough before, and now he didn't want to back down anymore. You, when these words came out, Jiang Qin also choked on his words instantly. In these 16 years, I have never relied on the Jiang family. Even when you guys picked me up this year, I still haven't relied on the Jiang family once. Jiang He faintly spoke about these years. He wasn't complaining for himself or complaining about anything. He was just telling the Jiang family that basically nothing was known about him being the young master of the Jiang family. It wouldn't cause any damage to the Jiang family if he left them. Shouldn't you all be happy that I'm leaving? Jiang he smiled to himself. Wasn't this the best outcome? Little Wu, you, what are you talking about? How can we be happy when you're gone? Lu Ru spoke with a trembling voice. What exactly did they do to Jiang he all these years to make Jiang he think so much of them? When I'm gone, won't your good son, your good brother Jiang Li, no longer have to worry that you'll drive him away? Xiao Li he's not. Lu Ru still wanted to say something, but was directly interrupted by Jiang He. I know. Jiang Li he is so kind. How could he worry about this? Right? Mom doesn't mean. This. For a while. Lu Ru didn't know what to say. Alright. Here's the $30,000 owed to you guys from before. Do you want to count it? When Jiang He pulled out $30,000 from his bag and put it in front of Jiang family members. The people also looked at each other and were silent for a while. Jiang Huan was even more shocked. Jiang He, where did you get all this money? Jiang Huan was afraid that Jiang He was really being adopted by that Jiang Xian. No way. She has to personally go to find Jiang Xian and ask for clarification. Jiang He He is still a student now. Jiang Xian how can she? Don't worry. Don't steal or rob. Clean as a whistle. After saying that, Jiang He was going to turn around and leave directly. But he was pulled by Jiang Zi. At this moment, Jiang Zi no longer had the arrogance from before, but looked at Jiang He with tearful eyes. Little Wu, didn't you say before that you forgave sister? Please don't go, okay? 
Looking at Jiang Zi's pitiful appearance, Jiang Yi still didn't have the intention to stay, but just silently pulled her hand out. Yes, M.S. Jiang I forgave you a long time ago, so please also M.S. Jiang, don't bother me anymore. At this point, Jiang Zi realized that Jiang Yi was now just treating her as a stranger. Jiang Yi will never call her sister again. When Jiang Yi left, the Jiang family fell into a long silence. Jiang Qi never dreamed that Jiang Yi actually really didn't care about the position of the Jiang family's young master. Xiao He, he will come back right? Lu Ru asked Jiang Qin beside her in a somewhat dazed manner. She actually already understood that Jiang Yi was determined to leave the Jiang family, but still wanted to paralyze herself from Jiang Qin's answer. Mom, Xiao He he really left. After Jiang Huang finished the sentence, he froze and went upstairs. This time, Jiang He would never call her sister sweetly again and would never serve her a steaming bowl of soup noodles when she stayed up late. Jiang Huan, who had returned to her room, squatted in the corner of her room, a tear falling from the corner of her eye. Why? Why don't you give Xiao He justice? Jiang Huan did not understand why Jiang Qin and Lu Ru were not willing to tell the truth about Jiang He being wrongly accused back then, just for the sake of the ridiculous reputation of the Jiang family? If they returned justice to Jiang He, would Jiang He, would he have stayed? But Jiang Huang knows that Jiang Yi has been hurt too deeply by the Jiang family. I'm sorry Shua, it's my sister who's sorry for you. I'm sorry. Jiang Huang buried his head deeply into his arms and cried silently. If Jiang Huang's appearance was seen by outsiders, it would be jaw-dropping. What kind of thing would make this thunderous businesswoman turn into this kind of appearance? Suddenly, Jiang Huang looked like he thought of something and his eyes became stern once again. Jiang Xin. If Jiang Xin really laid hands on Jiang Yi, even if he went out of his way, he would fight Jiang Xin. Before, she was still crazily denigrating Jiang He in front of Jiang Xin, but now she is going to find trouble with Jiang Xin for the sake of Jiang He. I really don't know what the hell she is thinking. Meanwhile, Jiang Zi was equally muddled. Why has it become like this now? Why in the world? Why? Why did Jiang He choose to leave without hesitation? Do you really not know? Jiang Zi suddenly seemed to think of something and ran madly towards the nanny room where Jiang Yi previously lived. Her heart at this time still holds a glimmer of hope. Hope is just she overthinks. Jiang Yi did not. However, the moment she pushed open the door of the room, the puppet was placed on the table. Looking at this puppet, Jiang Zi could no longer help but lose her voice and cry. Little Wa. As for everything that happened in the Jiang family, Jiang Yi was naturally unaware of it. Walking on the road back to the orphanage, Jiang Yi only felt that the whole person relaxed. This time, finally, there was no mutual debt with the Jiang family. The evening breeze brushed her face. The summer evening breeze was naturally very comfortable. Even if it was already early in the morning, in front of many barbecue stalls, it was still crowded. To be honest, Jiang Yi had really envied these people before. Free and spontaneous, not having to care about other people's opinions. In other words, were living for themselves. However, Jiang He now would also be living for himself. When Jiang He returned to the orphanage, a familiar figure still stood at the entrance. And when Jiang He saw that it was Lin Ruri, he thought that she would run away like before. But this time, Lin Ruri actually took the initiative to walk towards him. Suddenly, Lin Ruri took a quick step and rushed directly into Jiang He's arms. Jiang He was also stunned, feeling the warmth in his arms. He still smiled and touched this little nymph's head. What's going on here? Why did you refuse to pay attention to me before? As soon as these words came out, Lin Ruoli also fiercely twisted a hand on Jiang Yi's waist. Hey Gu, what are you doing? Humph, just want to bully you a bit, can't I? Lin Ruoli still had that arrogant little look, which also made Jiang Yi feel the feeling that the Lin Ruoli from before had returned. Only the next second, Lin Ruoli was directly crying out, Brother Jiang Yi, you're just a big idiot, a big fool, a big dumbass. The young girl put all of that ignorant feelings of adolescence on Jiang He's body. But why? Jiang He just couldn't feel it? Seeing Lin roar away crying, Jiang He also had his hands full trying to comfort. Why are you crying? Is it because who bullied you? Tell me. I'll go. It's you who bullied me. Lin Ruori said as she pointed at Jiang He. The pitiful little look with teardrops still hanging from the corners of her eyes was really heartbreaking. Ah, ah, how did I bully you? Jiang He touched his nose. He bullied this little ninny. Anyway, it's you. What do you care? Lin Ruri can't say that she likes Jiang He, but Jiang He has another girlfriend, right? She would never say that. Absolutely. To say, it should be Jiang He to say it first. Sure enough, since ancient times, arrogant and more defeated dogs, 
anime honestly doesn't deceive me. Okay, okay, I'm wrong. Okay, Missy. Hoomph, that's more like it. Lin Ruoli slightly this time. Just a little bit to forgive Jiang He. Following that, Lin Ruoli hugged Jiang He tightly again. This time, she was talking to Jiang He as a younger sister. Lu Cici is a good girl. You are not allowed to bully her. Do you hear me? After saying that, Lin Ruori let go of Jiang He and turned around to go back to her room. Jiang He looked at this little ninny's back and also smiled slightly. This might be, knife mouth and tofu heart? Early the next morning, Jiang He just arrived at school, was taken away by the principal at the school gate. Jiang He was naturally confused. Principal how come your old man has time to come to me? And the principal also glanced at Jiang He, he actually didn't quite believe what the person on the phone said before, so he still planned to try and test this kid Jiang He first. If Jiang He really had that seedling, it would be better to snuff it out as early as possible. What? I can't come over to see you? The principal leaned his hands behind his back with an air of calmness. You can't bully me for being young. Jiang He naturally didn't believe this statement from the principal. All right, come with me to the office. I've already asked your homeroom teacher for a leave of absence. Just in time to ask you why your grades have regressed quite a bit in this period of time. Jiang He's efforts, the principal naturally has always seen it in his eyes. But I don't know why. This year, Jiang He's grades have always been regressing. Although they've been gradually improving lately. But you have to know, Jiang He was previously in the top 10 of his grade, and was expected to impact the existence of Qingbei, the last joint exam, but stabilized in the top 20 of the grade. Before that it was even more exaggerated and even once fell to the grade 200 towards the back. Ahem. Okay then. There was no way out. Jiang He also had to follow the principal back to the office. Have a seat. I'll go make you some tea. The principal still wanted to get up, but was stopped by Jiang He. How can I let your old man do it himself? I'll do it. HM, why are you so active today? The principal was also a bit surprised, always feeling that this kid Jiang He seemed a bit different from before. But on second thought, this kid is so attentive. It can't be that he is really with school Dr. Jiang. Yes? Isn't this thinking of honoring you? This sentence Jiang he was sincere. After all, the principal really helped him a lot. But he had fallen behind in his grades before because of Jiang's family. So I'm sure the principal, his old man, was disappointed in him. But even so, when Lu Ru came to the school to look for him before, the principal still firmly believed in him and protected him. Count on you kid to still have some conscience. The principal looked at the teacup Jiang he handed over and also took a small sip. Eh? Is this kid making tea this good too? No. The principal instantly realized that something was wrong. What kind of tea did you brew? Just the tea in your cabinet. Jiang he also took a leisurely sip. Hmm. You don't say. It's really good. You you you. The principal instantly had a feeling that his blood was rising. This was the very best big red robe that his old comrade in arms had given him. He himself usually couldn't even touch it. And this kid actually put so much in at once. That's just it. Just drink my extreme great red robe. Just give me a good study and learn to be a human being. Got it? Jiang He naturally nodded. He understood that the principal was doing this for his own good. He would naturally study hard and strive to give this little old man a long face. But he was also thinking in his heart that this tea could be really good. When he was leaving, he would ask the principal for some more. The principal said, I'll give you my life too, right? Suddenly, the principal's next words caught Jiang He off guard. Jiang He, are you hooking up with DR? Jiang? Put. When these words came out, Jiang He directly sprayed a mouthful of tea. Cough cough cough, what did you say? Principal? Jiang He wiped off the tea around his mouth, unable to believe what he had just heard. You kid was given to me to gag. Honestly larger. These days you run to the infirmary every day after school to do what? In fact, it's not the principal he disagrees. It's just that it's taboo for students to fall in love with the school nurse. The person on the phone before said that if he didn't investigate clearly, he would report it to the education bureau. And he knew about Jiang Xian's background. It was so strong that it was scary. At that time, if it was really revealed, then the person who was expelled would definitely be Jiang He. Then Jiang He's future would be ruined. This is not a small matter. You honestly explain. Jiang He also slowed down at this time. Principal your old man misunderstood. The reason why I run to the infirmary every night is because I fainted before and I didn't have the money to pay DR. Jiang, that's why I chose to work for DR. Jiang to cover my debt. Then what's up with you and DR? Kong going in and out of the campus together? And what's up with you sending DR? Jiang back to school in the middle of the night one night? 
The principal was afraid that Zhang He and Zhang Xian had done everything they needed to do, so it would be really hard to explain at that time. Ha! Huh? Principal your old man really misunderstood, I slowly tell you. So, Zhang He took Zhang Xian to take him out for a dinner party before. Bah! The matter of attending the dinner party. All told to the principal. At that time, CC was also present. CC? The principal glanced at Zhang He, and Zhang He also instantly realized that he had missed the point and quickly corrected himself. That's classmate Lu CC. She's good friends with DR. Zhang. After hearing this, the principal was also silent for a moment. How about this? You go with me to find DR. Zhang and make it clear in person. Ha? Huh? I don't think that's necessary. Right? What? Don't dare? The principal was afraid that this kid Zhang he would lie, and it would be bad if he fell and couldn't undo it. This is not. Just. How to explain to DR. Zhang ah? Zhang he was also a bit flustered. And also hoped that Zhang Xian must not misunderstand. But all of this was heard by Lu Cici who came outside the door to find the teacher to deliver the test papers. And Lu Cici also couldn't help but squeeze the small hand that delivered the test papers. No way. How could brother Zhang he talk to DR? Jiang. When Jiang he followed the principal to the infirmary, Jiang Xian was treating the students, and Lu Cici was also carefully following Jiang he. I'll prescribe some cold capsules for you. Just pay attention to keeping warm and drink more hot water in general. Only after the student left did the principal walk in with Jiang he. HM? Principal? And Jiang he? Why are you guys here? Jiang Xian was a bit confused. What were these two doing here looking for her? DR. Jiang. I came to find you to understand a little something. The principal also stopped babbling and directly told the matter that someone had previously reported that Zhang Xian was in a relationship with a student. Zhang Xian was also confused after hearing this. Who was so boring? Suddenly, Zhang Xian was also reminded of someone. Lu Yu. Needless to say, besides this villain, who else would do something so boring? Having no choice, Zhang Xian also had to explain the whole story to the principal. That's good. Since the explanation is clear, I'm relieved. Hearing that Zhang Xian was not far off from what Zhang He had said, the principal let go of his heart, and Lu Cici, who was eavesdropping at the door, was also slightly relieved. She knew that brother Zhang He would not, as soon as she thought of DR, Zhang Xian treating her so well and her doubting DR. Zhang Xian? Lu Cici's little face turned slightly red from shame. Then this kid and I will go back first. Sorry for disturbing DR. Zhang. Just as the principal and Zhang he had left in front of them, a woman in a delicate professional outfit with black high heels appeared at the entrance of the infirmary. Zhang Xian was currently thinking about how to teach Liu a lesson, so that he would understand that she, Zhang Xian, was not some soft persimmon. Suddenly, the door to the infirmary was opened again. Zhang Xian thought that it was a student who came to see the doctor, but she did not expect that the one who walked in was a somewhat unfamiliar woman. You are? Zhang Xian carefully recalled the woman in front of her, and suddenly remembered. Wasn't this the person who had called herself Zhang Yi's sister at the dinner party earlier? But for this person, Zhang Xian didn't have any good feelings. What are you doing here? Could it be that this woman came over today? Or was it about the cooperation? What did I come to do? Should ask you what you did. When these words came out, Zhang Xian was even more confused. What was this woman talking about? What do you mean? What did I do? Seeing that Zhang Xian still didn't admit it, Zhang Huang also slapped his hand hard on the table and looked at Zhang Xian viciously. What did you do to Zhang He? Seeing that it was related to Zhang He again, Zhang Xian also couldn't help but have a bit of a headache. What's going on today? What I do with Zhang He? It seems like it has nothing to do with you, right? Zhang Xian also responded without showing any weakness. Not to mention that she and Zhang He didn't have any transgressions at all. Even if they did. What is this woman? I'm Jiang He's sister. You say there is no relationship. Oh, Jiang He's sister? When these words came out, Jiang Xian also looked at Jiang Huang with a sneer on her face. You still have the nerve to call yourself Jiang He's sister? How did you slander Jiang He in front of me at that time? You won't forget, right? Now say that you are Jiang He's sister. Jiang Xian's eyes became steeply sharp. Isn't it a bit too shameless? Listening to Jiang Xian's words, Jiang Huang also no longer had the same anger she had before. She also remembered the asshole words she had said in front of Zhang Xian before in order to reach a partnership with him. I, I was, before, no matter what, I am also Zhang He's sister. Zhang Huang also shook his head in a hurry, almost being led astray by Zhang Xian. Let's not talk about this first. Are you harboring Zhang He? 
When these words came out, Zhang Xian almost spat out a mouthful of blood. What did you say? Earlier, when someone reported that she was in a relationship with Zhang He, she thought it was outrageous enough, but she didn't expect that she would now directly say that she was harboring Zhang He? Don't think about lying to me, or else I will definitely not let you off. When Zhang Huang said this, Zhang Xian also snorted coldly. One by two, they all think she's easy to bully, right? Let alone the fact that I didn't. Even if I did harbor one, what can you do about it? With a bang, Zhang Huang directly pushed away the chair behind him and grabbed Zhang Xian's collar. What did you say? Looking at Zhang Huang's enraged look, Zhang Xian remained unperturbed as she shook off Zhang Huang's hand and proceeded to straighten her collar. At this moment, Zhang Xian's voice line was all tinged with coldness. What? You want to break bread with my Zhang family? Their Zhang family had never been afraid of anyone. Zhang Xian lifted the glasses on the tip of her nose and said indifferently, What qualifications do you have to question me? Just based on the fact that you are Zhang Yi's sister? Then where were you when Zhang Yi fainted from low blood sugar before? When Zhang Yi didn't have money for medical treatment, where were you? Now you want to question her. Where was she before? What did you say? Xiao He had fainted before? Zhang Huan was also flustered after hearing that she. How come she didn't know about this? Nonsense. Of course she didn't know. At that time, Zhang He had already severed her relationship with the Zhang family. So how could she possibly know? Ha! Huh? You still have the face to ask? Zhang Xian also said nonchalantly. In short, you'd better not hit Xiao He's idea. After saying that, Zhang Huan, who knew she was at a disadvantage, could only turn around and leave. She would have to wait for Zhang He to get out of school and ask him personally. Seeing Zhang Huan leave, Zhang Xian also secretly said that she was sick. It was only when Zhang He came to the school infirmary to help out after school in the afternoon that she learned about Zhang Huang's visit. As for Lu Cici who was on the side, she also kept her head down and did not dare to look at Zhang Xian anymore. She was still ashamed of doubting Zhang Xian before. What's more, Zhang Huang recounted this incident to her the first time after she went back. By the way, Dr. Zhang, do you know who called and reported to the principal? When these words came out, Zhang Xian also frowned slightly. And in the end, she didn't say what she had in mind to Zhang He. After all, Lu Yu was not something that Zhang He could deal with. It's not too clear for now, but don't worry, just leave this matter to me. It was just a matter of finding her sister, Zhang Bai. But when she thought of that lunatic Zhang Bai, Zhang Xian felt a headache. Just then, Zhang He suddenly received a call. Clicking on it, it was none other than Zhou Ruayun, the young girl from the ramen store only to see Zhou Ruayun on the other end of the phone, stammering for half a day without being able to say a complete sentence. But Zhang He heard a hint of choking in her voice. Something was not right. Don't be in a hurry. Speak slowly, okay? Zhang He softly consoled, at the same time setting the phone on speakerphone, in order to reassure Lu Cici. Zhang He, I, my sister she's sick. She needs $50,000. Zhou Ruayun on the other end of the phone tried to stop wanting to cry. She knew that borrowing money from someone she had just met a short while ago would definitely be treated as a fishing girl, or even a scammer, but she had already borrowed from all of her relatives, and all of her relatives knew that there was a gambler in her family, and she was only a fresh graduate, so how could she possibly be willing to lend to her, even online lending, also because he that borrowed money does not pay back the gambling father, pull her into the blacklist, ever since her mom died, she was left with her sister at home, she has worked very, very hard to face life. She went from a quiet little girl to a shrew who dares to curse the streets. All this she doesn't care. These are her way to protect herself and her sister. Zhang He's arrival also made her feel that everything was getting better. However, it was as if God had played a joke on her. Her sister was actually found to have leukemia. This news was like a bolt from the blue for her. The only good news was that the hospital was able to find a bone marrow match for her sister and the surgery could be performed at any time. But the bad news was that the surgery would cost a full $200,000. Even if Joe Ruayun sold everything in her family, including that small room of only 40 square meters, she could barely scrape together $150,000. She even intended to sell blood, but because the body is not qualified, was kicked out. Even this store, she was planning to sell it. But because of the previous punks, they all know that she has a father who is a gambler and in debt, and no one is willing to take her store for fear of getting into trouble, but any way she could think of, she thought of it, and in the end, there was really no way out, and that's when she thought of Zhang He, I, I know this request is excessive, but I really have no way out, Zhou Ruoyun bit her lips to death, 
even though she was biting blood, she didn't notice it in the slightest. At these words, Jiang He glanced at Lu Cici. C C D R. Jiang, what do you think? Jiang He wasn't a saint. It was impossible to give unconditionally for someone she had just known for a few days, together with the twenty zero 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 that he had given to Zhou Ruoyun earlier. Jiang He happened to have the last fifty zero 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 left on him, which was the money he intended to use to improve the ramen store. Jiang Xian and Lu Cici were both silent for a moment. It wasn't that Jiang Xian couldn't take out the fifty thousand dollars. But, why should she? She didn't have any feelings with Zhou Ruoyun, and she had even helped Zhou Ruoyun before. She had already advanced Zhou Ruoyun $100,000 before. She was a businesswoman, and businessmen were all about pros and cons, and she was now very skeptical that Zhou Ruoyun would be able to pay it back. And when Zhang He on the other end of the phone didn't say anything, Zhou Ruoyun was also anxious. So she said under her breath, As long as you're willing to lend it to me, I'm willing to do anything. When these words came out, Everyone present was shocked, even Jiang He frowned. I'm sorry MS. Zhou, you're overthinking it. After saying this, Jiang He hung up the phone. Seeing Jiang He hang up the phone, Zhou Ruoyan couldn't hold on any longer and leaned against the wall and cried out in pain. I'm not. I'm not. For the sake of her sister, she even went so far as to sell her dignity, but she still didn't get this glimmer of hope in exchange. At the same time, Lu Cici was also pulling Jiang He's hand looking earnestly into Jiang Yi's eyes and said, Lend it to Miss Zhou. When these words came out, Jiang Yi and Jiang Xian were also slightly shocked. Jiang Xian even spoke directly. See, see, just now she was. It's okay, I believe brother Jiang Yi, and I also believe that Miss Zhou didn't mean it that way. Lu Cici shook her head. She understood that Zhou Ruoyun was just a little too anxious. Cici, are you sure? Jiang Yi still inquired Lu Cici. This $50,000 was originally Lu Cici's. Uh, I'm sure. Lu Cici nodded. She understood the feeling of being tormented by illness. Since she could help Zhou Ruoyun, why not? Seeing Lu Cici agreeing, Jiang He naturally wouldn't say anything. When it was over he would make a trip to the ramen store and give the money to Zhou Ruoyun is. Is Cici, why are you so cute? Jiang Xian also went up and rubbed Lu Cici's head. This little ninny is really. When Jiang He finished his work and walked to the school gate, he realized that Jiang Huang had been waiting here for a long time. As soon as Jiang Huang saw Jiang He come out, he immediately went forward to stop Jiang He. Jiang He also saw Jiang Huang in the crowd and had a headache for a while. How come this Jiang family member's spirit is still lingering on? Didn't they already make it clear before? Why did they have to come and disturb his life? Jiang He directly pulled up Lu Cici's hand and wanted to rush away. But the school entrance is full of parents and students who came to pick up their children. How could Jiang He leave? Jiang Huang pulled Jiang Yi's arm, but Jiang Yi directly shook it off. Little, little wa, can you talk to sister? No need. If there's anything, let's talk here. Jiang Yi still refused outright. Was there anything to talk about between them? And seeing Jiang Yi refused, Jiang Huang also shifted his gaze to Lu Cici. Little girl you are Jiang Yi's classmate right? I'm Jiang Yi's sister. Enough. Jiang Yi didn't wait for Jiang Huang to finish his sentence before he directly interrupted. He didn't want others to know about his relationship with the Jiang family. Then Xiao He can now. Jiang Huang had no choice. She just wanted to gain Jiang He's forgiveness as well as care for Jiang He. Only, was it too late to care about Jiang He? Let's go. To be honest, this was the second time Lu Cici had seen Jiang He so angry. The last time was when Jiang He faced that knife-wielding young man for her. Also, she remembered that Jiang He seemed to be an orphan come to think of it. So who was this person who called herself Jiang He's sister? Brother Jiang He, need me. Seeing Lu Cici's worried look, Jiang He also collected his temper and comforted her with a smile. It's fine. Just take care of the food later. As for Jiang Huang who was on the side, seeing Jiang He and Lu Cici walking so close to each other, he could not help but move a little bit. If she could get on good terms with Lu Cici, maybe Jiang He would forgive her? Arriving at a coffee shop, Jiang Huang had already booked a seat by the window in advance and there were not many people around. If you have something to say, just say it quickly. Jiang He was still thinking of leaving quickly. Little way you haven't eaten anything yet, right? Waiter, send up what I ordered earlier. Jiang Huang also knew that Jiang He didn't want to talk to her. In order to be able to keep Jiang He, these were the preparations she made. There was no way around it. Jiang He had no choice but to suppress the idea of just getting up and leaving. By the way, this student hasn't asked for advice? When Lu Cici saw Jiang Huang asking her, she was a bit flustered for a while. 
Mainly this was the first time she was facing Jiang Yi's family and didn't know what to do. It was not Lu Cixi's fault. After all, not many people knew about Jiang Yi's relationship with Jiang family now. I, my name is Lu Cixi. Lu Cixi? What a great name. I'm Jiang Yi's sister. You call me Jiang Huang. But before Jiang Huang could finish his words, he was once again interrupted by Jiang Yi. All right, what's the matter? Hurry up. Jiang Yi didn't want to involve Lu Cixi as well and then cause this little ninny to worry about him when the time comes. While Jiang Huang glanced at Lu Cixi, he still chose to speak directly. Xiao He, are you being adopted by Jiang Xin? As soon as these words came out, Lu Cixi also couldn't help but widen her eyes. What was this woman talking about? And naturally, Jiang He was also confused. Before, Jiang Xin only said that Jiang Huang had looked for her, and she didn't say the purpose of Jiang Huang's visit to her. Does it have anything to do with you? Jiang Yi's face was filled with coldness. Not to mention, he was innocent with Jiang Xin, even if he was adopted. What did it have to do with her? Jiang Huang? Xiao He, you can't just. For money. Jiang Huang saw that Jiang He did not answer her and was a bit anxious for a while. Yes, I'm doing it for money. I went back to Jiang family for money. Stealing your jewelry is also for money. Are you satisfied now? After saying that, Jiang He then directly brought Lu Cixi to get up and leave. Seeing Jiang He getting up and about to leave, Jiang Huan also hurriedly followed. Little Wu, sister. Sister doesn't mean that. Sister is just worried that you've been tricked. That's why. Hearing the words coming from behind him, Jiang He also stopped his steps. Sister? You haven't been my sister for a long time. Have you forgotten? After saying that, Jiang He never turned back. As for Jiang Huang, when he heard Jiang He himself say that he was not his elder sister, he also froze in place, and it took a while before he came to his senses. Why? Jiang Huang only felt a sharp stabbing pain inside. Why was this? Why Jiang He just refused to forgive her? Ridiculous. She didn't even have the courage to return Jiang He's innocence, and she actually thought that Jiang He would forgive her? When Jiang He arrived at the ramen store located in the night market on the pedestrian street in High City, he found that although the store door was open, there was no one inside. HM, where is MS? Zhou, Zhang He also couldn't help but frown slightly, an ominous premonition spreading in the bottom of his heart. At the same time, in a factory located in the outskirts of High City, there was a special large basement underneath the unknown. The basement was also abuzz with people at this time, and dozens of gambling tables were filled with gamblers. Can you call? Roll if you don't have money. What? Are you cheating? How can Lousy be smaller than you? Lend me some more. I'll definitely win it back. Big and small voices, one after another, reached the ears of Zhou Ruayun, who had just arrived not long ago. It was also her first time facing this kind of scene, and she couldn't help but nervously tighten her grip on the sharp knife hidden in her waist. Hurry up and go. Don't dawdle. The one who led Zhou Ruayun was actually the burly man who had previously come to the ramen restaurant and caused trouble. It was only when they reached the room at the very back that the burly man's footsteps stopped. Then he respectfully knocked on the door of the room. Come in. A somewhat old voice came out. Clearly only two words. But it was chilling. You are old ghost Joe's daughter? The boss looked Joe Ruoyun up and down. Nodding as if satisfied. I have no relationship with that old gambling ghost. If it wasn't for that gambling ghost, how could her mother have left early due to overwork? And how would their family of three be living at a snail space in a small room of less than 40 square meters? I'm not interested in these. I'll take that storefront of yours for $100,000. The moment these words came out, Zhou Ruoyun couldn't help but stare in disbelief. 100,000. That lot. At least 600,000. Zhou Ruoyun wasn't a fool, and had done his research before coming. Oh, do you think, you can sell it now? Your sister seems to be waiting for money to save her life, right? The boss seemed to have settled for Zhou Ruoyun. With them around, who would dare to buy Zhou Ruoyun's store? 200,000. No less, Zhou Ruoyun clenched her fists. This store, was the only thought left by her mom, but now, she had no power of choice. As for why she wanted 200,000, naturally, she wanted to pay back Jiang He that 120,000 that helped her before. Yes, then, the boss handed out a contract to Zhou Ruoyun, and Zhou Ruoyun did not expect this behind the scenes boss to agree so easily, and also quickly signed her name on the contract. This is fine, right? When will you call the money? Seeing Zhou Ruoyun finish signing, the boss was laughing out loud. Old Zhou, come out. As soon as these words came out, a man with a thin figure and wearing a sweatshirt appeared in front of Zhou Ruoyun. That's right, the person who came was Zhou Ruoyun's gambler father, Zhou Wang. 
how did you, Wu, only to see that the burly man who had been standing behind Zhou Ruoyun suddenly pulled out a handkerchief and stepped forward to take advantage of Zhou Ruoyun's inattentiveness to cover her mouth and nose, when Zhou Ruoyun realized that something was wrong, it was already too late, even the sharp knife in her waist just pulled out halfway, she lost her strength, and could only watch the knife fall to the ground together with her body, with the clanging sound of the sharp knife falling to the ground, the burly man and that behind the scenes boss could not help but feel a pang of fear. No one had expected that Zhou Ruoyun had actually brought a knife along with him. But fortunately, right now, Zhou Ruoyun couldn't move at all. The handkerchief that the burly man used just now was sprayed with the latest type of ecstasy, which could keep the victim awake but powerless to resist. Old Zhou, your daughter is good. This is a reward for you. After saying that, the boss casually threw out a stack of bills. And Zhou Wan was quick to catch it thanking the boss profusely, that's right, with just $100,000, Joe Wine was able to sell his own daughter, for gamblers, wives and daughters, parents, are all existences that can be given up at any time, people who were deeply involved in gambling could no longer be called human, the corner of Joe Ruoyun's eyes were also shedding two lines of tears of regret, she shouldn't have gotten sick and trusted these shameless people, Joe Ruoyun desperately tried to struggle to get up and actually moved, she could not fall down, these were the money that saved her sister's life. The two men, the strong man and the boss, could not help but TSK 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 when they saw how strong Joe Royan was. Knowing that this latest type of ecstasy, even if Tyson inhaled a mouthful of it, he would have to turn into a teddy. This Joe Royan, a little girl, was actually still able to move. Drag it down. Give the brothers a taste first. Remember to take a video. The strong man also nodded in a hurry. He had long been craving Joe Ruoyun for a long time. Although this chick was a bit spirited and even pugnacious, but her face value was beyond words. She was definitely a first-class beauty. Now with this appearance of being at the mercy of others, it was even more tantalizing. Feeling her body being moved, Joe Ruoyun was no longer able to resist. I'm sorry sister. It's sister who is useless. I'm sorry. Joe Ruoyun's eyes were drooping with tears, and she also understood what would happen next. Even if she was strong, she was ultimately a girl who had just graduated not long ago. If she was really threatened by the video taken, she would die and never live. As for Zhou Ruoyun's gambling father, after getting the money, he also turned around without saying a word and returned to the gambling house. The boss behind the scenes looked at Zhou Wang's back and smiled coldly. He knew that after this old man Zhou had gotten the money, he would definitely go back to gambling, and at that time, the money would still return to his pocket. This is the case of 9 out of 10 gamblers. You may win once or twice, but this is just to give you a taste of the sweetness. Just as Joe Wan was happily gambling, a somewhat slender and white hand rested on his shoulder. Where's Joe Ruoyun? In an instant, Joe Wang also looked back at the person behind him, and saw that it was just a brat who had no intention of taking care of him. I'll ask again, where is Joe Ruoyun? As his five fingers pressed hard, Joe Wang instantly wailed in pain and squatted straight on the ground. You, who are you? At these words, Many of the surrounding gamblers looked over to Zhou Wang's side. That's right, the person who came was none other than Zhang He. And the one who came this time was not only Zhang He. Right at the entrance of that basement, it was filled with heavily armed special police. The reason why Zhang He came down alone was to find Zhou Ruoyun's location as soon as possible without spooking the snakes. When you say why Zhang He could find this place so quickly, it was naturally due to Zhang Xian. At this moment, Zhang Xian was conversing with her good sister. Jiang Bai. Jiang Xian was also full of helplessness. She really didn't want to contact that crazy sister of hers, but there was no way out. If she didn't use Jiang Bai's power, I'm afraid it would be hard to find this place so quickly. Whether Zhou Ruoyun was alive or dead at that time would be unknown. And from Jiang Xian's phone came a burst of laughter that sounded like silver bells. Sister, you'll never be able to escape me. With a hiss of pain, it was obvious that Jiang Bai was torturing a certain lucky girl. This was Jiang Bai's way of doing things. If she wanted to pry someone's mouth open, there were plenty of ways. All right, thank you this time. Hang up. Jiang Xian also quickly hung up the phone. Every time she talked to Jiang Bai, she had a feeling of trepidation, as if she was a lamb being stared at by a tiger. But obviously she was the older sister. Seeing Jiang Xian hang up the phone, Jiang Bai also licked his lips in excitement. Sister Sama. Sister Sama is in need of me. It's my elder sister Sama. Jiang Bai's innocent face displayed an extreme sense of madness, giving people a chilling feeling. Even the two burly bodyguards beside her couldn't help but pinch a cold sweat. Oh, 
The man who was tied to the chair and tortured was already scared out of his wits by Jiang Bai at this point, and his eyes were filled with pleading. Shut up! Jiang Bai glared viciously at the man in front of him. I've investigated all those things you did before. Human trafficking, forcing good people into prostitution, and opening casinos. Jiang Bai said indifferently. Actually, I don't care about any of these. Suddenly, Jiang Bai copied the baseball bat and slammed it directly into the man's thigh. Only a muffled sound was heard, and the man's mouth, which was taped shut, let out a muffled roar of extreme pain. His thigh was broken. Why? Why did he mess with this maniac? Someone save him. But he hadn't thought about the women who were his trafficked children, and who was going to save them. But you shouldn't put your hands on your sister Sama. With another muffled sound, the man's other leg was also directly knocked off by Jiang Bai. Knowing that the human thigh bone was very hard, it was evident how strong Jiang Bai's strength was. The metal baseball bat was slightly bent at this point. Looking at the man who had fainted to death, Jiang Bai threw away the baseball bat in his hand as soon as he could, and then said the most horrible thing in that pleasant voice. Amputate both of his legs and throw him to a mental hospital. Got it? Yes. As soon as these words came out, the two burly bodyguards also immediately bowed and nodded their heads, even shedding a few drops of cold sweat. At the same time, Jiang He gradually lost his patience when he saw Zhou Wang's delay in revealing Zhou Ruoyun's location. Every extra second of delay now was one more point of danger for Zhou Ruoyun. Hurry up and let go of me, or I'm going to call someone. Zhou Wang also didn't know that this somewhat slim looking kid actually had so much strength. And Zhang he really let go of Zhou Wang because he saw a familiar face. It was none other than the strong man who had come to the ramen store earlier to cause trouble. And when the burly man saw Zhang he, he also said that it was not good. And just when he wanted to report this matter to the boss behind the scene, he was stopped by Zhang he who took an arrow step forward. Where is Zhou Ruayun? At these words, the burly man also appeared flustered for a moment quietly closing the door to the room behind him. What did you say? I don't know. Immediately afterward, the burly man displayed a ferocious look again, and fiercely said to Jiang He, Kid, this isn't the place for you. Get the hell out of here. At the same time, Zhou Ruoyun inside the room also seemed to hear something moving, as if it was Jiang He's voice. Zhou Ruoyun desperately tried to struggle and create some noise to attract Jiang He's attention. But when she heard Jiang He's departing footsteps, she once again fell into despair. Help me. Obviously, hope was right in front of her, but Zhou Ruoyun could only watch it disappear. Ready for action. Only Jiang he signaled for action to the hidden walkie-talkie on his collar, then turned around and kicked the burly man in the crotch. With a muffled sound, the strong man also did not expect Jiang he to come to this move at all, directly covering his crotch lying on the ground and began to wail in pain. Jiang he was not a gentleman who was talking about fairness, and the next second, countless SWAT officers also fishtailed into the casino. Instantly the whole casino began to riot. All get down and don't move. Don't move. Hands up. The boss behind the scenes, who had also learned about all this from the surveillance, still wanted to escape from the back door of the casino, but was caught by the SWAT team blocking the back door. Zhang He also directly kicked the door of the room open. Sure enough, Zhou Ruoyun was lying on the sofa. Zhou Ruoyun? Zhou Ruoyun? Seeing that Zhou Ruoyun couldn't answer. Jiang He also directly picked her up and ran furiously towards the ambulance that had been waiting for a long time outside the door, sending Zhou Ruoyun to the ambulance. Jiang He then let out a sigh of relief. It was good that Zhou Ruoyun had not been violated. It should just be the effect of the ecstasy. When the dust settled, Jiang He also brought Lu Cici and Jiang Xian to the hospital to visit Zhou Ruoyun. When Zhou Ruoyun saw that it was Jiang He, she also got up in a hurry, but was stopped by Lu Cici. You rest first. We'll talk about the rest later. Looking at Lu Cici's look of concern for her, Zhou Ruoyun couldn't hold back any longer and directly cried out. I'm sorry CC, what I said to Jiang He before. You must think I'm cheap, right? Lu Cici had obviously known her for a short while, yet she was still willing to help her. Instead, she said those kinds of words to her boyfriend Jiang He for the sake of money. Seeing Zhou Ruoyun's sobbing appearance, Lu Cici also tenderly touched her head. How come? I know all about you. Lu Cici wasn't angry because of Zhou Ruoyun's words earlier. She also believed Jiang He was never that kind of person. If Jiang He was really a womanizer, he would have done it to her a long time ago, and it wouldn't be so bad that up to now. She hadn't even tried kissing. Thinking about it, Lu Cici's small face suddenly became flushed, and she also shook her head hastily to shake out the distracting thoughts in her head. But as soon as this thought appeared, Lu Cici couldn't help but fantasize. Cici what's wrong with you? Jiang He thought that Lu Cici was not feeling well, 
and hurriedly asked in a voice, nothing, nothing, Lu Cici were good enough to say, also shook her head repeatedly to indicate that she was fine. Just at this moment, a female police officer knocked on the door of the ward. Hello, is this MS? Zhou Ruoyun? Your father would like to meet with you. At this time, Zhou Wan was already under the custody of the SWAT team, and he understood that if it was just gambling, he would be released soon. But if Zhou Ruoyun told the truth about the hundred thousand dollars from before, it wouldn't be so simple. So he must meet Zhou Ruoyun, no matter what. He was also Zhou Ruoyun's father. As long as Zhou Ruoyun didn't say anything, he would still be able to get out soon, and then he would be able to gamble again. And when Zhou Ruoyun dragged his weak body to Zhou Wang, Zhou Wan was even more filled with excitement. Little, little Ruoyun, dad knows it's wrong, you mustn't. With the sound of a snap, Zhou Ruoyun slapped Zhou Wan's face fiercely, showing anger but with tears in her eyes. Do you know, my sister she has leukemia, that $100,000 is her life-saving money. If Jiang Yi hadn't appeared, Zhou Ruoyun wouldn't have dared to think about what would happen in the future. She would have faced endless insults, and her sister would have had to wait for death because she couldn't afford the surgery. And the culprit for all of this was none other than the man in front of her, her own father. Let's not talk about this first. Xiao Ruoyun you go and explain to the officers. It's best to get me out first. When I come out, I will definitely change my ways. It's all at this point. Zhou Wang is still fantasizing. Little Ruoyun will you just trust daddy this time? Please. Zhou Wang said and was about to kneel down for Zhou Ruoyun. But halfway through kneeling, seeing that no one was stopping him, he actually stood up again. Kneel. Why don't you kneel? Zhou Ruoyun just looked at Zhou Wang with cold eyes. Bastard. I haven't said anything about you selling me for 100. 000 dollars to those scum. Once these words came out, even Jiang Yi's few people looked at Zhou Wang with strange gazes. Selling his daughter? They also didn't expect that Zhou Wang had actually lost his heart to such an extent. Little, little Ruoyun, please, don't say anything, okay? As expected, one would only know what it means to repent when a great calamity strikes. However, Zhou Ruoyun just didn't say anything. She definitely wouldn't believe Zhou Wang's bullshit anymore. Seeing Zhou Ruoyun about to leave, Zhou Wang also had a hardened heart and directly knelt down for Zhou Ruoyun. Little Ruoyun, daddy please. Zhou Wang was truly afraid. He could not accept leaving the gambling table. But Zhou Ruoyun just said coldly, this kneeling is what you owe mom. Go to prison and repent. After saying that, Zhou Ruoyun never looked back. It wasn't until she finished making her statement and walked out of the police station that Zhou Ruoyun solemnly bowed to Jiang Yi. At the same time, she also sensed something very bad. She seemed to really like Jiang Yi. The scene where Jiang Yi saved her had been deeply embedded in her mind, and for the rest of her life, she would never forget this man who appeared when she was in despair. But she will never do anything to apologize to Lu Cici. She will always and forever bury this matter in the bottom of her heart. Forever. Jiang Yi was not in a hurry to let Zhou Ruoyun reopen the store. After all, after such a big thing happened, it was not too late to wait until her sister's surgery was completed before opening the shop. When Jiang Yi returned to the orphanage, he found a silhouette constantly hanging around at the entrance. Jiang Yi? Why are you here? Jiang Jiang wore black sunglasses and looked at Jiang Yi condescendingly, with an air of who owes her money. Why can't I be here? Get out of the way. You're being my way. Jiang Yi secretly said unlucky. Had I known that I should have looked at the yellow calendar when I stepped out this morning, I won't let you. What can you do to me? She favored Jiang He to be less than what she wanted. Who let Jiang He leave her alone in the dark night before? Suddenly, Jiang Jiang seemed to be realizing that there was actually an orphanage not far away. So she looked at Jiang He and asked, Do you live near here? The reason she had come here was to look for the boy who had saved her earlier. But the scope of this area wasn't large, but it definitely wasn't small either. For many days in a row, she hadn't found any clues either. The only thing Zhang Zhang could be sure of was that the boy who saved her back then was very thin and tall. Only after so many years had passed, Zhang Zhang wasn't sure what the boy looked like back then. Finding him again like this was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Looking at Zhang Zhang who kept blocking in front of him, Zhang Wosher really couldn't tense up. Yes, I live here. Are you satisfied? Seeing Zhang was face full of impatience. Zhang Zhang was also energized. No what's your attitude? No matter what, I'm also your third sister. How do you talk to me? Didn't you say before that you didn't want to have any connection with the Jung family? Then what happened before when mom and dad told me that you went home and asked me to go back? Jung He, just about the same. Don't make everyone impatient at that time. It's not worth it. 
In the face of Zhang Zhang's barrage of blows, Zhang He remained indifferent. You're right. It's me who covets the life of the Zhang family. It's me who lusts to return to the Zhang family. So can you let me? The bereaved dog, pass now? Zhang He said with a flat face, as if he was talking about a trivial matter that didn't matter. You, Zhang Zhang also didn't expect Zhang He to say this, and for a moment, she choked on her words, but then came back to his senses. You answer a few questions for me first. Zhang Jiang also took this opportunity to hastily ask for some useful information. Have you been living here since before you returned to the Zhang family? Zhang Jiang took a look at the surroundings. Most of the buildings around were bungalows, and the only two-story building was the orphanage. Those who came and went were also mostly people who came to High City to work, for the sake of a cheap rent. Yeah, now I live here too. Zhang He waved his hand. He didn't feel any shame. Zhang Zhang Jiang also didn't expect that Zhang He had actually been living in this kind of place. Could this place really be inhabited? For a great lady like Zhang Jiang, living in this kind of place was naturally unimaginable. Then do you still remember this area? Is there a tall and thin boy? Right. The age should be about the same as me now. Whom? When these words came out, Zhang He was also a bit puzzled. What was this Zhang Jiang asking this for? Tall and skinny? What are you looking for him for? Zhang He was a bit curious. What kind of person deserves this Zhang family's eldest miss to personally come here to look for him? Even going so far as to stop him? Of course it's him before. Right at this moment, Zhang Zhang's phone suddenly rang. What? There's a clue? I'll go over right now. After receiving this call, Zhang Zhang was filled with anxiety and left directly, leaving behind a confused Zhang He. Really confused. Zhang He shook his head. How come one or two of this Zhang family members are not quite normal? Suddenly, a silhouette appeared in front of Zhang He after Zhang Zhang walked away. But the person coming was something Zhang He hadn't expected. Zhang Li? What are you doing here? Zhang He frowned. Shouldn't this kid be lying in the hospital? And Zhang Li also walked to Zhang He's side without any avoidance. Zhang He, as long as I'm around for a day, you'll never want to return to the Zhang family. Zhang Li's warning-like voice. This is the face that everyone in Zhang Li has never seen before. Perhaps, this is his true face. You're not finished are you? Zhang He lifted up Zhang Li's collar. How come this kid's soul is still alive? Didn't he say before that he would never return to the Zhang family? Why did he still come to find him? Brother Zhang He, what are you doing? Let go of me. Cough cough. Looking at this pretentious appearance of Zhang Li, Zhang He also smiled helplessly. Again? Sure enough, the next second, Lu Ru and Zhang Qin appeared behind Zhang He. Little, little wa, what are you doing? Quickly let go of your brother. Listening to Lu Ru's words, Zhang He also roughly understood why Zhang Li had to run out from the hospital, and why he had to provoke him just now to make him strike. It turned out that everything was arranged. In fact, Zhang He also kind of admired Zhang Li's brain. If Zhang Li could put the mind of calculating him on his studies, he could definitely enter the top 500 in the city. Little Wu, will you let go of your brother first? Lu Ru also rushed forward and wanted to stop Zhang He, and Zhang Li also spoke up at this time. Mom, just let brother Jiang He beat me. Brother Jiang He, as long as you are willing to go home, you can beat me any way you want. Looking at Jiang Li's tearful and pitiful expression, for a while Lu Ru was also heartbroken. Xiao He, your brother he just wants you to go home. Don't give him a hard time, okay? Sit down and let's talk slowly. Hearing this, Jiang He also snorted. Really? Then I really have to thank this good brother of mine. After saying that, Zhang He directly backhanded this little beast and gave him two slaps. Then, regardless of the shocked eyes of several people, he leaned close to Zhang Li's ear and whispered, If you haven't remembered the lesson from last time, don't forget it this time. After saying that, Zhang He then threw Zhang Li casually and directly turned around to return to the orphanage. Last time, he dared to hit Zhang Li in front of Zhang Zhang, now Zhang Li actually came to this trick. Zhang He was not used to it at all. Come a few times he hit a few times. Anyway, he never wanted to go back to Zhang family. To put it simply, Zhang Li's trick is useless to the current Zhang He. The reason why Zhang Li tried it repeatedly before was just that Zhang He cared too much about Zhang family. And after Zhang He left, Zhang Li also had a white face and fainted again. Lu Ru, who originally wanted to go after Zhang He, also had to take Zhang Li to rush to the hospital first. When Zhang Zhang rushed to the hospital, he heard Zhang Qin say somewhat angrily, No matter what. Zhang He shouldn't have done anything to his brother. How is Xiao Li? Did that brat Zhang He make another move? Seeing Zhang Zhang arrive, Zhang Li also got up with strong support. It's none of brother Zhang He's business. 
It's because I was in too much of a hurry that I made brother Jiang He unhappy. Looking at Jiang Li's aggrieved appearance, Jiang Jiang was even more furious. I'm going to find him and make him come over to apologize to Xiao Li. After saying that, she left without looking back to find Jiang He in trouble. No matter how much Lu Ru shouted at her to come back, it was useless. Seeing this scene, Jiang Li was also delighted. In fact, that previous call to Jiang Jiang saying that he had found a clue was instructed by him. Because he had discovered that the person who had actually saved Jiang Jiang before was none other than Jiang He, he would never allow this matter to be exposed. Otherwise, his position in the Jiang family would be shaken once again. To know, before, whether it was Jiang Qin Lu Ru, or his three sisters, they had never stood firmly by his side. And now, just because of Jiang He's departure, everything changed. Jiang Zi would actually question him for a small thing before. Jiang Huang's attitude towards him has been a bit off lately. Even the way he looks at him is not as doting as before. He absolutely could not allow Jiang He to return to the Jiang family. He had to take the initiative and step on Jiang He completely. Let him know that the Jiang family belonged to him. Jiang He, if you want to blame it, you shouldn't have appeared in the Jiang family. At the same time, Jiang Jiang had already arrived in front of the orphanage's door. She also pushed the door in without saying a word. Jiang He, get out of here. Faced with Jiang Jiang's anger, Jiang He was also aware of it. Of course he knew that Jiang Jiang definitely came to him because of Jiang Li. Seeing Jiang He come out, Jiang Jiang also quickly stepped forward and pulled Jiang He's collar. His eyes filled with anger. What did you do to Xiao Li? Xiao Li is now in the hospital you know. Looking at Jiang Jiang's appearance that she couldn't wait to eat Jiang He, those who didn't know thought that Jiang Li was her real brother. I warned him before, don't jump in front of me. Jiang He said indifferently, if it wasn't for the fact that Jiang Li had to come out and look for a fight, he wouldn't bother looking for trouble. Jiang He, look at your current appearance. You can't move without hitting someone. You're simply an unbelievably violent maniac. At these words, Jiang He did raise a hint of interest. Then what was I like before? Since I wasn't like this before, I should be very appealing to you guys. Right? Isn't that right, my good sister? It was simply too good for Jiang Jiang to hate his current state. The Jiang He who used to not fight back or curse back. The Jiang He who never contradicted anyone. The Jiang He who always thought about pleasing his family had long since died in the fire of his previous life. I, at this time, Zhang Zhang was also irritated to the point of being unable to speak by Jiang He's words. She was also aware of Jiang He's previous situation in the Jiang family. It could be said that Jiang Jiang could be credited for causing Jiang He's current appearance. No matter what, you shouldn't have made a move on Xiao Li. Go to the hospital with me and apologize. Jiang Jiang was all a bit crazy at this point. She knew it wasn't right for her to do this but she still chose to go one way or the other. That's right. In her heart, Jiang He, her own brother, just can't compare to Jiang Li Hao. Even if Jiang Li was not related to her by blood, she had long treated Jiang Li as a real family member. After all, Jiang Li had saved her life. I can go apologize with you, but you have to swear never to bother me again. Jiang He just looked at Jiang Jiang coldly. What do you mean? What do you mean by bothering you? Am I not concerned about? Could it be caring about me? Coming over in the middle of the night to embarrass me is caring about me? Forcing me to apologize to a little brute is called caring about me? Jiang He no longer spoiled her, directly shook off Jiang Jiang's hand and turned around to go back. What he hated the most was to be and stand up again. Obviously it was just for Jiang Li, but he had to act like it was for his own good. Jiang He, if you don't go apologize with me, don't think I'll agree to you returning to the Jiang family for the rest of your life. Hearing this, Jiang He also shook his head. This woman really thought he was lusting to return to the Jiang family, begging for it. After saying that, Jiang He even directly closed the door, letting Jiang Jiang Hao also no longer open the door. Seeing Jiang He really no longer take care of her, Jiang Jiang also can only leave unhappily, inwardly still keep cursing Jiang He does not know how to appreciate. When the time comes, don't cry and come back to beg her. Just at this moment, Jiang Jiang suddenly received a phone call from the private detective she specially hired. M.S. Jiang, the person you asked us to investigate before. We have already filtered out a certain range through big data as well as visits and investigations. And we can roughly determine that the boy who saved you back then is still residing in this part of the orphanage in the suburbs. At the same time, we have also arranged a large number of manpower to carry out a large-scale investigation. Door-to-door -door search, please rest assured. M.S. Jiang, will soon be able to give you a satisfactory answer. Mainly because Jiang Jiang gave too much. This might be the banknote ability. Still in this part of the orphanage? I know. 
Zhang Jiang hung up the phone, and for a while, she was also in doubt. The call she received earlier, the informant on the other end said that the boy who saved him had already left the country and his whereabouts were now unknown. But why? Now the private detectives people, again, said that it was still over here, even near the orphanage? But no matter what, having a clue was ultimately a good thing. I will definitely find you. Zhang Jiang also revealed a rare touch of tenderness. The boy's warm feeling back then, she still remembers it to this day. She swore that if she found the boy, she must repay him properly. When school ended the next afternoon, Zhang Yi finished cleaning up the infirmary, and after saying goodbye to Zhang Xian, he brought Lu Cici along to Zhou Ruoyun's ramen store. And when Zhou Ruoyun saw that it was Zhang Yi and Lu Cici, she also rushed to welcome them. Cici, Zhou Ruoyun rushed up and hugged Lu Cici. Not seeing Lu Cici these days, she missed her to death. Thus, the two girls, who were as bright as flowers, returned to the store hand in hand, and Zhang He, naturally, was ignored. Zhang He touched the tip of his nose. It seems that Zhou Ruoyun, this little nymph, has regained her old vigor, which is a good thing. Zhang He was afraid that after experiencing that previous incident, being sold by her own father, she would be devastated. But now it seems that he was overly worried. See, see, I really thanked you before. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even know what to do yet. But Lu Cici was waving her hands back and forth. These are all the credit of brother Zhang He. I actually didn't help much. Lu Cici was also very embarrassed in the face of Zhou Ruoyun's thanks. Seeing this, Zhou Ruoyun also fiercely got up and directly bowed a 90 degree very perfect bow to Zhang He. Mr. Zhang He, thank you very much. Ah, uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Zhang He faced the scene. Only one word came to mind, very spiritual. Worthy of being Zhou Ruoyun, it all felt a bit like a hot-blooded anime protagonist. In fact, this was also Zhou Ruoyun's way of figuring out how to face Jiang Yi when she was in the hospital with her sister. She knew that she really liked Jiang Yi, but she had said before that she would never do anything, even mentally, to apologize to Lu Cici. But she also knew that once she got closer to Jiang Yi, she couldn't help the ripples of restlessness within her heart. Thus. When facing Zhang He, she first chose to ignore. As long as she ignored Zhang He, she could manage not to think about Zhang He. If she had to communicate with Zhang He, then she would take out 10% of her spirit and act like she was facing her elders. For short, the very spiritual method. Believe, her kind of girl who only yells and screams, not gentle at all. Zhang He, as a man, absolutely can't afford to have a trace of good feelings. Right at this moment, a very robust figure walked into the ramen store. Boss, serve three bowls of ramen. But the next second, this robust figure was dumbfounded. Zhang He, class monitor Lu, why are you guys here? At these words, Zhou Ruoyun also looked at the few people with some curiosity. Cough cough, Zhang Yin why are you here? Zhang He was also a bit weak for a moment. That's right, the person who came was none other than his fierce deskmate. Zhang Yin, this should be me asking you. Say, are you not hiding the fact that you are with class president Lu from me? Zhang Yan stepped forward and made a move of strong man locking man on Zhang He, locking Zhang He in a deadlock to prevent him from taking the opportunity to slip away. When these words came out, Lu Cici's little face instantly became red. The thing that they were together, even her best friend didn't tell. But in fact, Lu Cici still wanted to let others know about this matter. But as a student, she also knew that she couldn't say. That's right, it's what you think. Cici is now my girlfriend. Zhang He unapologetically told the truth. He believed that Zhang Yan wouldn't say anything. What's more, he could also see Lu Cici's little heart. And Lu Cici's little face also surfaced a little shyness. Her eyes revealed a hint of panic and nervousness. But she couldn't help but sneak a glance at Zhang He. Inside, she couldn't help but feel a small hint of joy. This is the small mind that belongs uniquely to a young girl. Afraid of being discovered. Yet expecting to be blessed and envied. As soon as these words came out. Zhang Yan's eyes widened and his mouth opened with an expression of disbelief. To be honest, he once did have a crush on Lu Cici. After all, Lu Cici is so beautiful, good at studying, and a gentle class president. It can be said that the vast majority of male classmates in the class have liked Lu Cici. But now, his good brother had realized the dream of all male students. He didn't know whether to be happy or sad for him, or jealous. You kid can ah, actually hid it from me for so long. Zhang Yin pulled Zhang He to one side and mysteriously said something to Zhang He. Ahem, can you teach old brother me? I am really envious. Zhang He looked at Zhang Yan's huge pecs and strong physique. Young man, you have to believe in yourself. 
Actually, it wasn't that Zheng he refused to say it, but, he simply wouldn't ah. If it wasn't for Lu Cici taking the initiative, how could Zheng he open his mouth? He and Zhang Yan are just half a caddy to eight tails, right? How come you are free to come here today? Zhang he remembered that this kid went to the gym every day after school. After all, this kid took the sports route and was now preparing for a bodybuilding competition. Ugh, don't mention it. Zhang Yan waved his hand, also full of helplessness. What is sold around this gym are some heavy oil and salt food. Every time I'm hungry after working out, I still have to run so far to come here, or else I'll just bring some food from home myself. But it's been a long time, and then the heat preservation is also cold. Right boss, still three bowls of ramen, same as before. Okay, Joe Ruayun is also very quick to agree. This is her first repeat customer. I didn't expect it to be Jung He's classmate. HM, what is the same as before? Jung He looked at Jung Yin with some doubt. It can't be. Less oil and less salt. You know what? I was amazed the first time I came. There are actually ramen so light. It's just too sweet. When these words came out, Zhang Yi also slapped his forehead. Good lord, it's the same as what he thought. Was that less oil and salt? That was not put at all. Only a fitness freak like Zhang Yan would think so. Suddenly, Zhang Yi seemed to think of something and asked Zhang Yan, Are there many people in your gym? That's for sure. Our gym is the biggest in all of High City. Saying this, Zhang Yan also proudly patted his chest, then pinched Zhang Yi's small body. Do you want to exercise too? How about I take you? You'll be satisfied. Zhang Yan thought that Zhang he wanted to work out with him. Ahem, there's no need for this path. How many people are there in your gym roughly? Can you say a slightly specific number? Hearing this, although Zhang Yan didn't know what exactly Zhang he wanted to do, he still thought carefully and continued. About a thousand people. But it's including the coaches as well as the staff. And some who don't come often. To be honest, this number, which had greatly exceeded Zhang He's expectations, was actually so many. In fact, Zhang He's reaction was also considered normal, thinking that the general gym would have a maximum of 100 people, also including coaches as well as staff. I didn't expect this biggest gym in High City to actually have around a thousand people, although it would certainly not appear at the gym at the same time. The number of people online could also be stabilized at a hundred or ten. That is, the total number of people divided by ten. Then with so many people, and no stable and suitable food and beverage outlets for fitness people in the neighborhood, then isn't this an opportunity? So what? How about doing me a favor? Say it, why are you still polite with me? Zhang Yan once again patted his chest. He worked out so that he could better help others and better improve himself. Men, be fierce. Introduce the boss of your gym to me. I want to talk about some cooperation with him. When these words came out, Zhang Yan also looked at Jiang He with some curiosity. Jiang He and him both seem to be students, right? Or is Jiang He some kind of invisible tycoon? Jiang He you tell the truth. Are you a rich second generation? Looking at Zhang Yan's eyes that wanted to get to the bottom of the matter, Jiang He also cried and laughed for a while. Once was, not anymore. Before, as the young master of the Jiang family, he did call himself a rich second generation. But now, well, he was just an ordinary student. Didn't lie to me? How could I? Do you see that I look like a rich second generation? Lu Cici looked at the two of them, and for a moment, she couldn't help but cover her mouth and laugh lightly. Only suddenly, she only felt her heart jolt, and a wave of pain hit her. But she didn't make a sound. She just silently pulled out a piece of medicine and quietly sent it into her mouth. She didn't want to make Zhang Yi scared because of her during the day she spent with him. At the same time, Zhang Xian was packing up her things and preparing for a trip out. In fact, it was Zhang Bai who had come to High City for some reason and had to go see her by herself. There is no way. Who let Zhang Bai help her before? And just in a small alley not far from the second middle school, three people are waiting for something with white eyes. That's right, these three people were none other than Lu Yu and his two little old brothers. It's been waiting for so many days. Why hasn't this Zhang Xian come out? They have been squatting at the entrance of the second middle school to guard Zhang Xian for several days. But they haven't even seen Zhang Xian's silhouette, let alone finding an opportunity to get their hands on him. It shouldn't be a big brother. It stands to reason that Miss Zhang, as the eldest miss of the Zhang family, would still be able to live in the school? The tall and thin little old man also scratched his head. Obviously the plan was going well before. Why did he get stuck at this crucial step? Suddenly, a slender figure appeared in front of the eyes of several people. Lu Yu was also wide-eyed. It was actually Jiang Xian. And the two brothers also looked at each other and directly put on their humongous hoods. 
Action. Meanwhile, Zhang Xian naturally knew nothing about it and just looked at her cell phone. Coming to pick me up? And arrive right away? A message from Jiang Bai popped up. And Jiang Xian couldn't help but hold her forehead. Didn't she say she was going by herself? How come she's coming to pick her up again? But since Jiang Bai had said so, she had no choice but to wait where she was. And when the few people saw that Jiang Xian was not moving, they also realized that the opportunity had come. Lu Yu even started to organize his image, preparing to be a hero in a while and then take down Jiang Xian. Chick, alone? The fat and tall little old man was the first to open his mouth with a lewd feeling. Even with a mask, it was hard to hide his temperament. It could be said that this little old man was born to eat this existence. Zhang Xian looked at the two men in front of him, also frowning slightly, not bothering with them at all. And the two brothers also looked at each other and smiled. Yo, not taking care of us, the chick really has personality. The brothers love it. Saying that, the tall and thin little old man was about to go up to grab Jiang Xian, but he was directly dodged by Jiang Xian. A cold light flashed in Jiang Xian's eyes. For how many years? No one had dared to treat her like this. I didn't think that there was really someone who didn't know how to die. She wasn't some weak woman. Having gone through the family's harsh systematic training, coupled with extremely rich medical knowledge, she was able to manage to open a dozen or so slashes on these two people and still be judged to have minor injuries. It was still no big deal to deal with two ordinary people. Ha ha ha, chick just go with brother. Brother will take you to a good place in a while. Package you cool to fly. The two men are also ready to make a final attack, creating the best time for Lu Yu to rescue the hero. And Lu Yu is also ready to strike. He wants to let Jiang Xian see what is called a real man. Right at this moment, Jiang Xian suddenly looked at the two with a smile on her face. And the two little old men were slightly stunned, not understanding what this Jiang Xian meant. In the next second, two mountain-like figures covered the two men's bodies, and then two huge hands like bushels were gently placed on the two men's heads, immortal caressing the top, not necessarily granting longevity. There is also the possibility of a strong crushing of the skull, and the two men slowly turned back with some trembling after feeling that extreme sense of oppression, only to see two burly men in black suits with sunglasses on their heads were silently looking at the two. The two were just like two pieces of cupcakes in front of these two suited burly bodyguards. Yada yada yada. Who is this? So it's my sister Sama. Zhang Bai bounced to Zhang Xian's front and looked at her with a curious face. Sister Sama. Even this kind of mongrel dares to molest you now? How pathetic. While facing Zhang Bai's provocation, Zhang Xian just smiled skinlessly and didn't say anything. There was no way around it. Who made it so that she was indeed no match for Zhang Bai right now? The current Zhang family was practically under Zhang Bai's control. It was hard to imagine that the innocent-faced little girl in front of her was the actual controller of the behemoth that was the Jiang family. The two little old brothers were still trembling. The oppressive feeling of these two bodyguards alone was enough to make them tremble. Not daring to move. Not daring to move at all. As for Lu Yu, right now, he was being scared and cowering in the corner of the wall. Jiang. Jiang Bai. If one were to say who the group of rich kids in the capital city were most afraid of, it was definitely Jiang Bai. When she lays her hands on them, but she definitely doesn't give face to anyone. Just a real madman. When the Jiang family's parents died early, leaving behind only two sisters, the entire capital city of wolves and tigers are all eyeing this huge piece of cake, but no one expected. These two sisters are not vegetarian. First, Jiang Xian saved the day and stabilized the Jiang family, followed by Jiang Bai with an absolutely ruthless wrist, suppressing all the jackals, but all those who do not listen. All out. Even Jiang Xian was included. Sister Sama, what do you think should be done with these two? Should they be burned? Or sunk in the sea? Jiang Bai covered her mouth and laughed softly, but the madness in her eyes did not diminish at all. When these two little old men heard this, they were so directly scared that they almost peed themselves, flopping down and directly kneeling for Jiang Bai. Ha ha ha, just for fun, lynching is illegal. Jiang Bai looked at the two men's appearance simply to laugh his stomach hurt. Sister Sama, you don't want me to break the law either, right? All right, all right, no more jokes. Send these two to the Public Security Bureau. Jiang Bai waved his hand, not wanting to show too much ruthlessness in front of Jiang Xian. What if her elder sister Sama got scared, hearing that there was no intention to do away with them? These two little old men only breathed a sigh of relief limp down. Only to walk is certainly not walk. The two burly bodyguards also looked at each other, like carrying a small chicken threw the two people to the back of the business car. Get in my sister Sama. This time I helped you so much. How should you thank me? Jiang Bai looked at Jiang Xian, 
She was curious as to how Jiang Xian looked at her now. You name it, as long as I can do it. Oh, is that so? Then I'll have to think about it. Suddenly, Jiang Bai's words changed. Recently, you've gotten very close to that Jiang He. When these words came out, Jiang Xian also instantly changed her face, tugging on Jiang Bai's collar and saying viciously, You investigated me. Seeing this furious look of Jiang Xian, instead of feeling fear, Jiang Bai produced a hint of excitement. She hadn't seen Jiang Xian in this manner for a long time. Aya, is this how sister treats her benefactor? Only then did Jiang Xian slowly loosen Jiang Bai's collar. However, seeing this indifferent look of Jiang Bai, Jiang Xian also rubbed her eyebrows with a great headache. She knew that she could not pose a threat in Jiang Bai's eyes, or perhaps, she did not have the ability to threaten Jiang Bai at all. I have already withdrawn from the core of the Jiang family, and the position of the family head has no desire to fight. Even so you still refuse to let me go? When I was young, every time you were punished for being naughty, I was the one who pleaded for you and took the punishment for you, and now this is how you treat me? Jiang Xian just looked at Jiang Bai's eyes. She didn't understand why the two of them had become this way now. Could it be that in Jiang Bai's eyes, she was the kind of person who coveted power? If I really coveted that position, why would I leave the capital city? Looking at Jiang Xian's small appearance as she kept explaining for herself, Jiang Bai also let out a puff of laughter. What are you laughing at? This look of Jiang Bai's also caused Jiang Xian to be unable to hold back a nameless anger from rising. No, nothing. I just think that elder sister Sama is really too cute and naive. Naive to the point of being disgusting. Jiang Bai, who said these words, just looked at Jiang Xian, his large eyes revealing some innocence, but causing Jiang Xian to tremble slightly. Jiang Bai violently lifted Jiang Xian's chin. Looking at Jiang Xian's beautiful face, Jiang Bai could not help but be mesmerized. I said that everything you have belongs to me. Now go with me to find a trip to Jiang He. It's best if you don't let me find out that you have any relationship, or else sister. You know my methods. You're such a madman. Unbelievable. Jiang Xian shook off Jiang Bai's fingers. She couldn't understand how the little crybaby who was originally so clingy to her had turned into this lunatic now. Ha! Huh? Sister Sama originally knew that I'm crazy ah. Then Sister Sama don't let crazy people go crazy oh. After saying that, he rushed straight towards where Jiang He was. Jiang He, who was discussing the cooperation with the gym at the ramen store, naturally knew nothing about this matter, and did not notice the danger coming in the slightest. One week trial? Of course there's no problem. Jiang He was discussing the cooperation with the gym owner across the street through Zhang Yan's cell phone, not to mention the trial of delivering ramen for a week. Even if it was for a month, Jiang He would still agree to it. To have the opportunity to gain this contact, Jiang He was already pleasantly surprised. Success always comes step by step. In fact, this matter can be accomplished. But also thanks to Zhang Yan, who did not expect that Zhang Yan's fitness coach is actually the boss of the biggest gym in High City. And Zhang Yan was also very valued by that boss. Otherwise he wouldn't have taken him to participate in various competitions. Of course, there was also Zhou Ruoyun's credit in it. Her handful of clear soup ramen was truly marvelous. Miss Show, I'll leave it to you next. It's best to recruit another delivery person. Or else you definitely won't be able to keep yourself busy by yourself if I'm attending classes during the day. Seeing Jiang He talking to her, Zhou Ruoyun froze for two seconds before coming back to her senses. Understood. Sure enough, still very spirited. Jiang He was also sweating a bit for a moment. Miss Zhou doesn't need to be so serious. Just talk as if you're among friends. Mainly because Jiang He could stand it. Zhou Ruoyun's voice wasn't so sure. Okay, essence, god. Well, when Jiang He didn't say, at this time, a newest Maybach, parked in front of the ramen store, and the crowd of people coming and going in the pedestrian street night market, also stopped to look at it, and some people even picked up their cell phones and started to take pictures, Beijing A, or consecutive numbers, what kind of top godly car is this, my god, this car has to be at least a million dollars, one million, this is the latest Maybach, you can't even buy it with money. Listening to the voices outside, Jiang Xian was also a bit helpless. Jiang Bai was a little excited to get off the car. She would like to see this Jiang He. What kind of god is it? Actually can get so close to her elder sister. At this time, Jiang He also noticed the agitation at the door and just wanted to go out to check when he saw two silhouettes walking in. Dr. Jiang? And this one is? You are Jiang He, right? I'm Jiang Xian's sister. Just call me Xiao Bai. Jiang Bai gently took Jiang Xian's arm. The madness from before was completely absent from her eyes. 
and with that pure appearance, she was completely a cute little neighbor sister. By the way, I heard my sister say that you and her are very close. I wonder if it's true. Looking at Jiang Bai's harmless appearance, Jiang Yi naturally wasn't the slightest bit wary and didn't notice any danger in it. Dr. Jiang has been helping me. I'm naturally grateful to Dr. Jiang. When these words came out, Jiang Bai also blinked a pair of big clear eyes and looked at Jiang Xian with some curiosity. Sister, can you tell me about it? Sister really wants to know. However, Jiang Xian was not deceived by Jiang Bai's superficiality. She understood that if she let Jiang Bai know that Jiang He had pretended to be her boyfriend before, she would definitely go crazy. What does it have to do with you? Jiang Xian's cold voice echoed in the store, and for a while everyone was in a state of embarrassment. No one expected that Jiang Xian would say this, including Jiang Bai. Jiang Bai's face also changed slightly, but quickly recovered. The more Jiang Xian hit it, the more curious she became about Jiang He. Cough cough cough, let's sit down and talk. I'll go get you some food. Jiang He also stepped forward to ease the atmosphere, although he also didn't know what was going on between Jiang Xian and her sister. Good, it just so happens that I also want to. But before Jiang Bai could finish his sentence, he was pulled out by Jiang Xian, coming to the alley outside the door. Jiang Xian looked at Jiang Bai coldly, while Jiang Bai still had that innocent little look, as if Jiang Xian really bullied her. I'm warning you, don't hit on Jiang He, I have no relationship with him. Do you understand? Why? What is Sister Sama afraid of? Jiang Bai laughed out softly. Are you sick or not? What does how I am have to do with you? Jiang Xian really couldn't stand this appearance of Jiang Bai nowadays. It was unbelievable. But sister, you weren't like this before. Jiang Bai's eyes flashed with a hint of despondency. You clearly said that you would protect me for the rest of my life. When these words came out, Jiang Xian also froze for a moment. She did say such words to Jiang Bai. Since the death of her parents, the Jiang family could be said to be in a precarious situation. Outside there were jackals, tigers and leopards eyeing the Jiang family as a piece of fat meat without a master. And inside there were countless relatives from all walks of life that popped up, wanting to divide up the Jiang family. At that time, Shi Jiang Xian secretly vowed to hold on. For the sake of Jiang Bai, she cannot lose. But what did Jiang Bai do to her? Jiang Bai, you still have the nerve to say that? Has your fucking conscience been eaten by a dog? Looking at Jiang Xian's gnashing of teeth, Jiang Bai recoiled with some excitement. How did I treat you? And how did you repay me? Kicking me out of the board of directors and forcing me to leave the capital city. Weren't these all you're doing? Now that I chose to leave and come to live in High City, you still refuse to let me go. Jiang Xian really misjudged this sister. She considered Jiang Bai as her only family. But what did Jiang Bai treat her as? A plaything? So that's how sister thinks of me? Jiang Bai had a rare moment of silence for a short while, but then quickly recovered. A hint of madness once again appearing on her face. She didn't need to understand. Then why does elder sister Sama refuse to promise me to stay by my side? Stay by your side? To be your dog? Jiang Bai, what do you take me for? Jiang Xian laughed coldly, staying by Jiang Bai's side, having to listen to her on everything, even going out has to be reported. What the hell is this if not a dog? Suddenly, Jiang Bai reached out and touched Jiang Xian's chin. Sister Sama, you'll never be able to escape me. Jiang Xian slapped Jiang Bai's palm away. She was now practically mad at Jiang Bai. Sick. After saying that, Jiang Xian turned around and went back to the ramen store. She couldn't communicate with Jiang Bai at all. Jiang Bai also didn't care at all. Since Jiang Xian cared so much about that kid Jiang He, let's start with Jiang He. She wanted to see if Jiang He could withstand her temptation or expose his own nature. When Jiang Bai returned to the store, Jiang He had already served four steaming bowls of secret ramen. Jiang Bai also went straight up then sat next to Jiang He. Can I call you brother Jiang He? When these words came out, Lu Cici's body was also slightly shaken, and Jiang Xian even directly slapped her chopsticks on the table. Come here you, Jiang Bai, however, looked at Jiang Xian with a confused expression. Why, you, Jiang Xian was simply going to be infuriated. What is this Jiang Bai up to again? Jiang, Miss Jiang, why don't you sit next to me? Lu Cici also couldn't help but speak out, even if she had a good temper. She couldn't allow someone to do anything to Jiang He in front of her. Oh, this pretty sister, could it be brother Jiang He's girlfriend? Jiang Bai's eyes were filled with sarcasm. Pretty sister, with such a weak nature, you won't be able to guard brother Jiang He's oh. Instantly, the atmosphere became subtle once again, and Jiang He frowned. Miss Jiang Bai. CC is my girlfriend. 
even if you are Dr. John's sister, please get out. Zhang Yi was naturally not used to this John by a bit. Lu Cixi is also very nervous to hold her own small hand tightly, until some pale also did not notice. She understands that she is indeed very weak, also cannot help Zhang Yi a little, but immediately after, a warm palm covered her small hand. Zhang Yi also gave her a reassuring look. Everything has him. Agu Agu, I was just joking. Sister CC you won't be angry with me, right? Looking at the two small actions, Zhang Bai took the initiative to come to Lu Cici's side, smiling and holding Lu Cici's arm. I'm sorry Sister CC. just now it was me who said something wrong, can you forgive sister me? Zhang Bai blinked her big innocent eyes with an expression of knowing and admitting her mistake, and Lu Cici nodded. After all, she was Zhang Xian's younger sister, since she had admitted her mistake, she couldn't say anything else, but inwardly, she was still guarded against Zhang Bai. All right Zhang Bai, go back with me, Zhang Xian said with some fatigue, she really didn't want to play this false trick with Zhang Bai anymore, that's fine, then sister CC, brother Zhang He, goodbye, after saying that, Zhang Bai actually took the initiative to walk out of the ramen store, which also made Zhang Xian breathe a sigh of relief, sorry, this sister of mine has a bad brain, so I'll leave first, Zhang Xian couldn't explain anything, she only hoped that Zhang Bai wouldn't bother Zhang He again, well, goodbye Dr. Jiang. After sending off two days later, Jiang He also breathed a sigh of relief. This Jiang Bai was really too strange. He couldn't see through what Jiang Bai wanted to do at all. See, see, it's getting late. Let me send you home first. It was already completely dark. Although Lu Cici's parents didn't object to the two of them, but if they went back too late, they would still be worried after all. Well, let's go. Just for some reason, Lu Cici looked a little preoccupied. Just like that, Zhang Yi first said goodbye to Zhou Ruoyun before returning to Lu Cixi. The two walked on the street, surrounded by bustling pedestrians. Only the dim streetlights were still so neatly lit. To be honest, the two really didn't look much like a real couple. What kind of couple walks together without holding hands? Brother Zhang He, am I useless? Just now when M.S. Zhang Bai spoke so much, I didn't even dare to respond. Lu Cixi's voice was soft, but now it couldn't stop being a bit low and bleak. I'm not as lively as Sister Ruoli, not as spontaneous as Miss Zhou, not as calm as Dr. Jiang, and I even caused Brother Jiang He to be injured before. As she said that, Lu Cixi's tears couldn't stop sliding down her cheeks, but she still kept her head down, not wanting Jiang He to see her like this. In fact, every time Jiang He discussed matters with other people, she wanted very, very much to be able to help Jiang He, even if it was just a little bit. However, because of her physical problems, everyone is always taking care of her all the time. Listening to what Lu Cixi said, Zhang He didn't make the first sound, but left the time for Lu Cixi to open her heart. Brother Zhang He, why don't we just, without waiting for Lu Cixi to finish her sentence, Zhang He directly spoke out, are you going to abandon me too? No, no, I just think I. Lu Cixi also hastened to explain, she just felt that staying by Zhang He's side would only drag Zhang He down. She once had Zhang He, and that was enough. See, see, I like you. Zhang He walked straight to Lu Cixi's front and just looked straight at Lu Cixi. W H. What? I like you. Zhang He's upper hand gently wiped away the tears in the corner of Lu Cixi's eyes. He was now very clear that he really liked Lu Cixi. It was no longer the kind of concern he had for his sister. Since the rebirth, he is very difficult to feel love. Zhang's family hurt him too deep, too deep. In the beginning. Zhang He really only pitted Lu Cixi before agreeing to stay with her temporarily, but through all kinds of experience, Zhang He found that whenever Lu Cixi is by his side, he will feel inexplicably at ease, and when Lu Cixi is not around, he will also think of that gentle little ninny from time to time. Feelings never come overnight, only through the trials and tribulations of time can they be confirmed and affirmed. Before it was you who confessed to me, this time it's my turn. Zhang He knelt down on one knee and just looked at this cute little crybaby. This beautiful young lady, are you willing to be my girlfriend? The fireworks were easy to see and fleeting, but true love wouldn't be. Ooh, I. For a while, Lu Cixi cried even more. She was a bit out of breath. She never thought that Zhang He would do this kind of thing to her. This was a scene that only appeared in her dreams. Zhang He saw Lu Cixi's eyes that flashed with tears. For a while, some fascinated. The body is also slowly towards Lu Cixi clothes, looking at Lu Cixi's tantalizing pink lips. Zhang He. H.M., Zhang He, and Lu Cixi, not going home in the middle of the night, what are you guys doing, 
Hearing the familiar voice, Jiang He turned his head somewhat stiffly. School, why is your old man here? Principal? Jiang He inwardly crumbled a little. How did it happen to be at such a critical time? Yo, you still know that I'm the principal? The visitor is exactly the principal of the second middle school. He rode a bicycle in the middle of the night. He was in a hurry to go to the education bureau to investigate something. Who knows that he just bumped into Jiang Yi this brat. Continue to kiss ah, how to stop. The principal did not have a good mood to look at the two. Really not save ah, cough cough, what are you old man saying? Principal? Jiang Yi tried to dodge this by pretending to be crazy, but it was obviously ineffective against the principal. Alright, you kid will be dead if you don't get into the top 100 in the city in the next joint exam. Got it? Understood. There is no way. Jiang He can only agree first. It seems that in the future he will have to study until 3 in the morning. The principal looked at Lu Cici who was blushing to the point of not being able to look at herself behind Jiang He. Lu Cici was already a bit dizzy at this moment. Just now Jiang He was going to kiss her. Right? Then should she let Jiang He kiss her? But this is her first kiss. If she just give it to Jiang He, will Jiang He think she is too frivolous? But if she doesn't give it, will Jiang He get angry? What to do? The girl's brain is going to die because of Jiang He's kiss. All right, take care of Lu Cici and go home early. The principal didn't say anything in the end. After all, Lu Cici's situation was a bit special. It was better not to upset her as much as possible. If it was someone else, he might have to think about it. But Jiang He he was still very relieved. Got it. By principal. Jiang He also waved his hand repeatedly. And only until the principal walked away did he completely breathe a sigh of relief. Crap. This was in front of the principal. If this was known by Zhang Yan and the others, they wouldn't be scared to death. Zhang He could already imagine their shocked expressions. Suddenly, Zhang He only felt some warmth in his cheeks. Zhang He looked at Lu Cici this little nymph with some surprise. Did she just kiss herself? Jiang, brother Jiang He, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Just like this, Lu Cici almost transformed into a steam locomotive. Her face was red like a ripe apple. It was so tempting that people couldn't help but want to taste her flavor. Brother Jiang He, I really like, like you so much. Perhaps the young girl's brain had already been burned by the heat of love at this time, and she was saying everything from her heart. Oops, what the hell is she talking about? The young girl reacted only after she finished speaking, but it was already too late. Aha, I like you too. Jiang He gently took Lu Cici's small hand. Let's call it a day. If the whole thing goes on, He's afraid that Lu Cici really can't take it. Really? Lu Cici blinks her eyes that can still see some tears, as if inquiring, but also as if she is sure. Really? Didn't lie to me? Of course. Just like this, the silhouettes of the two men gradually disappeared into the street. At the same time Lu Yu was not so good. He knew Jiang Bai's methods. His two little brothers may not be in trouble. At most be imprisoned for a few days to suffer a little. Jiang Bai generally will not be on ordinary people to lay a heavy hand. But if Jiang Bai knew that he was behind it, he would be finished. Thus, Lu Yu packed his luggage overnight and prepared to board the plane to leave High City. Please ask the passengers of Flight 3891 to quickly go to the boarding gate to check their tickets and board. Please have the passengers of Flight 3891 quickly check their tickets at the boarding gate to board the flight. Looking at the ticket in his hand, and the flight that is about to take off, Lu Yu is also slightly relieved, and hurriedly comes to the boarding gate to prepare to check his ticket for boarding. Jiang Xin. Wait for it. I'll be back. Lu Yu is not a man who gives up easily. For the sake of the Lu family, and also for his own sake, he is bound to take Jiang Xian without stopping. Just at this time, two burly men in black suits came behind Lu Yu without slowing down, and Lu Yu thought it was other passengers. So naturally he didn't care. It wasn't until he realized how he couldn't pull his suitcase that he turned around to see what was going on. What are you guys doing? Want to rob? Don't let go yet. Lu Yu frowns and tries to snatch the suitcase back from the two men, but realizes that he can't pull it at all. The suitcase is as stable as Mount Taishan under the added weight of the two strong men. Do you guys know who I am? Lu Yu looked at the two men with some arrogance. He was the young master of the Lu family in the capital city. In high city, other than the Top Lin family and Jiang family, who would dare not to give him three points? The two strong men in suits also looked at each other as if they had heard something funny. Immediately after, a somewhat slender figure appeared in front of Lu Yu. Let go of me. Or don't blame me. Crap Jiang Bai. The moment he saw Jiang Bai, Lu Yu directly gave his knees, because he knew that he was going to be finished. The next day after school in the afternoon, Jiang He went to find Jiang Xian to ask for a day off. He wanted to go to find the boss of that gym to talk carefully. 
Just what Jiang He didn't expect was that Jiang Bai was actually there. In fact, Jiang Xian also had a big headache about this. No matter how she drove Jiang Bai away, Jiang Bai was indifferent. In the end, Jiang Xian even moved out the Jiang family to pressure her. If you don't go back to the capital city, aren't you afraid that something will happen to the Jiang family? But Jiang Bai remained indifferent. In fact, this was also a part of her plan. Although the current Jiang family was calm on the surface, there were still quite a few tumors rotting to the roots in the interior. It was with her departure that she wanted to lure those tumors out. Only by completely eradicating these tumors that clung to the giant tree of the Jiang family could she leave no loose ends and rest easy. Of course, it was also possible to take advantage of this time to let Jiang Xian see Jiang He's true colors clearly. She didn't believe that a man would approach her sister Sama for no reason. Maybe the last time she fainted. It was also Jiang He pretending. For the sake of Jiang Xian, I have to say, Jiang Bai's brainstorming is still very powerful. Brother Jiang He, why don't you take me with you? I'm very powerful. Finally, Jiang Bai still bared her fangs at Jiang He. She just wanted Jiang He to slowly understand her ability as well as the power behind her. When Jiang He took the bait and abandoned Lu Cici for her, wouldn't that make Jiang Xian see Jiang He's true colors clearly? With her face value as well as her ability, no man can reject her. Absolutely. This won't trouble MS. Jiang Bai. Jiang He directly shattered Jiang Bai's fantasies and bluntly voiced her refusal. Just from what Jiang Bai said to Lu Cici yesterday, Jiang He's impression of her now can be said to be very bad, and Jiang He is not a visual animal. Even if Jiang Bai is good looking and pure. So what? Jiang Bai's face was a bit taut at this moment. The corner of her mouth twitched twice every now and then. It was obvious that she was also a bit angry. Brother Jiang He, you probably don't know. I'm the chief business advisor of the Jiang family in the capital. How many people look for me to consult me? That's all the more reason not to trouble MS. Jiang Bai. CC let's go. After saying that, Jiang He pulled Lu Cici's small hand and left, leaving only a confused Jiang Bai. At this time, Jiang Xian also looked at Jiang Bai and covered her mouth and laughed lightly. This was the first time she had seen Jiang Bai so defeated. Jiang Bai was also not expecting that there was actually a man who rejected her so directly. Jiang He, good for you. You've successfully caught my attention. When these words came out, Jiang Xian looked at Jiang Bai somewhat speechlessly and spat out. Is this the plot of the domineering president falling in love with me? It's really wonderful. I said it. Jiang He and I are just ordinary friends. What kind of person Jiang He is? I am also very clear. Don't you think? But before Jiang Xian could finish her words, she was directly interrupted by Jiang Bai, and even looked at her good sister with interest. Sister Sama, have you ever had an ordinary friend pretend to be your boyfriend? I remember that Sister Sama has a cleanliness fetish. Right. Could it be that you would let an ordinary friend eat something you've bitten? Speaking of which, Jiang Bai's heart was filled with suppression and madness, which were naturally pried out of that brat Lu Yu's mouth. You, how did you know that? Jiang Xian couldn't help but be flustered as well. Weren't these only known to her in Jiang He as well as Lu Cici? How did Jiang Xian know all this, and even knew that Jiang He had eaten what she had bitten? But that was all just for show to show Lu Yu Ah. It wasn't even her bite. Jiang Bai you listen to me. No need to say anything, sister lord. I won't make a move against Jiang He for now. I will personally make Jiang He show his true colors. Then sister lord will know that I did everything right. After saying that, Jiang Bai directly left. She was going to set up a good show. A good show specifically targeting Jiang He. Looking at Jiang Bai's departing back, Jiang Xian also couldn't help but hold her forehead. What is this all about? She did have a slight crush on Jiang He. But there was a full six years difference between them. Meanwhile, Zhang He and Lu Cici were already on their way to the gym. Zhang He also greeted Zhang Yin in advance and asked him to wait at the gym entrance for him to pass. Suddenly, Lu Cici opened her mouth as if she had made some sort of determination. Brother Zhang He, why don't we bring Miss Zhang Bai with us? She couldn't help much in the first place, and she couldn't let others not be able to help either because of her. Then you're not afraid that I'll be snatched away by someone else? Zhang He smiled. Thinking of teasing this cute and kind little ninny, how could it be? I, I believe brother Jiang He. Lu Cici was also a bit anxious when she heard this. She wouldn't let others snatch Jiang He away from her. Since you believe in me, then don't worry. Everything is with me. This time, with Zhang Yan's assistance, plus the fact that he had talked to that gym owner on the phone even before, it could basically be said that it was a sure thing. Aha! Lu Cici also held Jiang He's hand tightly. She believed that Jiang He would definitely be able to do it. But what the two of them didn't know was that Jiang Bai was right behind them, following nonchalantly. 
When Jiang Yi came to the gym that Zhang Yan had talked about before, he was also shocked by a small wave of the building in front of him. Who would have thought that this gym was actually a five-story building? There was also more than one, even from the windows outside. One could see those strong men sweating inside, exuding a hormonal odor from beginning to end. Of course, only the first floor can be seen, obviously for the purpose of publicity. The remaining floors with one-way glass, the outside cannot be seen. At this time, Zhang Yan also found Jiang He as well as Lu Cici's figure, and hurriedly waved at Jiang He. Let me introduce you guys. This is my coach and the boss here. Just call him brother Lu. Lu Hui also took the initiative to extend his hand to Jiang He. It could be seen that he still valued this cooperation and didn't feel unreliable because the two in front of him were just students. Come in first. Little brother is a bit thin ah. Do you want to do a card first? With these words, the atmosphere, which was still a bit tense, instantly became a lot easier. Can ah, just when I also think to exercise exercise. At that time also have to trouble brother Lu more point point. Zhang Yi wanted to exercise is only one of the things. Threw the card with Lu Hui to draw close to the relationship, is the focus. And Lu Hui see Zhang Yi this kid so on the road. Also secretly nodded. It seems not rash. This also led him more assured of this cooperation. Lu Hui brought a few people to the meeting on the top floor, and ordered his secretary to make tea for Jiang He. Little brother Jiang He, I'm very interested in the cooperation you mentioned before. Only I have one condition. Brother Lu Yu say, I hope that I can facilitate this cooperation with a shareholding. Lu Hui wasn't stupid. He understood that this contained a huge business opportunity and the market had great potential. Therefore, he didn't want to enter the game as a collaborator. He wanted to be in control together with Jiang He so that he wouldn't be kicked out at any time. When these words came out, Jiang He was also silent for a moment. He had thought about this before he came here, but the decision on this matter was not in his hands. Everything also depended on what Zhou Ruoyun wanted. I'm sorry brother Lu. I'm afraid I'll have to give you an answer on this matter after a while. Jiang He was also being honest, without the slightest intention of wanting to hide it. No problem. You guys take your time to consider it. If you agree, I am willing to give a million dollars for the shares. But even if you don't agree, it doesn't matter. Cooperate how you should. Lu Hui also does not force. He is just more optimistic about this piece of industry. Just, cannot take down even if. He this person is more casual. Then thank you brother Lu. Tomorrow's trial. Absolutely will not let brother Lu you disappointed. The two also hit it off. Everything was so smooth. Even Jiang he felt that it was a little too smooth. Right Jiang he little brother. Don't you want to run a card? I'll give you a free one year trial first. Saying one year trial is actually equivalent to free for life as long as the cooperation is still there. This is also a means to strengthen the connection between the two. No need brother Lu. I'll just pay for it myself. What kind of words are these? You are Zhang Yan's classmate and my partner. To come here and still want you to spend money. Isn't that a slap in my face? There was no way around it. Zhang Yi had no choice but to take it. Lu Duo or Come out quickly. Just as Lu Huey's words fell, the door of the office was opened. Then a wheat-colored beauty with dumbbells in her hands, tall and healthy all over appeared in front of several people. What's wrong pops? Lu Duor looked at the few people in front of her and said somewhat carelessly. You go and teach this little brother Jiang He, pay attention to the proportion you know? When these words came out, Zhang Yan also looked at Lu Hui with some surprise. Coach, isn't it a bit, to let the eldest senior sister come? This is not a joke. Zhang Yan is really afraid that Zhang He will be practiced to death by this big senior sister of his. Lu Duo, it's okay, young people are afraid of nothing. Think about when I was also. Seeing that Lu Hui was going to start recounting his glorious deeds again, Lu Duo also hurriedly pulled Jiang He and Lu Cici away. This old dad of hers, once he starts, it won't end. Bringing Jiang He to a gym, surrounded by people who are exercising. There are men and women. Jiang He somewhat thin and weak little body. It does seem a bit out of place. Fine dog, you try it first, I'll personally teach you later. After saying that, Lu Duo turned around to get water. She was not interested in Zhang He's kind of thin dog at all. Zhang He was also a little bit crying and laughing. First of all, he found a rest area for Lu Cici. I have to say, this gym is really professional, but also specialized in building a rest area for the relatives and friends of these bodybuilders. And all kinds of small snacks and drinks inside are also readily available. But this rest area is full of little girls. Those fierce men and women are not too good to come here. See, see, you just watch me here. What happened must call me no. Zhang He even requested the other little girls beside Lu Cici to help take care of the care. 
It was only until Jiang Yi left that these little girls opened their mouths and said to Lu Cixi, Your boyfriend is so sweet. He's just a bit thin. If something happens, can he protect you? Lu Cixi looked through the glass of the rest area and muttered, Can. Whether it was before. Or now. Jiang Yi was protecting her all the time. At the same time, Lu Duor also took three bottles of water back. And when she saw Lu Cixi go to the rest area, she directly threw a bottle to Jiang Yi. Try your limit later. If you can't hold out, just say so, got it? This was also to keep Jiang Yi from getting hurt. Try barbell neck front deep squats first, don't force it okay? Lu Duor came up and removed all the rubber pieces on the barbell, leaving only a barbell bar. This was also the minimum weight of the barbell, which was 20 kilograms, the weight of a standard barbell rod. At this moment, there were also quite a few curious bodybuilders who came to watch. After all, it was still relatively rare to see a beginner like Jiang Yi and it was still their eldest senior sister personally guiding them. One must know that even those of them who had been initiated for a year and a half couldn't stand Lu Duor's high-intensity training, let alone a fine dog like Jiang Yi. How much do you guess this kid can lift? Hmm, it's hard to say. I guess this pole is enough. I feel like it shouldn't be too good. This kid is too skinny. Many people shook their heads. After all, Jiang Yi's body was there. Even Lu Cixi looked at Jiang Yi with some worry, praying that Jiang Yi wouldn't get hurt. It didn't matter if he could lift it or not. But the other little girls in the lounge didn't feel the same way. All of them looked at Jiang Yi, the somewhat skinny little handsome man, with curiosity. And some of them even started to make bets. I bet this little handsome boy can't lift this pole. Don't talk nonsense. A normal person can definitely lift it. I bet 40 kilograms. I bet 30. I bet. Hey hey hey. What are you guys doing? Can't you see that his girlfriend is still here? There were also those who couldn't stand to watch. But in the end, they were still outnumbered and their voices were silenced. Right, right, how much do you bet your boyfriend can lift? There was a good thing that directly asked for Lu Cixi's opinion. For a while, the gazes of all the people fell on Lu Cixi's body. To be honest, they were all quite envious of Lu Cixi for looking so pretty and having such a handsome boyfriend. I, I guess 20. When these words came out, they also couldn't help but sigh. They didn't realize that the girlfriend of that little handsome guy had so little confidence in him. In the face of cynicism, others might hope that their boyfriend can lift a little more, but Lu Cixi just expects, Zhang Yi don't get hurt just fine. At this moment, Zhang Yi looked at the barbell bar in front of him and cried and laughed a little. Does MS, Lu know about the barbell bar? Barbell bar? What does it mean? Lu Duor was a little unsure. She thought it was because Zhang Yi didn't want to lose face and was deliberately delaying, but she still wanted Zhang Yi to try it so that she could also make a workout plan for Zhang Yi. It's just picking large luggage or goods for other people at the train station or the mall. You can probably earn 5 to 10 dollars a trip. Lu Duor was born in this kind of rich family. Naturally she didn't know much about it. In fact, Zhang Yi also can't remember. He has done too many dirty jobs. Only remembered that year seems to be Lin Ruoli that little girl is sick. The orphanage's allowance is late to send down. Zhang Yi also had to go to do a period of time mallet. So a trip, relying on 10 5 dollars. Ra picked out a thousand to Lin Rory to pay back the medical expenses. It's a bit like this one. It's just not so advanced. And there's a shelf to hold it up. After saying that, Zhang Yi then followed the standard and stood underneath the barbell bar. And easily lifted it up. Doesn't MS. Lu want to test my limits? Add two more pieces to 40 kilograms. Since it was a limit test, Zhang Yi also gave it a try. And Lu Duor was also slightly frowning. She originally thought that Zhang Yi was just a fine dog cockney and despised him from the bottom of her heart. But from the words of Zhang Yi just now, only to realize that Zhang Yi may have grown up as a child to suffer. At this time, the crowd of onlookers, their eyes all produced a subtle change, and they all watched Zhang Yi's test peacefully and quietly. Add two more bars. Looking at the six barbell pieces on Zhang Yi's shoulders, Lu Dui was also worried about Zhang Yi. Are you sure? You must say it if you can't hold it up. Even the few strong men who were watching on the sidelines also came forward to defend Zhang Yi. It's fine. This weight is still acceptable. Zhang Yi had a premonition that his limit should be around 100 kilograms. Sure enough, when the last two barbell pieces were added, Zhang Yi also started to tremble all over. And just when the crowd thought that Zhang Yi was about to be unable to hold on, a few strong men on the side were ready to reach out and pick it up. But Zhang Yi actually steadily and successfully put the 100 kilograms of barbell back to the stand. At that moment, intense applause came from the entire gym. Lu Duor was also looking at Jiang Yi incredulously. 
It was hard to imagine how in the world Jiang He, with this skinny body, was able to hold up such a heavy barbell. This must have eaten how much suffering. For a while, Lu Duor couldn't help but feel sorry for Jiang He. At the same time, Lu Hui, the gym owner who was observing Jiang He upstairs, also nodded. It seems that this kid Jiang He is indeed a moldable talent. He has the ability to understand the world of people, and also able to endure hardship. If her precious daughter can look at this kid it would be good. Right at this moment, an anonymous call came to Lu Hui's cell phone. Lu Hui thought it was some kind of harassment call, also intended to answer to confirm a hang up. Who knows? The opening of the opposite side made Lu Hui frown. Lu Hui, the owner of High City Tongda Gym, behind him, he is also in charge of quite a few construction companies and is worth over a hundred million dollars. Am I right? The voice from the opposite side was obviously specially processed. It was impossible to hear who it was. What do you want to say? Don't beat around the bush. Lu Hui wasn't a good person. As a big boss, he had seen a lot of these threatening phone calls. Don't look at him being polite to Jiang He's few people. But in this acre of high city, he was not one to be messed with. Boss Lu, next you just need to do what I say. Otherwise, those companies of yours, including this gym, might not be able to keep it oh. Seemingly to verify his words, Lu Hui received an internal phone call in the next second. An exclusive phone call that only his close associates could make. Mr. Lu, something has happened. Our stock price. After listening to his subordinate's report, Lu Hui's frown deepened. Who the hell are you? To be able to acquire such a huge share of his company in such a short period of time, one could imagine the strength of the other party. But what could an existence that could easily overthrow his company have that needed his help? Or rather, need him to listen? It doesn't matter who I am. You just need to do what I say. That's right. The person on the opposite side was none other than Zhang Bai. To be able to strongly enter the stock with a crushing stance, in the entire high city, it was estimated that she was the only one who had this strength. Even the number one Jiang Lin two families couldn't be so easy. And what she wanted to do was to make the bosses who were working with Jiang He raise the requirements of this cooperation as a way to force Jiang He to seek her help. No one can refuse me yet. Jiang Bai's teeth were itching with hatred at the thought that Jiang He actually dared to reject her without hesitation. She just wanted to make Jiang He lower his head and beg her. Upon hearing Jiang Bai's request, Lu Hui was also paralyzed in his chair. The opposite side's strength was completely beyond his ability to resist, and it could even be said that he didn't even have the qualifications to arm wrestle with it. I'm sorry little brother Jiang He, not only for his own sake, but also for the sake of his daughter. He couldn't even provoke such a terrifying existence because of Jiang He alone. Jiang He, on the other hand, was naturally unaware of all this and was still training according to Lu Duor's plan. Wow, your boyfriend is so awesome. I really envy you. Your boyfriend is so handsome and secure. Sister, why don't you lend me your boyfriend for two days? This group of little girls chatting together. That's whatever tiger and wolf words can be said. Lu Cici actually wanted to go and see if Jiang He was hurt now. But seeing that Jiang He gave her a reassuring look, she had no choice but to sit where she was. He he, frowning, so carnal. I can't. How come my boyfriend isn't this romantic? Fuck I'm breaking up. Lu Cici also did not expect that the action just now was actually seen by them. Her small face was even more red, but her heart is sweet and happy. Jiang He, can you tell me your previous story? Lu Dui propped up her chin and just looked at Jiang He on the treadmill. All of Jiang He's indicators were far beyond the strength he should have for his weight and body, and Lu Duor was becoming more and more curious about Jiang He. More so, she felt very guilty for looking down on Jiang He before. Ah, my previous story? It's actually nothing. Aya, uh, why are you a big man being a mother-in-law? I'm just more interested in you. When Lu Dui said this, the wheat color on those ears couldn't even hide the redness in them. There was no way around it, and Jiang He had no choice but to slowly tell some of his previous stories. Ah, ah, you're an orphan. Lu Duor opened her mouth wide, a little unbelievable for a moment, but soon realized that she had said the wrong thing, and hurriedly apologized to Jiang He. I'm sorry I'm sorry, I just had a quick mouth. It's fine, I didn't care a long time ago. Jiang He smiled and shook his head, he didn't care about this, long ago, but Lu Duor was still ashamed. Her face was also quickly stained with redness, she actually looked down on an orphan before, and said so. She really deserved to die, with Lu Duor's character. I'm afraid that she would have to get up in the middle of the night and give herself two slaps. At this time, Lu Hui suddenly appeared and asked Jiang He to go up with him first. What's wrong? Lu Duor was also a bit puzzled. 
Wasn't she going to let her bring Jiang Yi to exercise? None of your business. Little brother Jiang Yi come up with me. Lu Hui also didn't want this matter to be known by Lu Duor. Otherwise with this girl's temperament, she would definitely want to make a scene with him. I am sorry little girl. Forgive father's cowardice. He cannot care about anything. Only Lu Duoyer cannot. Even if let him give up so many years of self-esteem. Zhang Yi also noticed a hint of something wrong, so he followed Lu Hui upstairs alone, while letting Lu Duor help to take care of Lu Cici, telling her that she would be back in a while. Lu Duor also nodded, wondering what her old man was up to. When Zhang Yi came to the office, Lu Hui also closed the door silently. Brother Lu, just say whatever you want to say. Zhang Yi was the first to break the silence. Soldiers come to stop water to cover the earth. He believed that there would be a solution to the problem. Little brother Jiang He, I just thought about it. This cooperation should be more prudent. Lu Hui said these few words with extra difficulty. He had never gone back on his word before, but this time he could only do so. Well, brother Lu, you go on. Jiang He could probably guess what was going on, but he didn't think towards Jiang Bai. One million dollars? As long as you can get one million dollars for this cooperation. Whatever you want. Lu Hui finally said it. And this was the problem Jiang Bai left for Jiang He. She believed that now Jiang He would definitely come back to beg her for this one million dollars. As for Jiang Xin, as long as Jiang Bai wanted to, she could freeze her bank card at any time. This was her right as the head of the Jiang family. Brother Lu, can I take the liberty of asking? Is someone? Sorry, I can't say. Before Jiang He could finish his words, he was interrupted by Lu Hui which was actually a disguised way of telling Jiang He that the cause of this matter was what Jiang He thought it was. Well, I know. Thank you brother Lu. After saying that, Jiang He was about to turn around and leave, but he was shouted at by Lu Hui. Little brother Jiang He, I'll call you Xiao Jiang, as long as you get through this difficult time, I Lu Hui swear. In the future, your business is my Lu Hui's business. Seeing Jiang He left, Lu Hui was completely relieved. He only hoped that Jiang He could finish it successfully. When Jiang He went downstairs, he saw Lu Cici was standing at the stairway anxiously waiting for something. When she saw Jiang He coming down, she also rushed to welcome her. Brother Jiang He, are you alright? Looking at Lu Cici's worried little appearance, Jiang He smiled faintly. He hadn't seen anything for so many years. He hadn't suffered from anything. This matter alone wasn't enough to break him, but naturally he would not let Lu Cici worry. It's fine. Just discussing some cooperation matters with Boss Lu. After saying that, Zhang He turned to face Lu Dui again. M.S. Lu, Sissy and I will leave first and come back to you for guidance next time we have the chance. At these words, Lu Duor also frowned with a willow brow. What do you mean? What do you mean by coming back to me again when you have the chance? Did my old dad give you a hard time? I'll go find him and ask him clearly. Lu Duor was such a character, never hiding anything and said that she was going to go upstairs to find Lu Hui. Wasn't this cooperation a deal before? How can it go back on its word? Jiang He could not even stop him, not even giving him a chance to explain. There is no way. Jiang He can only take Lu Cici to leave first. This one million, to be honest, he now does not have any good way. At the same time, Lu Duor had already rushed to Lu Hui's office, and when Lu Hui saw that it was Lu Duor, he also had a moment of weakness. Cough cough cough. What are you doing up here? Say, are you making things difficult for others Jiang He? When these words came out, Lu Hui also stared at Lu Duor with wide eyes. Very curious. Didn't you dislike that kid Jiang He? He but remembered the way Lu Duor looked at Jiang He before. Full of dislike for Jiang He. SH, what do you mean by like? I, I'm just fighting for it. Really? What was this old dad of hers thinking? She felt at best pity and some guilt towards Jiang He. Did Jiang He tell you about this? No. I guessed, when these words came out, Lu Hui also realized, he knew that Zhang He is the kind of man who carries everything by himself, how could he possibly make a small report about him, so now you're questioning your old man for a guess, or are you saying that you like that kid Zhang He, put, what are you up to, pops, I've only met this kid for how long, seeing that Lu Duor really didn't mean that, Lu Hui was also slightly relieved, he did think that Zhang He was a good candidate for son-in-law before, but Jiang He already had a girlfriend. Remember, our Lu family can never do anything to steal someone else's boyfriend. Got it. When did I have to steal someone else's boyfriend? Lu Duor really wants to go crazy. How did this old dad of hers become so abnormal up? And isn't she here to find Lu Hui to ask what's going on with Jiang He? How come the chatting topic is off? Seeing Lu Duor unforgiving, 
Lu Hui also had to truthfully tell the situation before. After listening, Lu Duor also has a small white face. Someone you can't even mess with. Pops, Zhang He, an orphan, had suffered so much along the way. Why would anyone cross him? Is that still a human being? But more than that, it's still the guilt towards Zhang He. Alas, I'm sorry daughter. It's old dad who's incompetent. Lu Hui also sighed. How much helplessness is contained in this sentence? At the same time, Zhang He and Lu Cici walked on the way home. Zhang He even took the initiative to hold Lu Cici's small hand. Brother Zhang He, isn't it? Lu Cici's mind is delicate. And how could she not see Zhang He's difficult place? Don't worry, it will all pass. Zhang He just wanted to cope with the past. After all, if this matter Lu Cici knew, it would just add to the worries. But Lu Cici was standing directly in place. Just looking at Zhang He. Brother Jiang He, I want to know. I want to contribute a little bit for Brother Jiang He, even if it's just a little. Lu Cici's face, a rare flash of determination appeared. If Jiang He did not agree, she would. She will not go. Looking at the somewhat silly and cute little girl in front of her, Jiang He also couldn't help but poof out a laugh. Brother Jiang He, what are you laughing at? Silly niece, it's that matter of boss Lu wanting to get into the stock. Just discuss it with Miss Zhou when the time comes. Jiang He's tone was relaxed. Not the slightest bit of the previous worries could be seen. Lu Cici always thinks about Jiang He. And why wouldn't Jiang He? Loving each other is so marvelous. Obviously two people have the same heart, but always full of well-intentioned lies. Really? Brother Jiang He didn't lie to me? Of course, don't you believe me? When these words came out, Lu Cici also waved her hands. Of course not. Seeing this, Jiang He once again held Lu Cici's small hand and his body also slowly approached. Hey, do mark ah, don't block the road ah hey. The driver of the sedan on the side directly rolled down the window and roared at Zhang He. At this time, Zhang He realized that he and Lu Cici were in the center of the crosswalk, and the green light was about to end. Hurry up! Zhang He didn't hesitate and hurriedly pulled Lu Cici to walk quickly. But what Zhang He didn't know was that Lu Cici's little face had already started to burn at this time. A young girl's blushing cheeks are worth a thousand words. At the same time, Zhang Bai also received a call from Lu Hui. After learning that it had been done according to her instructions, she was also quietly waiting for Zhang He to come to her door. She just didn't believe that Zhang He would give up this cooperation. Now the only way out for Zhang He is to beg her or go and beg Zhang Xian. But in the end, no matter whether it was begging her or going to beg Zhang Xian, the final decision was in her hands. Only until the next day dawn, Zhang Bai did not receive any call from Zhang He. It was then that Zhang Bai remembered that Zhang He seemed to not have her phone number at all. Lost count, but it's okay, I'll take the initiative to give it to him at his door. After packing up a bit, Zhang Bai set off to Zhang He's school from the villa she just bought in High City. And coincidentally, Zhang He had just gotten out of school as well, and was helping Zhang Xian carry the newly arrived medicines, as well as removing some expired ones. Aya Aya, isn't this brother Zhang He? After saying that, Zhang Bai blinked her big, pure and incomparable eyes and just looked at Zhang He. And Zhang He was also almost shocked by this Zhang Bai's unexplained sentence. The box in his hand was almost unsteady. Brother Zhang He, when you see me, is there nothing you want to say? Zhang Bai still stared at Zhang He relentlessly. She wanted to wait for Zhang He to ask for her phone number first. Zhang Bai, what are you mad about again? Zhang Xian was the first to hold her tongue. It was a shame to have such a bad brain sister. Don't say anything first sister sama, brother Jiang he has something to say to me. With these words, Jiang he was even more confused, ms, Jiang bai, I don't seem to have anything to say to you, if you're fine, you can go sit inside for a while. After saying this, Jiang he left without looking back and continued to move his boxes. You you you, Jiang bai was also exasperated by Jiang he's attitude. This Jiang he, really doesn't know how to behave. Do you want her to personally hand over her phone number? What the hell are you doing? Although Zhang Xian thought that Zhang Bai had a bad brain, she knew that Zhang Bai never did anything without a purpose. Suddenly, a figure appeared in front of the two, and the person, Zhang Xian, was also a little familiar with it. It was still the same exquisite OL professional outfit, coupled with black high heels, the perfect figure I'm afraid only Zhang Xian could match it. The visitor was none other than Zhang Huang, Zhang his elder sister. Where's Xu Hua? He's here right? When these words came out, Zhang Xian also frowned slightly. What was this woman doing here again? Zhang Xian just wanted to speak out and say that Zhang He is not here. Then she was bumped into by Zhang He who was carrying a box. 
Xiao He, why are you doing this kind of work? What do you mean? Zhang Xin, Zhang Huang stepped forward and then carried down Zhang Yi's box. The weight of the box also made her startled. After all, it was full of medical equipment. Little would go with sister. And Zhang Xin, I'm not done with you. After saying that, Zhang Huang was going to pull Zhang He to leave. She didn't expect that these days when Zhang He left the Zhang family, he was actually doing hard labor here in Zhang Xin. And Zhang Xin was speechless to the core. This woman is afraid to be crazy, right? But no matter how hard Zhang Huang tried, Zhang He stood still, faced with Zhang Huang's behavior. Zhang He was equally overwhelmed. Ms. Zhang, haven't you made your words clear before? Why are you still coming over to trouble me? As soon as these words came out, Zhang Huang's body also trembled slightly. Little, little wa, how could sister be coming over to look for trouble? Sister just saw that you were just carrying something so heavy. Is it Jiang Xin that she bullied you? After saying that, Zhang Huang also blared viciously at Jiang Xin. But naturally, Jiang Xin didn't pay any attention to her. That's not for Miss Jiang to worry about. Dr. Jiang treats me well, and the things I've moved before are much heavier than this. Then, Zhang He then picked up the box on the ground again. The skillful to the extreme action also made Zhang Huang's heart tug. Xiao He, have you done this before? As Zhang Huang who was born with a golden spoon in his mouth, how could he imagine Zhang He's life before? And how could he understand that someone would have to do a whole day's dirty work for one or two hundred dollars, and sometimes his wages would be maliciously deducted? It can't be helped. Who made the previous Zhang He not adult? Bullying up. No worries. Ah, uh, you don't know? I remember telling you about it before. Zhang He also didn't really want to take care of her. He had clearly talked to Zhang Huang about this before. It's just that Zhang Huang didn't care about him at all. Yes. Is it? I. I. When these words came out, Zhang Huang also blushed in shame. She had previously. All right. If there's nothing else for Miss Zhang, just go back first. After saying that, Zhang He was going to proceed to move the boxes to the car. Little will wait. Sister has something to say to you. Zhang Huang stepped forward and then grabbed Jiang Yi's sleeve. She had already made up her mind to tell the truth about that year. No matter if Zhang Li could stand it or not, but that's what he did. It was Zhang Li who framed Zhang He. If ms, Zhang has anything she wants to say, just say it here. Zhang He just turned slightly with the box in her arms and shook Zhang Huang's hand away. Zhang Huang's hand also stayed in the air for a few seconds before he awkwardly retracted it. Xiao He, the truth of that year, I already know. It wasn't you who stole the necklace, it was Zhang Li who, obviously already made up his mind. But when the words came to his mouth, these last few words were just so difficult to say. And Zhang Xian and Zhang Bai were also looking at Zhang Huang with some curiosity. Sure enough, no one can resist the charm of eating melons. No need to say it. I don't care. Zhang Yi Jiran knew what Zhang Huang was talking about. He was living a good life now. And this matter, he didn't want to understand and he didn't have the mood to play any game of make-believe with John's family. If it's because of this matter that John's family is pestering him again, then it's not worth the loss. When these words came out, John Huang was also stunned and his voice was slightly trembling. Little, little wa, let's pretend that sister is begging you. Go back with sister. I will let Jian Li apologize to you. I will definitely not do it again. Apologize? What's the use? Jian He also directly laughed out loud. What's the use of apologizing when it's this time? He was punished for kneeling all night in the rainy ground back then. Is it just a light apology that can end it? Zhang He didn't care anymore. But it didn't mean that Zhang He would go ahead and forgive. Yes. It's sister who said it wrong. I will. I will let Zhang Li He. At this moment, Zhang Huang was completely flustered. Completely lacking that strong woman's appearance. Make him leave the Zhang family? Or make him kneel down for me? Neither can be done. Right? Well. Ms. Zhang better hurry up and leave, or it's going to rain in a while. Looking at the dim sky where the dark clouds were gradually gathering, as well as the faint watery odor permeating the air, Zhang He could foresee that rain would fall in a while. I, I will make Zhang Li leave the Zhang family. Little will you believe in your sister. As if making some kind of determination, Zhang Huan left straight away after taking a last look at Zhang He. Even though her delicate hair was blown away by the wind, she still didn't stop for a second. Zhang He also didn't expect Zhang Huang to say that. He also frowned slightly. What is going on here? In the past, didn't Zhang Huang favor that little beast Zhang Li the most? Why would he say that? But even if Zhang Li was kicked out of the Zhang family, he wouldn't go back. He never promised from the beginning that he would go back to the Zhang family because of this matter. He said, 
This life will not go back. What Jiang Huang did was destined to be in vain. Is it raining? Jiang He mumbled as he felt the raindrops falling on his palms, cool and wet. Jiang He come back first. We'll move it later. Seeing the rain getting heavier, Jiang Xian also hurriedly asked Jiang He to come back first. It's fine. I'll move faster. Is all. Other things are fine, but it's these medicines. Once they get wet, they can't be used. Besides, the rain isn't very heavy right now. As long as it's fast enough, it's not too late. So what if he gets a little wet? Zhang Xian still wanted to say something. When she saw Lu Cici holding her own umbrella, rushing straight towards Jiang He. Hurry back. It's just this little rain. Jiang He himself was indifferent. If Lu Cici caught a cold it would be troublesome. But Lu Cici is rare to Jiang He shook her head. She is not made of clay, so easy to break. Alas, you silly ninny. There was no way around it. Jiang He had no choice but to speed up and finish the task before the rain came down completely. As for the Jiang Xian on the side of the scene of the two in the rainy night, one person holding an umbrella, one person carrying things, is also a sour in the heart. She actually somewhat began to envy up. As for, Jiang Bai, it was even more obvious, directly want to rush over to take away Lu Cici's umbrella and replace it. However, he was directly stopped by Jiang Xian, with no room for discussion at all. Don't mess up. What do you mean by messing up? I'm going to help. Jiang He hadn't even asked for her phone number until now. Now that she went to help, she was giving Jiang He a step down. In fact, she was afraid that Jiang He really didn't take the initiative to ask for it at that time, and it would be too humiliating for her to give it to herself. Good thing, it won't take long for Jiang He to finish moving all these boxes. Jiang He also hurriedly pulled Lu Cici back to the infirmary, touching Lu Cici's somewhat cold little hands, as well as her slightly trembling body, and the water droplets on the tips of her hair. Jiang He became a bit angry. Next time, you must listen to me, okay? Really? He hadn't realized this little ninny was so stubborn so long ago? Aha, uh -huh, I know. Lu Cici but guffawed. She could help Jiang He. She was really happy happy happy. So, next time she will do the same. Alright, alright. When the rain is a little bit lighter, I'll give you two a taxi home. Looking at the two people's mushy appearance, Jiang Xian always generates inexplicable agitation inside. This is not to blame Jiang Xian. As a maternal single so far, when she saw this scene, naturally she would be slightly trembled. After all, who hasn't fantasized about an undying love? Not long after, the rain really small a lot. Jiang Xian looked at the weather forecast on her cell phone and also frowned slightly. Let's go now. It's going to rain even more in a while, and there's a gale. The car is already at the school gate. Just report my cell phone number when you get there. In fact, it is not a surprise. High city as a coastal city. From time to time there will be torrential rain and gusty winds. And this time, it has not rained for so many days. When Jiang Xian mentioned her cell phone number, Jiang Bai realized that Jiang He hadn't asked for her cell phone number until now. At this rate, how could her plan go on? Jiang, brother Jiang He, are you forgetting something? Jiang Bai decided to take the initiative and first spoke out to remind Jiang He. When these words came out, Jiang He also seemed to think of something. Oh right. Say it say it. Jiang Bai looked at Jiang He with anticipation and said it. It's right to say it. You know in the capital city. How many people begged for her phone number. Now as long as Jiang He opens her mouth. She will. I forgot my umbrella. Thank you MS. Jiang Bai for reminding me. After saying this. Jiang He took Lu Cici and left without looking back. They wanted to take advantage of this calm time to rush to the school gate. As soon as these words came out. Jiang Bai was directly petrified and froze in place. Ah. Ah, Jiang He, you wait for me. Jiang Bai's roar caused Jiang He in the distance to sneeze. What's going on? Could it be catching a cold? Jiang He shook his head. He didn't get sick that easily before. Brother Jiang He, are you all right? Lu Cici gently touched Jiang He's cheeks and found that his body temperature was normal. Then she was slightly relieved. Two, why don't Brother Jiang He come to my house today? I'll cook some ginger soup for Brother Jiang He. When she said this, Lu Cici's pretty face was already as red as a ripe apple. It's fine. It's fine. Just sneezing. Instead it's you. The umbrella can barely cover you. Jiang He looked at this silly girl who pushed a large part of the umbrella towards him in order not to let him get wet. Jiang He directly protected Lu Cici on his chest, using his own arm to block the wind for Lu Cici. Isn't this fine? Anyway, there are not many people on the road now. Not to mention not being afraid of bumping into teachers and principals and whatnot. So there is nothing wrong with letting loose for a while. Feeling the body heat of Jiang He's chest, 
Lu Cici's originally rosy cheeks became even hotter, just short of smoking. Aha! Just like that, the two of them came all the way to the school entrance, and the online car driver was waiting here early. Get in the car. It's going to rain heavily in a while. Sure enough, as soon as the driver master's words fell, a gust of wind violently blew towards the two. But at this time, Jiang He's cell phone suddenly rang, and the one who called was actually the dean of the orphanage. Although Jiang He didn't know why the dean would call him, he understood that something important must have happened. What? Ruali hasn't gone back by now? Jiang He looked through the car window at the fierce wind and rain outside, and his frown deepened. Could it be that she's gone to honor her parents? Jiang He remembered. These days seems to be that little ninny's parents' sacrifice day. It's hard not to really. Jiang He was so angry that he cursed a stupid person inside, but there was nothing he could do about it. He knew Lin Ruoli's nature. No matter what happened, she would go to the cemetery to pay her respects on this day. Hanging up the phone, Jiang Yi took a deep breath. And naturally, Lu Cici heard what Jiang Yi said just now, and couldn't help but hold Jiang Yi's palm tightly again. Ruoli's sister will be fine. Lu Cici understood that Jiang Yi really treated Lin Ruoli as her own sister, so naturally she wouldn't be jealous on such a big matter. Thank you CC. Every time Lu Cici's words could always soothe him when he was anxious. Jiang Yi was really glad that Lu Cici could like him. Jiang Yi first asked the driver to send Lu Cici to the door of his house. Lu Cici still wanted to join Jiang Yi, but how could Jiang Yi agree? Master driver, just leave me here. Jiang Yi couldn't care less about the umbrella. Just took the umbrella in his hand and quickly ran towards the cemetery on the outskirts of the city, where Lin Ruori's parents were buried. In fact, the cemetery is not far from the orphanage, which makes Jiang Yi a little bit more at ease. Suddenly, a figure stumbled in front of Jiang Yi. The person was wet with rainwater. Her hair was still dripping with rainwater, and her arm was oozing blood beads because of the abrasion. Jiang He, take me to the orphanage. Jiang He looked at the woman in front of him. It was really hard to imagine that this was Jiang Jiang. That's right, the woman in front of her, who was down and out to the extreme, was Jiang Jiang, Jiang He's third sister. The current Jiang Jiang could be said to be completely at odds with the previous high flying star appearance. Get out of the way. I don't have time to mess around with you. Jiang Yi was in a hurry to find Lin Ruoli now. How could he have time to care about her? Jiang. Jiang Yi. Please. It's going to be dark soon and it's raining. I'm really scared. I have to go to the orphanage to find a very important person. Please. Jiang Jiang's eyes were filled with tears. She only got the news today that the boy who had saved her before was in the orphanage in this part of the city outskirts. That's why she had to hike here despite the torrential rain and even broke down because her vehicle was flooded with water. She had waited for this day for too long. Too long. Jiang Jiang. I'm begging you too. Can't you let me go? But no matter how Jiang he tore, he couldn't get out of Jiang Jiang's grip. Jiang Jiang had gone a little crazy at this point. You fucking let go of me. Jiang he looked at the gradually darkening sky, and also knew that once it got dark, Lin Ruoli would really be in danger. There was no way around it. Jiang He could only forcefully suppress his inner agitation and pass the umbrella he was holding to Jiang Jiang. Walk all the way towards the front, cross a stone bridge, and walk a while further to the orphanage. Got it? The more urgent the situation is, the more you can't lose your head. You must be calm. Calm down. He doesn't care if Jiang Jiang is dead or alive, but if he gets hitched to Lin Ruoli because of Jiang Jiang, he absolutely can't accept it. Thank you. Thank you. Jiang Jiang shivered and took the umbrella in Jiang He's hand. Tears were even flowing down non-stop. She was really scared scared scared. Now you know you are afraid? You didn't know when you were so against Jiang Yi before? Getting rid of Jiang Jiang's control, Jiang Yi accelerated his speed, and must hurry to find Lin Ruoli when it is completely dark. When Jiang Yi arrived at the cemetery, his body was already wet with rainwater. Even his eyes couldn't be opened by this stormy wind mixed with water droplets. Lin Ruoli. Jiang Yi relied on his memory and kept searching for Lin Ruoli's figure. But after he shouted for half a day, he still didn't get any response. At this time, the sky was already going completely dark. Jiang Yi's breathing became more rapid, and his heart was getting more and more panicked. Lin Ruoli, where the hell are you? Suddenly, a figure wearing a white school uniform appeared in Jiang Yi's field of vision. At this moment, Lin Ruoli's forehead corner was continuously oozing blood. Her white ankles were also red and swollen. She was sitting on the stone platform of the graveyard at a loss for words and her cheeks were covered with teardrops. Jiang, brother Jiang He. When Jiang He saw that Lin Ruoli didn't have a big problem, Jiang He's whole body was like a bowstring that was tense to the extreme, and it violently relaxed, 
even making Jiang He a little unsteady on his feet. What's in your fucking head? All these years of reading books for nothing? Such heavy rain, do you want to die? Jiang He's voice was trembling as he spoke. He was angry that Lin Ruoli didn't love herself in case. I'm sorry brother Jiang He, I'm sorry. The young girl cried hoarsely, but she really, really missed her mom and dad, really missed them. Jiang He didn't say anything more. Just let Lin Ruoli cry and vent. He understands that kind of feeling. The rain is still not decreasing. The natural weather will not because of Lin Ruoli's pain and cut half. There was no way. Jiang He also had to take off his own wet jacket and put it on Lin Ruoli. Although it was already soaked through, it was still able to withstand the gusty winds. Come, I'll carry you on my back. Lin Ruoli's ankle had been sprained. So naturally, she couldn't be allowed to walk by herself. Um, Lin Ruoli was also very obedient and leaned on Jiang He's back. Only this scene was somewhat deja vu. Still remember? Back then when you were bullied and I went to find you a fight. This is how I carried you back to the orphanage. Facing the rain directly, Jiang He still stood up his chest. Now it was like going back to that time before. He was still the big brother who sheltered Lin Ruoli from the wind and rain. Brother Jiang He, I'm sorry. Lin Ruoli buried her head on Jiang He's back. Rolling hot tears, interspersed with rain dripping down from time to time. Feeling the warmth on his back. Jiang He also understood that it was this little girl who was crying again. But Jiang He still had to be stern. Since you know you're sorry, then next time don't do such stupid things understand? To be honest, since Lin Ruoli this little girl went to high school, she rarely called him brother anymore. Well, I know, even if you must go, inform me or the dean, I'll accompany you. Lin Ruoli listened to the whistling of the storm in her ears, as well as Jiang Yi's voice, and was also involuntarily trembling. All right, don't talk, we'll be there in a while. Jiang Yi accelerated his steps. I'm afraid this rainstorm won't stop for a while, and the drainage system on the outskirts of the city is not good. If the roads are flooded, it will be bad. Lin Ruori pressed her hot little face against Jiang He's back, murmuring in a voice that Jiang He couldn't hear. Why? It can only be brother. If Jiang He got married one day, would he still care about her? Every time she thought of this, Lin Ruoli's heart would clench violently. Meanwhile, Jiang Jiang had already followed Jiang He's guy to this orphanage on the outskirts of the city. When Jiang Jiang knocked on the heavy door, a footstep followed. The orphanage's head granny thought it was Jiang He who had returned, so she opened the gate directly. But when she saw that it was Jiang Jiang, a strange woman, her cloudy eyes flashed with caution. There were quite a few human traffickers lately, and many of them were young women like Jiang Jiang. Can I help you? Granny Dean didn't just invite Jiang Jiang in because of her wretched appearance. As someone who had lived for so many years, she wouldn't let her guard down because of someone else's pitiful appearance. You, hello, I'm here to find someone. Jiang Jiang gestured with her hands and feet. She was now in a hurry to explain her purpose clearly. But the more anxious a person was, the less they could explain. It's a tall, thin boy, about my age. He saved my life before. After speaking for half a day, Jiang Jiang finally recounted her intentions completely. And Granny Dean seemed to have thought of someone, and didn't say anything else. Just let Jiang Jiang come in first. The person you're talking about, isn't back yet. Go change your clothes first. Granny Dean handed Jiang Jiang a few clean clothes, and then went back down to the courtyard once again, waiting for Jiang He and Lin Ruoli to return. Jiang Jiang also thanked her. The clothes in her hands were not big brands, and the style was just the most ordinary short sleeves and long pants, but the texture was very good and comfortable to touch. It was obviously sewn by the Dean's granny herself. At the same time, quite a few of the little carrot heads in the orphanage had heard the movement in the courtyard and were lying behind various pieces of furniture to observe this beautiful and stylish woman. Greetings. Jiang Jiang also greeted the group of children in a friendly manner. She also noticed that although the group of children were dressed in simple clothes, they were all clean and dry. They were also very energetic. It could be seen that the dean's mother-in-law just now was a very, very responsible person. And Jiang Jiang's dress, with the plain orphanage, contrasted very sharply. Many little girls were also shocked out of their minds after seeing Jiang Jiang's proper face. It's Jiang Jiang Ugg. We've seen it often on TV. Really really? Wow. She looks even better than on TV. The little boys weren't really surprised. They still preferred armor warriors. When Jiang Jiang changed her clothes and came out of her room, the little girls who were originally chattering turned into birds and beasts. Although they were very much yearning for a big star like Jiang Jiang, they were still a bit scared of Jiang Jiang when they met him for the first time and only dared to sneak a peek. Jiang Jiang saw that this group of little girls seemed to be a bit scared of her. 
and also waved at them with a gentle smile, signaling that they could come over. But obviously, the little girls looked at each other in dismay, and didn't dare to go out. It wasn't until a little girl who was in her third year of junior high school appeared that she dared to slowly approach Zhang Jiang. Do you recognize me? Looking at the little girl in front of her, Zhang Jiang magically pulled out a candy from behind her. I'm not a little kid anymore. The little girl's eyes looked at Zhang Jiang with some helplessness. She was not a child. Zhang Jiang, is this her being despised by a little kid? Who? Zhang he was constantly gasping for air, and his head was dizzy and swollen. Lin Ruoli on her back also sensed that Zhang Yi's body was out of sorts and hurriedly reached out to touch Zhang Yi's forehead. So hot. Lin Ruoli exclaimed in shock and hurriedly wanted to get off Zhang Yi's body. Don't move. It'll be here in a while. Zhang Yi frowned and clenched his teeth. But even though he was holding on strongly, he couldn't stop his body from trembling, and his hands and feet were starting to become cold. It was hard to hold on until he reached the door of the orphanage, but Zhang Yi didn't even have the strength to knock on the door. What am I? doing? But Jiang He had not yet finished speaking, he felt a loss of strength, followed by a heavenly rotation, and fell heavily on the ground, and all he could hear in his ears was Lin Ruoli's shouts and cries. At this time, even Jiang Jiang, who was in the inner hall, heard the agitation in the vestibule, and just when he wanted to rush out to check the situation, he was pulled by the sleeve of the little girl from earlier. Don't forget to take an umbrella, stupid sister. When these words came out, Zhang Jiang really was a bit teary-eyed. Was she being educated by middle schoolers? But Zhang Jiang still touched her little head, said thank you and rushed out with her umbrella. When she saw that Lin Ruoli and the dean were dragging a person inside, Zhang Jiang also rushed forward to open the umbrella for a few people. But when she got a good look at the person being dragged, she was also shocked. Jiang, Jiang He, what's wrong with him? Seeing that the two of them were struggling a bit, Zhang Jiang couldn't care less about being drenched by the rain. Handing the umbrella to the dean then directly picked Jiang Yi up. When she felt Jiang Yi's weight, she was even more shocked. A meter eight person. Simply light and scary. To know this period of time Jiang Yi ate quite well. Can imagine what life Jiang Yi lived before. Brother Jiang Yi. Lin Ruori still wanted to follow Jiang Jiang into the bedroom. But she was stopped by Granny Dean. Change your clothes first. Granny Dean glanced at Lin Ruori and didn't say anything else. Believing that she would recognize her folly. She would realize that she was not the only one who had been harmed by her own stupidity. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gripping the jacket on her body that once belonged to Jiang Yi, Lin Rory's entire soul seemed to be drawn away, and her tears couldn't stop flowing down. At this time, Jiang Yi, who changed his clothes, was lying on his bed, his eyebrows locked, his cheeks red, and his forehead still hot and scary. Jiang Jiang is sitting on the bedside of Jiang Yi, inside somehow, just can't help but panic as well as heartache. However, the one who caused this situation now is Jiang Yi himself, isn't it? If he honestly stayed in the Jiang family, not to make so many problems, how would he return to the orphanage again? It's all your own fault. Xiao Li has always treated you as his own brother. Why can't you tolerate him? If Jiang Yi had heard this, I'm afraid he would have been woken up by anger. And why are you so thin? If you're not eating well, why don't you go and say so? Do we have to wait for us to find out ourselves? Zhang Jiang looked at Zhang He angrily. She also didn't expect that Zhang He was actually so light. But all this can't be blamed on them, right? But no matter how Zhang Jiang tried to round up her lies, she couldn't help but panic inside. Blame yourself. Wouldn't it be better to stay well in the Zhang family? No need to suffer here. At this point, Zhang Jiang still put all the blame on Zhang He. At this time, the dean's grandmother appeared here with a bowl of ginger soup. Only then did Jiang Jiang not continue to say anything to the unconscious Jiang Yi. Drink it, drive away the cold. Jiang Jiang didn't expect this to be for her, and also hastily took it and said thank you. The medicine has all been given to Xiao He, right? Eaten, but still burning. Granny Dean went up and touched Jiang Yi's forehead. It was still scary hot. Let's wait a little longer. If the fever still won't go down, then we'll go to the hospital. It's just that it's stormy and rainy outside. In this weather, how can you possibly get a taxi? And the only way for the dean's mother-in-law, I'm afraid, is her tricycle. But Granny Dean's words were so calm. If Jiang He couldn't hold on, she was crawling. She would still send Jiang He to the hospital. The children in the orphanage all knew that the dean's granny's words were few, but her love for each child was true. By the way, aren't you looking for that tall, skinny boy who's about your age? He is. After the dean's mother-in-law finished speaking to Jiang Jiang, she left to pack up some things, ready to set off for the hospital when Jiang he couldn't hold on any longer, 
As soon as these words came out, Zhang Zhang was struck by lightning and froze directly on the bench. How? Looking at Jiang Yi on the bed, Zhang Zhang was even breathing to stop at this moment. How could it be? Could it really be? Right. Living in this area, similar to her age, tall and thin, isn't it Jiang Yi? But if it was Jiang Yi, why had he never mentioned this to her? Jiang Yi, you wake up. Sister, sister has something to ask you. Zhang Jiang had completely panicked at this point. Even when Lin Ruoli appeared she didn't notice. Still shaking Jiang Yi vigorously. What are you doing? Lin Ruoli's pupils suddenly contracted. And as soon as she did, she violently pushed Jiang Jiang away. What are you doing to brother Jiang Yi? Get the hell out of here. And hearing the roar in her ears as well as the pain of her body hitting the wall, Zhang Jiang came back to her senses. What was she just doing? Get the hell out of here. Looking at the furious Lin Ruoli whose eyes were filled with indignation, Zhang Jiang also apologized repeatedly with dull eyes before rushing out the door to calm down. Zhang Jiang who came to the door looked at the raging wind and rain, directly raised her hand and gave herself a slap. She wants to wait for Zhang Yi to wake up. She wants to wait for Zhang Yi to give her one, an answer that has made her wait for years. Even if that answer will make her fall into an endless hell of self-blame. At the same time, Zhang family villa, Zhang father and mother, that is, Zhang Qin and Lu Ru were also anxiously waiting for something. Where exactly did you say Xiao Jiang she went? Lu Ru looked at the raging wind and rain outside. Anxious tears were about to fall. The phone couldn't be reached. And now how dangerous it was outside. Even her agent was dying of anxiety, knowing that today's interview was very important. If they couldn't find it again, they were going to call the police directly. Many hands make light work. Even if they searched the entire sea city, they would still find Zhang Zhang. Found it. Zhang Zhang has been found. Zhang Huang hurriedly handed the phone to Lu Ru. Little Zhang where are you? Why don't you answer the phone? I'm going to pick you up right now. But Zhang Zhang on the other end of the phone was unexpectedly calm. I'm sorry mom. I might have to go back after a while. What? What did you say? When Lu Ru wanted to say something else, the phone had already been hung up. It's okay mom. Xiao Zhang might be in a bad mood. As long as the person is safe. Zhang Huang comforted the panicked Lu Ru. Meanwhile, Zhang Jiang on the other end received a call from her manager. Zhang Jiang, my little ancestor, where the hell are you? Do you know what day today is? Do you know what this interview means to you? The agent on the other side was already so anxious that she was on fire. But Zhang Jiang remained very calm. Those things that she once valued immensely were now unable to make a single ripple in her heart. Zhang Jiang you hurry over. I'll stall. For you. I'm not going. What? What did you say? The agent's heart was already reaching the edge of collapse. Jiang Jiang, this is about your selection as the movie queen this year. Do you know how many people? Well, it doesn't matter. Jiang Jiang still hangs up the phone with an expressionless face, as if the main character of this matter is not her. Little Wa, my sister is waiting for you to give me an answer. Jiang Jiang just looked at the door of the room in front of her. No one knows what exactly her mood is now. Only know that it hurts. As for Jiang Huang, at this time, it was not easy for him to comfort Lu Ru. After taking a look at Zhang Li's room, Zhang Huang looked like he made some kind of determination and said to Zhang Qin and Lu Ru, Dad, Mom, send Xiao Li away. When these words came out, both Zhang Qin and Lu Ru were shocked. Lu Ru even clenched Zhang Huang's palm. Why? Why did you say that? Huang Er? However, Zhang Huang shook off Lu Ru's hand. Dad, Mom, don't you think that it's a stupid thing to leave both your adopted son and your own son in the Jiang family? This matter, clearly anyone with a discerning eye could see that a fake young master had enjoyed the glory and wealth of the real young master for so many years. How could the two coexist peacefully? But Jiang family members until now, to this extent, only Jiang Huang a person to stand out. For, why, Xiao Li He, Mom, Little Wa has suffered for so many years, now he's still living in the orphanage. When I went to see him before, do you know what he was doing? Doing. Doing what? Lu Ru was also stunned. And her tone became shaky. He was carrying boxes for people. Day after day. He has to do all that dirty work. Once these words came out, Lu Ru was also completely unable to tense up. And her tears could not stop falling. Little. Little Wa He. He. And Zhang Qin also stood aside and was silent. Dad. Let's give Xiao Li a sum of money and then buy a house and put it in his name to make sure that he won't suffer. Can't this work? Zhang Huang's voice was full of pleading. Zhang Yi had suffered alone for so many years. Could Zhang Li not even do that? Dad, stop it. Our Zhang family just gave Xiao Li a bar mitzvah. Who in the entire high city doesn't know about it? 
If you let Shaoli go now, where will our Jiang family's face go? When these words came out, Zhang Huan was also shaken. Difficult. Could it be that little way is not more important than that so-called face? Could it be that fame is more important than anything else? Looking at Zhang Qin's still silent look, Zhang Huan was also completely disappointed. Is it that I disgraced the Zhang family that day? I have to leave the Zhang family as well. After saying that, Zhang Huang then lowered his eyes and stepped lightly on the stairs back to his room. In fact, what Zhang Huang didn't notice was that Zhang Li upstairs had already heard all of this in his ears. When he heard that the big sister who used to love him the most, actually wanted to drive him away because of Zhang He, his blood chilled all over his body, his nails embedded into his flesh, even bleeding out. Zhang Li didn't feel anything, he just let the blood drip on the carpet. Zhang He, you're the one who saw death. This time, he wanted Jiang He to disappear completely. Meanwhile, Jiang He inside the orphanage, although he still had a fever, it had dropped quite a bit, at least there was no danger. This also made Lin Ruori slightly let go of her heart. Lin Ruoli gently wiped Jiang He's palms with a hot towel. It was said that this could lower the temperature. Looking at Jiang He who was lying on the bed with furrowed brows, Lin Ruori's heart was about to break. She knew that all of this was because of her. It was all because of her willfulness that Jiang He became like this now. I'm sorry brother Jiang He, I'm really sorry. Lin Ruori's eyes were flashing with little tears, her mouth whispering words of apology, both afraid of noisy Jiang He, but also afraid that Jiang He couldn't hear her. People are such a contradictory collection, but this is precisely the embodiment of human nature. Really know it's wrong? A slightly weak voice came. Lin Ruoli was also stunned, then also immediately reacted. Jiang He you're awake. How do you feel? I'll go pour you some water. Lin Ruoli was just about to get up when Jiang He pulled her back. Cough, cough. I'm not thirsty. You sit down first. Seeing this, Lin Ruoli also obediently obeyed and just sat by Jiang He's bedside. It was still pouring rain outside the window. Countless raindrops hitting the window and crackling. Didn't you call me brother just now? What? I woke up and stopped calling? Jiang He somewhat snickered. He actually didn't blame this little ninny. He was just afraid that something would happen to Lin Ruoli. This is perhaps, the old father mentality? Why? Why should I call you brother? Lin Ruori suddenly stood up. Zhang He also didn't know which sentence he had offended this little ninny. Wasn't it good just now? Zhang He, don't you really know why I don't call you brother? Lin Ruoli's voice line was mixed with choking and a hint of desolation. Under the backdrop of the rain, it was even more aggravating. She had obviously loved for so many years and waited for so many years. Why did Jiang He just not understand? Pride. Pride destroys a life? You want to be my brother, but I don't want to be your sister. Do you understand? As soon as Lin Ruorui said this, Jiang He also fell into a violent coughing fit. Cough cough cough. Why? Didn't you say before that you want to be my sister for the rest of your life? Jiang He still remembered Lin Ruori's small appearance when she was a child hugging her and relying on him. At that time, he had long treated Lin Ruori as a real family member. But why now? In fact, Jiang He also misunderstood. After all, Jiang He had never thought in terms of male and female love. Would you fall in love with your sister? Even if Lin Ruoli is not pro, but in Jiang He's heart, she is already. However, Lin Ruoli did not think that way. This is also the reason why the two people are getting further and further apart. Both people love each other deeply, but these two kinds of love are different. One kind of love for family members and one kind of love for lovers. Love is complicated. Jiang He, you will understand later. Now rest well. I also know the wrong. Next time will not be so stupid. At this moment, Lin Ruori suddenly calmed down, resat beside Zhang He, and once again wiped the palms of Zhang He's hands to cool them down. At this moment, Lin Ruori seemed to have really grown up. She understood that if she continued to make such a mess, sooner or later, she would go further and further away from Zhang He. Moreover, Zhang He now had a girlfriend. Anything she did would be futile and she understood what kind of person Jiang He was. Might as well wait for the right time. Ha, huh? you are? I know. Jiang He also hastened to lie down, just felt that Lin Ruoli seemed to be a bit off, but just couldn't tell. As for Jiang Jiang who had been at the door, after hearing the commotion of Jiang He waking up, she didn't choose to rush in the first time to ask Jiang He about the truth of that year, because she did not know how to face Jiang He. If Jiang He is really the boy who saved her back then, how should she face Jiang He? Since Jiang He came back to Jiang family, she has not been treating Jiang He well, even Jiang He's greetings, she never answered. Every time Jiang He had a conflict with Jiang Li, she also never stood on Jiang Li's side to accuse Jiang He. 
Even the last time Jiang He went home, Jiang father and mother asked her to go home to see Jiang He. She didn't take care of it and didn't even go back. With a sister like her, will Jiang He really forgive her? Perhaps. The answer to this question has long been in the bottom of her heart, just she is not willing to accept it. In this way, Jiang Jiang stood outside the door, holding the door handle tightly in her hand. Even if she was swept and splashed by the rain outside the house, it was still difficult to make up her mind. But Jiang Jiang finally made up her mind and opened the door to the room that had suppressed her for so long. When Jiang He saw the person at the door, he didn't feel any surprise. After all, before this Jiang Jiang dead begged him to tell the location of the orphanage. But Jiang He also didn't know why this Jiang Jiang must come to this orphanage, even braving such bad weather. It should not be to find him. This Jiang He can be sure. Otherwise why did he only ask him the location of the orphanage before? This also made Jiang He slightly relieved. It was fine if it wasn't here to find him. You get out. Lin Ruoli could be considered hostile to Jiang Jiang right now. She had seen clearly how this crazy woman treated the unconscious Jiang He just now. Little, little wa, can sister ask you a few questions? HM, when these words came out, Jiang He was also instantly filled with questions. Little wa, sister? These words were something that could come out of Jiang Jiang's mouth? You don't have a fever, do you? Something wrong with your brain? Could it be that Jiang Jiang had a fever just like him? Or is it more serious than him and her brain has been burnt out? Couldn't it be that her brain had just been rained on and gotten water in it? This would be difficult to do. And it was recommended that he be sent to a mental hospital for a period of time first. As for Jiang Jiang, when she saw Jiang He's unbelievable expression, her heart is going to be cold. She understands that Jiang He is really hurt too deeply by her. Even if she changes now, it is difficult for Jiang He to change his opinion of her. Sister is fine. Sister will ask you a few questions and then leave. Okay? Jiang Jiang knew that there were some things that couldn't be rushed and could only be done slowly. Ask and leave? Then you say it. He didn't have any secrets. Jiang Jiang could ask if she wanted to. Just get out of here early. Jiang Jiang also realized that the reason why Jiang He was willing to answer her questions was just to make her hurry up and leave. At this time, her voice was also involuntarily with a trace of choking. Her eyes were even slightly red, and tears kept rolling in her eyes. Hey hey hey, if you want to ask, ask. If you want to cry, get out and cry. Jiang He naturally is not accustomed to. He did not cry. This woman crying chicken hair? Ah, well well well. Sister don't cry. Sister don't cry. Jiang Jiang also quickly gathered her emotions, and then asked the question that she had been burying in the bottom of her heart for so many years. Little Wa, do you still remember a few years ago you saved a person? At these words, Jiang He also froze. I remember. It was Lu Cici. Why? Why was this woman asking this? He did save Lu Cici back then, but what did this matter have to do with Jiang Jiang? No no, it was a girl who fell into the water. Do you remember? It's not far from the big river. The more Jiang Jiang spoke, the more excited she became. Her white palms began to tremble uncontrollably. Falling into the water? Jiang he suddenly remembered that he did save a girl. In that river not far from the orphanage. At that time, after he saved the girl and confirmed that she was fine, he called 120 and left. But what does this matter have to do with Jiang Jiang? Suddenly, Jiang he seemed to think of something, associating it with why Jiang Jiang was so agitated. Could it be that Jiang Jiang was? Seeing that Jiang He had been silent, Jiang Jiang was also anxious to the point of no return. Little, little will you speak ah, uh, sister has no other meaning, is, just want to. And Lin Ruoli also seems to think of something. She remembers that once Jiang He just came back to the orphanage soaked to the skin, and also said that he saved someone. But at that time Lin Ruoli didn't care. After all, Jiang He often saves people, and every time he doesn't leave his name. At that time, Lin Ruoli always regarded Jiang He as a superhero. Now it seems that Jiang He is a super fool. The award for bravery also has $500. Okay, Jiang He, I think about it you seem to have a time. No, Jiang He directly interrupted Lin Ruoli. Miss Jiang, I've never saved any girl in the water. Can you go now? The reason why Jiang He didn't admit it was because he was afraid that Jiang Jiang would pester him and then this peaceful life of his would be broken again. But Jiang Jiang had already heard what Lin Ruorue had said, and immediately stepped forward and grabbed Lin Ruorue's wrist, as if grabbing the last straw. Please, please, tell me okay? Please. Looking at Jiang Jiang's crazy eyes, Lin Ruorue was also taken aback, but still shook Jiang Jiang's hand right off. Since Jiang he didn't want to say it, there must be a reason of Jiang he's own. I know, I know. 
Zhang Jian looked like she had confirmed something, and her eyes had changed when she looked at Zhang Yi. Little Wu, sister is begging you, please don't hide it from your sister anymore, okay? Zhang Jian's entire body was already going to be unsupportable. Her eyes were filled with pleading to Zhang Yi, even if it was just a word, a sentence, what am I hiding from you? Said it wasn't me, don't you understand human language? Now that you're done asking, get lost, cough cough cough. Zhang Yi was so pissed off that he almost lost his breath, and his crazy coughing was also scaring Zhang Jian and Lin Ruoli. Okay okay okay, sister will leave this time. Xiao He, don't be angry, sister will leave this time. This time, Zhang Jiang knew that right now Jiang He was still sick and hurriedly walked out the door, but at the same time, she was also determined to use her actions to atone for what she did before. But her atonement, perhaps for Zhang He, is also a kind of harm. After a night of torrential rain, even after a slight pause, the sky was still drizzling. Unsurprisingly, the roads on the outskirts of the city had indeed been flooded with water. And even after the emergency repairs by the staff who were repairing the roads, it would still take some time before they could be restored. It was a good thing that basically all the schools in High City had announced a one-day closure today, and Second Middle School was naturally no exception. Zhang He got up at this moment, only to feel an incomparable soreness all over his body and his throat was like a knife twisting. It had been a long time since he had been sick, and this time it came so violently that it caught Jiang He a little off guard. Suddenly, Jiang He's cell phone rang, but it was an unfamiliar number. When Jiang He connected, it was actually Jiang Bai's voice. Hello? Is it brother Jiang He? Did you miss Xiao Bai? Jiang Bai even purposely clamped her voice to make her words sound even sweeter and more touching. No. After saying this, Jiang He directly hung up. This girl in the morning, her brain is not wrong, right? Are they very familiar? But just these two words alone already made Zhang He's throat feel a sharp pain, and the opposite side of Zhang Bai was almost mad with anger. Even the nearly 10, 000 love crazy 15 in her hand was directly dropped on the ground. Cell phone, please open the microphone to communicate. You got hung up on by a man. What are you doing dropping it? Good you Zhang He. I'd like to see how long you can last. With this million dollars, she couldn't believe that there was anyone other than her who could help Jiang He. Bring me another cell phone over. I'm going to wait for Jiang He to call over personally to apologize to me. Another cell phone, don't you come over. Actually, I don't blame Jiang Bai for thinking that Jiang He would call her to apologize. It's really that. Before, in the entire capital city, no one dared to treat her like this. Even the existences of the same level were polite and didn't dare to offend this crazy person easily. She was never the only one who hung up on others. When Jiang He was about to stand up, another call came through. Jiang He also frowned, thinking it was Jiang by calling again. Just as he was about to hang up, he realized that it was Lu Cici calling. Brother Jiang He are you alright? How is Sister Ruali doing? Just after connecting, an anxious voice came from the opposite side. In fact, since last night, Lu Cici had been thinking of calling Jiang He, but she was afraid that she would disturb him, and even worried until 2 a.m. before she went to sleep. When she woke up, the first thing she did was to ask about Jiang He's condition. It's fine. It's fine. Ruo Li also found back. Right. You. Cough cough cough. You didn't catch a cold. Right? Despite Jiang He's efforts to make his voice sound less hoarse. In the end, paper can't wrap fire. What's wrong with your voice? Brother Jiang He? Isn't it sick? I'll go over right now. When Lu Cici heard this, where could she sit still? She hurriedly packed up her things and was about to go out to find Jiang He. Don't come over, I just have a little cold. When Jiang He still wanted to explain something, the opposite side had already hung up the phone. As for Lu Cici's side, when Lu's father and mother saw their daughter in a hurry, they probably understood what had happened. It must be about that kid Jiang He. I'll send you there, and by the way, I'll go see that kid. As soon as these words came out, Lu Cici also froze for a moment. Ah, father aren't you busy? Today is a vacation. Cici. Father doesn't object to you guys being together, but you have to let father meet you, right? Even if Jiang He had once saved Lu Cici, Lu Father was still not at ease, only to have met one side, to examine Jiang He's behavior on the ground. Yes, I often hear you talk about that young man Jiang He, mom also wants to meet him. Seeing that her parents had said so, Lu Cici had no choice but to nod. In fact, she was also looking forward to going to the orphanage to meet the family belonging to Jiang He and she also wanted to understand Zhang He's world. Therefore, the love from the in-laws, Zhang He, you have to catch it. On the other side, Zhang He had no choice but to get up and go to clean up.
but the moment he opened the door, he was dumbfounded, only to see that Zhang Jiang was actually wearing the white clothes of the orphanage's caretaker, just standing in front of Zhang He. Could it be that I've gotten a hard on? Zhang He scratched his head, finding it puzzling. Little, little wa. Yesterday I talked to the dean's mother-in-law. I'll be here for a while as a volunteer caregiver, but don't worry, little wa. My sister definitely won't bother you. Once these words came out, Zhang He really had a bit of a headache. He couldn't drive the caregiver away. Could he? No. What do you have to come here for when you're putting on a good big lady and big star not to do it? Didn't I say it before? I didn't save you. Don't you just hate me as much as before? Key this missy. Will take care of people? It's good that others don't take care of her. Little. Little wa. Sister doesn't hate you. You believe in elder sister. Elder sister will definitely prove it to you. Zhang Zhang's eyes were both firm and pleading. She wanted Jiang He to forgive her. Even if she would hitch her career as a star. But what's the point of belated love? With Zhang Zhang's side of the wind and waves is different. At this time the entertainment circle has long been noisy days. Quasi-film queen Zhang Zhang play big news. Has been on the top of the hot search list. The netizens are Zhang Zhang sprayed worse than dogs and pigs. Said Zhang Jiang is to evade the tax run abroad to enjoy the blessings of the go. Even some reporters have started to look for Zhang Zhang's trail. Intending to give Zhang Jiang an exclusive interview. While Zhang He was still having a headache for Zhang Jiang. The door of the orphanage was pushed open. So fast? It shouldn't be. It can't be Lu Cici, right? Didn't he just hang up the phone? But the person who came, was something that Zhang He, and even Zhang Zhang, did not expect. Little Wa, long time no see. Zhang Zi was dressed in a clean, plain white sportswear, carrying a huge drawing board in her hand. The drawing board, on the other hand, was wrapped tightly in a waterproof membrane to ensure that it wouldn't be eroded by the rain. Second sister? Why are you here? Zhang Zhang rushed forward to bring Zhang Zi into the orphanage. After all, it was still drizzling outside. Third sister? What are you? Zhang Zi also looked at the clothes on Zhang Zhang with some curiosity. What did escort mean? Well, I'm now a volunteer caretaker for this orphanage. I probably won't be going home for a while. At these words, both of them fell into a moment of silence. Zhang Zi didn't say anything after all. She might be able to understand what Zhang Jiang had done. Looking at the two of them, Zhang Yi only felt a big headache. What was going on with this Zhang family? Why are they piling up to him lately? Especially Zhang Jiang. This is obviously the rhythm that can't be driven away ah. Little wa, can sister say a few words to you? Zhang Zi came in front of Zhang Yi, but her tone was not as eager as when she saw Zhang Yi in the past. She already understood that Zhang Yi was determined not to forgive them. Even if she forgave them, she would only treat them as strangers. Therefore, she also no longer wished for these. She just wanted to talk to Zhang Yi again before leaving. M.S. Zhang, my throat is not feeling well, so I won't accompany you. Not to mention that Zhang Yi's throat is hurting right now. Even if Zhang Yi is fine, she doesn't want to have any communication with Zhang family. It's fine. Xiao He, just listen to your sister. Seeing Zhang He is going to leave. Zhang Zi gently grabbed Zhang He's sleeve. Even if Jiang He refuses to forgive her, she still has to say the words. This is the painting drawn by sister. Please also accept it. With that, Jiang Zi released the painting in her hand. The very same painting that was exhibited before. On the painting screen, a broken puppet was lying quietly on the ground. But the difference was that this puppet seemed to have come to life in Jiang Zi's brush. As if it possessed human feelings. It is this painting, in the entire art world, have produced a small impact. And even a lot of people are willing to pay a high price to shoot this painting. Once speculated to a million. To know, a painting million, in modern art, has been an extremely rare existence. As for those tens of millions or even hundreds of millions, either it is of great significance or it is a wash. But it is this piece of work that can make Zhang Zi completely famous. Even among the masters of art, just so choose to give Zhang He. However, it is also right, this painting, originally she painted for Zhang He, Without the guilt as well as remorse for Zhang He, even if the high painting skills, the puppet on that painting screen is also dead. This also makes Zhang Zi understand that painting skill is not the only thing. Zhang He glanced at it and had no intention of accepting it. He wouldn't accept anything from Zhang's family again, even if it was just a painting. Zhang Zi just waited quietly, and when she saw that Zhang He was slow to move, her heart was already clear. This time, Zhang Zi smiled ruefully and couldn't stop a crystal tear from falling from the corner of her eye. Sister knows. I'm sorry Xiao He. After saying that, Zhang Zi turned around and was about to leave. However, 
when she walked to the entrance of the orphanage, she still stopped and gave a final glance back. Little Wa, really can't you forgive your sister? This question has been pressed inside Zhang Zi's heart for too long and too long. She both dares not to confirm the answer, but also can't help but explore that drifting hope. How? How she wanted to hear Jiang He's answer. Even if, even if it's only one word. But no, Jiang He remained silent. The day he left the Jiang family, his heart was already dead. Well, sister knows. The moment Jiang Zi turned away, her tears could no longer be stopped either. The wind rose, and the drizzle also became a little more violent. Jiang Zi this time, did not turn back. Perhaps, time will wash away all this, will let Jiang He turn back to her. Even if it is 10 years, 20 years, she would also go and wait. As for this painting, after being rejected by Jiang He, it had lost all meaning. She would sell it and donate the money to the needy. And she, too, would leave the Jiang family. Over the years, she had relied too much on the Jiang family. So much so that she had lost herself and her eyes and soul to distinguish right from wrong. She was going to go all over the world. To see more people and things. To feel more emotions. And to create paintings that truly had a soul. At the same time, she also wants to tell more people. Cherish love. Looking at Jiang Zi's departing back. Jiang Jiang always had an indescribable feeling. As for Jiang He, he doesn't care about this. How Jiang Zi is, and how Jiang's family is, has nothing to do with him. He doesn't understand and doesn't care. Jiang He started to prepare for revision after washing up. After all, he had promised the principal that he would enter the top 100 in the city. But just then, the orphanage's door was opened once again. This time the one who came was indeed Lu Cici. Only, Lu's father and mother also followed along. See, see, has Jiang He always lived here? Lu father and mother looked at the orphanage in front of them and fell into a period of silence. They hadn't thought that Jiang He was actually an orphan. All right, let's go in first. Lu's father actually had some feelings. It seems that Jiang He and CC are both equally bitter children. But even so, he still had to confirm whether Jiang He was true to CC. After all, Lu CC's current situation is unable to accept any deception. Also, do not have time to accept. He wanted CC, in this short period of time, to feel as much love in the world as possible. This is as a father, the biggest prayer. Zhang He is also the first time to come to the door. Just after seeing Lu Cici behind the two middle-aged people, also cannot help but produce a little panic. That's right, how can anyone see the parents of the object and not panic? How did you get up, brother Zhang He? If you're sick, you should be lying in bed. Lu Cici's angry little look can be said to be very cute and unintimidating. Cough cough cough, it's fine, it's fine, a little illness, these two are uncles and aunts, right? Quickly please come in. Zhang Yi endured the pain in his throat and tried to maintain a normal tone of voice, but Lu's father and mother were not able to hear. Did not expect this kid to come to the door to pick up CC even though he was sick. It can be seen that this kid is still very much in CC's favor. To know, they did not notify Zhang Yi in advance that they would come. Overall, the first impression Zhang Yi gave them was still very good. Little Jiang Ah, uncle and auntie would like to talk to you. I don't know if there is time. As soon as these words came out, Lu Cici was also so nervous that she couldn't help but squeeze her small hands tightly. Father, brother Jiang He is still sick. Why don't we wait for some time after? But Jiang He was directly agreed. He also knew what Lu father and mother were worried about. Lu Cici's situation was special. Even if he was in his place, he would have done the same. Then, then hurry up. Brother Jiang He is still sick. When she said this, Lu Cici's little face was burning. After all, to be able to say these words in front of her own parents was already courageous. Lu's father and mother also touched the silly niece's head. It's not like they are bad people. Turning your elbow out so soon? When these words came out, Jiang He was also slightly embarrassed. Was he considered the culprit? At the same time, Lin Ruoli, who had just gotten up and was preparing to go take care of Jiang He, also saw Lu Cici's presence. Sister Cici? Why are you here? Just in time, the two of them went first, leaving room for Jiang He to talk with Lu's father and mother. When Lu's father and mother arrived at Jiang He's room, they did nod. It was clean and tidy, and although it was simple, there were quite a few books, so it was obvious that Jiang He was a hardworking child. Uncle and auntie you guys sit down first, I'll go get you some water. But Jiang He just wanted to get up, but was stopped by Lu's father. You go to bed first and put the quilt on. Don't mess with this if you're sick. Lu's father, as a senior intellectual, didn't have a problem with these forms, he only cared, whether Jiang he was sincere to Lu Cici, 
or not? Uh, okay then. Jiang Yi was not in a good position to refuse, but it was obvious that Lu's father really wasn't some unreasonable person, more like a qualified elder. First of all, we, husband and wife, would like to thank you for saving CC back then. Saying that, Lu father and mother got up and were about to give Jiang Yi a bow that was many years late. This was what they should do to their savior as father and mother. Jiang Yi also got up in a hurry to stop it. This can't be done. Uncle and auntie, really no need. If you two are like this, CC will not scold me to death if she knows? Jiang Yi had no choice but to move out Lu CC. The two of them heard this before they were willing to give up. But Lu's father then changed his mind. Can you tell us how you and CC got together? When these words came out, Jiang Yi also understood what Lu's father meant and was trying to find out if he was sincere to Lu CC or not. In fact, in the beginning, I do not like CC. I just pity her, treat her as a sister. In an instant, Jiang Yi's words just fell Lu's father directly stood up, brows locked, eyes full of icy cold chill. Oh, then Jiang Yi you mean, you don't like CC, but agreed to be CC's boyfriend. Just pity her right? Lu's father's veins rippled at his wrist. Don't look at him as an intellectual, still wearing glasses, but in his time, he was the one who enlisted in the army to serve his country and came back. Dealing with four or five small punks was no problem at all. Not to mention, a weak youngster like Jiang Yi. Cough cough cough, Uncle Lu, take it easy. Jiang Yi only felt that strong sense of oppression, and Lu's mother also pulled Lu's father down in a hurry. Wait for Xiao Jiang to finish his sentence. Only after hearing Mother Lu's words did Father Lu slowly sit down, only that his eyes were still stern. As a father, it was absolutely unacceptable for someone to toy with his daughter's feelings, even if it was a lifesaver. In fact, how could Jiang Yi not know what would happen if he said that? But he didn't want to hide anything from Lu Cici's family, which was also responsible for Lu Cici. And next, Jiang Yi recounted the process of him and Lu Cici from meeting, to knowing each other, and finally falling in love to the two of them one by one. Cece is a good girl. I like her and love her even more. This point, Jiang Yi had already confirmed. After listening to Jiang Yi's narration, Lu's father was also silent for a long time, and finally said that heavy topic. Since you know Cece's situation, don't let Cece be sad. Try your best to fulfill her wishes, and you can come to me for anything. Got it? And that is, we won't bind you with Cece. If Cece is gone one day, you don't have to think much but only as a father. You understand how hard it is to say this sentence. I'm sorry Uncle Lu, my heart is very small. Maybe in this life, I can only fit CC alone. Zhang Yi said with a smile, he already had an answer the moment he truly accepted Lu CC. As someone who had died once, he was also more open to life and death. As soon as these words came out, Lu's mother couldn't hold back her tears anymore either, and they kept falling. Meanwhile, Zhang Zi had already returned to the Zhang family. Xiao Zi, where have you been? Did you find your third sister? Looking at Lu Ru's anxious appearance, Zhang Zi for some reason, actually did not have the slightest feeling. Well, I found her, but she said that she won't be coming home for a while, so you guys don't need to look for her anymore. Zhang Zi also didn't intend to tell others about Zhang Zhang's location. It was Zhang Zhang's own choice. Ha, huh? why ah, Xiao Zi you speak up. What the hell is going on here? Lu Ru only felt deeply powerless right now. Zhang Huang wants to drive Xiaoli away and Zhang Jiang refuses to go home. What is wrong with the Zhang family now? Alright mom, I'm going to be away for a while. You don't have to worry about me. At these words, Lu Ru instantly panicked and pulled Zhang Zi's arm in a deadly grip. 4. Why? Hasn't your painting exhibition been going well lately? Why do you have to go out? Zhang Li, who was upstairs, also heard the commotion below. After hearing that Zhang Zi was leaving, she also rushed downstairs. Second sister. Why are you doing this? Is it because of brother Zhang Yi? All this time, Zhang Li still did not forget to throw dirty water on Zhang Yi. Zhang Zi looked at Zhang Li, at this object that she had favored countless times, at this younger brother that she had once loved immensely. Little Li, if you still recognize me as your second sister, tell your sister the truth. Before, did you deliberately break the puppet I gave to Zhang Yi? This was also, the last chance she gave Zhang Li. The moment these words came out, Zhang Li's face changed, and her palms were involuntarily clenched. It was Zhang He again. It's Zhang He again. Sister, I just want to have more contact with brother Zhang He. After all, brother Zhang He has always hated me. After saying that, Zhang Li also didn't forget to lower his head and squeeze out a few tears. Those who didn't know, thought he was more aggrieved. 
Answer sister's question, are you doing this on purpose? Jiang Zi is still very patient, she only wants to know. Zhang Li in the end is not what she thought. Seeing that this move actually didn't work on Zhang Zi, Zhang Li also couldn't help but panic for a bit. I didn't. I really just wanted to take a look and accidentally just. Zhang Li raised her head and looked straight at Zhang Zi, her eyes red. Seeing that Zhang Li was still talking tough, Zhang Zi was also completely disappointed. In fact, she had also thought that Zhang Li did do it on purpose, but as long as Zhang Li was willing to change, she wouldn't say anything. But now it seems. Xiao Zi, just one puppet. If Xiao He likes it, then, by another one is not on the line? Your brother he is also not. Lu Ru also wanted to continue, but was directly interrupted by Zhang Zi. I know mom, I will leave first. After saying that, Zhang Zi directly went upstairs to pack up her things. Only now could she slightly understand Zhang He's previous situation. It turns out that favoritism and stereotypes are so desperate and helpless for a person. And she, too, was once that eccentric existence. Xiao Zi. Lu Ru also hurriedly followed. She really can't lose Zhang Zi anymore now. Talk to mom okay? Where are you going? For how long? Lu Ru was so anxious that she was about to cry. What had she done wrong? But Zhang Zi remained calm as she packed her things. I don't know. Maybe come back soon. Or maybe, never come back. Lu Cici followed Lin Ruoli to her room. Lin Ruoli's room was similar to Zhang Yi's. It was also very simple with a simple desk piled high with study materials, but the hole is more tidy than Zhang Yi's room, and there is also an extra brown doll bear on the bed, which is more warm, clothes rack is also only a simple few pieces of change of clothes, in fact, for the adolescent little girl, these are really less pathetic, but Lin Ruoli didn't feel anything, she was already beautiful, even the simplest shirt still couldn't cover her luster, have a seat, what kind of tea do you want to drink, black tea or green tea? Lin Ruoli took out a box from under her bed, which contained several tins of different teas. These teas were still given to her by Granny Dean because she knew she liked tea. However, these teas were also all given to Granny Dean by the children who had previously left the orphanage for the New Year's festivities. Black tea is fine. To be honest, the first time she came here, Lu Cici was still slightly nervous. Sister CC, I, Lin Ruoli was just about to say something when she was interrupted by a knock on the door. I'm Jiang Jiang. Can I come in? Zhang Jiang was also determined that if she wanted to gain Zhang He's forgiveness, she would have to start with the people around Zhang He first. It had to be said that Zhang Jiang had reached a consensus with Zhang Huang on this matter. Zhang Huang has even started to plan a meeting with Lu Cici. However, Zhang Zhang's primary target was naturally Lin Ruoli. Judging from Zhang He's performance yesterday, Lin Ruoli could be said to be very important to Zhang He, and she had accidentally offended Lin Ruoli before. She came over now to see if she could ease her relationship with Lin Ruoli first. What are you doing here? Lin Ruoli also had a slight frown on her willow eyebrows, but she knew how this woman had treated Jiang Yi before. How could she be kind to her? Just, just want to chat with you and apologize by the way. Jiang Jiang stood outside the door a little anxious, afraid that Lin Ruoli would turn her away. Come in, but after all, Lin Ruoli was not a cruel person, and could not just let Jiang Jiang stand outside. Thank you. By the way who is this? Zhang Jiang inquired about Lu Cici's identity with some curiosity. She didn't seem to have seen it before, right? I'm brother Jiang He's girlfriend. Just call me Lu Cici. Lu Cici also took the initiative to speak out. She hadn't met Zhang Jiang either. The only member of Zhang's family that she had met until now was Zhang Huang. Girlfriend? When these words came out, Zhang Jiang was also shocked. But instantly, she was also happy inside. If this gained the favor of the two, Zhang He might forgive her for the sake of the two. It had to be said that this Zhang Zhang was still quite good at fantasizing. You are? Lu Cici looked at the woman in front of her. For a moment she was a bit puzzled. What's the problem? I'm Little Was third sister. I'm currently working as a volunteer caregiver at the orphanage. You can call me Zhang Zhang or Sister Zhang or fine. Zhang Zhang was even very self-congratulatory and sat in the middle of the two, making both of them very embarrassed. Lin Ruoli also secretly spat inwardly. Had she known that she wouldn't let this woman in? Still Zhang Yi's third sister, if Zhang Yi had a good year in the Zhang family, or if the Zhang family treated him well, how could Zhang Yi return to the orphanage? Really don't have any face at all, still Zhang's sister, I ba. I remember brother Zhang Yi is an orphan right? How can you be brother Zhang Yi's sister? No one expected that Lu Cici actually directly put words in her mouth. Now it was Zhang Zhang's turn to be embarrassed. 
In fact, Lu Cixi could roughly understand what had happened to Jiang He from the last time Jiang He's attitude towards the woman who claimed to be her sister. This family was definitely not good to Jiang He. Otherwise, with Jiang He's character, how could he be like that? And how could he say that he himself is an orphan? Cough, cough, cough. This matter can't be said in a moment, right? Cixi and Ruali, do you have any favorite things? Sister can buy them for you. With that, Jiang Jiang pulled out her cell phone to pick out gifts for the two. In her opinion, Lin Ruoli and Lu Cixi are still little girls in the end, so how could they possibly refuse? How about cosmetics? This store. No Miss Jang, I don't need these. Lu Cixi directly shook her head and refused, she did not value these things. Ah, then. Then how about sister takes you guys shopping? You can buy whatever you want. Zhang Jiang was also anxious, she didn't expect that these two little girls would actually refuse directly, not even thinking about it. Miss Jiang, if you don't have anything to do, just go out. Lin Ruoli also opened her mouth and said, what the hell is this woman going to do ah? I, okay. Zhang Jiang wanted to say something else, but in the end, she didn't say anything. Looking at Zhang Jiang's back as she left, Lin Ruoli's wrinkled brows only slightly stretched out. Zhang Jiang looked at the light rain outside the house and also let out a long sigh, had she done wrong again? As a big lady, the existence of a big star, arrogance is not something that can be changed overnight. Meanwhile, Zhang Li sneaked out of the Zhang family early in the morning, ignoring Xiaoyu. He was going to meet two people, his real parents. That's right, Zhang Li has long known the existence of his real parents, and even met them several years ago, during which time he is also kept in touch. Came to an ordinary neighborhood, Zhang Li knocked on the door of a family. The two people who opened the door took a look at Zhang Li and were instantly delighted. Xiao Li how come you have the time to come see us in person? The two men also hurriedly invited Zhang Li into the house. There's one million dollars in this card, make Jiang He disappear, got it? When these words came out, the two men were also shocked, and then they changed their faces to a pleasing one. Xiao Li ah, you see dad's hand is relatively tense again recently, and this matter is so dangerous, you see this one million is not too. Xin Shou also rubbed his big rough hand, full of treachery, even if the opposite side is his own son. Still too little? Your house, car, which is not spend my money, and the five hundred thousand dollars that I gave you some time ago, have you all spent it? Zhang Li was also furious, his money was not blown by the wind. Xiao Li ah, that's what you're saying is wrong, if it wasn't for us switching you to the Zhang family back then, how could you possibly live the life of a young master now? It's only a million dollars, why don't you go to your adoptive parents and pamper them? That's right, back then Jiang he wasn't carried by mistake, but was deliberately switched. Back then, the two of them were just delicious and lazy existences, thinking that they didn't want to raise a child anyway, so they might as well switch to a rich family for him to enjoy his happiness. So the two of them took advantage of the middle of the night, when all the Jiang family bodyguards were changing shifts, and switched the two children, and even pinched the monitoring line. As for Jiang He, they didn't even bother to raise their own son, so how could they raise him? Dropping him at the door of a random orphanage, whether he was dead or alive was none of their business. What did you say? Zhang Li also stood up violently. Simple? Only one million dollars? Do you guys really think the Zhang family is stupid? During this period of time, Zhang Li could clearly feel that the Zhang family's attitude towards him had changed too much, so how could he possibly ask for money now? I'm telling you, if I'm finished, you guys don't want to be good either. As soon as these words came out, the two of them also hurriedly apologized to Zhang Li. I'm sorry Xiao Li, it's mom and dad who are wrong, don't be angry, don't be angry. After all, they were enjoying the life they were living now, and they had money to spend every day without having to care about anything. They wouldn't give up this kind of life, mainly because they wanted to squeeze more money from Zhang Li. Seeing this scene, Zhang Li's anger only managed to subside. He then took out another card. There's still half a million dollars in here, make things clean for me, go outside and hide for a while after you're done, got it? The moment he saw the second card, this man's eyes were all going green, and he also hurriedly put the card into his arms, as if he was afraid that Zhang Li would back out. Don't worry, last time, it was a momentary mistake that allowed that kid to live until now, this time, we'll definitely make sure that he can't disturb your life and the Zhang family anymore. After making sure, Zhang Li then put down his heart, also put on the hat mask, returned to Zhang family with the fastest speed, can't let Zhang family parents have suspicion on him. As for how the two people deal with Zhang He, he couldn't care less, anyway, as long as Zhang He can no longer affect his position in the Zhang family on the line. Lu Duor, who was at the gym, was also standing in front of the transparent glass, silently looking at the light rain outside. She was still feeling guilty towards Zhang He for what happened before. Should I give Zhang He a call? Thinking about it, Lu Duor finally didn't have the courage to make a call. Of course, the culprit of this matter, Zhang Bai is also waiting for someone's call. Miss, this is already the 17th unit. Don't talk nonsense, get me more. Seeing this, the bodyguard couldn't say anything but obediently did as he was told. 
And Jiang Bai looked at the wreckage of cell phones all over the ground, but also gradually recovered his sanity. Prepare a car for me, I'm going to find Jiang He. She doesn't believe that if she sends herself to the door, Jiang He can still reject this delicate and beautiful little white flower of hers? At that time, if she pampered herself, wouldn't she still charm this kid to death? Then when Jiang He reveals his nature and wants to lay his hands on her, then she will control Jiang He, so that her sister Sama, won't she be able to see this man's true colors? She is so smart. Okay miss, I'll go now. Wait, what about those old guys in the capital city? Jiang Bai's eyes suddenly became stern, the aura belonging to the higher-ups was unmistakable. The bodyguard also couldn't help but gulp, had begun to be stupid, and even made a big fuss about amassing wealth. When these words came out, Jiang Bai also laughed out coldly. These damn old things, when the time comes, I'll make you all spit out what you've eaten in. She wanted to make the Jiang family completely under her control. At that time, she would be able to be with her sister forever. Lu father and mother talked with Jiang He for a long time, and also understood how determined Jiang He, a young man whose face looked a little tender, was a determined being inside. At the same time, they also believed that Jiang He could definitely protect CC. CC, we'll leave first, no matter if you go back at night or not, call us to report that you're safe, got it? This sentence has a lot of information, because Lu's father also knows that if they really want to do something, he can't stop them. Blocking is better than dredging, after talking for such a long time, as well as what Jiang He had done before, he trusted Jiang He's character even more. After Lu father finished speaking, he looked at Jiang He and Lu Cici again before taking Lu mother back. After all, the two of them being here also hindered the two youngsters from getting along, didn't it? This really left Jiang He and Lu Cici. I don't know why, when the two of them looked at each other again, they suddenly had a shy feeling. It's like, the state of both parents after meeting each other. In fact, it was the expression of feelings sublimating again and becoming more familiar and intimate with each other. Cough cough, CC, come over here for a moment. Jiang He, as a man, of course had to take the initiative to break this silence. Ah, ah, good. I don't know why, the closer Lu Cici got to Jiang He, the faster her heart beat. Looking at Lu Cici's delicate and rosy little face, Jiang He also slightly lowered his own head. With a loud bang, the door of the orphanage was directly kicked open. Brother Jiang He. Xiao Bai has come to find you. Did you miss Xiao Bai? Jiang Bai's big grinning voice echoed throughout the orphanage, and the dozen or so little carrot heads were also curious as they leaned over the windows to look. The only one who was there was Jiang He, his fists clenched and his teeth clenched. I, this damn idiot Jiang Bai, when can't he come, he just picks this time. Looking at Jiang He's deflated little appearance, Lu Cici also narrowed her eyes slightly and covered her mouth to laugh lightly, but then still shallow kissed Jiang He's cheeks, although only a bit but also exhausted all the courage of this silly niece. Feeling the warmth of her cheek, Zhang Yi's anger instantly dissipated. Well, Lu Cici covered her little face, not wanting Zhang Yi to see her shy appearance. Why is my Cici so cute? Can't stand it. Zhang Yi only felt that his heart was hit by a hundred points of blitz. Zhang Yi held Lu Cici's small hand, he wanted to see what this Zhang Bai was up to. Brother Zhang Yi. Zhang Bai saw Zhang Yi appeared, also immediately rushed up, his voice even became sweeter. AI AI AI. Don't come over. Miss Jiang Bai don't you know what is called self-respect? Jiang Yi also brought Lu Cici back several steps before she could avoid Jiang Bai's attack. This also made Jiang Yi's head full of black lines. Is this really Jiang Xian's sister? Jiang Xian in Jiang Yi's heart is synonymous with elegance and knowledge. This Jiang Bai is simply brainless. But in Jiang Bai's heart is not so thought. Damn Jiang Yi, how dare he play with her. This kind of tactic she has seen a lot. Although she's right, she really has seen this kind of tactic a lot. Jiang. Miss Jiang Bai. Brother Jiang He is my boyfriend, please stop. Lu Cici said somewhat stutteringly to Jiang Bai, and in her eyes, she was actually filled with determination. Although her tone was still so polite, this was enough to make Jiang He look sideways. In fact, this meant that Lu Cici had firmly chosen Jiang He, rather than fearing that she would drag Jiang He down, and was ready to leave Jiang He at any time. But Sister Cici, if you're really thinking about Brother Jiang He, shouldn't you take the initiative to quit? With the most innocent words and eyes, Jiang Bai said the cruelest words. That's right, this is what Lu Cici has never wanted to face. In fact, Jiang Bai was also a mistake, she did not know Lu Cici's situation, she just thought that she was better than Lu Cici, if she knew Lu Cici's situation, and then remembered that she said these words. When she felt Lu Cici's hand clenching harder and harder, Jiang He knew that this silly girl had started to think too much again. But this is good, Jiang He knows that he can't eliminate Lu Cici's inner concerns in one go so he will slowly give this silly niece a sense of security and tell Lu Cici that he only loves one person. Jiang Bai, what exactly is your purpose? Stop being vain with me. Jiang He didn't think his charm was so great, this Jiang Bai from just contact, he could feel something was wrong. Brother Jiang He, how can you say that about Xiao Bai? Jiang Bai also immediately red eyes, 
petulant voice to Jiang he said, even the tone of voice with a trace of choking, as if suffering from what aggrieved. Little like, this is not going to fascinate this Jiang he to death? Jiang Bai was already imagining Jiang he abandoning Lu Cici and coming over to comfort her. Silly B. Jiang he really couldn't take it anymore, and came directly to this sentence, and all the people present were instantly petrified, including Jiang Bai. She just, was she scolded? Her Jiang family big miss, the actual controller, was scolded? After scolding, Jiang He then directly brought Lu Cici back to the house, leaving Jiang Bai alone in the original place dumbfounded. When she reacted, she was also furious inside. In the entire capital city, apart from Jiang Xian who dared to scold her, no one else dared to be so bold. Jiang Bai's eyes also gradually became sharp, really treating her as a soft persimmon, really thinking that he didn't dare to move him? But Jiang Bai suddenly seems to think of something, she seems to have never been led by the nose by a man like this. Could it be that just now Jiang He actually did it on purpose? It turns out so. This Jiang He is really scary. After continuous brainstorming, Jiang Bai was even more sure that Jiang He had just done it on purpose, deliberately mobilizing her emotions. Jiang He was trying to make herself really fall in love with him. Hiss. Fine thoughts. If Jiang He hears Jiang Bai's inner monologue, he would probably add, brainwashed. In fact, if it were any man with a heart of gold who had intentions for Jiang Bai, he would have been pinned to death by Jiang Bai but it was Jiang Wu who was the one who died. Thus, Jiang Bai also chose to retreat for the time being and wait for the next time. In her opinion, Jiang Yi was about to reveal his fox tail. When Jiang Yi saw Jiang Bai leave, he also breathed a sigh of relief, he had just scolded him so much, the city it shouldn't come back to him, right? And Lu Cici was also looking at Jiang Yi with some worry. Brother Jiang Yi, after all, Miss Jiang Bai is dr. Jiang Xian's sister, is it really good for us to do that just now? Although she didn't like Jiang Bai either, and even hated her a bit, Jiang Xian was very good to her and treated her as her best friend. Then I'm going to be snatched away by her, are you so tolerant of pushing me to her? Jiang Yi also smiled and touched Lu Cici's hair, this silly niece always likes to think too much, but this sentence he just said, how teary. Of course not. Brother Jiang Yi is mine. Lu Cici held her red face, Jiang Yi can only be hers, no one can snatch it away. Very good, very spirited. Meanwhile, Zhou Ruoyun inside the ramen store is also lying on the table with nothing to do. Today's weather was bad, and there weren't many people on a whole street, so she was happy to be idle. However, sometimes when she was fuming, she would think of Jiang Yi. Oops. Zhou Ruoyun, what the hell are you doing? Jiang Yi is someone else's CC. Why are you so shameless? Just then, a tall figure appeared in front of Zhou Ruoyun. Hello, is this MS? Zhou Ruoyun? The visitor took off his valuable sunglasses and his face was exquisitely beautiful. It was none other than Zhang Huang. You are? Zhou Ruoyun also got up in a hurry, to be honest, a woman with this kind of temperament, she had only seen it on TV, it was like a star. No matter what, Zhang Huang was also a higher power, the aspect of temperament was naturally nothing to speak of. I am Jiang Yi's sister, just call me Zhang Huang. Ah, Jiang Yi's sister? Hello there. Once Zhou Ruoyun heard that it was Jiang Yi's sister, she also hurriedly asked Zhang Huang to sit down and she went to pour Jiang Huang a cup of tea. Zhang Huang, on the other hand, was relieved to see that Zhou Ruoyan did not mean to ostracize her, it seemed that Zhou Ruoyan did not know much about Jiang He. This could also be a breaking point for her. It's fine, no need to bother, I came here just to talk about something. With that, Jiang Huang pulled out a bank card from his bag. There's two million dollars in here, it's kind of used to help Jiang He, don't tell him, is that okay? When these words came out, Zhou Ruoyan was also stunned, what did this mean? Jiang Huang also panicked inwardly when he saw Zhou Ruoyan was hesitant to accept it. What? What's wrong? M.S. Jiang might as well take it back, although I don't know what purpose you have, I won't hide it from Jiang He. Jiang He was her savior, she, Zhou Ruoyun, was not greedy for money to such an extent. No, M.S. Zhou I don't mean anything else, I just. But before Jiang Huang could finish his words, Zhou Ruoyun's phone rang. Zhou Ruoyun was also a bit puzzled, who would call her? Hello? Is, is it Jiang He? I'm Lu Duor. Lu Duor didn't know what kind of determination she had made before she dialed this call. Jiang He I'm sorry, that one million dollars I really can't help before. What one million? When Lu Duor heard that it was a female voice on the opposite side, she also froze for a moment, wasn't this the phone call that Jiang He had given her? That's right, Jiang He left exactly the phone number of the ramen store. And Zhou Ruoyan is also frowning, this one million thing, how come he didn't hear Jiang He mention it? The main thing, is Jiang He himself caused, he can't pull Zhou Ruoyan also on the back pot right? After listening to Lu Duor's narration on the opposite side, Zhou Ruoyun's whole body seemed to be emptied. One million ah. Even if she put this store, mortgage to the bank, only to be able to. But this store is the only thing that mom left behind. And the aside of Jiang Huang, but listen to a clear, inwardly suddenly more surprise. 
Could it be that you still won't take the money? Zhang Huan just looked at Zhou Ruoyan as if he was winning. And Zhou Ruoyan did hesitate. She couldn't take this only thought and mortgage it. CC, why don't I send you home? With that, Zhang He was about to get up, but was stopped by Lu CC. Brother Jiang He you're still sick, and it's raining outside, why don't? Or not? I won't leave tonight. As soon as these words came out, Lu Cici's small hand was also very nervous and pinched the corner of her coat. But as soon as Lu Cici's words fell, they were heard by Lin Ruoli who pushed the door in. Lin Ruoli's pupils were also seismic, her heart instantly panicked to the extreme. Yes. Yes, Sister CC will sleep with me tonight. Lin Ruoli's brain was spinning madly, she really couldn't accept Jiang He with another woman. That's fine. No trouble Sister Ruoli, I want to take care of Brother Jiang He. Jiang He just wanted to say something, then she was interrupted by Lu Cici, who herself actually didn't know where she got the courage to say this sentence. I. Seeing Lu Cici's resolute attitude, Lin Ruoli also slammed the door of the room shut with a bang, turned around and trotted away. Ruoli's sister. Lu Cici reached out her hand to retain it, but in the end it stopped in midair. How could she not know Lin Ruoli's mind? Cough cough cough, Cici are you sure you want to sleep with me? Not afraid of being infected by me? Zhang He didn't refuse, he wouldn't do anything to Lu Cici anyway, at most. At the same time, Lin Ruoli who ran out of the room returned to her own room, and as soon as she jumped on her own bed, she hugged her teddy bear and cried about something. Stinky Zhang He, why didn't you refuse? Big pervert. This can be misunderstood Zhang He, he really did not want to do anything to Lu Cici. And Lu Cici, too. But then thought that Lu Cici was originally Zhang He's little girlfriend, do something, there is no excuse, so Lin Ruoli cried even louder. No way. I. I'm going to take a look. Lin Ruori suddenly got up and wiped the tears from the corners of her eyes. She secretly went to see if Jiang Yi and Lu Cici did anything out of the ordinary or not. Thus, Lin Ruoli, who was listening to the wall, appeared. Cici, I still have to read for a while, why don't you sleep first? In fact, Jiang Yi's bed can only barely sleep two people. Um, Lu Cici first fed Jiang Yi the medicine before going to wash up and return to the room. At this time, Lin Ruoli, who saw Lu Cici go out, also hurriedly hid behind a pillar by the color of the night. She waited until Lu Cici returned to Zhang He's room before Lin Ruoli slowly walked out. In fact, Lin Ruoli is really afraid to hear some, she does not want to hear the voice. However, even if she heard it, so what? What can she do? Lin Ruoli also understood that she is now, but a defeated dog. Brother Jiang He, then. Then I'm coming up. Lu Cici's little face has already reddened, her little hands can't stop trembling, this is the first time she sleeps with a boy. And the door listening to the corner of the Lin Ruoli, the moment she heard this sentence, her heart was half cold, tears are no longer able to suppress the surge out. She is now really regret, regret why she should be so arrogant to Jiang He, why she did not express her feelings to Jiang He earlier. However, what is the use of regret? At this moment, Lin Ruoli was like a corpse that had lost its soul and left in a state of disorientation. Well, you sleep inside. Jiang He was also afraid that this little ninny would fall asleep in the middle of the night. As for what just happened at the door, Jiang He naturally knew nothing. Feeling the trembling of the little girl's body beside her, Jiang He also smiled faintly and gently touched Lu Cici's head. Sleep, don't think too much. Um, Lu Cici's voice was as thin as a mosquito fly, she didn't even dare to look at Jiang He, just feeling Jiang He's body temperature already made her too shy to speak. But in fact, don't look at Jiang He's current appearance of being as steady as an old dog, but inwardly he was panicking. He didn't have any experience in this area either. So, the two people just so stalemate. Until after a while, Lu Cici opened her mouth and said, Brother Jiang He, what do you want to do in the future? Lu Cici was well aware that she might not be able to wait for that time, so she wanted to hear Jiang He's thoughts on the future. Me? Let me think about it. Jiang He closed the exercises, he didn't seem to have thought about this before. It could be a teacher, a businessman, or a volunteer, in short, I want to see more of a different life. Having been a man for two lives, Jiang He was no longer that attached to fame and fortune, he wanted to feel the world in his limited life. Yes? That's great. Lu Cici also smiled, this was also the future she had once envisioned, although out of reach, it was mesmerizing. Brother Zhang He, can you promise CC a request? What? Zhang He could sense something wrong with Lu Cici's tone. If one day CC is gone, forget about CC. Lu Cici didn't want her to be Zhang He's yoke, she wanted Zhang He to take her expectations and see the world instead. When these words came out, both of them were silent for a long time. Don't think nonsense, rest first. Jiang He always tried to avoid this problem, but this problem was approaching step by step, pressurizing him. Well, I'm sorry brother Jiang He, I shouldn't have said this. Jiang He, however, kissed the silly niece's forehead, then embraced her into his arms. Regardless of what happens in the future, Jiang He only wants to let this silly cute little girl feel love at this moment, 
and every moment with Lu Cixi in the future. Until the next day, Jiang He took Lu Cixi to school together, and did not see Lin Ruoli again. Waiting until the afternoon after school, Jiang He received Lin Ruoroi class teacher's notice, said tomorrow Lin Ruoroi school to open the parents' meeting. In fact, the second middle school, that is, Jiang He's school, the same is also tomorrow open parent-teacher conference, only Jiang He's situation is special, the class teacher and the principal is the default of Jiang He's parents cannot come, Jiang He can also be put on a day off or in the school of the other empty classrooms to learn. As for Jiang's family, they have always ignored him, how can they give him a parent-teacher conference? In fact, Jiang He also mentioned to Jiang family before, but was directly rejected by Jiang Qin. After all, in Jiang Qin's eyes, Jiang Yi a bottom of the existence, let their Jiang family to open the parent-teacher conference, is not a disgrace to their Jiang family face? And Lin Ruoli's parent-teacher conference, from junior high school, is Jiang Yi to open. Only, this is still Jiang Yi's first time to participate in Lin Ruoli's high school's parent-teacher conference, and I don't know how this little ninny is doing in high school. But Lin Ruoli's grades, Jiang Yi is not worried, this little niece has always been smart, basically the first time, in general better than him. Why don't I accompany you tomorrow? Lu Cixi held Jiang Yi's hand and walked together on the way home. Originally, Jiang Yi was going to help out in the infirmary, but Jiang Xian notified in advance that she had something to do, so Jiang Yi had no choice but to stop. That's fine, but you have to tell your uncle and aunt in advance. Anyway, when the time comes, just say that she's Lin Ruoroi's sister-in-law, and change into a slightly more mature outfit. When Jiang Yi arrived at the ramen store, he found Zhou Ruoyan already waiting for him at the door early. CC and Mr. Jiang Yi. When Zhou Ruoyun saw the two of them, she also rushed forward. What's wrong, MS? Zhou, did something happen? If there wasn't anything wrong, Zhou Ruoyun shouldn't be waiting for them at the door. Yes, something happened. Lu Duor's phone call has reached me. How much longer is Mr. Jiang Yi going to hide it from me? Zhou Ruoyun tilted her head and looked at Jiang Yi. She was Jiang Yi's partner. A million dollars such a big thing. Actually not even say anything, really. Ah, uh, what happened to brother Jiang Yi? Lu Cixi was also instantly nervous. Jiang He slapped his head, how did he forget about this matter? Ahem, this matter should be first. No way. X2. Looking at the two, Jiang He also knew that it was impossible to hide it. In fact, the reason why Jiang He didn't want to say it was because he knew that this million dollars was because of him, otherwise he would have definitely discussed it with Zhou Ruoyan. Mr. Jiang He, here is one million, please take it. Zhou Ruoyan pulled out a brand new bank card from his pocket and reached out to Jiang He. At these words, Jiang He was also shocked. Where did this little girl get so much money from? This was a million dollars, not a hundred cabbages. Aya, this you don't care, CC let's go in and talk. As for the origin of this card, it has to start from yesterday when Jiang Huan came to her. MS. Joe, you see you are short of this million dollars, just take it, Jiang Yi won't know about it. With that, Jiang Huan pushed the bank card with two million dollars deposited towards Zhou Ruoyun. Looking at the bank card on the table, it was as if there was a kind of compelling magic that was enticing Zhou Ruoyun to reach out. And Zhou Ruoyan did reach out her hand to that bank card under Zhang Huang's expectant gaze. But the next second, in Zhang Huang's incredulous eyes, Zhou Ruoyan actually pushed the bank card back. Miss Zhou this is. Miss Zhang Huang, this card, it's better for you to give it to Zhang Yi personally. After saying that, Zhou Ruoyan got up and left, returning to her own back kitchen. And Zhang Huang had no choice but to leave resentfully. Zhou Ruoyan, who came to the back kitchen, dragged out a locked box, deep in the kitchen. And what was inside was the store's certificate of ownership. That day, Zhou Ruoyan looked at this thin little book for a long, long time. It was as if she had once again seen that gentle yet incredibly strong mother. I'm sorry mom, I'm really sorry. The young girl's tears were firm and sad, smashing down on the ground but not even a speck of dust splashed up. If there was no Jiang He, she and her sister might not be able to survive, she couldn't do anything to apologize to Jiang He, even if there was only a one in a thousand chance. At the same time, she also believed in Zhang Yi, one day, she would redeem this certificate, which contained countless thoughts, from the bank. Alas, have you heard? That Lin Ruoli in our class is actually an orphan. Is that so? She's such a vixen, she deserves it. Maybe her family was killed by her. Stop it, she's coming. On what grounds? I'm going to say it. This girl, seeing Lin Ruoli return to her seat, instead screamed even louder. Who let Lin Ruoli get such good grades and look so pretty? They were just not happy about it. Lin Ruoli, how did you survive as an orphan? Did you go to cell? But before the girl's words fell, there was a crunching sound, and the girl even covered her reddened cheeks with a face full of incredulity. Lin Ruoli, you vixen, the stinky bitch actually dared to hit me. I'll fight you. But Lin Ruoli was not the same softy that she was back then, how could this kind of flower in a greenhouse be a match for her? It's just that she didn't expect that all the way to high school, there are still such boring people. 
Of course, the consequence of Lin Ruoli's direct action is that both of them were called to the homeroom teacher's office. And Lin Ruoroi's homeroom teacher was a middle-aged woman, in her eyes, two people actually dared to fight openly in the classroom, this was simply challenging her authority. It doesn't matter what is right or wrong, indiscriminately, then let both of them call their parents tomorrow, and then let both of them get out of her office. Coming into the hallway, the girl from before was very proud. Slutty Fox, I don't see how you can ask your parents when you're an orphan. Or you can call the old man who adopted you to come. Ha ha. But before the girl could laugh out loud, she was scared by Lin Ruori's raised palm, and she didn't dare to provoke anymore, and ran away in a huff. Only, is Lin Ruoli really as calm as she appears to be? Who knows? Until the next day, Jiang Family Villa, Jiang Qin and Lu Ru is also packed up the line, ready to go together to Jiang Li parent meeting. At this time, Jiang Huan also slowly walked down from upstairs. You all go to give Jiang Li a parent teacher conference. What about Xiao Yi? When these words came out, the two of them were also instantly stunned. Lu Ru also just remembered that she seems to have never held a parent-teacher conference for Jiang He. No wonder she was kicked out last time she went to Jiang He's school. Then, then I will go to find Shou He now. It's mom's carelessness that made me forget. But was it really carelessness? This matter is also only Jiang Qin has the most right to say, in the beginning, but he personally rejected Jiang He. Jiang Qin was also slightly embarrassed, and quickly had to take Lu Ru to find Jiang He first. However, he was stopped by Jiang Wang. You guys go and open it for Jiang Li. I'll just go and open it for Xiao He. After saying that, Zhang Huang turned around and went out of the Zhang family's gate, leaving only Zhang Qin and Lu Ru behind. Lu Ru was even more heartbroken and her eyes were slightly red. You said, is Xiao Huang blaming us for not picking up Xiao He back? When these words came out, Zhang Qin's hand also trembled, but then he regained his proper color. No matter what, Xiao Li is the one for whom we personally organized the bar mitzvah, a Zhang family member recognized by the upper class, if we drive Xiao Li away, what will outsiders say about our Jiang family? When Jiang He has figured it out after a while, he'll be back, don't think too much. Jiang Qin comforted Lu Ru. At the same time, Jiang He and Lu Cici also changed into a more formal outfit. But in fact, no matter how the two dressed up, at best they looked like college students who had just graduated from university. But this was also enough. When Jiang He brought Lu Cici to Lin Ruoli's school, he realized that he didn't seem to know where Lin Ruoli's classroom was, and immediately called Lin Ruoli's homeroom teacher. HM? Lin Ruori's parent right? You come up to my office first. When these words came out, Zhang He was also stunned. What's wrong? Why did they want him to go to the office? Could it be that something happened to Lin Ruori? Didn't Lin Ruoli tell you when she came home yesterday? She got into a fight at school, alright, just hurry over, the parents across the street are waiting too. When these words came out, Zhang He also frowned tightly. He knew that Lin Ruori would never hit someone for no reason, unless someone messed with her. Thinking of this, Zhang He could hardly suppress the anger in his heart, and also directly brought Lu Cici to that homeroom teacher's office. But before Zhang He even pushed the door, he heard the noise inside. Teacher look, this little bitch beat up our family Zihan. And a middle-aged man had even rolled up his sleeves, ready to make a move on Lin Ruoli. I said, she was the one who provoked me first, and she was the one who asked for the beating. Lin Ruoli remained fearless, she was right as right. What did you say? If it wasn't for you going to sell, would I be talking about you? You slutty fox, you don't know how many men you've seduced. That Zihan also became more arrogant when she saw that her parents were there. As for that middle-aged homeroom teacher, he didn't dare to let out a single fart in the face of such bad-talking parents. How you hit our family Zihan, I'll hit you back. With that, that middle-aged man was about to make a move on Lin Ruri. In the next second, Jiang He directly kicked open the office door. The loud bang startled the other teachers in the office, and those who didn't know thought it was some kind of terrorist attack. Who the fuck are you going to move? Zhang He purposely left Lu Cici outside the door and rolled up his sleeves himself, looking like a little gangster. And the reason why Zhang He did this was because he had interacted with this kind of unreasonable people, too many times for them to listen to kind words. Who are you? What's wrong with me seeking justice for my daughter? Seeing that Zhang He looked like he wasn't to be messed with, this middle-aged man who was going to hit Lin Ruoli, instantly wilted, and even started to tell the reason why he did so, do you think it's funny? And Lin Ruoli also glanced her face away, not willing to let Jiang He see this wretched look of hers. Justice? Your little bitch dares to scold my sister, do you believe that I'll make her disappear when she leaves the school gate? Damn it, I yuck. Regardless of the truth or falsehood, the vicious words must be on first, it is to make these people scorn, they cannot believe, but they definitely do not dare to bet. Jiang He glared ferociously at the girl called Zihan, living as a ruthless social youth. This Zihan was even so scared that she backed up and hid behind her mom with tears falling straight from her eyes. Didn't she say that Lin Ruoli was an orphan? She also saw that Lin Ruri didn't have anyone to protect her, 
so she dared to do this, who knew that a Zheng he would come out halfway. In fact, Lin Ruoli's encounter is also a reflection of many orphans, and there are even more such cases on the internet. You are an orphan, no parents, people have parents to support, you suffer a little aggression how? Putting things to rest, whoever is good at bullying will do it to whoever is good at bullying, this is the usual style of the school and the teachers, they don't care about what is fair and just, as long as they can put things to rest. What do you want to do? I'm warning you, you're breaking the law. This middle-aged man was also flustered, blocking in front of Jiang He, and started to teach Jiang He the law? It was as if he had forgotten that he was going to hit someone just now, which was also illegal. What the hell am I afraid of? The big deal is to go in and squat for a few years. Seeing that Jiang He was about to make a move, the middle-aged woman homeroom teacher, who had not dared to speak, was also quick to speak out to mediate. This gentleman calmed down, don't do it first ha, huh? what's the matter let's talk slowly. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Yi's gaze also fell on this class teacher's body. You old bitch, just now when this old beast was about to hit my family Ruoli, why didn't you speak out? If you damn dare to say another word, I'll slap your teeth away. Seeing Jiang Yi's oil and salt, just want to make a move, even the principal was startled. He also asked Zhang Yi to sit in his office in a good voice, but was directly rejected by Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi is now whose face are not given, he is very clear, now is who first goat who suffer. It's really ridiculous to say, people are good, this world, good people are always the injured party, but the evil people get away with it. However, Jiang Yi also believes that this world is still ultimately more good people, but when facing the evil man, it is necessary to be more evil than him. Alright, let that little bitch apologize to my family Rory, and let this matter be forgotten. Jiang Yi also appropriately gave the other party a step down, his purpose wasn't to fight either, he just wanted to do justice to Lin Rory. Okay, okay, Zihan you quickly apologized to Lin's classmate. This Zihan's mom was also scared by Jiang Yi's fierce appearance, afraid that this crazy man would really make a move on her precious daughter. The middle-aged man also nodded his head in compromise, he also knew that youngsters like Jiang Yi did things without thinking of the consequences the most. It was just a matter of apologizing, if he really got into trouble with Jiang Yi, this madman, then it would be more trouble than it was worth. Yes. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Zihan was also trembling as she bowed and apologized to Lin Ruoroi, she was truly terrified. Speak up for fuck's sake. If I hear you chewing your tongue behind my back again, I'll pull your tongue out first. Zhang Yi saw that this little bitch was directly scared to tears before he didn't say anything else. Then he warned Lin Rory's homeroom teacher. Old pig dog, if I know that you dare to put small shoes on my family Rory or make things difficult for my family Rory, I'll personally come to your door and see how many members of your family are enough for me to chop with a knife. Understand? Okay, okay, I promise I won't. This middle-aged woman as a class teacher, those parents have always been courteous to her, or had they encountered such a crazy and ruthless person like Zhang He, they also nodded their heads repeatedly. Alright, Ruoli come with me, I'll give you a parent-teacher conference. After saying that, Zhang He also pulled Lin Ruoli's hand out of the office. Zhang He could feel Lin Ruoli's body trembling slightly. There's no way, they're orphans, and without this layer of ruthless exterior protection, they'll be eaten up. I'm sorry. Lin Ruori said this sentence only after half a day, she always thought that she was very strong, but now it seems that the gap from Jiang He is still very far. You still know how to say sorry? Jiang He also snorted coldly, Lu Cici also rushed forward to persuade Jiang He to stop being angry. What? Think you've grown up? You can solve things on your own? To be honest, Jiang He was really angry, and at the same time, he was also afraid, afraid that she would really be beaten and bullied what to do. Speak. I'm sorry. Lin Ruoroi lowered her head, her tears smashing down on the ground in big chunks. She didn't cry when she was rumored against, she didn't cry when she was wrongly accused, she didn't cry even when she was almost beaten up, but in the face of Jiang Yi's scolding, her emotions were like a dam that was torn apart, and she couldn't hold it back from gushing out anymore. Alright, alright, Sister Ruoli already knows. Lu Cici also rushed to hold Lin Ruoroi in her arms to comfort her. She also knew that Jiang Yi was really concerned about Lin Ruoroi, but Lin Ruoroi was still a little girl after all. Up to this point, Jiang Yi only slightly subsided, see Lin Ruori crying like that, also know just now as his words are too heavy. Just now as my words are heavy, first take me to your classroom, I will give you a parent-teacher conference. Um, Lin Ruoli also snuggled into Lu Cici's arms and choked and nodded. When Jiang Yi came to the classroom, the eyes of the whole room rested on Lin Ruori's body, after all, everyone knew that Lin Ruori was an orphan. Cici, you and Ruoli just wait for me outside the door. Parents' meetings are usually not for students to enter, and a seat is also for one parent at most. Jiang Yi saw that on the other parents' desks, all of them had a letter, only his didn't, and also touched the tip of his nose in embarrassment. In fact, Lin Ruoli did not even think that Jiang Yi would come, after all, she did not tell Jiang Yi about this matter, if not the school issued a notice, Jiang Yi also do not know. 
However, Lin Ruoriolai also really competitive, high school 9 homework, just the first in the school, this little girl will account for 3, the total ranking is the existence of the top 3, from the first place is also very close. If you can keep this achievement, the possibility of entering the Qingbei is still very big, of course, when Lin Ruoli want to apply for what school, Jiang he will not interfere. But the premise is that this little ninny can stabilize her mind, in case what happened before, what if it happens again? This will definitely have a great impact on Lin Ruori. So, this time, Jiang He was also fully prepared. When the parent-teacher conference was about to end, Jiang He walked straight up to the podium. Instantly, it caused whispers from the parents below. Who is this? What's he doing up there? Seems like he's the parent of that girl in first, so envious. Why did I hear my child say that that first is an orphan? Couldn't be her boyfriend? To fall in love at such a young age, how shameless. Even some of the students outside the window were giving Lin Ruoli sideways glances. Since Lin Ruoli said orphan, this should be her lover, right? Looks pretty handsome, no wonder he was able to get Lin Ruoli that slutty fox. Haven't you heard, this kind of little rascal is most attractive to Lin Ruoli's kind of good students. Che, a good student? I think she's just a slut. These words were all like a sharp knife. Would they realize how their words would hurt others? No. They might be jealous, they might be in love, they might be thoughtless, they might even just be getting alone. Lu Cici also frowned slightly and brought Lin Ruoli and was about to leave first, this group of people were just too much of a nuisance. But in the next second, Jiang Yi's voice, reached the ears of everyone present. I'm sure that everyone here, to a greater or lesser extent, has gotten to know my family Ruri, right? As soon as these words came out, the whispers intensified, while Jiang Yi remained unchanged. That's right, my family Ruri is indeed an orphan. Before Jiang Yi's words fell, Many of the students outside the window began to look at Lin Ruri with smiles on their faces, as if they were watching a joke. At the same time, I am also an orphan. Jiang He spoke without the slightest hesitation, while looking straight into the eyes of everyone present. I know that you all might pity, or mock, or feel amused, or perhaps, think that I, an orphan, have any qualifications to stand on this podium. Every single one of you, including the students outside the door, listen up. Jiang He's voice was like a flood bell, hitting everyone's eardrums. I'm an orphan, but Lin Ruoroe isn't. He has a brother, a sister-in-law, and someone to back her up. Someone to back her up. What a precious word for an orphan. If you guys think it doesn't matter, you can try. As soon as Jiang He's words fell, an untimely tisk tisk laugh appeared from underneath. Jiang He also didn't care, directly stepped forward and kicked this parent's table over. What are you laughing at? Seeing Jiang He come true, the following instantly silent. Lao Zi asked you, what are you laughing at? It was only at this point that the crowd realized that the youngster in front of them was a true madman who wouldn't give a damn about anyone's face. I, sorry sorry sorry, just now. Not waiting until they are looking for trouble, always so fearless. Zhang He also no longer said anything, turned around and left the classroom. Zhang He's fierce image had been deeply inserted in these people's minds. Even when Zhang He just went out, the students who were still indifferent, instantly turned into birds and beasts, afraid of being targeted by Zhang He. Only one little girl actually topped Jiang Yi's pressure and came to Lin Ruoli's side. Ruoli, Ruoli student, I. I'm also an orphan, can I study with you? This little girl's guts were really small, just by walking past Jiang Yi, she was already shaking uncharacteristically. When Lin Ruoli saw this little girl's appearance, even with tears in her eyes, she couldn't help but laugh out loud. Good, I'll protect you, just like my brother Jiang Yi. When Jiang Yi walked out of the school's gate, Lin Ruoli and that little girl also waved goodbye to Jiang Yi. Go back call me if anything happens. Only after saying that, Zhang Yi was relieved to turn around and leave with Lu Cici. Cici, will you think I'm violent? Walking on the way back to school, Zhang Yi held Lu Cici's small hand, in fact, he was still a little worried whether Lu Cici would treat him as a violent maniac. Well, brother Zhang Yi is indeed violent. First, he angrily scolded the unreasonable parents and homeroom teacher, and then kicked over the person who made a mocking remark, the Zhang Yi at this time, compared to the usual gentle Zhang Yi, he really called it violent. But brother Jiang He, your violence, to protect yourself and your loved ones, against those bad guys, in Cici's eyes, is very handsome. When the last two words of Lu Cici's words exited, Jiang He's hanging heart, only then did it fall. He and how do not know violence is not desirable, but this has been his only weapon, he wants to go to guard, can only go to become a madman to fight for his life. If he does not fight for his life, those people, perhaps not even look at him, in their eyes, but a joke. Orphans, is not it can be bullied at will? Self-improvement, this is Jiang Yi's code of life and what he wants to teach Lin Ruoli. Meanwhile, Jiang Huang had also arrived at Jiang Yi's school and even managed to blend in. Upon arriving at Jiang Yi's class, he realized that Jiang Yi didn't seem to be there. Hello classmate, I am Jiang Yi's sister, may I ask where Jiang Yi has gone? At these words, the classmate also looked Jiang Huang up and down. You are Jiang Yi's sister? 
It's been three years, why haven't I heard Zhang He mention that he has a family? As soon as these words came out, Zhang Huang also looked flustered, after all, they were the ones who did not allow Jiang He to say that he was a member of Zhang's family before. But, maybe Jiang He forgot, I'm really his sister, my name is Zhang Huang, I'm here for his parent-teacher conference. Although this student was still skeptical about Jiang Huang's words, after all, he didn't know Jiang He very well either, so he brought Jiang Huang to Jiang He's seat. When Jiang Huang came to Jiang He's seat, it was just as awkward as before when Jiang He held a parent-teacher conference for Lin Ruoli, which was a letter that all the other parents had. Jiang He's tablemate, Zhang Yan's mom, was also a bit puzzled as she looked at the polished woman beside her. She had come several times and had never seen Jiang Yi's family, and her son had said that Jiang Yi was an orphan and that he should take good care of him. So who was this woman? As the homeroom teacher entered the room, she was equally puzzled and looked at Jiang Yi's position, this position was always empty only, could it be that any parent was sitting in the wrong place? Okay, we have invited the parents of the outstanding students to come up to the stage to share their educational experience. When Jiang Yi was called, Jiang Huang was also flustered, how could there be Jiang Yi? Jiang Yi's grades are not the bottom. Actually, the homeroom teacher was just going through the motions when she named Jiang Yi. Only, when Jiang Huang came on stage, the homeroom teacher also froze for two seconds. May I ask who you are? Ah, ah, I'm, I'm Jiang Yi's older sister. When these words came out, the homeroom teacher was even more confused. When did Jiang Yi have a sister? Could it be a cousin? However, what Zhang Huang said next made the class teacher even more skeptical. This Zhang Huang's speech was so cloudy that he didn't even know how many points Zhang He had scored in the exam, how much he had improved, and how many places he ranked in the city. This young lady, are you really the sister of student Zhang He? Or is it? Faced with the class teacher's inquiry, Zhang Huang also blushed for a moment. Perhaps even she herself did not expect that she could be called ignorant of Zhang He. Where is this a look of being a sister? I, I'm sorry. John Huang was also really unable to say anything, so he had to get off the stage first. The parents at the bottom were likewise whispering, and there were even those who suspected Zhang Huang was a human trafficker. As for Zhang Yan's mom, she was likewise a shrew and naturally did not give Zhang Huang any face. This MS. Zhang, you don't know anything about Zhang He and you have the nerve to call yourself his sister? Once these words came out, Zhang Huang was also completely tensed up, facing so many pairs of eyes, she was even more shameless to stay in her seat. She is also downstairs while shedding tears, she is not. She really is not. But no matter how she thinks about it, the fact is right in front of her eyes, she doesn't deserve to be Jiang Yi's sister. At the same time, Zhang Qin and Lu Ru also just finished the parent-teacher conference for Zhang Li. In the face of Zhang Li the city's top 800 ranking, Zhang Qin is also very satisfied, as long as Zhang Li and then try hard, or have the opportunity to go to Qingbei. At that time can also give them Zhang parents face. But Jiang Li, the little brute who puts all his thoughts on how to frame Jiang He, whether this achievement is true or not, is unknown. But Jiang He's top 10 in his grade and top 100 in the city, that's real. When Jiang He and Lu Cici were ready to return to school, they met the person he least wanted to encounter halfway. Jiang He was also inwardly saying bad luck, how could he not expect, this can run into Jiang Qin and Lu Ru. According to reason, even if Jiang Li is going to have a parent-teacher conference, it is not on the way to Jiang He's school, why would he bump into them? Zhang He also pulled Lu Cici's small hand, directly turn around to change the road to go, but in the end, it was still a step late, was Lu Ru saw. Xiao He. In fact, Lu Ru and Zhang Qin, not at all by the way, they are to find Zhang He's. But Zhang He always did not hear, he is not stupid, they called a stop. Just when Zhang He came to the school entrance, he was bumped into by Zhang Huang. Xiao He. Zhang Huang was also full of surprise, she didn't expect to bump into Zhang He just as she was about to leave. Zhang Yi secretly said that he didn't read the yellow calendar when he went out today, how could he be so unlucky? After Jiang Qin's guys left, here comes Zhang Huang again? Still ignoring, Zhang Yi brought Lu Cici and was going back to the classroom. Xiao He wait a minute. I just went to give you a parent-teacher conference. When these words came out, Zhang Yi's footsteps were also lurched and he almost didn't hold back his foul mouth. No, Zhang Huang are you sick in the head? Zhang Yi really couldn't figure out what was wrong with this Zhang family? Before Jiang Yi begged them to come. They were afraid of losing face, none of them agreed, now it's good that he has severed his relationship with the Jiang family, but they are coming one after another. What the hell is this if not bitchy? Little. Little wa, sister know these years to you little care, but now sister really no wrong. Little will you just give your sister a chance, said Jiang Huang, then habitually went forward to pull Jiang He's arm, she now really wants Jiang He to give her a chance, a chance to understand, to care about Jiang He. This scene, let a lot of passing parents and students or side-eye gaze, and even not a few young girls' students, have begun to discuss with their girlfriends is not someone as a mistress. Have to say, these people's brain hole is really big. 
Seeing that things are getting bigger and bigger, Zhang Yi himself is fine, it would be bad if he involves Lu Cici. But seeing Zhang Huang's posture, he won't stop for a short period of time. Cici, you go back to the classroom first, and help me pack up my books on the way. This was just a reason to detach Lu Cici. Lu Cici knew that she could only add to the chaos here, this was Zhang Yi's own matter, if Zhang Yi wanted to talk about it, he would naturally make it clear to her. Well, then I'll wait for you in the infirmary. Seeing Lu Cici walking away, Zhang Yi was also relieved. Just when Zhang Huang thought that Zhang Yi would give her a chance to talk to her, Zhang Yi was violently flinging himself directly out of Zhang Huang's control. Joke, he was just worried about Lu Cici just now, now that Lu Cici is not there, it is not silly for him not to run again? He didn't want to waste time with these Zhang family members. Xiao He. Zhang Huang was also directly dumbfounded and froze in place. Just when he wanted to go after her, he only heard a snapping sound. One of her high heel shoes heel actually broke directly. And by chance, Zhang Qin with Lu Ru also rushed to the entrance of the school, just happened to bump into Zhang Huang, also rushed forward. What's wrong with you, Xiao Huang? But Zhang Huang was totally unconcerned about his own situation, limping and going to find Zhang He. I know where Little Wu is. I know. Zhang Huang also remembered that Zhang Yi would work at that Zhang Xian's infirmary every time after school. She was going to go now. On the other side, Zhang Yi did come to the infirmary. Brother Zhang Yi. Lu Cici also rushed forward when she saw Zhang Yi come back so quickly. It's just that Zhang Xian is still sad, so she didn't even notice that Zhang Yi came over. The reason why she had something yesterday was that she went to talk to Zhang Bai. But Zhang Bai couldn't listen to anything at all, so she had to stop. Alas, this Zhang Bai, how did he become like this? In fact, this can't be completely blamed on Jiang by herself, just like Jiang He, lunacy and ruthlessness are her means of protecting herself and her sister. When there is no absolute safety, she will never be able to remove her disguise. Xiao He. When Jiang He heard the voice coming from not far away, she also couldn't help but hold her forehead, no, what's wrong with these people? Can't get rid of them? When Jiang Huang saw that Jiang He didn't have the intention to leave again, she also directly took off her high heels and trotted to Jiang He. Little Wu, sister just wants a chance to understand you and protect you. Looking at Zhang Huang's pleading appearance in front of her, Zhang He was really speechless. No, it's really not necessary now. So many chances to get to know me in the past, you didn't go. What are you doing making this mess now? Xiao Wu, you still blame your sister right? Sister really knows it's wrong. Seeing that Zhang Huang's tears were about to fall, Zhang Qin also couldn't hold back any longer and went forward to look at Zhang He coldly. Zhang He look, now what has the Jiang family become because of you? If you still have some conscience, hurry back. When these words came out, Zhang Yi couldn't even help but stare. It's all because of him. Because of me? Zhang Yi even pointed a finger at himself somewhat incredulously. And Zhang Qin's voice remained cold. If it wasn't for you making a scene and running away from home, would Xiao Zi have left? If it wasn't for you, how would Zhang Jiang be abused online? Look at your big sister's current appearance. Where's the slightest bit of the group's president? Isn't all this because of you? The Zhang family was doing well. But it's all because of you alone that the entire Jiang family is in a state of unrest. Jiang Qin's words reached the ears of everyone present, perhaps even he, himself, was convinced by his own words. Well, mister. Jiang you're right. Little Wa. Jiang he also nodded, it was simply better for him to think so. Then mister. Jiang, can you leave now? Stay away from me, the culprit, won't you? When these words came out, Jiang Qin was even more enraged. What do you mean? If you know you're wrong, hurry and go home with me. Go home with me now, and then call your second sister back. But before Jiang Qin could finish his words, he was directly interrupted by Jiang He. No, you still take it seriously right? Jiang He himself did not expect, he this father, actually really think these are his fault? No, Lao Zi hasn't gone to any of your Jiang family until now. What about Jiang Zi, what's it got to do with me? Did I make her leave the Jiang family? Lao Zi didn't even fucking know about this, and you're still blaming me? You. Jiang Qin was also too angry to speak for a while. You what you? Jiang Huang you said yourself, did Lao Zi ever look for you? And Jiang Jiang, who knows what kind of nerve she had to come to my orphanage to be a volunteer caregiver, from the time I left the Jiang family, until now, have I actively looked for you Jiang family members once? Damn, give you face don't know if right? Don't say it, still really think you have reason. Jiang Yi also directly put so many days, by the Jiang family harassment of anger, a breath of venting out. He was usually really gentle and didn't talk a lot, but the things that happened these days, including Lin Ruoli being bullied, really made it hard for him to suppress the anger in his heart. It's not that little wa. Your father he's just confused with anger. Xiao would don't be angry. Lu Ru also wanted to go forward to pull Jiang He's hand, but was still avoided by Jiang He. Jiang He, no matter what, I am also your father, is this the attitude you speak to your father? Seeing that he couldn't speak to Jiang He, Jiang Qin also brought out the word father 
trying to find some face back for himself. What father? Haven't we severed our relationship a long time ago? Jiang He also laughed coldly, he wouldn't eat this. Good good good. Jiang He you are really stubborn. When you get out of society, you'll know what the identity of the Jiang family means. One day, you will kneel down and beg me. Jiang Qin was also not giving an inch, he had already given Jiang He steps. Ha ah, ha, heartfelt words are out, right, in your eyes, the Jiang family is an unattainable existence for ordinary people like me, right? Jiang He was also happy, if he really coveted the riches of that Jiang family, how could he possibly sever his relationship? Jiang Qin, you remember well, I don't care about the Jiang family, so your Jiang family should not come back to me, understand? This word out, Lu Ru was more anxious straight tears, how she did not expect, is because of their own original bias and prejudice, will turn the Jiang family into this appearance. He he, Jiang He I would like to see how hard you can talk until when. Let's go. Jiang Qin would like to see, when Jiang He graduates, what should he do about his tuition. The tuition fee for college is not as simple as a few thousand dollars. There's also the orphanage where Jiang He is, recently the government is going to cut part of the welfare organizations, and that orphanage is among them. This is also why Jiang Qin is sure that Jiang He will return to the bottom of the Jiang family, without the help of the Jiang family, that orphanage can only be disbanded. Okay, you Jiang He has backbone, what about the many orphans in your orphanage? He is to make Jiang He understand that leaving Jiang family, he Jiang He is nothing. He wants Jiang He to kneel down and beg him as his father. He wants Jiang He to know that he, his father, made all the right decisions. Jiang Huang, didn't you hear what I said? Go! There was no way out. Jiang Huang had no choice but to take one last look at Jiang He, and a single tear crossed her delicate face. Why, why Jiang He just refused to give them a chance? But what she doesn't know is that Jiang He is someone who died once, no one gave him a chance in his previous life when he was trapped and burned to death in a sea of fire. Watching a few people leave, Jiang Yi was also relieved, but in the face of Lu Cici's nervous little expression, he finally smiled. Brother Jiang Yi, Cici wants to know, wants to know about your past, wants to share this with you. Lu Cici mustered up her courage, she wanted to bear everything that was going to happen in the future together with Jiang Yi. Is that so? Then I'll tell you slowly. Jiang Yi looked relaxed, since Lu Cici wanted to know, there was no need for him to hide anything. At the same time, the capital city. The capital city is the existence of the capital city, naturally is prosperous beyond compare, even if it is already late in the day, the streets of pedestrians, tourists, couples, and even students who just got out of school, still unabated. Street lights are even turned on early, the city that never sleeps, not for nothing. As one of the major families in the capital city, the Jiang family, however, appears to be a bit cold. As Jiang Bai's private secretary general, Lu Mu, wearing a white traditional maid outfit, was sitting down to look at a few old men in front of him. Note that the maid outfit here is not a dress-up maid outfit in pursuit of splendor and beauty, it is just the kind of traditional maid outfit for the convenience of work, without too much decoration, it looks like there is actually no difference with most of the work outfits, and there may be one more point of elegance. Xiao Lua, now that Mr. Jiang is not here, everyone is spreading the word that Mr. Jiang is out of something and may not be able to come back, do you think it's possible to give a few of us an explanation? Yes yes yes, if Mr. Jiang was here, a few of us naturally wouldn't dare to say much, but now the whole group is all over the place. A few old things are all foxes who have gotten the way, naturally the words have meaning, the implication is whether Jiang Bai can still continue to serve as the head of the Jiang family, as well as the controller of the Jiang group. I say, Mr. Jiang only left for a few days, you guys are jumping around so much, aren't you afraid that Mr. Jiang will come back to clean you up? Lumu raised the gold glasses on the tip of her nose, elegant and intellectual, as if it was made for her, every move, all natural, so that people could not see a trace of difficulty. Once these words came out, these few old guys also looked at each other at once. If Jiang Bai, that madman, was there, they naturally wouldn't dare to make a move, and could only quietly nibble away at some assets behind their backs. But now it was different, Jiang Bai had been out of contact for several days. And it's the kind that is nowhere to be found. Then there was only one possibility and that was that something had really happened to Jiang Bai, and the news had been deliberately blocked. Thinking of this, these few old guys instantly stood up again. I have to say, he's a few old things quite brave. After all, as long as the ginger white to drive down, they will no longer have to be the same as usual, living in fear of the day, at that time they want a how to collect money on how to collect money. Okay, Lu Mu, you're just a dog beside Jiang Bai, don't give a damn, when the time comes to drive you out of the group and turn you into a stray dog will be fun. And naturally, Lu Mu was not the slightest bit abashed, as Jiang Bai's personal secretary general, what big storms hadn't she seen before. Directly, she just slammed the table and fiercely stood up to look straight at these few old guys. Do you guys think that no one else knows what you've done? 
Misappropriation of how much public money, you know in your own heart, how many years should be sentenced, you understand even more, these do not need me to say anything more, right? This words, a few old guys are also instantly annoyed, they did not expect, these things do so hidden, or by this damn Lumu found. So what? In a few days it will be the shareholders meeting, if Jiang Bai doesn't show up again, the entire Jiang family will be ours, at that time, even if it's black, it can become white. What are you? In the past there was that crazy girl Jiang Bai backing you up, now that Jiang Bai is not around, you are not even a fart. Just when a few people were cursing more and more fiercely, Lumu clapped his hands, and instantly four or five burly bodyguards with sunglasses fishtailed into the room and just stood straight in front of a few old guys. Instantly, these few old guys also wilted. Fortunately, they were facing Lumu, if Jiang Bai, she was afraid that she would personally remove the arms of these old guys, this is not a little bit of exaggeration, Jiang Bai is such a crazy person. Otherwise there wouldn't be so many people in the capital city who were afraid of Jiang Bai. Send off the guests. Once these words came out, a few burly bodyguards also reached out to drive these few old guys outside. Lu Lu. Just wait, in a few days you'll be kicked out of the group like a lost dog, let's see how you'll live then. Sitting on the chair and looking at the empty office, Lu Mu also couldn't help but take off his glasses and rubbed his brow. M.S. Zhang Bai, where the hell did you go? Lu Mu's eyes were filled with fatigue, these days, the pressure of the entire Zhang family, and even the Zhang group, all fell on her shoulders alone. But in the end, she is no more capable than a young girl in her early 20s. In fact, this is also blamed on Jiang Bai, she in order to the thoroughness of this plan, even her most trusted Lu Mu did not mention it, it can be seen that Jiang Bai in order to completely eradicate the cancer of the Jiang family, how much to pay? Miss, if I can't hold out, please don't blame me, I will personally go down and apologize to you. Jiang Bai for Lu Mu, is the spiritual pillar, if Jiang Bai is really not there, she will go with it. And far away in the sea city, Jiang Bai, also got a shocking news. What? One million Jiang he made up for it? This this this, how is this possible? Jiang Bai has been completely confused. You should know what happens when you lie to me. Jiang Bai's willow eyebrows slightly wrinkled, how could this Jiang he raise a million dollars in such a short period of time, could it be that the owner of this gym lied to her? Whatever you think, since Jiang he little brother has completed the task, if I Lu Hui back out, then I am not a man, what do you want I will take it, I would like to see, in the end, can we spell a fish death net? Lu Hui also hung up the phone fiercely, his life is bright and open, never afraid of anyone. Now in his middle age, he had to think about his daughter. But now, he broke his promise, his daughter also no longer take him as an idol, if he then backtracked, still fucking as a man? Can still play as a father's example for his daughter? The big deal is to take a chance, he started from nothing, what big waves have not seen, even if the failure to lose also what? He can still rise again. Little brother Jiang He, good luck. Lu Hui silently called for his daughter Lu Duor. Go, send this agreement to Jiang He, we Lu family don't want the profits from this cooperation. At these words, Lu Duor's figure also trembled slightly. Pops, this time. Don't talk nonsense, when have you ever seen your old dad wimp out? Go, ah. Uh. Lu Duor's eyes that great, open-minded father, as if back again. This is the essence of passing on the spirit, a strong body, coupled with a resilient spirit, Lu Hui believes that even if he is gone one day, Lu Duor will still be able to stand on her own two feet. And the other side of the Jiang Bai, Cannot be so comfortable, that did not last a few days of the latest models of love crazy, once again with the ground to a close contact, the parts are even fell into pieces. Good you Jiang He. Although I don't know how you did it, but next, I must pull out your fox tail. A crazy plan, completely taking shape inside Jiang Bai's heart, she would soon have to leave the sea city, when she was not there, Jiang Xian would most likely be compelled by that Jiang He. After all, the high level of Jiang He's segment is unheard of by her. Even through this short few days of getting along, she has a strong interest in Jiang He, this is the scary place of Jiang He. It's not that, one is a brainstorming fiend, one is full of care. At the same time, when Jiang He brought Lu Cici to the ramen store, she happened to meet Lu Duor who had just arrived. Lu Duor, at the first sight of Jiang He, is also imperceptible pinching hands, she has not yet thought about how to face. After all, she was the one who looked down on Jiang He first and then broke her promise. In Jiang He's heart, Will she be regarded as the kind of bad woman who bullied the orphans? But she really didn't mean that. What to do what to do? How to open up to Jiang He to be good? Just as Lu Duor's brain was racing and she froze in place, Jiang He was also dumbfounded as she walked to Lu Duor with Lu Cici. Miss Lu? Miss Lu? Jiang He shouted twice in a row, but Lu Duor still didn't have the slightest reaction, which also made Jiang He even more confused. What's wrong with this Lu Duor? Was she immobilized? M.S. Lu, what's wrong with you? It was Lu Cici who went up and tugged on Lu Duor, and only then did Lu Duor react. Jiang He, I'm sorry. Lu Duor directly in front of people coming and going, bowed greatly to Jiang He, which has been comparable to the very spirited Zhou Ruoyun. 
And instantly, there are also countless gazes falling on a few people here, with curiosity on their faces, after all, the matter of eating melons, young and old alike. Cough cough cough, ms. Lou go in and talk about it. Jung he was also startled, good guy, do not know, also thought it was again what dog blood plot unfolding. And Lu Duor also noticed so many pairs of eyes watching, wheat-colored healthy face, also can't help but float on a touch of redness. She also hurriedly followed behind Zhang He and walked into the ramen store. When they entered, Zhou Ruoyan also went up to greet them, only that her gaze would still constantly dodge when she looked at Zhang He. This is the cooperation agreement that my old man asked me to send, can you see if there are any problems? Lu Dao pushed the agreement in front of Zhang He, and the redness on her face gradually dissipated, returning to a healthy wheat color. Looking at the agreement in front of him, Zhang Yi also read it in its entirety, although he wasn't very well versed in law, he was able to see some of the clauses that were clearly out of place. But this cooperation agreement, not only is it completely free of pitfalls and traps, instead, instead, it is so good that it is outrageous. M.S. Lu, this doesn't want a profit share, just a portion of the management fee, is that true? Isn't this equivalent to, the gym giving them ramen restaurant services? Oops, Pop's personally whole, there can be wrong, Besides Pops also do not see this money, you can rest assured. This is the truth, after all, is the assets of hundreds of millions of big bosses, this profit, divided into the hands of hundreds of thousands of dollars at least. At this time the orphanage, but came a group of uninvited guests. Hello, we are the staff of High City Welfare Office Public Office, may I ask the Dean Granny in? Three government workers wearing white shirts, all straight suit pants, and carrying briefcases knocked on the door of the orphanage. And soon, the heavy door was opened and the person who came was none other than Lin Ruoli. What is your business? Lin Ruoli was still very vigilant as she looked at the three people in front of her. Don't be afraid little girl, we're here to talk to your dean granny about something. A few people saw Lin Ruoli's reaction, also a little bit of tears and laughter, but there is a sense of prevention is good. Recently the human traffickers do not know why rampant again, the various local police officers are on guard, but still no way to do a comprehensive protection. Then you guys wait, I'll go find granny dean. Soon, the Dean Granny also personally came to the door to receive the few people in. Have a seat. Granny Dean also seemed to know that the several people were afraid that they had another purpose for coming this time. Seeing this, the several people also took out a few documents and placed them in front of Granny Dean. Granny Dean, I'm afraid that this time. Once these words came out, the Dean Granny also closed her eyes and was silent for a moment. Several people also hurriedly explained. Granny Dean, you see that you are also old, although this orphanage is not considered old, but after all, it is located on the outskirts of the city, and the transportation is not too convenient for the children to go to and from school, isn't it? Besides, moving to the city. But before a few people could finish their words, they were interrupted by the Dean's Granny. What conditions are necessary to keep the orphanage? At these words, the three staff members also looked at each other in disbelief, and in the end, they could only sigh. A savings guarantee of two million dollars. For an orphanage, Based on a dozen children, the yearly expenses were definitely greater than $200,000. And over the years, the government's welfare policies have gradually increased, and the number of orphans has been decreasing, which is why the government is thinking of outlawing a portion of the orphanages and centralizing the management, so that each orphan can receive more benefits. However, the centralized management and the increase in the number of people means that it is very difficult for the children to enjoy the love from the adults. These dozen orphans, in the heart of the mother-in-law, are all her children, each child, can rightfully feel the love of their relatives. That's why, the little carrot heads here are all very lively and individualized. All of this is inseparable from the watering of the dean's mother-in-law's love. As for Lin Ruoli, who was standing on the side, her small hands were clenched so tightly that her nails were uncomfortable even when they were sunk into her flesh. If this orphanage is disbanded, it will be very difficult for her to see Jiang He and Granny Dean again, as well as this group of mischievous but adorable and progressive little carrot heads. I know. Can you allow some more time? Granny Dean's eyes, which were a little cloudy, also gradually opened as she thought about something. I'm sorry Granny Dean, it might. Let's put it this way, is two months okay? This is already our maximum application authority. When these words came out, Granny Dean also nodded. These two months, even if she took out all of her coffin money, it might not be enough. But if you can earn more, let's earn more. When the time comes, give some to each of the children. Maybe not a lot, but money in the body, in order to rest assured bullied by others can also have the courage to return. This is also the last thing that this dean's mother-in-law can do. At the same time, Jiang He also happened to bump into the three people who just came out of the orphanage. Jiang He was also very puzzled, usually there were almost no people coming to the orphanage. Xiao He you're back. Jiang Jiang was also the first time to rush to Jiang He's side, reaching out to help Jiang He to get something, but still was dodged by Jiang He. What did a few people do just now? Ah, uh, I don't know, I was just in the kitchen. 
Jiang Jiang was indeed in the kitchen just now helping to prepare dinner. In fact, to be honest, with Jiang Jiang around, it was rather busier. But Jiang Jiang was also really making progress, this was undeniable. Miss Jiang, why don't you just leave? What can you do if you stay here? Jiang Yi was really confused. What is going on with this Jiang Jiang, letting go of Missy, the big star not to do it, and recently being abused like crazy on the internet, is it all worth it? Jiang Yi had said long ago, he now has no relationship with the Jiang family for a long time, even if Jiang Jiang is so pestering him again, it's useless. But Jiang Jiang is a rare calm down, just so straight look at Jiang Yi. Little Wa, my sister is just trying to get a chance to make you forgive, as for how the result will be, whether you will forgive me or not, Little Wa, I recognize it. Jiang 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 couldn't sleep for days since she realized that Jiang Yi was the boy who saved her before, associating it with the way she treated Jiang Yi when she was in the Jiang family before. She dreamed of getting Jiang Yi's forgiveness, even if it was just a little bit good. But after she knew that Jiang Zi had left the Jiang family, she realized that the Jiang family had hurt Jiang Yi too deeply and profoundly. Perhaps, this opportunity, her life, cannot touch. That's just it, just whatever you think. Jiang Yi also waved his hand, she Jiang Jiang love how it is, how it is, anyway, he is indifferent. It's just that when Jiang Yi came to the hall, he found Lin Ruoli who was already sobbing uncontrollably. And when she saw that it was Jiang Yi who came back, Lin Ruori also hastily wiped away the tear stains on her face with her hand carelessly, pretending to be a person who was fine. But how could these be hidden from Jiang Yi? Say it, what exactly happened? Jiang Yi stepped forward to block Lin Ruori's path to leave. You promised me before that you would tell me anything. Seeing that Jiang Yi was unforgiving, Lin Ruori had no choice but to repeat what had just happened, again. Brother Jiang Yi, you can't forget about me. Looking at this little girl's little appearance that was about to cry out again, Jiang Yi also bared his teeth and laughed out, then gave this silly nympha brain pop. What are you doing? Lin Ruoli felt the slight pain coming from her brain, her eyes full of resentment looking at Jiang Yi. Just laughing at your stupidity, just leave this matter to me. Jiang Yi showed a relaxed face, seemingly not putting the two million dollars in his eyes at all. And Lin Ruoli was really bluffed by Jiang Yi, her eyes were full of surprise. This, this illegal and criminal thing can't be. But before Lin Ruoli finished, she ate another brain pop from Jiang Yi. Jiang Yi is also ahead of black line at this time, no, does he look like a person who breaks the law and commits a crime? Alright, hurry back to the house, it's not your turn to worry about this matter. Just, Jiang Yi's heart, really as calm as his face? Two months, two million. This is how desperate number, for a while, Jiang Yi is also in a daze. As for the Jiang family villa, Jiang Qin also snorted coldly after learning the notice that the orphanage was about to be abetted. He knew that Jiang Yi had deep feelings for this orphanage, and it was impossible to watch this orphanage disappear. But even if Jiang Yi had the ability to come up with 30,000 cards to return to the Jiang family, then the 2 million, how would he take it? Just ask Jiang Yi an ordinary student, this 2 million dollars, how can he take it out? At that time, he still have to kneel down to beg him as his father? You still need the Jiang family's help to settle the matter? Jiang Yi, you are still too young after all, society is not that simple. As for, Lu Ru, naturally she also knows that this matter exists. But she also acquiesced to Jiang Qin's behavior, she believes that as long as Jiang Yi is willing to come back, she is treating Jiang Yi well, at that time, Jiang Yi will surely forgive her for being a mom. Xiao He, mom just wants you to come back. That's how Lu Ru deceived herself, do you think it's ridiculous? At the same time, inside the infirmary of the second middle school, it was still brightly lit. Jiang Xian looked at the somewhat out of place Jiang Bai in front of her, but also could not help but be a little flustered, after all, this crazy sister of hers, but she can do anything. Sister Lord, tell me the truth, are you interested in Jiang He or not? At this moment, Jiang Bai's eyes, under the illumination of the incandescent lamp, actually had so much as a hint of creepiness, all without the pure beauty of before. This word out, Jiang Xian is also a willow eyebrow wrinkled, she has said how many times, she to Jiang He simply has no male and female love meaning. Why this Jiang Bai just do not believe, is sees not put it. In fact, the main thing is that Jiang Bai is really too afraid of Jiang Xian to be hurt, and her protective desire for Jiang Xian is already close to pathological. Yes, I just like Jiang Yi Hao. What kind of thing are you? I'm your sister, what do you care about me? Jiang Xian was also cornered, and she was so tongue-tied that she just wanted Jiang Bai to get the hell out of there. In fact, she really doesn't mean that to Jiang Yi, at most, she just sees Jiang Yi and Lu Cici so sweet. Sometimes she will be jealous and envious for a while. Elder sister. You're finally willing to tell the truth. Jiang Bai rushed forward and stared dead into Jiang Xian's eyes, that sickness already about to emerge from her eyes. Yo, you believe what I said now? Jiang Xian also laughed coldly, wasn't she the one who didn't believe anything she said just now? But Jiang Bai looked like she didn't even listen. Since elder sister has said so, then younger sister will help elder sister and see Jiang He's fox tail. 
In the next second, Jiang Xian only felt a heavenly spin. What did you do? Suddenly, out of the corner of her eye, Jiang Xian glanced at the cup of lukewarm water with only half of it left in the corner of the table, which was exactly what Jiang Bai had poured for her with his own hands just now. At that time, Jiang Xian thought that Jiang Bai was enlightened and didn't think much about it, but now it seems that. Within a short time, Jiang Xian collapsed into Jiang Bai's arms and completely fainted. Jiang Bai was completely mad at this point, she couldn't watch her elder sister lord fall into Jiang He's trap. Sister Sama, after you wake up from your sleep, everything will be over. Then, Jiang Bai pulled out a brand new cell phone, even the calling card was new, this was to prevent Jiang He from calling the police and relying on the phone to locate her at that time. Hello? Is this Jiang He? Jiang Xian is now in my hands, if you don't want anything to happen to Jiang Xian, do as I say. Jiang Bai's voice was processed by a voice changer, and not the slightest clue could be heard at all. And after Jiang Bai hung up the phone, he directly turned off his cell phone and threw it into the trash. This is the first test, if Jiang He doesn't come, everything will naturally be over. Jiang He, will you come or not? Jiang Bai muttered to herself, she didn't think that Jiang He would ignore his own danger to save Jiang Xian. People would only reveal their true nature when faced with danger. Jiang Bai had once believed in her friends, but ever since that backstabbing of her friend, she realized that the only one she could believe in was her own. Looking at Jiang Xian in her arms, Jiang Bai gently combed up Jiang Xian's somewhat messy hair. Sister Lord, in the past it was you who protected me, now it's my turn. I won't let anyone hurt Sister Sama. No one can. Jiang Bai's eyes gradually became crazy, and his dangerous aura even scared the rats in the corner, who didn't dare to move. Jiang Yi, who was in the orphanage, also rubbed his brow after hanging up the phone. He had already guessed that this matter was probably done by Jiang Bai. But Jiang Yi didn't dare to bet. Even if there is only a 1 in 10,000 probability, Jiang Yi can't take Jiang Xian's life to gamble. At the same time, Jiang Li's real parents are also discussing to make a move on Jiang Yi tomorrow. I have to say, this is really coincidental. It's just that I don't know these two groups of people who can get their hands on them first. Hubby, do we really have to? Jiang Li's mother, when she was young, she was a little too much, or else she couldn't have made the thing of throwing her son to others to raise. But if she really said to personally kill a person, she is not so bold. And Jiang Li's father was similarly uneducated, but his brain was still quite a bit stronger than Li's mother. You silly ah. Killing someone is a felony, you have to lose your head. Is it possible to put your life on the line just for a million and a half dollars? In his eyes, his own son, Jiang Li, is just a money tree, he is absolutely not for Jiang Li, he will be hitched in. What's more, now is the information society, once the murder really happened, want to escape that is more difficult than heaven. But Xiao Li said, to make that kid Jiang he disappear forever. Motherly also inquired cautiously, afraid that it would make fatherly unhappy, in her eyes fatherly is the sky. Back then, she also disregarded her family's opposition and resolutely chose to drop out of school to follow Li's father, and even her mother was sick with her anger, she never went back to visit once. Love brain is so outrageous. Disappear, and it is not necessary to kill, I have already contacted with the snakehead Zhang, when the time comes to kidnap that boy, sold to the remote mountainous areas as a lifetime of cattle and horses, not on the line? Father Lai seemed to think that he was very smart, so that even if he was found out at that time, he would just be sentenced to a few years at the most and then it would be over. He had been to prison quite a few times. Just then, Mother Li's cell phone suddenly rang. What? Mom is going to die? I. But before Mother Li could finish her sentence, it was snatched away by Father Li. Hello? This is Qin Shou. Remember me? Back then, you were desperately against us, now look, we live in a big house and have money in our hands. I guess you just want money, right? Let me tell you, not a cent. After saying that, Li father then directly hang up the phone, he is now not the asshole before, he has money. And the opposite side after hearing the phone was hung up, as the brother of the mother of Li, looking at the dying mother on the hospital bed, also could not help but fall into tears. Mom, little sister is doing well, don't worry. His tone is relaxed, but you can hear the bitterness in it. But in his heart, his hatred for Li mother can be described as monstrous, obviously back then, the family was so good for her, and even he, who had excellent grades, decided to go out to work without any hesitation, and left that only opportunity to go to school, to Li mother. But what about her? Running out to fall in love with a gangster, and even pregnant with the gangster's child. The family asked her to abort the child, but she also brought the gangster to the house, causing the mother to be so angry that she fell ill. It is such a beast, but it seems to be favored by heaven, what is the basis for this? Is. Well, then I'm. Relieved. The voice seems to come out, but it can still be heard, a mother's concern for her daughter. Somehow, people always seem to not know how to cherish love. Jiang He once wanted to desperately get the affection, in the eyes of the mother of Li, but the existence of abandonment as if walking. Lu Ru was once perfectly capable of getting Jiang He's love, 
but she didn't care about it at all, and even Lo Jianghe. But when she wanted to find it again, she realized that it was already too late. Love is not a renewable existence, if you don't cherish it, even if there is more love, it will eventually burn out. Until the next day afternoon, Jiang He first supported Lu Cixi. When Jiang He came to the designated place that the person said before, he was taken away by two strong men in black who suddenly appeared. This scared Li's father and mother, who had followed Jiang He along the way. What's going on? Could it be that Jiang made an early move? Father Li thought about it again and again, but decided to go to meet with brother Zhang first to understand the situation. At the same time, the public security of High City, the special police, in conjunction with the local armed police, were preparing to carry out a carpeted and comprehensive crackdown on the human traffickers that were entrenched in High City. And this action is also extremely confidential existence, many people are only before the departure of the specific combat task, in order to not let any of the criminals become a fish in the net. When Zhang He saw the light of day again, Zhang Xian was just sitting in front of Zhang He with her hands tied and her mouth sealed with duct tape. The moment Zhang Xian saw Zhang He, she also couldn't help but widen her eyes, desperately wanting to say something, but could only make a whimpering sound. At this moment, Zhang Xian's heart had already greeted Zhang Bai from head to tail, this madman, really did everything, actually mesmerized her, simply heartless. But now, Zhang Xian can only look at Zhang He with bated breath, Zhang He an orphan would have been poor enough, she now only hoped that Zhang by that madman will not hurt Zhang He, otherwise she will really feel guilty for the rest of her life. At this time, a masked strong man appeared in front of Zhang He, this is naturally Zhang Bai was afraid of being recognized by Zhang He and let her bodyguard appear instead of her. You are Zhang He? At these words, Zhang He calmly nodded. But Zhang He's heart was far from as calm as the surface, he was observing the surroundings to see if there was any chance to take advantage of to get Zhang Xian out. Zhang Xian's sister rolled up our money and ran away, and now there's no news, tell me how this account should be settled? The strong man surged forward and punched Zhang He in the stomach. Well, Zhang He only felt a violent pain in his abdomen and almost didn't throw up directly. And when Zhang Xian saw that this Zhang Bai actually came for real, she also struggled even harder, and even the corners of her eyes were flooded with tears. How could she not expect that actually Zhang Bai would actually be crazy to this extent? Zhang Bai, who had been hidden behind the curtain, watched the scene of Zhang He's agony, and also frowned slightly, but when she saw that her elder sister was actually so agitated for the sake of Zhang He, she was actually so agitated. Crazy then once again overcame sanity. Only when one is truly faced with pain and death will one's nature be exposed. Zhang He, it's time to expose your ugliness to my sister Sama, so that my sister Sama will know that in this world, the only one who is truly devoted to her is me. When Zhang He slowly got up from the ground, he also took two deep breaths before slowing down. Kid, I'll give you two paths, take your pick. With that, the burly man walked behind Zhang Xian and aimed him at Zhang He's face. Either you take out 20 million dollars and give it to me, or, I'll empty out your little girlfriend's organs and sell them, I believe. But before the burly man's words fell, Zhang He's roar interrupted him. Zhang Bai, how long are you fools going to make a scene? As soon as these words came out, the mind of Zhang Bai, who was behind the curtain, exploded. He he he. What is he talking about? Zhang Bai also panicked for a split second. This this this. How is this possible? It's all at this time. How could Zhang He still think that she did it? Could it be that Zhang He was just blackmailing her? That's right. It must be so. But the next words completely shattered Zhang Bai's illusions. Zhang Bai, if I were your sister Zhang Xian, I would absolutely hate you for the rest of my life. Zhang He also kind of saw that this brainwashed has always thought that he is interested in Zhang Xian. No wonder it was so wrong before it is for him to find him trouble right. When these words came out, Zhang Bai was also completely flustered, she can accept anyone to hate her, only Zhang Xian can't. Only her elder sister Lord can't. No can do. Zhang He you shut up. Zhang Bai also couldn't hold back any longer, directly came out from behind the curtain, went forward and then hugged the tied up Zhang Xian to death. Sister Lord, you won't hate me, I'm sorry? Zhang Bai tremblingly tore open the tape on Zhang Xian's mouth. At this moment is when Zhang Bai completely panicked, she really did not think about Zhang Xian's thoughts before she did this. She just, just loved Zhang Xian too much. She just didn't want her sister Sama to get hurt. What was wrong with her? Zhang Bai, from now on, we are no longer sisters. Zhang Xian's words were soft and gentle, but to Zhang Bai's heart, they were a heavy hammer. Sister. Sister Sama, you must be joking right? You love me so much, how could you? I'm not joking. Zhang Xian's eyes did not carry a trace of emotion, and what she said was all true. The sister she once loved, in her heart, was already dead. Hello? Is this MS? Zhang Bai? You are finally willing to answer my call. On the opposite side, Yanagi, the secretary general of Zhang Bai, was almost about to burst into tears. Sister doesn't want me. Sister doesn't want me. Zhang Bai sat in a daze on the steps of the doorway, 
and from the time the sun set until it was completely dark, she kept repeating these words. Zhang Xian and Zhang He, on the other hand, had long since left. What's wrong with you, Ms. Zhang Bai? Who doesn't want you anymore? Is it Miss Zhang Xian? Lu Mu listened to the phone call, helpless, pitiful voice, and could not wait to fly over right now to comfort Zhang Bai. Sister doesn't want me. Don't want me. Zhang Bai still kept repeating this sentence. She now only felt that her heart has been torn apart, even breathing has become difficult. But wasn't the one who caused all of this her own self? If it wasn't for her being too crazy and even implicating Zhang He, how could Jiang Xian be completely disappointed in her? All of this is just her own fault. Ms. Zhang Bai, you must pull yourself together. Now that the Zhang family needs you, don't you want to protect Miss Zhang Xian? Do you want to see the Zhang family fall into the hands of others? Lu Mu could be said to know Jiang Bai very well, and knew that at this time, it would not be possible not to move out Jiang Xian. Think about it, if the Jiang family is gone and eldest Miss Jiang Xian is bullied, how will you protect her? This sentence was considered to have spoken to Jiang Bai's heart. Jiang Bai also immediately stood up, the madness in her eyes, the ruthlessness, was practically bubbling up, she wanted to eradicate all the aftermath for Jiang Xian. I'll go back immediately and prepare the materials, you should understand what I mean. Seeing Jiang Bai regaining his composure, Lu Mu on the other end of the phone was also relieved. Jiang Bai took one last look at this brightly lit sea city, and a clear tear slipped out of the corner of her eye. Sister Sama, my sister will always protect you. Jiang Bai now realized that this sick love of hers was too much for Jiang Xian, and even evolved into a kind of harm. I'm sorry. Jiang Bai stopped speaking and turned to leave. That group of Jiang family's assholes and tumors, this time, she will completely crush them, with no dregs left. And not long ago, Li father and mother also came to the territory of the snakehead Zhang in the sea city. At this time, brother Zhang was also loading up the abducted children, the youngest of which was just under 7 years old, while the oldest was just 12 years old. Brother Zhang. Zhang Long also frowned as he looked at the two people in front of him who came empty-handed. Where are the people you mentioned? How come you didn't bring them here? When these words came out, father and mother Li also froze for a split second. Could it be that you guys didn't do it? Then who could it be? Then who was Zhang he abducted by? Shit. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Seeing that Zhang Long was about to go on a rampage, Lai's father also hurriedly pulled out a stack of banknotes and stuffed them into his arms. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, maybe we got it wrong, brother Zhang, you calm down, calm down. Looking at the banknotes in his hand, Zhang Long also casually threw the cigarette but and did not say anything else. Money does not earn son of a bitch, give money on the line. Li father and mother see this, is also in a hurry to leave, anyway, as long as Jiang He disappeared on the line, do not have to do their hands is not better. Father Li also immediately called Jiang Li, by the way, to see if they can point money again. And as a snakehead Zhang Long, looked at the two left, but also did not say anything, after all, these two people what virtues he is clear, absolutely do not dare to call the police, unless they also want to be caught in. Once again lit a cigarette, looked at the tightly tied little girl, also laughed out loud. Be careful, these are all gold bars. If you break it, you don't want your fingers. A child, after all, could be sold for three to four hundred thousand dollars, or even more. But do you think these kids will lead a normal life after they're bought? The ones with better luck were sold to remote mountain villages, and although their lives were a bit more bitter, they could at least survive. But those with good faces will most likely be bought by perverts at a high price, and then what these children face can be a real hell. This is why the crackdown on human trafficking is so strong, but there are still people who are desperate. As long as the chain of interest still exists, it will never disappear. Please uncle, let me go, my mom is still waiting for me to go home. The little girl's tender and trembling voice did not let the group of brutes produce the slightest pity, but instead laughed out loud. There is even a beast, will their dirty hands, to the little girl. Suddenly, a loud bang. Hands on your head. Don't resist. Dozens of SWAT officers rushed in with guns in hand, and in less than a moment, the situation was brought under control. Don't be afraid, I've come to take you home. Perhaps this scene, for these children, will never be forgotten. The flame of hope is alive and well. When Zhang Xian helped Zhang He back to the orphanage, Zhang Jiang had also been waiting at the door for a long time. Seeing Jiang He actually being helped to come back, she also couldn't help but panic. Little will what happened to you? Zhang Jiang stepped forward to help Zhang He, but his hand reached halfway, but ultimately shrunk back. Zhang He will definitely dodge. Zhang He how are you? Does it still hurt? Why don't we go to the hospital? Zhang Xian helped Zhang He to the room, and handily helped Zhang He to cover the quilt. As she said that, Zhang Xian also couldn't hold back any longer and couldn't stop the tears from sliding down her cheeks. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, I didn't expect Zhang Bai to be so extreme. Zhang Bai in Zhang Xian's heart, has never been the most important existence, that sentence to sever the relationship, the same Zhang Xian pain into the bone marrow. 
That kind of feeling like a knife across the heart, even let her suffocate, let her cannot breathe. I'm fine, I guess I'll be fine tomorrow. Jiang He could feel that the bodyguard who made a move on him was an expert, and that punch, only hurt but didn't hurt. But this also makes Jiang He's crisis feeling, now he, indeed, is still too weak. It seems that it's still necessary to go to Lu Duor to help guide and instruct. Really? Then you lie down properly, I'll go get you some water. Saying that, Jiang Xian went out to find hot water for Jiang He. But just as Jiang Xian went out the door, she was pressed against the wall by Jiang Jiang. Say, what's going on with Little Wa? What did you do to Little Wa? Jiang Jiang grabbed Jiang Xian's collar and glared viciously at the strange woman in front of her. In fact, with Jiang Xian's strength, she could subdue Jiang Jiang in minutes, but the current Jiang Xian was completely flustered and just let Jiang Jiang treat her. I'm sorry, I really didn't expect. I don't want to hear you apologize. Jiang Jiang wasn't interested in this woman's apology, she only cared about why Jiang He was injured. I, there was no way around it, so Jiang Xian had no choice but to tell Jiang Jiang what had happened. After listening to what Jiang Xian said, Jiang Jiang also slowly let go of Jiang Xian. No matter what, you can't get out of this matter, hurry up and get out of here. Even if this matter was not caused by Jiang Xian, it was still because of her. I, I want to stay here to take care of Jiang He, I'm a doctor, I can help. Jiang Xian also quickly pulled Jiang Zhang's hand, she didn't want to leave, please. Jiang Xian's anxious tears were coming out, it was the opposite of the previous image of an elegant and calm female doctor. And Jiang Jiang also sighed, it's good to have a doctor. Xiao He, how are you? Does it still hurt? Jiang Jiang also only sat directly to Jiang He's bedside, eyes full of concern. It has nothing to do with you, can you go out first? Jiang He is also frowning, recently this Jiang Jiang is getting more and more aggressive, letting her stay in the orphanage as a caretaker is already Jiang He's limit. Little Wa, sister just wants to. Get out. Because of some force, Jiang He also felt a sharp pain again. Okay okay, sister will leave. This time, there was no way out, Jiang Jiang also could only take one last look at Jiang He before choosing to leave. When Jiang Jiang came to the door, she also lowered her eyes and sighed softly. Could it be that her love, is it really irreparable? It's not that love can't be made up, love is like a leather band, the deeper the wound, the longer the band is stretched and the tighter it is stretched. When the injury is too deep, this taut leather will also be broken with the, the broken tendon, and how can be repaired, love is the same. Just at this time, Jiang Jiang's cell phone is also ringing, and caller ID, it is Jiang Jiang's agent. But Jiang Jiang hesitated for a moment, finally hung up the phone. And the agent on the other side could be anxious. My big miss, my aunt. Why did you hang up the phone? The internet was now full of voices abusing Jiang Jiang, and there were even already professional paparazzi, claiming that they had already found Jiang Jiang's location, and that they would open a live broadcast to question Jiang Jiang face to face after a while. This is why the agent is so anxious. At this time, Jiang Xian was also handing warm water to Jiang He, and just when she wanted to feed Jiang He water, the water cup was directly taken over by Jiang He. I'll do it myself. Good. Good. Jiang Xian was also realizing that it was not appropriate for her to do this thing, after all, Jiang He was Lu Cici's boyfriend. Dr. Jiang, it's not too early now, you go back first. Jiang He did not blame Jiang Xian's intention, this matter was not her fault, to blame should be blamed on Jiang by that brain dead, could must be a little flower life out. I, can I stay a little longer? Jiang Xian was really afraid that something would happen to Jiang He, she wanted to stay with Jiang He for a while longer. Jiang He didn't say anything, just nodded, and sent a message to Lu Cici in the meantime, telling her that Jiang Xian was here with him, in order to reassure Lu Cici, that silly ninny. My sister Jiang Bai, in fact, was not like this before. Jiang Xian's tone of voice, with a trace of sadness, just do not know why, it all changed. When I was a child, Jiang Bai, always liked to follow behind me, wherever I went, she followed me. Perhaps too long repressed, Jiang Xian did not have the slightest concealment, will be these past events, a brain poured out. After that, there was a change in the family, and both parents left. After that, Jiang Bai became more and more dependent on me, until he was a bit sick, as long as he found out that I was closer to someone else, he would go crazy. Suffering such a major change, the average person would not be able to accept it at all, and it was at that time that Jiang Bai developed that kind of perverted love for Jiang Xian. But it's also my fault, I was busy managing the company as well as reorganizing the Jiang family, so I just let Jiang Bai make a mess, if only I had realized it earlier. Saying that, Jiang Xian was already sobbing uncontrollably. Jiang Bai used to be her favorite relative, the pain of losing a loved one is very human to imagine. Jiang Xian has been crying until late at night, at this time the entire orphanage only left Jiang He room lights are still on. Crying and crying, Jiang Xian also can no longer hold back, lying on the bed of Jiang He fell asleep. Looking at Jiang Xian who still had tear stains on the corner of her eyes, Jiang He also sighed. 
He did not expect that Jiang Xian was so mature and tough on the outside, but her heart was already full of holes. Perhaps, everyone, has their own sadness, only to be buried deeply in the bottom of the heart. Jiang Yi is also out of bed, Jiang Xian carried to Lin Ruoli's room, after all, even with Lu Cici reported, two people are not suitable for a night together. Lin Ruori did not say anything, just sleepy eyes were woken up, more or less with a little bit of getting up. Until the next morning, Jiang Xian violently woke up from her bed. And what shocked her was that the jacket she was wearing seemed to be gone. In an instant, Jiang Xian's brain went down on the spot, could it be that last night, Jiang Yi treated her. Have to say, there are times when Jiang Xian's brain hole is quite big. But at this moment, Jiang Xian was still comforting herself, after all, Jiang Yi was not that kind of person in her heart. It must be that I'm overthinking, it must be. Saying that, Jiang Xian then carefully used her hand, and touched towards her side, while still praying inwardly, praying that she wouldn't be allowed to touch anyone. But the warm touch that came next caused her body to tremble and her blood to flow backwards. Jiang He, how could you? Jiang Xian covered her face, now she was a little broken. And at this moment, Jiang He who was preparing to come to wake up Jiang Xian, stood outside the door and heard someone shouting his name, he was also instantly filled with doubt. Jiang He, if you do this, can you stand up to me? Can you stand up to CC? I really misjudged you. But in the next second, Jiang He appeared in front of Jiang Xian, and even asked directly. Ah, uh, dr. Jiang, did I do anything wrong to you and Cici? Jiang He was really confused, did he lose his memory? Or was there some kind of misunderstanding? At this time, Jiang Xian was also directly dumbfounded. You are Jiang He, then the one on the bed is. Suddenly, Lin Ruoli on the bed also let out a whimper, obviously being woken up. Hmm, so tired. Lin Ruoli also rubbed her eyes and sat up from the bed. Good morning Dr. Jiang, and brother Jiang He. After seeing that the person beside her was Lin Ruoli, Jiang Xian's pretty face, too, couldn't help but blush. She had just actually thought that Jiang He had done that kind of thing to her. Morning. I. I'm going to school first. Jiang Xian also numbly put on her clothes and ran out of the orphanage's gate in a flash. What's wrong with this dr? Jiang? Jiang He also felt a sense of helplessness, how come her speech was all cloudy? But Jiang He didn't really think much about it, he only thought that it was caused by Jiang Bai's incident which had dealt too much of a blow to Jiang Xian. If Jiang Yi knew what Jiang Xian had just thought, I'm afraid. Meanwhile, father and mother Li were shocked when they saw the news about the arrest of Snakehead Zhang on the news. Luckily, they came out early, or else they would have been really screwed. At this time, father Li was also remembering that it was time to call Jiang Li to report. Anyway, Jiang Yi had already been taken away, he couldn't care who did it, as long as he made sure that Jiang Yi disappeared. Hello? Is it Xiao Li? At the same time, Zhang Li, who was having dinner with Zhang's father and mother at Zhang's home, was also startled by the sudden ringing of the phone. Zhang Li glanced at the caller ID and immediately frowned. Damn, didn't he tell these two idiots not to call him until absolutely necessary? Seeing Jiang Li's delay in answering the phone, Lu Ru also voiced a reminder. Little Li, pick up the phone. With these words, Zhang Li looked at the two people in front of him, but also couldn't help but feel scared. But in order not to be seen as wrong by Zhang Qin and Lu Ru, Jiang Li finally answered the phone. Just after connecting, a middle-aged man's voice came from the opposite side. Hello? Is it Xiao Li? The mission you said before has been accomplished. All right. I already know. After saying that, Jiang Li directly hung up the phone. The opposite side of Li's father, after being hung up, also almost cursed, this kid is not treating him as a father at all. Also, he has not asked for more money. At this time, Jiang Li, after hanging up the phone, was also relieved. What's wrong Xiao Li? Is something wrong? Look at your little white face. Lu Ru not only didn't suspect Jiang Li, she even cared enough to serve Jiang Li a cup of freshly warmed milk. If Lu Ru knew that this little brute's phone call just now was to deal with her own son, how would she feel? Adopted son wants to get rid of her own son, but this mother is still concerned about her adopted son, it's really ironic. Meanwhile, two paparazzi, one in charge of filming and one in charge of explaining, were silently approaching Jiang Jiang's location. Big brother, would it be too bad if we do this? The fatter paparazzo, who was responsible for carrying the camera, looked at the destination he was about to reach, and asked with some fear. The skinny doggy who was in charge of the explanation, on the other hand, directly kicked him violently. What are you farting about? What do you mean not so good? Is the money good? Is the traffic good? Skinny dog boy really wanted to see what was in this fat man's head. What do you mean, what are we? Skinny dog boy just looked at fat dog boy and asked. Dogs. Doggy? When these words came out, the skinny doggy was a big pussy bucket up. You still know we are doggy ah. After the fight, the thin paparazzi only slightly dissipated. Okay, turn on the live broadcast. After saying that, the thin doggy put on a black mask. 
Do their line, the most taboo is to show their faces, after all, if the star's avid fans see their true face, points of human flesh them. At that time, not to mention work, afraid to go out all have to be wrapped tightly. Zhang Zhang's agent, also got the news that Zhang Zhang's whereabouts have been discovered and will soon be broadcast live, but no matter how to call Zhang Jiang, Zhang Jiang is not answering. My auntie ah. What the hell are you thinking? With a bang, the agent's office was violently pushed open. The person who came was the old president of Seven Star Entertainment, who had long been very dissatisfied with Zhang Jiang. Before, he was afraid of the Zhang family behind Zhang Jiang, and Zhang Jiang was really powerful, he couldn't say anything. For Zhang Zhang's behavior, basically turned a blind eye. But now, this Zhang Jiang actually couldn't be contacted directly. How could he endure this? As Zhang Zhang's manager, Lu Yan you must give me a reasonable explanation today, otherwise, don't blame me for turning the other cheek. As soon as these words came out, the other agent colleagues around Sister Lu, all lowered their heads and whispered. Serves you right. This kind of person should have been fired a long time ago. Yeah, 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 if this kind of person didn't rely on Zhang Jiang as a big tree, how could he have climbed up to the position of gold medal agent? And now you're still thinking of keeping Zhang Zhang, what a joke, just based on her. She is also worthy. After all, when Sister Lu was chosen by Zhang Zhang, that was envied by how many people? Zhang Jiang has strength and background, as long as you follow her, it's basically a lay to win. But it was this opportunity that was actually taken by Lu Yan, a newcomer. How can they not be envious and jealous? But now it's good, Zhang Jiang made a fool of herself, so it's not their fault. They just want to watch Lu Yan, this bitch, fall from a high altitude into a quagmire, and then be stepped on by them ruthlessly. This is human nature, when you are good, they will flatter, please pander, once you fall, then I'm sorry, they will draw the line as fast as possible, and then make up a few feet, so that you cannot get up completely. Listening to the surrounding people's comments, as Zhang Zhang's agent Lu Yan, can only sigh to prepare for the final struggle, anyway, she can mix here, all rely on Zhang Zhang's help, if Zhang Zhang really fall down, she will not need to stay here. Boss, I believe Zhang Zhang won't disappear for no reason, there must be a reason for her in this. When these words came out, the boss also snorted coldly. That's fine, as long as Zhang Zhang's popularity on the internet reverses this time, I'll leave it alone again and will do my best to support Zhang Zhang. But if it doesn't, you'll just wait to get lost. After saying that, the boss then directly turned around and left, then heavily brought the door shut. In an instant, countless ridicule, insults, and all sorts of unpleasant voices flooded into Lu Yan's ears. People are like this, Lu Yan's surface comforted himself all right, but in fact the heart. Returning to his own workstation, all kinds of unpleasant sounds are still constantly hitting Lu Yan's eardrums. Looking at the desktop photo with Zhang Zhang, Lu Yan also gently wiped some. If it wasn't for Zhang Zhang, she would still be bullied by this group of seniors. All day long. No matter how Zhang Zhang's result, she has admitted it. Even if she has to be expelled from the company, she has no regrets. All of this, Zhang Zhang naturally do not know and even about to be broadcast live, she is completely unaware. Right now, she was in the middle of cooking rice for the children who came back from school at noon. Since most of the elementary schools didn't pack lunch, Zhang Zhang would still have to personally pick up those kids later. But fortunately, the government's welfare elementary school was not far from the orphanage, so it wasn't very hard. But before Zhang Zhang came, these things, are the dean's mother-in-law is doing alone, or Zhang Yi will come to help when he is on vacation. But this is after all a minority. It had to be said that lately, Zhang Zhang had been doing better and better as well. From the beginning of cooking rice without panning, to now being able to do it with ease, Zhang Zhang had also completely transformed from her status as a young lady into a qualified caregiver. Only, Granny Dean also saw that Zhang Zhang did not belong to the orphanage, so she never forced Zhang Zhang to do anything. Because she knew that Zhang Zhang would comprehend one day, and at that time, there would be a wider world waiting for Zhang Zhang. Granny Dean, I'll go pick up the children. Only Zhang Zhang didn't know that from the moment she just went out the door, there was a camera, aimed at her. In an instant, after Zhang Zhang appeared in the live broadcast room, the number of online viewers, skyrocketed by an exponential amount. It was a real surge, even this fat and thin doggy two brothers, were shocked. In less than a moment, it had already broken through to 50,000. To know, to be able to reach 50,000 online viewers in such 5 minutes, even those big anchors with millions of followers couldn't do it. And this number was still skyrocketing. 100,000 now. This, this, this. Don't follow up yet. Skinny Doggy was already about to take off in excitement, this time he was really going to be on fire. Actually, it wasn't very surprising about this phenomenon. After all, when Zhang Zhang didn't attend the press conference, it was a big deal, and even dominated the top three hot searches for several days in a row. A big hitter who was about to be named a movie queen was actually absent at the most important conference. Even if Zhang Zhang was more talented, even if she was a movie and music player, she couldn't withstand the netizens' verbal attacks. 
At the same time, Zhang Zhang's two words, after a few days, were once again rushed to the first hot search. This undoubtedly added fuel to the heat of this live broadcast, once again. Instantly, the live room that was broadcasting Jiang Zhang's live broadcast was directly topped on the homepage recommendations of major websites. As long as users clicked in, the first thing they saw was definitely Jiang Jiang. 5. 500,000. Fat doggy's hands are trembling, half a million online views ah. The number of views even exceeded 3 million. To realize that this is only less than 10 minutes past, I'm afraid those super big anchors can't do it. Of course, all of this had something to do with Jiang Zhang's fanbase, after all, Jiang Zhang herself was the existence of a big star. And once there were more people in the live broadcast room, then there was everything to say. Isn't this the Jiang Zhang who dared to play a big game at the press conference and let go of the pigeon before? Still dares to come out. What do you mean by playing a big game? People have already explained that Jiang Zhang was unable to come because he had something important to do. But soon, this netizen was. I didn't realize that this kind of star, also has brainwashed fans, it's really laughing me to death. Still washing? Faceless and skinless, right? That's right, Zhang Jiang, such a bad artist, what can be so important? I'm afraid it's not that he's gone to play with the gold master's father. Brainwashed fans, get the hell out of here. Many fans who spoke up for Zhang Jiang were attacked to varying degrees. In fact, these netizens weren't wrong, Zhang Jiang did not come on purpose. But it wasn't playing big names, it was that she didn't care anymore. In other words, she no longer cares about any movie queen, she only cares now, whether she can get Jiang He's understanding, whether Jiang He can call her a sister again. Well, where is this Jiang Jiang going? Actually, the skinny doggy was also a bit puzzled, according to reason, how could a big star like Jiang Jiang live in such a remote suburb of the city? For Jiang Jiang, even if it's a villa in the center of the city, it's just as affordable to buy it. Keep up. The number of people in the live broadcast room was still increasing, and it looked like it was about to break through a million people. But compared to the clamor and agitation on the internet, Zhang Zhang's side was exceptionally calm. After removing her gorgeous clothes, Zhang Jiang was more natural and decent, even those black fans who abused her had to marvel at her face value. What the hell is this Zhang Zhang up to? What is she doing in front of the school? Crap. Couldn't be, a bastard. Could it be? As soon as these words came out, the pop-ups in the live broadcast room had been swiped to the sky. The hot search of Zhang Zhang going to pick up her illegitimate child from school was at the top of the list, which made the live broadcasting room's heat even higher. After all, eating melon is human nature. As for the seven-star entertainment headquarters, those brokers who mocked and couldn't wait for Lu Yen to die right away also watched the live broadcast, and from time to time, they had to mock two sentences. Out out out. Only to see, a little girl rush to Zhang Zhang's side. This scene almost didn't dry out the live broadcast. The pop-ups had covered the screen to the point of not being able to see the image. And immediately after, an even more explosive scene appeared, another child came to Zhang Zhang's side. Two illegitimate children. Until the third child appeared, the audience in the live broadcast room were all dumbfounded. This this this, is this Zhang Zhang so fertile? But next, there are still several children came to Zhang Zhang's side. Only then did the crowd in the live broadcast room react. Could it be that these children? The location Zhang Zhang set out from just now, it seems to be an orphanage on the outskirts of the city right. Then for so many days, Zhang Zhang actually. In an instant, the pop-ups in the live broadcast room fell into a blank disconnect. Those netizens who were typing and preparing to insult Zhang Zhang also stopped their keyboards in their hands. Even the fat and thin paparazzi were frozen in place for a moment. They had secretly photographed many stars over the years. It's just that no matter how big or small, those stars were always ugly under their camera. This also made many people subconsciously think that stars should be paper drunk and should break the law. And the fact is also true. But the Zhang Jiang in front of them, treated these children with such sincerity and gentleness. This also made the two men tremble inwardly, making the netizens in the live broadcast room, tremble. Stay close to your sister, don't run around. Careful Jiang Zhang's confirmation of each child, she found that after this period of time, she has become more patient, more able to go quietly, to understand everyone around her. Sister Jiang Jiang, you didn't make today's lunch, did you? When these words came out, Jiang Jiang also skimmed her lips. What words, elder sister has recently increased her cooking skills, there's absolutely no problem. It wasn't until Jiang Jiang gradually walked away with the kids that the fat and thin two doggies reacted and also hurriedly followed. When Jiang Jiang brought the children back to the front door of the orphanage, the skinny paparazzi was the one who directly closed the live broadcast. Big brother. The fat paparazzi looked at the man beside him with some surprise, knowing that this man, however, was in existence that would do anything for traffic. Back then, it was even for a star scandal, directly diving and smuggling to the cruise ship, to know, that kind of situation, any small mistake, will die for it. But now, he would actually turn off the live broadcast so straightforwardly. Alright, 
go back. The skinny doggy kicked this fat doggy again and turned around. To be honest, Zhang Jian was really shocked to him. He has seen too much filth since he joined the industry, really too much. It even made him lose himself at one time, thinking that since everyone was like that, why should he stick to the bottom line? But now it seems. Stealing has its own way, the doggy also has its own morality. This matter, Zhang Zhang can be said to have no knowledge of this. At the same time, the heat of this matter, did not stop because of the closure of the live broadcast. Zhang Zhang's public opinion is also instantly reversed. Of course, Zhang Jiang is still unaware of this, only Zhang Zhang's agent Lu Yen, sitting on the workstation has been sobbing uncontrollably. It was not until the afternoon that Zhang he brought Lu Cici to the ramen store. Just don't know what's going on with Zhang Xian today, actually refused to even say a word to him. That was of course because of what happened in the morning. Zhang Xian really thought that Zhang He had done something to her before, so it led to the fact that now she didn't even know how to face Zhang He. Today's cooperation, how did it go? Zhang He looked at the worried Zhou Ruoyun in front of her and knew that today's cooperation might not go well. I'm sorry. I. We made it. In an instant, Zhou Ruoyun was also hugging Lu Cici and jumping and jumping with excitement, even crying with joy at one point. CC, Mr. Zhang He, really thank you. Woo woo. She was really too scared too scared, if this cooperation fails, her store, it's very likely that it will really be taken away by the bank. But the good thing is, everything went very smoothly, just one day's water flow, it reached 10,000 out of 10,000. To know that, this was only just the extent of starting out. Alright, alright, isn't this something to be happy about? Miss Joe don't cry. Lu Cici was also softly comforting Joe Ruoyun in her arms, it was obvious that this little ninny was really exhausted recently. Uh huh, I won't cry. Zhou Ruoyan also wiped away her tears and quickly recovered, she had to work harder and redeem the ramen store from the bank as soon as possible. By then, that one million dollar deposit, could also be gotten back from the gym. But what Jiang He doesn't know is that Jiang Huang, not far away, is quietly watching him. She originally planned to wait for Jiang He to fail, she jumped out to help Jiang He, after all, in her eyes, a small ramen store, and Jiang He is just a student, how can she make achievements so easily? But now it seems that it was her who thought wrong. Little Wa, how on earth can you forgive your sister? Zhang Huang fell into a long period of confusion, perhaps the only way to get rid of Zhang Li is to. What's wrong with you guys? Why is Zhang He still here? Zhang Li hid in the bathroom of his room and questioned Li's father across the room in a low voice. He had deliberately gone to Zhang He's school today, just to see if Zhang He had really disappeared. But he didn't expect that this Zhang He actually appeared in front of his eyes in one piece. I gave you one and a half million dollars, this is how you do things. I finally give you three days time, if you can't handle Jiang He, you will never want to take a penny from me again. After saying that, Jiang Li hung up the phone angrily. Jiang He, how come your life is so hard? Two whole times, it was dodged by Jiang He. Jiang Li could feel that the entire Jiang family was leaving him. First it was Jiang Zi's questioning, then Jiang Huang wanted to kick him out, and now even Jiang Jiang wasn't coming back. Just like the family dinner the other day, his three sisters, none of them actually showed up. You know, in the past, no matter how busy they were, they would always find time to accompany him, but now? Damn Jiang He. Don't force me to do it myself. If it wasn't for Jiang He, how would the Jiang family become like this? It's all Jiang He's fault. Amoth, instead of hating the original owner, is also really shameless. Meanwhile, Jiang Zi, who had already left the Jiang family, took her drawing board with her and started a journey that was uniquely her own. In these few days, she had met many interesting people, as well as interesting stories. Nothing impressed her more than a pair of siblings in Dali. The siblings were a reorganized family, but their parents both died in an accident. Whenever she went to paint on the stone bridge in Dali, her sister would always sit on a stone pier and quietly watch her. Sometimes, a look is an afternoon. Zhang Zi did not care at first, until his younger brother appeared. The little boy is just 11 or 12 years old, under the sunny appearance, but dragged a crippled right leg, and even need crutches to walk alone. What time is it and you're still not going back? Do you want to starve me to death? The moment the boy opened his mouth, he made Jiang Zi frown. The boy's tone was impulsive and his voice was full of impatience. Just what Jiang Zi didn't expect was that instead of being the slightest bit angry, her sister very gently went forward and wanted to assist the boy to go home. Get lost, are you helping me because you want me to be ridiculed by others? The boy still didn't appreciate the gesture, instead he kept blaming his sister. At this time, the sight of the Jiang Zi also can no longer watch, silently put down the paintbrush to go forward, want to properly educate this little boy. However, this was rejected by the sister with a smile and a wave of the hand. Just as Jiang Zi was puzzled, the sister pointed to the boy's little hand. At this time, Jiang Zi realized that the boy's small hand because of nervousness and constantly trembling. Until this, Jiang Zi realized that what the boy did, I'm afraid, was to intentionally make his sister hate him. 
That way, his sister, too, would not have to bring him as a drag. The sister very warmly invited Zhang Zi to her home to sit, and Zhang Zi did not refuse, but the boy is still in that poor performance. When Zhang Zi came to the sister's so-called home, was also shocked by the scene in front of me, said that the family is also not too much. It was only when he arrived at the house that the boy finally removed his disguise and shyly poured water for Zhang Zi. Big sister, how long will you stay here? The older sister inquired with a crooked head, her delicate features glowing under the somewhat dim incandescent light. Probably a few more days. Zhang Zi wouldn't stay in the same place for too long, she wanted to travel all over the mountains and rivers to see different styles, and she wanted to pour her soul uniquely into each of her paintings. Is that so? Then can big sister teach me a little bit? But the older sister then thought of something else, and her gaze, originally full of vigor, dimmed again. I'm sorry big sister, I don't have any money, it's better to forget about it. Zhang Zi on the other hand, smiled faintly, how could she accept money? Only, the boy who had been silent, sitting on the side, was unable to hold back any longer, snarling at his sister while crying. Sis, why do you just have to care about me? Obviously as long as you leave me behind, you can go to school, obviously as long as you leave me, you can go and fulfill your dreams, what the hell are you thinking? Looking at the boy who was crying until his body was trembling, but his sister just softly comforted. At this moment, time all seemed to stand still. On the day Zhang Zi was about to leave Dali, her sister told her her story. Since he called me sister, I have to protect him. That day, Zhang Zi saw her sister's tears for the first time, falling on those delicate cheeks. Time, space, and even all the things in the world could not stop love. Zhang Zi could probably understand at this moment, what Zhang He had been chasing before, what exactly was. Goodbye, Dali, goodbye, little wa. With the passage of time, in the blink of an eye, it was approaching the college entrance exam. And Zhang He's ranking, too, could already be stabilized in the top 10, even able to break through to the top 5 from time to time. Lu Cici's grades were already good, although they were a bit worse than Zhang He's, they still hadn't fallen out of the top 20. These days, Zhang's family didn't come back to harass him, which also allowed Zhang He to feel more at ease to study and consolidate. What Zhang He doesn't know is that Zhang Qin and Lu Ru are waiting for the day when the orphanage will be banned. In their eyes, Zhang He will definitely come to beg them at that time. As for Zhang Huang, in order to paralyze himself and bury himself into endless work, he would often not return home because of overtime work. As the school bell rang, Zhang He also subconsciously packed his school bag and prepared to take Lu Cici to the infirmary to help. But he suddenly remembered that he no longer needed to go. Cici, how about going shopping later? Walking on the road, Zhang He was also very conscious of holding Lu Cici's small hand. Zhang He believed that combining labor and leisure could lead to better learning. Okay. By the way brother Zhang He, I remember that there seems to be a lantern fair today. As soon as these words came out, Zhang He also thought of something, it seemed like he had also come to the lantern festival here with his Zhang family. But that was a long time ago, let's not mention it. Meanwhile Zhang Huang, who was working, received a call from Lu Ru. What's up mom? Is something wrong? Zhang Huang's eyes already looked quite tired but she didn't dare to stop. She was afraid that once she stopped, she would think of Zhang He, the truth of that year, and her cowardice. Huang'er, can you accompany mom to the lantern festival today? You haven't been home for how many days, mom misses you. When these words came out, Zhang Huang's nose was also sore, she indeed hadn't been back to the Zhang family for many days. Well, I know. Suddenly, Zhang Huang asked Lu Ru on the other end of the phone. Zhang Li is he going? Instantly, Lu Ru was also stunned, she didn't understand what Zhang Huang was asking this for, normally, today, the family would go to the lantern fair together. But now, I'm afraid neither Zhang Zi nor Zhang Jiang will come. Only one more good news is that Zhang Mo came back from Beijing City on vacation, after all, middle school vacation is too early than high school. Xiao Li is also here, what's wrong? As soon as these words came out, Zhang Huang wanted to reject them outright, because it was hard for her to accept now that her brother, who she had loved for many years, even if she knew later that it wasn't her own brother, Zhang Li, would actually do that kind of thing. But Lu Ru's next words still made Zhang Huang stuck her refusal in her throat. Xiao Mo is also coming back today, she's been dying to see you. At this point, Zhang Huang had no choice but to stop speaking. And so, the two groups of people left almost simultaneously. Back on Zhang Yi's side, he was holding Lu Cici's small hand and slowly walking towards the Lantern Festival site. These days, the ramen restaurant's business can be said to be getting hotter and hotter, Zhou Ruoyun is obviously too busy to do it alone, so he hired a few more young girls who need to work and study, and even recruited a delivery person who was specially used to deliver the meals to the gym. I believe it won't take long to pay off the bank's debt and even bail out the orphanage. Brother Zhang He, look at this. Lu Cici squatted in front of a small stall, on the stall were various kinds of headworn lanterns, which were actually the same as a girl's hairbands, only with more decorations that would glow. And there were quite a few young people around with various styles of lanterns on their heads. 
Like it? Then buy one. Zhang Yi also said with a smile, he really enjoyed this feeling, this feeling of spending time with his beloved, so that people were always intoxicated and couldn't let go for a moment. And in his previous life as well as in this life, the harm and pain that the Jiang family had brought to him were all washed away in this moment. Yeah, but brother Jiang he has to wear it too. Saying that, Lu Cixi then put a lantern whose decoration was a small flower blossom on Jiang He's head with her own hands. Aya Aya, brother Jiang He has become so cute. Then, Lu Cixi couldn't help but give Jiang He a kiss on the cheek. Although Lu Cixi was still a little shy in front of so many people, she was already much better than before. If placed in the past, Lu Cixi would already have her head smoldering, after all, she was a love-struck train wreck. A ham, is it? Let me see. Jiang He lightly coughed twice, then pulled out his cell phone to take a look. Ah, uh, comical with a bit of frivolity, elegant and not too exemplary. Well, it was just quite ugly, but in Lu Cixi's eyes, I'm afraid that no matter what Jiang he turned into, it would be the best. At the same time, the Jiang family's group of people, also came to the site of the Lantern Fair. After all, it was an annual large-scale event, and it was not too much to describe it as a sea of people. And Jiang Huang really didn't have much heart to see it, she remembered, again, how she treated Jiang he at the Lantern Fair back then. Big sister, what's wrong with you? Jiang Yimou, the fifth sister of the Jiang family, with a long plain white dress, reached out her small white hand and tugged Jiang Huang. And Jiang Huang also reacted and hurriedly wiped away the tears from the corners of her eyes with the back of her hand. It's okay, big sister just had her eyes blown by the wind. Jiang Yimou was not saying anything, he just followed Jiang Huang and walked silently at the end. Big sister, are you thinking about brother Jiang Yi? Jiang Yimou didn't spend much time with Jiang Yi, at that time, the whole Jiang family didn't treat Jiang Yi well and she didn't dare to contact Jiang He. Ah, ah, little sister how do you know? Jiang Huang was a bit surprised for a while, after all, Jiang Yimou had been going to school in the capital city. And Jiang Yimou shook her head and said, I know more or less about what happened before, not to mention, brother Jiang He has never shown up until now. Once these words came out, there was also a period of silence between the two. Actually, I've never understood what brother Jiang He did wrong. Jiang Yimou looked at the various colored lanterns around her, she had never understood, Obviously Jiang He was the one who should be favored to exist. She just went to school in the capital city, and could still return to her parents from time to time, and could feel the love between her family. But even so, she was often homesick late at night. Jiang He, on the other hand, had been living alone for 16 years. She didn't even dare to imagine how to hold on to such a life. I. For a while, Jiang Huang had all the words she wanted to say stuck in her throat. She didn't know how to go about explaining to Jiang Mo, or perhaps, she couldn't explain at all. Actually, I am also very sorry for brother Jiang He. Jiang Yimou stopped and just looked at Jiang Huang. Back then, she clearly knew Jiang He's situation in the Jiang family, but she chose to remain silent because she was timid and afraid of angering Jiang Qin. Big sister, do you think if I was braver back then, would brother Jiang He not have left? In an instant, Jiang Huang could no longer hold back her tears, which continued to gush out, dripping onto the ground without splashing the slightest ripple. Yes, if she could have been nicer to Jiang He back then, even a little bit, wouldn't Jiang He have chosen to leave? Only, this world, where if? At the same time, the center of the lantern fair, exploded brilliant fireworks, instantly attracted the attention of the vast majority of tourists. Jiang He and Lu Cixi were naturally no exception. Brother Jiang He, let's go over there. I heard there's a bonfire at the end. Lu Cixi's little face carried excitement, and Jiang He naturally had no reason to refuse. In fact, there was also a bit of selfishness on Lu Cixi's part. That is the legend, as long as the couple who hold hands and make a wish together by the bonfire at the lantern fair, they will be able to be together forever. Lu Cixi understood that in her situation, she might not be able to be with Jiang He forever. But even if it was just a moment of beauty, it was enough to make her stay. When Jiang He arrived at the center venue, a long line had already formed in front of the booth where the numbers were drawn. This was also a kind of activity, as long as the number drawn was chosen by the officials, they would be able to go on stage and interact with each other, and they would also be able to win a mysterious prize. Jiang He didn't hold much hope for this, after all, there were so many people at the scene, the chance of being selected was small. But after all, he was bringing Lu Cixi, he still wanted to participate. Brother Jiang He, what number is yours? Lu Cixi opened the small ball in her hand, revealing the number 8. There were also a few candies inside the small ball, which was a kind of consolation for those who weren't drawn. Jiang He also opened the small ball in his hand, and the number 75 came into view. Hurry up, the show is going to start later. Jiang He also just glanced at it, and then pulled Lu Cixi to the center of the venue, after all, if he went late, he wouldn't be able to pick a good spot, and then he would be squeezed at the end, and it's hard to say if he could even see it. As for whether or not they can be selected, Jiang He doesn't care. And the Jiang family line of people, lined up not far behind Jiang He. 
It's just that both parties didn't notice it. Sister, if Xiao Li is drawn, Xiao Li will give you the number. Zhang Li looked at Jiang Huang with a smile in his eyes. He wanted to take this opportunity to get closer to Jiang Huang. As soon as these words came out, Lu Ru also smiled and touched Zhang Li's head while she kept looking at Jiang Huang's face, expecting Jiang Huang to respond to Jiang Li. However, Jiang Huang's words threw a pot of cold water on Jiang Li. No need, keep it for yourself. Jiang Huang's tone could not be heard with what kind of feelings in it, and for a while, Jiang Li could not help but redden her eyes. Sister, did I do something wrong? Just say it, I will definitely change. But this time, Jiang Huang did not come to comfort him as Jiang Li thought, instead, without saying a word, she turned her head and left the group, she wanted to go shopping alone. Jiang Huang, come back here. Even Jiang Qin's low hackling didn't make Jiang Huang turn back. I'll go find big sister. After saying that, Jiang Yimou also left the group and ran towards Jiang Huang's back. Seeing this, Lu Ru didn't say anything anymore and just comforted Jiang Li, saying that Jiang Huang might have been too busy recently. Jiang Li nodded her head in a very understanding manner. But in fact, he already hated Jiang Huang in his heart, even though Jiang Huang used to be very nice to him. There was another reason why Jiang Huang's status in the Jiang family was very high, so he could only try his best to please Jiang Huang. Jiang Li is still thinking that when he takes over the Jiang family's company, he will kick Jiang Huang out directly. He just didn't know if his beautiful dream would come true. This is also one of the reasons why Jiang Li went to great lengths to kick out Jiang He. Jiang Huang sat alone on a bench by the roadside and just looked at the passing crowd peacefully, she hadn't been this relaxed for a long time. Big sister, are you okay? Jiang Yimou also jogged all the way to Jiang Huang's side. Why did you come over? Jiang Huang also laughed out bitterly, it was just difficult for her to face Jiang Li, she didn't know what this little girl Jiang Yimou was following her over for. I want to. However, Jiang Yimou froze before she could finish her words. Seeing this, Jiang Huang also looked at Jiang Yimou in confusion. Jiang. Brother Jiang He. It's brother Jiang He. When these words came out, Jiang Huang was also startled and followed Jiang Mo's line of sight to find Jiang He as well as Lu Cici's figure. Little sister wait a moment. Jiang Huang just wanted to pull Jiang Yimou and tell her not to bother Jiang He, but it was already too late. Jiang Yimou directly took small steps and ran to Jiang He's side. There was no other way, Jiang Huang also had to follow. When she came to Jiang He's side, Jiang Yimou also instantly blurred her eyes with tears. To be honest, she didn't know how to face Jiang He now. When she was in the Jiang family before, Jiang He was really very good to her and often took her to all kinds of places to play. There was a time when she was caught by Jiang Qin, Jiang He also took all the blame alone, even when she was beaten, she still didn't say a word. But what about her? Didn't even have the courage to stand up and say a fair word for Jiang He. Brother Jiang He. Jiang Mo's voice was all choked up, and tears kept falling. These things put on a junior high school student, it is indeed a bit difficult to bear. And Jiang He also seemed to have heard something, turning his head to look, he was also slightly stunned. Jiang Mo? You're on vacation? Lu Cici was likewise curious to look at Jiang Mo, before Jiang He then put the previous story, told it to her, naturally also understand the existence of Jiang Mo. Aha! Jiang Mo suddenly went forward and hugged Jiang He, his body was trembling. Brother Jiang He, I'm sorry, Xiao Mo is a coward, I'm really sorry. Jiang Mo's mind kept crossing over the moments she spent with Jiang He, and her sense of guilt towards Jiang He, also grew stronger. Seeing that this little girl was about to burst into tears, Jiang He also spoke out to comfort her. It's okay, I never blamed you, don't cry. This was the truth, Jiang He really had never blamed Jiang Yimou. After all, Jiang Yimou was still young, and it was normal that she didn't dare to speak up for him. Really? Brother Jiang He you really haven't blamed me? Only after hearing this did Jiang Yimou let go of Jiang He, and his voice gradually recovered, no longer choking. Of course, when did I ever lie to you? Jiang He also said with a smile. Jiang Huang, who was standing at the side, was also silently watching everything that just happened. For a while, Jiang Huang was even a little envious of Jiang Yimou, of Jiang Yi's attitude towards Jiang Yimou. But who was she to envy? She was to blame for everything that had happened now. Brother Jiang Yi, go home with Xiao Yimou, okay? Jiang Yimou looked at Jiang Yi with tearful eyes, she didn't know how Jiang Yi was doing these days, but it must be very hard. When these words came out, several people instantly fell into silence. Even Jiang Huan was looking nervously at Jiang He, and in her heart, she even set off a small hint of anticipation. She even began to fantasize that Jiang He would return to the Jiang family because of Jiang Yimou. Sorry Xiao Yimou, I won't go back, the Jiang family doesn't need me, and I shouldn't stay in the Jiang family. Jiang He's tone was flat, and even no longer had the sadness of the past. In fact, he had always thought that the Jiang family shouldn't have taken him back, giving him hope, but then personally extinguishing that hope, and finally even trampling on it. Xiao He. How could the Jiang family not need you? 
After hearing Jiang Yi's words, Zhang Huang also couldn't hold back any longer and rushed to Zhang Yi's front. Xiao He, will you come back? The Zhang family really can't live without you. Looking at Zhang Huang's anxious expression, Zhang Yi did not react too much. Aren't you ashamed of yourself for saying this? Still can't live without him? He could clearly remember how Zhang's family treated him before, those looks of dislike, even a feeling that they couldn't wait for him to die. But now to actually say such words, is it laughable? Alright, alright, I'll leave first, you take care of Xiao Mo. Zhang Yi also did not call Zhang Mo's sister again, perhaps he did not blame Zhang Mo, and could treat Zhang Mo as a friend. But it will only be a friend, no longer a family member, this is Zhang Yi's attitude towards the Zhang family. Seeing that Zhang Yi was about to leave, Zhang Mo wanted to say something but was stopped by Zhang Huang. She understood that no matter what they said now, Zhang Yi would not turn back. Sister, little sister, why are you guys here? Zhang Li shouted out to Zhang Huang, Zhang Mo. But in the next second, when Zhang Li saw Zhang Yi's figure, he also stiffened. How could he not expect to actually see Zhang Yi here? It was just that even if he hated Zhang Yi, he couldn't show it in front of the rest of the Zhang family. Lu Ru still wanted to go forward, but was pulled by Zhang Qin, who was now waiting for the orphanage to expire and Zhang Yi to bow down to him. There was no way, Lu Ru also had to look at Jiang He with eyes full of heartache. Brother Jiang He, Xiao Li misses you so much. In an instant, Jiang Li's eyes were slightly red and seemed to be showing true feelings, making people have to suspect that he and Jiang He were really brothers. With that, Jiang Li was about to go forward to hug Jiang He. This scared Jiang He. Crap, you disgusting thing don't come over. Saying that, Jiang He took Lu Cici's hand and ran, he didn't want to be touched by this little beast that only cries, bad luck. But today is also really unlucky. Bumping into a Jiang Mo was not even a problem, actually also bumped into other Jiang family members. Brother Jiang He, I just want to. But before Jiang Li could finish his performance, he was interrupted by a furious shout from Jiang Huang. Enough! Jiang Li how much longer are you going to pretend? With these words, even Jiang He's footsteps slowed down by half a beat. Eh? This Jiang Huang was actually getting angry at Jiang Li? It was really rare. Sis, sister, why did you say that? Zhang Li didn't expect that Zhang Huan would actually say these words to him in front of so many people. Seeing that Zhang Li still did not look repentant, Zhang Huan could not hold back any longer and directly questioned Zhang Li loudly. Why did you plant Xiao He to steal my necklace back then? Instantly, everyone present, all of them showed surprise. And Zhang Li was completely flustered. How was this possible? How could Zhang Huan know about this? He obviously did it seamlessly right, even the surveillance and the nanny he had moved, it was so long ago. How could this matter be discovered? Instead, Zhang Qin let out a furious rebuke. Huang are you've had enough. When these words came out, Zhang He, who was just about to leave, was also instantly interested. As expected, no one can resist the charm of eating melon. In the face of Zhang Qin's angry rebuke, Zhang Huang was as if he did not hear it at all and still said to Zhang Li, Zhang Li, tell me, why did you do this? Zhang Huang's feelings towards Zhang Li all these years were not fake, but what did she get in exchange for her true feelings? Sister, I don't have. Zhang Li still wanted to make a last struggle, but it didn't help at all. Still sophistry? The nanny from before, the surveillance from before, you think no one knows, right? Once these words came out, Zhang He also looked at Lu Ru, Zhang Qin two people. Originally, these two people, have long known the truth of this matter ah. That's really funny. Little. Little while, mom is just. Lu Ru's face was pale, and she still wanted to explain something to Zhang He, but was simply unsure of what to say. But do you think Jiang He will feel angry? Jiang He didn't care about any of this. The injuries he has suffered before, the favoritism he has suffered, is much more than this. Do you think that Jiang He still cares about this? He is just an ordinary melon eater now. Although the melon he is eating is about himself. Sister, I. I'm just afraid that if brother Jiang He comes back, you guys won't want me. I'm just afraid that you guys don't love me anymore. Jiang Li was also instantly in tears, it was so heartbreaking to watch. Sister, I really know I'm wrong. I just love you guys too much. Then, Zhang Li directly drilled into Lu Ru's arms, her body trembling. Huang Er, Xiao Li is also just confused for a moment, this matter will be. But before Lu Ru could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Zhang Huang. Just let it go? Then what should I do about the crime that Xu Wu suffered back then? Should Xu Wu be wrongly accused? Zhang Huang also had tears soaking his eyes, back then it was her, she was the one who punished Zhang He for kneeling all night in the rain. And Zhang He knew that he was wrongly accused, but because of her words, just, just so. Jiang He said that he was the one who was guilty back then, so he didn't need to care. Mom, it's my fault, sister you say, as long as you and brother Jiang He are willing to forgive me, I am willing to do anything. Again, this familiar flavor. Good, then you leave the Jiang family. Jiang Huang said bluntly to Jiang Li. For a moment, the atmosphere was instantly quiet. 
Jiang Huang, you don't even listen to me now do you? Jiang Qin couldn't help but feel angry at once and stepped forward to slap Jiang Huang's face. With a crunching sound, everyone present froze in place. Jiang Qin what are you doing? Huang or wait for mom. Lu Ru also rushed to catch up, she could not afford to lose her eldest daughter anymore. At this moment, Jiang Qin also knew that he was too impulsive and was just about to say something when Jiang Huang had already turned around and left. I, I just, and Jiang Qin was dumbfounded and could only stand in place at a loss for words. He just, it was just an impulse. After all, he had told Jiang Huang before that this matter should not be brought up again, but she refused to listen. That's why he, but after all, Jiang Qin is the head of the Jiang family, since he thought he couldn't pull the face to apologize, so he could only stand in place. Jiang Yi saw that people are gone, also lost interest in eating melon, and took Lu Cici to leave. On the way, Lu Cici held Jiang Yi's hand somewhat nervously, through what happened just now, she also roughly understood what the situation was. Now it seems that the aggression and prejudice that Jiang Yi suffered before was far more serious than what Jiang Yi told her. Brother Jiang Yi, just now. Seeing Lu Cici, this silly niece with a small look of wanting to say something, Jiang Yi also smiled. Are you trying to say, will I be sad because of what happened just now? When these words came out, Lu Cici also nodded her head slightly, judging from how tightly her little hand was clenched, the silly niece was really worried that Jiang Yi would be sad. Actually, these things, I've long been accustomed to them, if they were placed a year ago, I see that I might still feel angry and sad. Jiang Yi then waved his hand. But now, I have nothing to do with the Jiang family, I don't care how the Jiang family sees me, how they treat me. Just like just now, if he was placed in the Jiang Yi before, he would most likely have already jumped out to confront Jiang Li, and then complained to Jiang Qin and Lu Ru. And now he is just a quiet melon eating crowd. How could he feel sad if he didn't care? Hurry up and go, the program will start soon. Jiang Yi once again pulled up Lu Cici's small hand and walked towards the center venue. I also don't know, what is the mystery prize of this lantern festival? Lu Cici is not interested in the mysterious prize, she only wants to complete the wish by that bonfire, to fulfill her little selfishness. Meanwhile, Jiang Xian, who was just getting ready to leave work, rubbed her sore brow. Just then, a strange phone rang. And on the opposite side, it was Jiang Bai who had long returned to the capital city. M.S. Jiang Bai, do you really want to do this? Aren't you afraid that I will betray you? Lu Mu was dressed in a classic pure white maid outfit, and her originally elegant eyes were filled with worry. Ever since Jiang Bai returned to the capital, the entire capital city had set off a business earthquake. Those assholes uh, accomplices were swiftly swept away by Jiang Bai with extremely ruthless means. Now the entire capital city are circulating Jiang Bai's hefty reputation. Those who want to share a piece of cake of the Jiang family jackals, tigers and leopards only now know they messed with is how crazy the existence. But now, Jiang Bai actually wanted the entire Jiang family are handed over to Lu Mu ahead made to take care of. If this is spread out, I'm afraid no one will believe. After all, the current Jiang family could be said to be on a higher level and already had the tendency to vaguely ask for the title of a family in the capital city. You won't. Jiang Bai believed not only in Lu Mu's people, but also believed in her own means, even if Lu Mu was really blinded by power, she also had the ability, to get back what belonged to her. But more importantly, she understands that without Jiang Xian's Jiang family, for her, there is no meaning. So what she has to do now is to get Jiang Xian's forgiveness at all costs, even if it may take the whole Jiang family. Seeing Jiang Bai's mind has been decided, Lu Mu also can only slightly sigh, and then pick up the phone that is dialing. At this time, Jiang Xian also picked up her cell phone. Hello? What's the matter? Jiang Xian was also a little puzzled at this time, it was this time of the day, even if it was a scam phone call it should be resting, who would it be to find her? Could it be Jiang Yi? As soon as this thought came out, Jiang Xian also shook her head in a hurry. She now realized that she was getting more and more unable to forget Jiang Yi, and would even think of Jiang Yi from time to time. Even these days, Jiang Yi hadn't even appeared in her infirmary. Suddenly, a terrible thought was generated in her mind. She can't really. Impossible impossible. There was a difference of six whole years between them, and it wasn't like she liked to eat young grass. It must be because she hasn't rested well recently, it must be. Big Miss Jiang Xian, do you still remember me? The moment the voice from the opposite side came out, Jiang Xian was also slightly stunned, Willowwood? Willowwood? What are you calling me for? Jiang Xian remembered that Willowwood was Jiang Bai's man, could it be Jiang Bai's instructions? But what Jiang Bai did before had completely disappointed her, she would never forgive Jiang Bai. Is Lu Mu also something you can call? The opposite Lu Mu changed her elegant speech and became arrogant. What do you mean? Jiang Xian's willow brows were slightly furrowed, she also heard that something was wrong. Even if she had fallen out with Jiang Bai, she was still the Jiang family's eldest miss, when was it her turn to tell her what to do? What do you mean? Ha ah, ha, listen carefully, Jiang Xian, right now, I'm the master of the Jiang family. 
Lu Mu's voice was tinged with levity, one could hear the extreme contempt for Jiang Xian, even with a hint of hatred. That waste of a sister of yours, has already been kicked out of the Jiang family by me, so guess where she, now, is wandering? When these words came out, Jiang Xian directly stood up violently, how could she not expect that Jiang Bai would actually be? Jiang Xian didn't doubt Lu Mu's words, because Lu Mu didn't have to spread this kind of lie to her at all, or if Lu Mu didn't have power, she didn't dare to talk to her like this. Lu Mu, who took you in when you were homeless? Was your conscience eaten by a dog? Jiang Xian's tone was morose and wordy, but she clearly remembered that back then, when Lu Mu was wandering alone, it was Jiang Bai who brought her to her home. All these years, Jiang Bai has never treated this little bitch poorly, I didn't expect this little bitch to. Conscience? You'd better think about that waste of a sister of yours right now. Can you accept the fact that you've been kicked out of the Jiang family? Oh yeah, there are a lot of people jumping off buildings lately, and guess what Jiang Bai? Ha 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 ha. After saying that, Lu Mu then directly hung up the phone while also taking a deep breath. Looking at the place where Jiang Bai originally stayed, quietly fuming. You. When Jiang Xian heard the sound of the opposite side hanging up, she also ruthlessly slammed her cell phone on the table. But in an instant, Jiang Xian thought of Jiang Bai again, and suddenly panicked. You have to know that Jiang Bai is such a proud person. Even if Jiang Xian indeed couldn't forgive Jiang Bai right now, Jiang Bai was still her only relative in this world after all. Her love for Jiang Bai has never been fake either. Jiang Bai, you brain dead, don't do anything stupid. Said Jiang Xian then tremblingly picked up the phone in her hand and called the number that had long been blacked out. In just a dozen seconds, Jiang Xian was like spending several centuries. But the good thing is, it got through. Jiang Bai where are you? What are you doing? As soon as Jiang Xian got through, she spluttered and inquired about Jiang Bai. But what made Jiang Xian even more panicked was that Jiang Bai hadn't said a word until now. And Jiang Xian also heard the violent wind on the other end of the phone. Could it be? Jiang Xian thought right, Jiang Bai is really standing on the roof of the building, even without any protection measures. There was actually one more thing that Jiang Bai was hiding from Lu Mu. That is, if there is no possibility of Jiang Xian forgiving her, she will jump from here. After losing Jiang Xian, her world had turned gray, and now the existences that could threaten Jiang Xian had all been removed by her. If Jiang Xian really refused to forgive her in the slightest, there was no need for her to live. Jiang Xian, what are you calling me for? When these words came out, Jiang Xian's heart was half cold, knowing that this was the first time that Jiang Bai didn't call her sister. I know, I'm a lost dog now, Jiang Xian, you must despise me, right? Jiang Bai laughed a few times in a self-deprecating manner, accompanied by the sound of the whistling wind, it seemed so bleak. What nonsense are you talking about? Hurry up and come down to me. Hear me. Jiang Xian slammed the table, his tone filled with anxiety and anger. Enough. Jiang Xian I know you hate me, I know it all. Jiang Bai crouched on the roof of the building, sobbing uncontrollably, his tone filled with sadness and choking. Listening to the hissing from the opposite side, Jiang Xian was also silent for a moment. Jiang Bai was right, she did hate, hate Jiang Bai for treating her that way, hate Jiang Bai for her sick feelings. Let's talk about these later, will you come down first? Let's talk slowly. Jiang Xian's tone also became gentle, no matter what, Jiang Bai is ultimately her only relative, she has already lost her parents, she can't lose again. However, Jiang Bai's emotions were not eased in the slightest because of Jiang Xian's words, but instead became more agitated. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should never have lived in this world. Jiang Xian, is it that as long as I die, you won't hate me anymore? Jiang Bai's tone was tinged with a hint of desperation, which also caused Jiang Xian to be startled. Sister, I'm sorry, this time I will never make you angry again. Jiang Bai stood up on the rooftop and just opened his arms to meet the gale. Enough Jiang Bai. You come down. If you fucking jump, I'll. I'll. Jiang Xian took a deep breath and roared at the other end of the phone. I'll go down with you. Once these words came out, Jiang Bai also instantly came to her senses, she can die, but her sister can't, absolutely not. Seeing that there was no movement from the opposite side, Jiang Xian then finally breathed a sigh of relief. Where are you now? I'll go get you. Once these words came out, Jiang Bai was also unable to hold herself together any longer, burying her head into her arms and losing her voice. These days, she really, really had to break down, she really couldn't accept the days without Jiang Xian. Only, want to let Jiang Xian completely forgive Jiang Bai, I'm afraid it's not that simple. Back to Jiang Yi's side, the program had already ended, and next, was the drawing of lots. Only to see the host from rotating the lottery box on the stage, with a period of time tumbling, the first small ball with a number also fell. But not to Jiang Yi's surprise, both he and Lu Cici were indeed not drawn. Alright, let's go to the bonfire site. But Jiang Yi was just about to take Lu Cici away when he spotted a familiar figure. Is that a mess? Ruo Yun? Lu Cici also recognized the lucky audience on stage, wasn't it Joe Ruoyun? 
At this time, Zhou Ruoyan also did not expect that she would actually be drawn. Wow, I didn't expect that our lucky audience is still a great beauty. Instantly, the applause from the stage became even more enthusiastic, after all, Zhou Ruoyan was indeed a very beautiful being, coupled with the kind of aura and essence in her body, one could not help but be mesmerized. After all, she was, well, very spiritual. Since she had seen an acquaintance, Lu Cixi also planned to wait for the venue to disperse and say hello to Zhou Ruoyan before leaving, anyway, there was still a long time before the bonfire was opened. As for Jiang Yi, naturally, there was no reason to object. These days, it was indeed thanks to Zhou Ruoyan, without Zhou Ruoyan's efforts, the cooperation between the ramen store and the gym would not have been so successful. It was nothing to say hello. Just what Jiang Yi did not know is that the next thing he regretted, his decision. The host, also a tall imperial lady, came to Zhou Ruoyun's side and handed her the other microphone. It's MS. Zhou Wright, next, as long as you answer some questions, you'll be able to get the mysterious prize Oh, Do you choose to accept? By the way, the value of this time's mysterious grand prize is no less than $100,000 Oh, Once these words came out, the cheers under the stage also became louder, even Zhang Yi was surprised, was the organizer of this lantern fair so generous? And Zhou Ruoyun on the stage is the same, she originally intended to go on stage to go down after a formality, did not expect this time the prizes are so generous. In order to redeem the ramen store early, Zhou Ruoyun was also determined to take it. Okay MS. Zhou, there are a total of 5 questions here, just answer them positively and the challenge will be considered a success. Please listen to the questions. The host then opened the card with the questions recorded in his hand. Zhou Ruoyun also nodded her head solemnly. For the sake of this $100,000, she gave it up. All right, please listen to the first question. May I ask Miss Joe, do you have a favorite person? When these words came out, the audience under the stage was also in an uproar, even Jiang he also ate his melon. In his impression, Joe Ruoyan didn't seem to have any favorite person, right? There is. Joe Ruoyan also blushed, this was the first time she admitted that she had a favorite. And Jiang Yi and Lu Cixi under the stage also looked at each other. Could it be Zhang Yan? Jiang Yi was the first to raise his question. At the same time, the host on stage also threw out a second question. Next question, Miss Show, is the person you like accompanying you here? At these words, Zhou Ruoyun also shook her head. No, I came alone. Instantly, the stage once again set off a wave of whispers. Could it be unrequited love? This was too exciting, right? Such a beautiful big beauty would actually have unrequited love as well? Quite a few people voiced their doubts. If they could be secretly loved by a great beauty like Zhou Ruoyun, it would be unthinkable. Okay, the third question, Miss Zhou is the person you are fond of, do you know that you like him? I don't know. Zhou Ruoyun suddenly thought of that face with a bit of youthfulness. When she was about to be victimized, it was like a light shining into her world. However, this light, after all, did not belong to her. Okay, the fourth question, if your favorite person is standing in front of you at this moment, will you express your feelings to him? The host is also some heartache this looks incomparably strong girl, the taste of secret love, indeed not good. No, he doesn't belong to me. Zhou Ruoyun was somewhat relieved, she would not do anything to apologize to Lu Cixi. Okay, last question, may I ask Miss Zhou, the person you like, what is his name? Instantly, Zhang Yi and Lu Cixi were also looking at Zhou Ruoyun on the stage with some curiosity. It can't really be that Zhang Yin kid, right? Zhang Yi said to Lu Cixi with a smile, he didn't expect the Zhang Yin kid to have his day, when the time comes to go back and tell him the good news, this kid would probably have to be so excited that he would faint. While Lu Cixi shook her head, as a girl, she had a delicate mind, naturally she could tell from Zhou Ruoyun's usual behavior towards Zhang Yan that Zhou Ruoyun didn't have any special emotion towards Zhang Yan. Ha! Huh? It's not him? Is it hard to be me? Zhang Yi also smiled and joked. Only in the next second, a person's name came out of Zhou Ruoyun's mouth. Name. The name is Zhang He. After saying these words, Zhou Ruoyun also seemed to have lost all her strength, and her entire body was a little limp. She felt that at this time, Jiang Yi shouldn't be here before she had the courage to say the name that had been buried deep inside her heart. But after holding it in for so long, now that she said it, Zhou Ruoyun also took a long breath. At the same time, Jiang Yi under the stage has been completely dumbfounded, frozen in place. How could he not expect, this time eating melon, and eat to his own head? No, what's going on here? Lu Cixi was equally incredulous as she looked at Zhou Ruoyun on the stage. The main thing is that Zhou Ruoyun usually performs too well and on the surface, he has absolutely no interest in Jiang Yi. Jiang Yi, as a party, did not feel the slightest, Jiang Yi's impression of Zhou Ruoyun still stays in very spiritual. Today, Zhou Ruoyun's words really frightened Jiang Yi. At the same time, Zhou Ruoyun on the stage, inadvertently, suddenly glimpsed two familiar figures. Upon seeing them clearly, his head instantly buzzed. See, 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 dumbfounded, was truly dumbfounded. 
Zhou Ruiyan standing on the stage, at this time the brain is blank, how she did not expect, Lu Cixi and Zhang He actually stood on the stage. What did she just said? Seeing Jiang He pulling some confused Lu Cixi to go, Zhou Ruiyan also jumped off the stage in a hurry, wanting to go through the crowd to give Lu Cixi an explanation. This scene also confused the host on stage. She had never met one that ran away directly after answering a question. Miss Zhou wait. Your prize. But what couldn't be helped was that Zhou Ruoyan didn't even have the heart to care about this right now. She only wanted to explain herself to Lu Cixi right now. At that moment, there was a sigh of relief on and off the stage. What were they witnessing? The host saw the situation, also had to notify the backstage staff, well before the draw number ball, or to leave a phone number, then call Zhou Ruoyan to confirm the location, and then send the prizes to the past on the good. Zhou Ruoyan sighed, not so lucky. The Lantern Fair site can be described as a sea of people, even if Zhou Ruoyan desperately want to get close to Lu Cixi and Zhang He, but also to no avail. Come to the long bridge above the Lantern Fair, Zhou Ruoyan finally can no longer hold out, directly squatting on the ground and cried out. I'm sorry sissy. Sorry. However, she is only a girl who just graduated from college. Even if her appearance is strong, deep down, there is also a side that longs to be cared for. Even if she is usually staggering, like a shrew, that is just a way to protect themselves. However, she fell in love with a person that she absolutely can't like. Zhang He, why ah? Zhou Ruoyun choked and muttered to herself. Why, she didn't even have the qualifications to like someone. She didn't even dare to think. Zhou Ruoyun suddenly thought of the scene when Zhang He rushed into the underground casino and saved her. It was from then on that this strong heart of hers was filled with Zhang He's figure. Zhang He is a light in her life, but the same as the light, she can't even hold it. Yes, how can a person like me expect this? Zhou Ruoyun silently stood up with two clear tear tracks hanging on her face, and then even more ruefully smiled. Yes, how could a woman like her deserve love? Not only did she have a gambling father, she also had a sick sister. She also deserved to go to the extravagant love? Really funny. Funny. Not to mention that she can't do anything to apologize to Lu Cixi, even if Jiang He is not Lu Cixi's boyfriend, how can a tired person like her go and drag Jiang He down? When a person is very awake, it becomes painful. Cixi, I'm sorry, when I redeem the store, I'll leave here and never come back. Zhou Ruoyan looked at the water under the bridge where the waves were slightly rising, and the wind was even blowing her hair away. Even if she knows that she may not be able to forget Zhang He in her life. However, who doesn't desire to be loved? A crystal tear fell from the top of the bridge and smashed on the lake, setting off tiny waves. Those who love but cannot be loved will be trapped for the rest of their lives. Meanwhile, Zhang Huang, who was slapped by Zhang Qin, stumbled and took a cab then went to the company. She couldn't figure out if the reputation of the Zhang family was that important. Lu Ru was afraid that Zhang Huan would not be able to think straight, so she immediately called a cab and asked the driver to follow the car in front of her. As for Jiang Li, he originally also wanted to work together, but was Lu Ru refused, after all, this matter, is because of Jiang Li and start. Lu Ru was also afraid that Jiang Li would irritate Jiang Huang. Jiang Li, who was left in place, clenched his fists tightly, he now hates Jiang He to die now. When Jiang Huang returned to the company, her assistant was also a bit puzzled. Mr. Jiang, why are you back? In the next second, when she saw the red marks on Zhang Huang's face, the female assistant also almost exclaimed in shock. You are. I'll go get you a potion. But just as the female assistant wanted to turn around to get the medicine, she was pulled by Zhang Huang. Don't go, stay with me and talk to me, okay? Zhang Huang propped one hand on the desk and covered her eyes with one hand. She didn't want this weak look of hers to be seen by others. From that moment just now, she truly understood Zhang He's situation in the Zhang family back then. Understanding why Jiang He was so determined when he left. Why, Xu Wei is obviously not wrong, why can't you say it? Jiang Huang desperately tried to take the tears back, but it was no help at all. The warm tears, after all, fell down Jiang Huang's cheeks. This scene also made the female assistant on the side sigh slightly. In her eyes, Jiang Huang had never been a strong and unparalleled woman, but now, only when she was really by Jiang Huang's side could she feel her grief, which was so strong. Suddenly, Jiang Huang's phone rang. Zhang Huang was just about to hang up when he was attracted by the caller. It was actually Zhang Jiang. It was important to know that Zhang Jiang had not even returned to the Zhang family once during this period of time. Hello? What's wrong third sister? Zhang Huang quickly adjusted her state while taking the tissue handed over by her assistant to dry her tears. She didn't want Zhang Jiang to know her current state. Big sister, you've cried right. Zhang Jiang Jiang on the opposite side, originally just wanted to ask Zhang Huang a little something. But to her surprise, Jiang Huang actually cried. Ah, uh, no, no, how could I cry? It's just that Jiang Huang's reddened eyes were indeed heartbreaking. When these words came out, Jiang Jiang was also silent for a moment. Jiang Huang's voice was all wrong. How could she not hear it? 
Big sister, is it because of little wa? Instantly, after hearing the word little wa, Zhang Huang also couldn't tense up any longer, but was still biting her own lips tightly to keep herself from crying out. Zhang Jiang also sighed slightly after hearing no movement from the opposite side. How could she not be so? Third sister, it's me who's sorry for Xiao He, I'm really sorry. Obviously she was the eldest sister, obviously she should have protected her brother properly. Zhang Huang remembered the picture of how she treated Zhang He before, why did she do that? Why did she trample on Jiang He's goodness to her? Thinking about it, Jiang Huang directly slapped on her own face with so much force that the assistant on the side was shocked. Just when Jiang Huang wanted to continue, the assistant also rushed forward to stop Jiang Huang. Blame it all on me. It's all my fault. If she hadn't decided that Jiang He was a thief without investigating clearly, how would it have turned out like this today? If she hadn't favored Jiang Li, how could she have broken Jiang He's heart? Enough. What's the use of regretting now, big sister? Zhang Jiang on the other end of the phone, was equally in tears. Then, Zhang Jiang hung up the phone in her hand. She may, already know what to do next. As for Lu Ru, at this time, she also came to Zhang Huang's office and was relieved to see that Zhang Huang was intact. Huang Er, it's mom who's sorry, but mom really can't let go of Xiao Li. Lu Ru came to Zhang Huang's side and pulled Zhang Huang's hand, pleading in her eyes. After all, Zhang Li has been by her side for so many years, even if there is no blood relationship, it is difficult for her to part with this affection. Zhang Huang, on the other hand, directly stood up and shook off Lu Ru's hand. Then why did you guys pick up Xiao He back? Zhang Huang just looked at Lu Ru, she wanted a reasonable explanation. Little. Xiao He is my own flesh and blood, how can I bear to see him straying away? But before Lu Ru could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Zhang Huang. Lu Ru, all of this, is caused by you. At that moment, Lu Ru froze in place as if she was struck by lightning. Huang. What are you saying, Huang Er, how could you blame me? Lu Ru had completely panicked, she never expected Zhang Huang to say that. And Zhang Huang was also looking at Lu Ru in front of her with red eyes, why is this woman still pretending to be confused until now? How did you treat Xiao He, aren't you clear yourself? Last year, when Xiao He returned to Zhang family's first birthday, what did you do? You spent your birthday in the hospital with Zhang Li, just because of a small cold of Zhang Li. Xu waited until late at night and you didn't come back, have you forgotten all about it? Jiang Huang's voice became choked as she spoke because she knew that she herself was the culprit for all of this. I, I was busy and confused then, I didn't mean to. What about this year? This year you were also busy and confused? Jiang Huang said word by word, each of her words seemed to pierce Lu Ru's heart. Could it be that all of this, you are not at fault? Shouldn't you be blamed? Listening to Jiang Huang's bitter rebuke, Lu Ru was also stunned in place. Because she couldn't explain, or rather, what Jiang Huang said was true. Xiao He. He won't blame mom, right? Little was said it before. He's not angry, he didn't mean to blame me. Lu Ru as if she grabbed a life-saving straw, she clearly remembered that on Zhang He's birthday, after coming back from the hospital, Zhang He didn't get angry. Zhang He He said it's okay. Right. It's okay. This is what Zhang He said in his own words. Zhang He didn't blame her. Lu Ru at this moment, has gone a little crazy. She was unwilling to accept that all these things were caused by her own partiality. Sure enough, it still proved the saying. Eccentric people never feel that they are eccentric. Lu Ru, you are really, ridiculous. Zhang Huang suddenly laughed. But as he laughed, he didn't know why, but tears fell down. It turns out that eccentricity is so hard to shake, it turns out that all this, is so helpless. Only experienced once, can feel that kind of deep despair, that kind of powerlessness, enough to bring down a. You know very well, Xiaoyi is how much you hope that you can as a mother, to accompany him to spend a full birthday, you know very well. But you? You just resent Shua. You dislike Shua for not receiving a good education since he was young, you dislike Shua for being a wild child. Zhang Huang's words had undoubtedly ripped off Lu Ru's last piece of shaming cloth. In an instant, Lu Ru also reddened her eyes. I, I just want Xiao He to be better, I didn't. Lu Ru still wanted to argue, but she was once again interrupted by Zhang Huang. Lu Ru, have you ever thought that the reason why Xiao He has been an orphan for 16 years is all caused by you and Zhang Qin? Have you ever thought about how little Wu came through all these years? Zhang Huang became more and more agitated as he spoke, even his body began to tremble uncontrollably. I've thought about it. I am his real mother, how could I not have thought about it? By this point, Lu Ru also could no longer support herself and sat on the ground on her knees. I really thought about it. Lu Ru covered her face with both hands, tears even soaked her collar. As long as Shua comes back, I am willing to do anything, as long as Shua comes back. Suddenly, Lu Ru stood up as if she was crazy and stared straight at Zhang Huang. Huang Er, are you unaware of all these things? Did you not do it by default? This words, Zhang Huang is also some do not recognize the mother in front of her, she did not expect, Lu Ru will actually take her as a shield. 
Huang Er, don't you want Xiao He to come back? Lu Ru panted heavily, she was now mad as hell, the guilt she felt inside for Jiang He, with the blame she placed on herself, messed up her brain. She couldn't accept that she was an unqualified mother, she wanted to atone for her sins and wanted to be forgiven by Jiang He. Huang Er, as long as the orphanage that Jiang He is in is demolished, he will definitely return to the Jiang family to beg for our help, won't we be able to get Xiao He back then? As soon as these words came out, Jiang Huan could not help but widen his eyes as well. You you you, you're crazy. How about Jiang Huan did not expect that Lu Ru would actually do that? However, Lu Ru was directly stepping forward to hold Jiang Huang's hand, her eyes filled with confusion. Mom is not crazy, don't you want to get forgiveness from Xu Wu, Huang Er? As long as Xu Wu comes home, then there is still a possibility. At that moment, Jiang Huan was also silent. She wanted to get Jiang He's forgiveness, she had thought of going crazy. But Jiang He has been refusing to see her, and she has no way to redeem herself. I. At this moment, the silence said it all. How can the two of them not know that doing so will definitely attract Jiang He's resentment? However, they already have no other way but to throw all their bets on the orphanage. Little Wa, you believe in your sister, as long as you come home, my sister will definitely treat you a thousand times a hundred times better, absolutely. Jiang Huang wiped the tears from the corners of her eyes, she knew she was despicable and even disgusting. But she has been forced into a desperate situation. Meanwhile, Jiang He brought Lu Cici to the bonfire site, where the staff was preparing for the final lighting of the fire. And the scene, also everywhere is holding hands of couples, can be said to be a large-scale wholesale dog food scene. At this moment, both of them very tacitly did not speak. Lu Cici naturally believed Jiang He, if Jiang He wanted to do something, he would have already done it to her. As for why Zhou Ruoyun fell in love with Jiang He, Lu Cici was also able to roughly figure it out. After all, it was Jiang He who rushed into the casino alone and rescued Zhou Ruoyun. In this situation, Zhou Ruoyun, as the victim, was at the most vulnerable time in her heart, so who could not be moved? Therefore, she wouldn't blame Zhou Ruoyun for falling for Jiang He. As the countdown ended, the staff threw the kindling into the pre-prepared pile of firewood. In an instant, the bright and warm light of the fire reflected on the faces of everyone at the scene. Lu Cici looked at the burning firelight in front of her and raised her own small hand, seemingly wanting to grab something. Just, how can the firelight be grasped? Suddenly, a palm that was even warmer than the firelight covered Lu Cici's small hand. Cici, you may not be able to catch this brilliant firelight, but my palm will always be with you. So, Cici, can you hold my hand tightly? Zhang He came in front of Lu Cici and said with a smile. How could he not see the worry and sadness hidden in the deepest part of Lu Cici's heart? Yes, fireworks are easy to fade away, and even more brilliant bonfires will eventually burn out the last trace of. However, fading does not mean anything, just like this bonfire, at this moment, has long been deeply embedded in the hearts of everyone at the scene, warming everyone. Brother Jiang He. One drop, two drops. Warm tears, under the illumination of the firelight, fell on the back of Jiang He's hand. Brother Jiang He, I want to be with you forever, I really want it so much. Lu Cici is not a saint, she can't do it, don't think about it, she can't do it, don't fantasize about the life with Jiang He after. Maybe the life of the two people, not so sensational, no waves and waves. Maybe the two will quarrel because of some small things, and will prepare a gift for each other in the evening to express their apologies. The two will have a lovely child, she will also be in the sunset when the sun sets, expecting Jiang He's home. Everything is so. Beautiful. Is that so? Then, MS. Lu Cici, would you like to join me under this bonfire and make a wish? As soon as Jiang He said this, Lu Cici also immediately looked at Jiang He. Jiang. Brother Jiang He, do you know the legend of this place? Looking at Lu Cici's afterthought little silly look, Jiang He also didn't hold back and slowly leaned up. Or else. Instantly, Lu Cici's little face reddened and burned, not knowing if it was illuminated by the campfire or for what. She didn't expect that the little bit of selfishness that belonged to her was actually detected by Jiang He right from the start. Cici, promise me okay? Jiang He stepped forward and placed a gentle kiss on Lu Cici's forehead. Instantly, countless gazes gathered on the two. Lu Cici's cheeks were even more frighteningly hot and it seemed like steam was coming out of her head. That heart, which was flawed from birth, was also beating frantically for Jiang He at this moment. Promise him. Promise him. The young couples who were eating the melon were also holding hands and cheering loudly for Jiang He. Amidst the cheers of the crowd, Lu Cixi also nodded shyly. Jiang He also couldn't hold back any longer, and embraced Lu Cixi into his arms. Wow. The scene even resounded with warm applause. Only, Jiang He's eyes have also been filled with tears, how could he not know? But even if this relationship will eventually come to an end, he also want to let Lu Cici understand that is love. Next, the two of them held hands and made their wishes by the bonfire in the presence of countless people. Only what Jiang he didn't know was that at the last moment, Lu Cici was opening her eyes. 
She knows Jiang Yi's past, knows how Jiang Yi longs for family love. How could she let Jiang Yi be alone for the rest of his life because of her? Brother Jiang Yi, when CC is gone, forget CC. This is Lu CC, the last wish. How lucky, brother Jiang Yi has so many people to love him. Thinking about it, Lu CC reveals a touch of gentle smile, a drop of clear tears, also falls quietly, noiselessly. It was only until the curtain fell on the bonfire that Jiang Yi took Lu CC back. Along the way, the hands of the two were never separated. When Jiang Yi returned to the orphanage, Jiang Jiang was already waiting at the door. Jiang Yi originally wanted to ignore it, but was stopped by Jiang Jiang's words. Little Wa, sister is leaving here. When these words came out, Jiang Yi was also stunned, it's hard to believe that this Jiang Jiang finally got the hang of it, but sister only wants to ask one more question in the end. Jiang 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 saw that Jiang Yi had stopped, she also slowly stepped forward and just looked at Jiang Yi's eyes. Uh, just ask, why are you so close? Since Jiang Jiang wanted to leave, it was naturally impossible for Jiang Yi to retain her, but during this period of time, it was also true that Jiang Jiang had to be thanked for her help to the orphanage, and if she wanted to know something, Jiang Yi wouldn't hide it either. It didn't matter to Jiang Yi anyway. Little Harvest, back then, was it you who saved me or not? For a moment, under the illumination of the moonlight, Jiang Jiang's eyes were extraordinarily serious. Even if she understood in her heart that the boy who saved her back then was Jiang Yi, she still wanted to wait for that answer from Jiang Yi's mouth. When these words came out, Jiang Yi had no choice but to nod. Yes, he did save someone in the river back then, he just didn't expect it to be Jiang Jiang. If I hadn't saved you, would you still be doing this to me? Would you still stay at the orphanage as a caretaker? Jiang Yi also looked at Jiang Jiang and smiled. Yes, Jiang Jiang would have been the entire Jiang family, the existence that hated him the most. I. Instantly, Jiang Jiang also froze in place because of Jiang Yi's words. Yes, if Jiang Yi hadn't saved her, she might still think that Jiang Li was her savior, and would continue to ignore Jiang Yi and even hurt him for the sake of Jiang Li. Don't think too much, I just casually asked, you can go now. After saying that, Jiang Yi was going to turn around and go back to the house. But the next second, Jiang Yi was tugged by Jiang Jiang's sleeve. Little Wa, sister really doesn't know what to do. At this moment, confusion rushed to Jiang Jiang's heart. She also knew how her previous self had treated Jiang Yi. Just like before, when the whole Jiang family went on a trip, because Jiang Li fainted, they left Jiang Yi alone and still in the same place. In fact, at that time, she knew that Jiang Yi was thrown down. Even, Jiang Yi's cell phone, also she intentionally put in the car, in order to let Jiang Yi understand, Jiang family has no place for him. But Jiang Yi didn't suspect anyone when he was sent back to the Jiang family by the police. He preferred to believe that it was his own lack of attention, but also did not want to believe that his own family would treat him that way. I don't know what to do. You weren't just fine before, big star, sought after, this is what many people dream of. Saying that, Jiang Yi then gently plucked off Jiang Jiang's hand. He wasn't interested in what Jiang Jiang thought, or rather, he wasn't interested in the entire Jiang family, and all of the Jiang family members. I don't care about any of this. Little Wa, what sister cares about is you. Jiang Jiang was hysterical and roared in a low voice, she didn't care about any stars, she didn't care about any movie queens, what she cared about now was only Jiang Yi. She wants to make up for the mistake she made to Jiang Yi before, she really wants to. When these words came out, Jiang Yi also laughed out softly, he didn't care, but he wasn't stupid. Jiang Jiang, you say you care about me, then why don't you tell me the truth about what happened before? When these words came out, Jiang Jiang also trembled. Little. Little Wa, what are you talking about? Sister. How come sis can't understand? The reason why Jiang Jiang was reluctant to tell that incident was because she was afraid that Jiang Yi would hate her even more, she didn't mean to hide it on purpose. She didn't. She didn't. By now, Jiang Jiang was still unwilling to face reality. Can't understand? That's right, how could you understand it? Jiang Yi smiled self-deprecatingly. In his previous life, he was the one who was stupid, he clearly knew that his cell phone was right next to him, how could he run to the car, but he still chose to deceive himself, believing that Jiang's family wouldn't do that. What a silly laugh. Xiao He you listen to sister's explanation. At that time, my sister was really just confused for a moment. Sister really didn't. Enough. With Jiang Yi's roar, Jiang Jian was also frozen in place. Since it was a momentary confusion, is it not good to stay confused like this? Jiang Yi's tone once again became flat, and even couldn't hear any emotion in it. That Jiang Hua, who was incredibly tolerant to the Jiang family and deeply loved them, is dead. It was their own hands that killed them. You go, don't come back. After saying that, Jiang Yi then gently closed the door of the orphanage. Looking at the closed door in front of him, Jiang Jiang but still froze in place, who does not know what Jiang Jiang was thinking at this moment. Maybe it is remorse, maybe it is sadness, and maybe it is despair. Jiang Yi just wanted to return to his room, when he realized that the dean's mother-in-law was waiting for him at the door of his room early. What's wrong dean? 
Can't it be that something happened at the orphanage again? Did those people come to rush again? Instantly, Zhang Yi was also in deep worry, even though the ramen store's cooperation with the gym had been very smooth during this period of time, and he had gotten half a million dollars in profit in the first month. But wanting to get two million dollars in the next month under the condition of redeeming the ramen store is undoubtedly desperate. But even if there was only a ray of hope, Zhang Yi would not give up. But Granny Dean shook her head, she cared more about Zhang Yi's feelings than the orphanage. Do you still hate Zhang Zhang now? When these words came out, Zhang Yi also froze for a moment, he didn't expect that Granny Dean was so late, just for this. Obviously, obviously he has grown up. The Dean's mother-in-law was still as concerned about him as usual. Instantly, Zhang Yi's eyes were sore. Don't hate it, I didn't care a long time ago. This is the truth, sometimes, do not hate, does not mean forgiveness, but do not care. Don't care anymore, and how can you hate? Well, I'm relieved to see you put it down. What the Dean's mother-in-law was afraid of was that Zhang Yi would still be hurt again because of Zhang's family. Here's $180,000, you take it first. After saying that, the Dean's mother-in-law took out a somewhat old bank card, to be precise, in this card, it was 186070 That $70, is today the Dean's mother-in-law, just deposited into they. Dean what are you doing? Zhang Yi was also shocked, and hurriedly stuffed the card back. Listen to the words of the Dean, you take it first. The dean's mother-in-law also didn't allow it at all, and had to make Zhang Yi take it. You should have heard Ruoli say it, this orphanage, I probably can't keep it. She dedicated her life for this orphanage, even to the last moment, what she thinks about, is still the children of these orphanages. Dean, I. Zhang Yi wanted to say something else, but it stuck in his throat, because he couldn't guarantee that he would be able to save the orphanage. If it really comes to that day, take this money and give it to the children, have money in your possession so that you are not afraid of being bullied by others, understand? After saying that, Granny Dean then directly turned around and left, not giving Jiang Yi a chance to backtrack. As for why she did so, because she knew that if she was the one to give it to the children, the children would definitely not accept it, so. Looking at the somewhat hunched back of the Dean's mother-in-law, Jiang Yi also squeezed the bank card in her hand deathly tight. At the same time, Lin Ruoli, who was hiding in the corner, naturally heard everything that happened just now. Lin Ruoli covered her mouth, desperately trying not to let herself cry out. She squatted by the wall, her tears even more indisputably flowing out. Why, why couldn't she do anything? She couldn't do anything about her parents' death, and she failed to keep Jiang Yi's departure. Now, the orphanage is going to be torn down, but she still can't help even a little bit. Jiang Yi, on the other hand, has to bear all this alone. Brother Jiang Yi. She really doesn't want to be separated from Jiang Yi. At the same time, Jiang Family Villa. Back? Jiang Qin saw Jiang Huang coming back, she also coughed twice dryly and took the initiative to speak out, which was also considered to ease the relationship. However, Jiang Huang was not caring about this at all, she now only wanted to know what was going on in the orphanage that Jiang Yi was in. She didn't want to do anything to hurt Jiang Yi again. You should know all about the orphanage, right? What's going on? Tell me clearly. When these words came out, Jiang Qin also frowned slightly, he didn't expect Jiang Huang to even know about this matter. This matter has nothing to do with you, don't ask too many questions. Jiang Qin was also afraid that Jiang Huang would disrupt his plan, so naturally, it was impossible to tell Jiang Huang. Do you want Xiao He to hate us for the rest of our lives before you are happy? Jiang Huang's eyes were red and in his eyeballs, they were covered with blood. At this moment, Lu Ru, who was right behind him, also rushed forward to stop Jiang Huang. Huang er, your father, he also wants Shua to be able to go home earlier, let's sit down and talk slowly, okay? Just facing Lu Ru's plea, Jiang Huang was not moved at all and still looked at Jiang Qin so deadpan. Let her talk. Jiang Qin was also a bit angry, he did all this, isn't it all for the Jiang family? This matter, it was ordered by the government, it's a good thing to ensure that orphans enjoy more welfare, is it something that you and I can decide? This point, Jiang Qin is not wrong, this is indeed a good thing, and even the policy strongly supported. But, Jiang Qin also did play a role in pushing the waves, even. Jiang Qin, you are still deceiving yourself and others. I just checked, the orphanage where the original Little Way is located, is not even in the scope of demolition. This words, Jiang Qin instantly froze in place, even Lu Ru, are incredibly looking at Jiang Qin. Jiang. Jiang Qin, what Huang er said, is it all true? Lu Ru was a bit dumbfounded as she voiced out a question to Jiang Qin. However, Jiang Qin did not say a word, and it was obvious that he had been told. Jiang Qin. You. How could you? Lu Ru stepped forward and tugged on Jiang Qin's collar, the corners of her eyes already brimming with tears. She originally acquiesced to the occurrence of this matter, she was already very remorseful, but what she thought at that time was that this matter was originally a good thing, and it didn't matter if she acquiesced, as long as Jiang Yi could go home. But how could she not expect that all of this was caused by Jiang Qin? Enough! Don't I want that brat Jiang Yi to go home? Could it be that all of this is my fault? 
Zhang Qin also pushed Lu Ru away and angrily picked up the car keys on the table and walked out the door of Zhang family villa. And Lu Ru is also collapsed on the sofa, has long been sobbing. But even if she is so regretful now, this matter has no room for maneuver, if she lets Zhang Yi know the original cause of this matter, I'm afraid. When Zhang Qin started the car and rushed out of the Zhang family villa with a kick of the gas pedal, the veins on his forehead had already risen. Zhang Qin slapped the steering wheel fiercely, even if this was a luxury car worth millions of dollars he didn't care. Am I not doing this for the Zhang family? Why do you all just have to go against me? First, it was Zhang Zi, who left the Zhang family without saying a word, saying that she was going to look for something that could bring the painting to life. But in Zhang Qin's opinion, all of this was bullshit. How much can those paintings be worth? Can it be as important as the Zhang family? This is Zhang Qin was uninformed, now Zhang Zi's paintings, but more and more sought after, although not as high as that puppet price, but basically in the half a million up. Zhang Zi will always sell those paintings, only a small part of the money enough for her to travel, the other all donated to the local government welfare organizations. In her eyes, if money can help others, it is the greatest value of the embodiment. Perhaps this is the biggest gain of her trip and why her paintings are becoming more and more soulful. All of this has made Zhang Zi's fame grow. And then there's Zhang Jiang, who also, for some reason, let go of being a good star to become some kind of caregiver. It was also photographed on the internet, it was a disgrace to the Zhang family. But what Zhang Qin doesn't know is that the evaluation of Zhang Jiang on the internet now can be described as a bipolar reversal. Before the scolding how hard, now the evaluation of Zhang Jiang how high. At one point, she even became the favorite to be nominated for this year's Queen of Films again. To know that Zhang Jiang had directly stood up the launch party before, and to be nominated under just such circumstances was simply unheard of. Damn 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 damn. Why can't you sympathize with me? All I did was for the Zhang family, what's wrong with me? Seeing the green light turn red, Zhang Qin directly ignored the red light and ran straight through. But very coincidentally, a traffic police patrol car, on duty at the intersection. This scene, is also a crowd of traffic police little brother looked silly, they are not even sure to look at the overhead traffic light again. It is a red light ah. No, so arrogant? In an instant, the sirens sounded directly, chasing towards Zhang Qin's luxury car. The scene turned, only to see Zhang Qin sitting in the interrogation room, hopelessly cooperating with the police to do the examination. They suspected that Zhang Qin was racing after drinking, or even, drugs. But fortunately, Zhang Qin naturally had no problems. Dangerous driving of a motor vehicle, running a red light, speeding, 6 points deduction and a fine of 200, now you can let your family come over. In fact, in Zhang Qin's case, it was very likely that he would be detained for 2 days, after all, he had run the red light in front of the traffic police. But after all, Zhang Qin was the man of the hour in High City, and his contribution to High City was great. Therefore, the face that should be given should still be given, just like the punishment above, it doesn't hurt at all. Originally Jiang Qin has a driver, today is also a little out of control emotions, only personally drive on the road, 6 points deducted on the deduction. As for the $200, Jiang Qin a minute to earn more than 200 Family? For a time, Jiang Qin also sighed, and finally gave Lu Ru called, perhaps he has a relationship, a phone call can go directly. After all, as long as the bottom line of the law is not touched, this point of face, others are still willing to give him. But he is now a little tired, also want to talk to Lu Ru. And when Lu Ru learned that Zhang Qin was at the police station, she also rushed over it the first time. When Lu Ru rushed to the police station, when she learned that nothing serious had happened, she was also relieved. Only, Lu Ru left too quickly, so he took a taxi over, and Zhang Qin's car was also temporarily impounded, waiting for his driver to come over tomorrow to drive away on the line. Sorry. Walking on the street, Zhang Qin took the lead in breaking this silence, just reached out his hand to hold Lu Ru, but was Lu Ru avoided. Zhang Qin, look at your current appearance, I am fast. I can't recognize you. The two have known each other since college, when they were both in high spirits. The words, Zhang Qin is also frozen for a moment. Yes, when he was also a dare to love and hate the youth, but why, now he, people to middle age, but more and more cautious, afraid of a little bit of unfavorable news on the Zhang family. But so many years over, Zhang Qin has seen too many too many of the Yu Yugao, even just a little tiny mistake, there may be all the ruin. People always change. Zhang Qin didn't deny it, he did change, but everything he did was for the Zhang family. Haven't you changed? Zhang Qin looked at his wife in front of him, both of them have changed. At this moment, both of them fell into silence. At the same time, the entire Zhang family villa, then only Zhang Huang and Zhang Li remained. Seeing that the time was ripe, Zhang Li also changed into a pitiful look, her eyes filled with tears and walked to Zhang Huang. When Zhang Huang saw Zhang Li, she frowned slightly and turned around to leave. She was now completely devoid of the good feelings she had before towards Zhang Li. In other words, she now, no longer regarded Jiang Li as her younger brother. 
However, in the next second, Jiang Li actually directly pulled Jiang Huang's corner and knelt down in front of Jiang Huang. Sister, I really know I'm wrong, will you forgive me? Jiang Li was sobbing, his eyes were red and scary. He knew that if he didn't come up with something tough, I'm afraid it wouldn't work on Jiang Huang. But what Jiang Li didn't expect was that Jiang Huang's eyes still didn't change the slightest bit when he looked at her, as if he was looking at a stranger. It was at this moment that Jiang Li was completely flustered. You get up first. Jiang Huang's tone couldn't hear a trace of emotion, this was the expression she had always worn in front of Jiang Yi before, and Jiang Li had always secretly reveled in this, mocking Jiang Yi for being so unselfconscious that she actually presumed to get the love of Jiang's family. But now, this thing happened to Jiang Li himself, he realized, at that time Jiang Yi, how desperate. I don't. If you don't forgive me, sister, I. I won't get up all the time. Looking at Jiang Li's aggrieved little expression, Jiang Huang couldn't help but feel a touch of anger rising from the bottom of his heart for some reason. If this was unknown, he would think that he, Jiang Li, was aggrieved as if she, Jiang Huang, was the bad guy. Whatever. After saying that, Jiang Huang directly broke away from Jiang Li's hand and walked towards the gate. During this period of time, she was going to live in the company, she didn't want to go back to this home that made her feel suffocated. Wait. Sister, don't go. I really know it's wrong. This words, Jiang Huang is also stopped, she now wants to hear, this Jiang Li in the end did not recognize their own mistakes, or that. How do you know it's wrong? Seeing Jiang Huang stop, Jiang Li was also happy in her heart, thinking that Jiang Huang was coming around. I shouldn't have wronged brother Jiang He. I was really just confused for a moment. I was too afraid that brother Jiang He would steal your love for me before. Jiang Li also hurriedly explained, only, even now, Jiang Li was still excusing herself. Up to this point, Jiang Huang was also completely disappointed with Jiang Li. Jiang Li, you said that you are afraid that Jiang Yi will snatch away our love for you, but have you ever thought that these loves, originally belonged to Jiang Yi? Jiang Huang at this time has also lowered eyebrows, if she can understand this truth earlier, to Jiang Yi again better, Jiang Yi is not will not. At this time, Jiang Li was also struck by lightning, how could he not expect that Jiang Huang would actually say these words? What do you mean originally belongs to Jiang Yi? He is the one who grew up in this family. All this love, and even the whole Jiang family, should belong to him. But Jiang Li didn't show it, instead, he still looked at Jiang Huang with that pitiful look. Sister, you're right, these should have belonged to Jiang He, it's something I shouldn't have deluded myself with. Two tears crossed the corners of Jiang Li's eyes, looking as if she was lifeless. Normally at this time, Jiang Huang should have come forward to comfort him, but as time passed by, Jiang Huang did not make any move and just looked at him quietly. For a moment, Jiang Li only felt endless embarrassment. Sister, if my leaving can get you forgiveness, I can choose to leave. But before Jiang Li could finish, he was interrupted by Jiang Huang. The one you should beg for forgiveness is not me, it's Jiang He. Jiang He back then, is so kneeling in the rainy night. And all of this was caused by Jiang Li. Shouldn't he go apologize to Jiang He? Well, since my sister has said so, I will leave the Jiang family, and when brother Jiang He forgives me, I will come back. With that, Jiang Li stood up with two empty eyes and walked towards the door. Could it really be that Jiang Li has a clear conscience? Even Jiang Huan was a bit surprised when he realized that behind her, Jiang Qin and Lu Ru had already returned. In an instant, Jiang Huan understood why Jiang Li did what he did, he was just certain that Lu Ru and Jiang Qin wouldn't let him leave. While Lu Ru just wanted to say something, she was directly interrupted by Jiang Huan. You guys think about it, whether you want Xu or Jiang Li, you decide for yourselves. After saying that, Jiang Huan directly left, leaving only the three people who were silent in their place. The next afternoon after school, Jiang He just wanted to take Lu Cici to the infirmary to look for Jiang Xian's help, after all, I'm afraid that the only one who can have the ability to come up with two million dollars in one breath now is Jiang Xian. But what makes Jiang He feel surprised is that the one sitting inside the infirmary is actually an acting doctor? May I ask where the previous DR? Jiang Xian went? Could it be that Jiang Xian quit? It shouldn't be, Jiang He remembered that Jiang Xian had told him before that this was a mission sent by the school for a year. It's still early for it to end. Dr. Jiang Xian? She took a leave of absence, I just don't know how many days she'll be back. The acting doctor looked at Jiang He, and was somewhat curious about what kind of relationship Jiang He, a student, had with Jiang Xian. Taking a vacation? I see, thank you doctor. Jiang He also pondered for a moment after leaving the infirmary. Lu Cici also looked at Jiang He with some concern and said, Otherwise, it's better to give Dr. Jiang a call and ask. When these words came out, Jiang He also nodded his head, he was also thinking the same thing. But after the phone call was made, it was a long time with no one answering. It wasn't until the last moment, when the phone was about to hang up automatically, that Jiang Xian picked up the phone. Is it Jiang He? I have some things to take care of right now, so I'll talk to you slowly when I get back. After saying that, Jiang Xian directly hung up the phone, she really didn't have the time right now. 
At this time, she had already taken the airplane and returned to the capital city that she was incomparably familiar with. But all this way, she had called Jiang Bai again, but Jiang Bai up to now, hadn't taken her call again. For a time, Jiang Xian was also in a daze. Right, that bitch Lu Mu. Jiang Xian's eyes suddenly became stern and incomparable, turned around, called a car and drove towards the location where Jiang's group was located. On the other hand, Jiang He and Lu Cici sighed, after hearing Jiang Xian's voice, they also breathed a sigh of relief, as long as Jiang Xian's person is fine. As for the two million dollars, he will think of another way. Just at this time, Jiang He received a call from Zhou Ruoyan. Jiang He naturally had nothing to be afraid of, and picked it up in front of Lu Cici. In fact, Lu Cici was also a little nervous, after all, in her heart, Zhou Ruoyun is a healthy girl, unlike her. And Zhou Ruoyun is also very beautiful, even not losing to her. Everyone will have wild thoughts when facing someone they care about, and Lu Cici is naturally no exception. Only, these thoughts would make her become more and more inferior. What's wrong in this? Zhou? Jiang He still used his usual tone, which also made Zhou Ruoyun on the opposite side breathe a sigh of relief. If Jiang He had directly questioned her, she really didn't know what to say. It's MS. Lu Duor looking for you. After saying that, Zhou Ruoyun handed her cell phone to Lu Duor. This was also Jiang He's fault. The phone number he had left for Lu Duor before had been the ramen stores, which was Zhou Ruoyun's number. HM? Miss Lu? What's the matter? Jiang He also didn't know what this Lu Duor was looking for him for. Can. Can we talk about it face to face? Lu Duor actually just wanted to continue to bring Jiang He to exercise, and in the meantime, see if she could make up for what Jiang He. But Lu Duor suddenly thought of something and also said in a hurry. Bring CC with you too, I'll treat you to dinner. With these words, Jiang He naturally had little reason to refuse, after all, Lu Duor was now his biggest partner. Right. Jiang He suddenly thought of something, since Jiang Xian wasn't around, then Lu Duor was also a good person to borrow money from. Good guy, people invite you to dinner, you think of borrowing money from them right? When Zhang He took Lu Cici just out of the school gate, he was stared at by two pairs of eyes. And the people, it is Lai's father and mother. Since the last time the plan failed and was reprimanded by Zhang Li, these two people are also more cautious, and even squatted Zhang He for a week in a row, just to find Zhang He's pattern, and then take Zhang He in one fell swoop. Old. Hubby, we really have to. Mother Li's heart grew more and more fearful since she had seen the snakehead brother Zhang being arrested, after all, this was not a small fight, it was really going in. And that snakehead Zhang, because the crime is too serious, has received a peanut. What? Don't you want to take the money? Fatherly doesn't care so much, said he went up with a handkerchief stained with ecstasy and quietly came behind Zhang He and Lu Cc. Only in the next second, two big, thick hands slapped on Father Li's shoulders. At that instant, Father Li's back was also cold. When he turned back trembling, he found that Li mother had long been controlled, and the two plainclothes policemen had also long pulled out shiny handcuffs. Turning back again, Zhang He just looked at him. You. Only then did Father Li realize that his actions had long been discovered by Jiang He. And the reason why Jiang He hadn't moved for so long was to catch Father Li in the act. Ever since the last time Jiang He was threatened by Jiang Bai to take him away that time, Jiang He had noticed this man's existence. It's just that there was no substantial evidence at that time, and Jiang He couldn't do anything about him. But this time, this man, squatting him for such a long time in a row, really think he is a fool? That's why today Jiang He deliberately chose a remote path, just to lure this man out. That's what caught him in the act. Is it ecstasy? The three plainclothes policemen first cuffed both of them, then carefully put the handkerchief coated with ecstasy into the evidence bag. Alright, Jiang He student you can rest assured now, just leave it to us next. In fact, Li's father was arrested, not only because he tried to lay hands on Jiang He, but also because the snakehead Jiang, before he died, gave some lists of those who assisted in the crime, and Li's father and mother were listed. For this kind of human traffickers, even if they are just those who assisted in the crime, they will never be tolerated. This time, I am afraid that Li's father and mother will not come out so easily. But Jiang He looked at the two people who were dragged onto the police car and was also slightly deep in thought. He didn't seem to. Well, there were still quite a few people he had offended. But the one who was most likely to lay hands on him is that little beast Jiang Li. Looking at Jiang He's expression was a bit gloomy, Lu Cici was also worried and held Jiang He's hand, she was also afraid that one day Jiang He would be hurt again. I'm fine, everything is almost over. During this period of time, Jiang He had been lying flat, because he was really too tired and exhausted in his previous life, he didn't want to play that kind of game of deceit with Jiang Li again. But this time, when it was really Jiang Li behind the scenes, Jiang Yi said anything to send him in. He was just lying flat, by no means was he at the mercy of others. As for how Jiang's family looks at him, will he plead for Jiang Li, he doesn't care. Of course, this is only Jiang Yi's conjecture, but also to see Li father and mother's mouth is not strict, can pry open. 
But now, Zhang Yi is thinking about how to mention the matter of borrowing money with Lu Duor. At the same time, Zhang family villa, just returned home Zhang Li, received a message. Instantly, Zhang Li's back broke out in a cold sweat, and a coolness rushed up to the sky. Both of them were arrested by the police? With a snapping sound, Zhang Li directly slammed the cell phone in his hand. Stupid. How can I trust those two idiots? But then, Zhang Li was completely flustered. To know, he was the mastermind behind all of this, once the two of them couldn't carry on and blew him out, then he can be completely ruined. You have to know that buying a murderer is a felony. At that time, not to mention whether the Jiang family can still keep him, even the law will not let him go. No way. I can't let those two idiots give me up. After saying that, Jiang Li directly packed up and was about to go out. But when he turned around, he encountered Lu Ru who had just returned home. Instantly, Jiang Li was startled once again, but fortunately, Lu Ru didn't hear what Jiang Li just said. What's wrong? Still going out so late? Lu Ru was also very tired during this time, between Zhang Yi and Zhang Li, she was still constantly choosing. Ah, ah, I. My classmate asked me to go to his home to help him with tutoring, after all, I'm a better student. Zhang Li is not ashamed to say this, his test results, which time is not paid to cheat. That is, the C high test is more lenient, after all, can be on the C high basically are the top students, only to let Zhang Li cheating to try again and again. Once the real on the college entrance examination room, no, if Li father and mother recruited, he may not even participate in the college entrance examination. And Lu Ru did not suspect too much, after all, in her eyes, Zhang Li's results have always been good. Then go early and come back early, pay attention to safety on the road. Got it, bye mom. Once these words came out, Zhang Li also left the Zhang family in a hurry, at the same time holding a $5 million card in his hand, here was almost all of his savings. After all, even if the Jiang family is rich, it is impossible to give a high school student too much money, of course, 5 million is definitely a huge sum of money. Jiang Li is to use this 5 million, so that Li's father and mother completely shut up. Looking at Jiang Li's back, Lu Ru also sighed. But then she remembered Jiang Huan's words before. Xiao He or Jiang Li, you choose for yourselves. But how should she choose? I just don't know what Lu Ru's expression will be when she knows Jiang Li's true face, I'm sure it must be quite interesting, right? Meanwhile, Zhang Yi had already brought Lu Cici to the coffee shop designated by Lu Duor. I have to say, this coffee shop, indeed is called Brilliant, visible inside the things, is also estimated to be expensive frightening. But what Zhang Yi doesn't know is that this coffee shop is opened by Lu Duor himself, even with his old man Lu Hui, not too much to do with. Zhang Yi brought Lu Cici just into the store, there is a well-dressed waitress came forward to serve the two, I have to say, the service this piece, really nothing to say. Because of Lu Dui's previous reservation, Zhang Yi and Lu Cici sat down in a position next to the window. As for Lu Dui, it is estimated that it will take a while to arrive, after all, the ramen store to here is still quite far, but from Zhang Yi's school is quite close. Just at this moment, a somewhat plump figure appeared in front of Zhang Yi and Lu Cici. Get out of the way, don't you know this is my spot? Waiter come here for me. When these words came out, Zhang Yi also frowned slightly, what was this woman's origin? The waitress who showed Zhang Yi the way before also came to the woman with a smile on her face. But it was obvious that the waitress knew the woman in front of her. Sister Chen, what's the matter? But immediately after, what greeted the waitress was a raging storm. What do you mean? Don't you know that this seat is mine? Or are you looking down on me? The seat that Zhang Yi was sitting in was indeed the best, one could see the night view of the entire street through the glass, so it was no wonder that the woman would hog it. And the waitress still had a smile on her face in the face of the woman's difficulties. I'm sorry Sister Chen, this location was personally booked by Boss Lu, why don't I pick another good location for you? With these words, the woman also instantly wilted. She is also just borrowing Lu Duor's name to run rushout over this coffee shop, in fact, she is just one of Lu Duor's former trainees. But then she glanced at Zheng He and Lu Cici. Isn't it obvious that these are students? Could it be that this waitress was fooling her? How dare you fool me, I'm afraid these two aren't your classmates. The woman also suddenly remembered that this waitress seemed to be a part-time college student in the neighborhood. And at this time, the store manager also came out from the back kitchen, without saying a word, to the waitress as a scolding. After all, in his eyes, no matter what the reason, an important customer, can be more important than a waitress. Wait. The waitress suddenly made a stop gesture at the two of them, which also made Zhang He, who was ready to go forward to speak on the side, stop in his tracks. You two shabbies, can't you fucking understand human language? Old sow just stay properly in the pigsty, what's the point of coming out to drink coffee? And you four-eyed boy, go to the hospital if you have a head problem, don't go crazy in front of me. 
In an instant, everyone present, including Jiang he was confused. No, this sister looks gentle and soft, is her fighting strength so explosive? At this moment, the two people opposite the waitress were also cursed and confused. The four-eyed boy store manager was even half speechless. You you you, do not want to do it. At these words, the waitress instead smiled faintly. Don't you know that I'm part-time? Saying this, the waitress directly slammed the work clothes in her hand, onto the four-eyed boy store manager's face. Phew cool. His grandma, she is a college student, not an animal. You you you, get the hell out of here now. Seeing that the four-eyed boy store manager was about to get anxious, the female college student also grinned. Your auntie I want to drink coffee, just you four-eyed boy, brew me a cup to go. Hurry up. I. I'll complain if you don't go, but I know the big boss's phone number. As an internal employee, every staff member is qualified to know Lou Duor's phone number, which is Lou Duor's means of fearing that something will happen in the store. Don't you go too far. You're not going to punch me are you, I'll call the big boss now. With that, the female college student was about to call Lou Duor. In fact, she still liked Lou Duor very much, after all, Lou Duor never had any kind of stance, and it was also Lou Duor who directly called her about today's appointment. This is also the reason why this four-eyed boy store manager does not know. You fight. The boss is my cousin. I'd like to see if she listens to me or believes you. This time the four-eyed boy store manager is completely anxious. He is Lu Duor's cousin. He can't believe that Lu Duor toward an outsider. Just when the four-eyed boy store manager was smug, a voice suddenly appeared. Flush her, hurry up. Lu Duor stood in the doorway and just looked at the four-eyed boy shopkeeper. At the same time, it was already the middle of the night in the capital city. Zhang Xian was walking on the streets of the capital city, she wanted to go to Lumu earlier to find some theory, but she was directly stopped outside the door of Zhang's group. There was also the fact that her bank card was now frozen, although she had her own small treasury, she could no longer buy things without caring about the price as usual. What worries her more is still Jiang Bai. She hadn't contacted Jiang Bai again for a long time now, and had even thought about calling the police. Jiang Bai you brain dead, didn't you promise to wait for me? Zhang Xian at this time can no longer hold out, squatting alone on the street corner, tears are more unconsciously slipping down. At this time she, helpless to the extreme, body no longer half of the usual mature and stable. Zhang Bai, why in the world did you become like this ah? Uh, why ah? Uh, obviously. Obviously before is not like this. Not like this. Now Zhang Xian, even if she finds Zhang Bai, she doesn't know how to face Zhang Bai, she hates Zhang Bai for treating her so well all these years, and she is afraid that something will happen to Zhang Bai. Helplessness, remorse, filled Zhang Xian's mind. At this time, Zhang Xian suddenly thought of Zhang He, and even produced a very terrible idea. That is, if now Zhang He and her side how good. When this thought came out, Zhang Xian herself was shocked. However, now she does need a spirit to rely on, she is really too tired even if it's just a fantasy. Suddenly, in front of Jiang Xian's eyes, a familiar and incomparable figure flashed. It was Jiang Bai. Jiang Xian was instantly startled, and she also hurriedly stood up from the ground. At this time, Jiang Bai, all without the previous day's lofty, hair scattered, cannot help but give birth to a kind of bleak beauty. At this time, a few street side riding electric motorcycle young people, is also noticed the aimless Jiang Bai. A few people looked at each other, also have a heartfelt smile, after all, deal with this kind of little girl, they have a set of. Then they directly rode the electric motor to Jiang Bai's side. This little girl, do you want to? But before this little young man could finish his sentence, he was kicked several meters away. Who are you? The little young man lying on the ground continuously wailed, and the remaining few people were also looking at the visitor with a face full of horror, knowing that they had never seen anyone who could kick someone out several meters. Scram! Jiang Xian's face was full of fury at this moment, the special training she had received from the Jiang family over the years was no joke, as she had said before, dealing with a few ordinary people was still no problem, let alone a few scrawny youngsters. Instantly, several people were scared shitless by Jiang Xian's aura, they had never seen such a scary woman. So then, not even caring about the small youth on the ground, several people twisted the handle to the bottom and directly fled. And the young man on the ground is also directly dumbfounded. I haven't gotten on the car ah, I haven't gotten on the car ah. But looking at the oppressive Jiang Xian, the little young man is also broken by fear, directly lying on the ground to pretend to be dead, but the trembling body, but betrayed him. Only, Jiang Xian now also does not have the heart to care about these scum. Looking at the muddled Jiang Bai in front of him, Jiang Xian directly slapped him. With the sound of a slap, an additional slap mark also appeared on Jiang Bai's fair cheek. It could be seen that Jiang Xian was truly angered this time. What have I taught you before, you fucking forgotten haven't you? 
Jung Xian was angry that Jung Bai didn't care about her body, what if she had really been taken away by those few youngsters just now? But at this moment, Jung Bai was like a dead man, just quietly looking at Jung Xian. Speak! Mute! Jung Xian roared in a low voice at Jung Bai, but her eyes had already filled with tears. She couldn't believe that just now, if it was true. Don't need you to care. Jung Bai just said this sentence, then turned his head and left. This time, Jiang Xian was also completely flustered. She had never seen Jiang Bai in this state. I, I'm your, how come I can't care? Saying that, Jiang Xian went forward and grabbed Jiang Bai's small hand. But in the next second, it was directly thrown away by Jiang Bai. Jiang Bai had also long since burst into tears at this point, hissing at Jiang Xian. My sister doesn't want me. When these words came out, Jiang Xian also instantly froze in place, unable to speak for a long time. Jiang Bai took one last look at Jiang Xian who froze in place, turned around and left. Jiang Xian, on the other hand, still didn't make any moves. That's right, the words that severed the sisterly relationship before were said by her. At this time, Jiang Xian was also in a daze, she didn't know what kind of identity she should use to face Jiang Bai. But seeing that Jiang Bai was about to leave, Jiang Xian also had her heart crossed, no matter what, no matter what kind of identity she used, she couldn't let Jiang Bai fall so far now. Follow me. Jiang Xian stepped forward and held Jiang Bai's arm, letting Jiang Bai struggle to no avail. Where are you taking me? Let go of me. Jiang Bai frantically trying to break free, but found that Jiang Xian's force, big and scary, which also let her involuntarily recall that when she was a child, Jiang Xian then always stood up for her. Come back to the sea city with me. She wanted Jiang Bai to personally apologize to Jiang He, as for the Jiang family, if it's gone, it's gone, with her ability, she can still support one more person. Jiang Xian seems to have returned to that previous state, and has become that sister who says nothing. Again. For a time, Jiang Bai looked a little dumbfounded, she felt that the previous sister who was secure, was back again. At this time, Jiang He and Lu Cici, sitting across from each other, was none other than Lu Duor and the female college student from before. And before is also right and wrong shopkeeper, at this time is also trembling standing in front of a few people, the atmosphere do not dare to breathe, how he did not expect, this position, actually really is Lu Duor personally booked. But he is the store manager, why not speak to him, but instead speak to a waiter. No matter what, he was also Lu Duor's cousin. And that plump female customer, just when she wanted to sneak away, she was directly called by Lu Duor. Don't move, explain things clearly before you leave, otherwise, you know what the consequences are. With a cold snort, Lu Duor made that originally arrogant and incomparable woman lower her head. Although the woman had some assets, she was nothing in front of Lu Duor. What's more, what Lu Duor hated the most was dogs who bullied people because of their power. She usually never looked down on anyone because of their status, but now, this dog, actually dared to come out and bully people under her name? Simply looking for death. Sister Lu, I, I'm just ghostly and confused for a moment before. I swear. I definitely won't dare next time, so please let me off this time. The woman is also a person who knows how to judge the situation, naturally, she immediately conceded, and even wanted to publicly kneel down to Lu Duoi or several people. This also made Lu Duor and even Jiang He, Lu Cici all very speechless in the whole thing, and also hurriedly told her to get lost. After all, if this scene was exploited by someone with a heart, it would be troublesome. But I have to say, this move is indeed very clever, at least the woman's assets are preserved, is not it? So, sometimes a thick skin is still a little good. And you, you can also get lost now. Lu Duor looked at the store manager in front of her, even if this store manager was her cousin, she would never condone it. When these words came out, the four-eyed shopkeeper, too, was struck by lightning. Boss. No, cousin ah, you're joking, right? The four-eyed boy shopkeeper stiffly squeezed out a smile. I speak, are you unable to understand? Lu Duor's willow brows tightly frowned, and her voice was once again raised. Lu Duor. I'm your cousin no matter what, are you going to drive me away for an outsider? The four-eyed boy store manager, seeing that Lu Duor was really going to drive him away, was also quick to pull out his affection to kidnap Lu Duor. Instantly, many people in the store looked towards Lu Duor's side, and many of them were whispering. As for the four-eyed boy store manager, when he saw so many people around him discussing, he couldn't help but reveal a smirk. In his eyes, so what if Lu Duor was the boss, in front of so many people, she, Lu Duor, would definitely not dare to fire him as a relative. Well, from now on, you are the store manager. After saying that, Lu Duor then directly got up and removed the store manager's badge from the four-eyed boy store manager, and proceeded to bring it on for the part-time female college student just now. This time, it was the turn of the four-eyed boy store manager, no, it should be the four-eyed boy who was anxious. You you you. 
You wait for me. After saying that, the four-eyed boy left the coffee shop in a grayish manner, not even having the time to change the clothes on his body. As for who this four-eyed boy is going to look for, Lu Duor naturally knows in her heart, guessing that it's to look for her old man Lu Hui to complain. But then how to sue, also useless, this store originally belongs to her. Besides, Lu Hui will be toward who, this is not a clear-eyed people know things? It's only this four-eyed boy who can't see the situation. I'm sorry Jiang Yi, in fact, this time I'm looking for you, I want to. But when the words came to her mouth, Lu Duor was unable to say anything, after all, this was the first time she took the initiative to help a person train. Jiang Yi wouldn't think that he likes him, right? Instantly, all sorts of random thoughts filled Lu Duo's mind. M.S. Lu, I actually have one thing I want to ask you to help. Jiang Yi was the one who directly broke this embarrassment, although he didn't know what Lu Duo wanted to say to him, his main task was still to borrow two million dollars to get the orphanage through this difficult time. At the same time, Jiang Li has also come to the detention center, and Li's father and mother are locked inside. You only have 10 minutes. After saying that, the door of the detention room was closed. And when Li's father and mother saw Jiang Li arrive, it was as if they had grabbed a life-saving straw. Little Li Ah, we can all do this for. But the father of Li sold misery to half, was Jiang Li mercilessly interrupted. Then he directly took out the bank card in his pocket and handed it to Li's father. There are 5 million here. As soon as these words came out, father and mother Li's eyes changed as they looked at the bank card, and even their breathing became shortened. To know, how many people couldn't earn 5 million dollars in their entire lives? You guys should know what to do, if you give me up, we're all doomed. Zhang Li looked at the two people in front of him, who also nodded their heads. But just at the moment when father Li was about to take the bank card over, Zhang Li was jerking it and took it back. I'll keep it for you guys first, when you come out, naturally you won't be able to do without it. In fact, it is just a disguise threat, to get this 5 million dollars, you have to keep your mouth shut. And the words spoken by Li's father before are also a threat to Jiang Li. The first thing you need to do is to get a good deal of money from your family, and then you'll have to pay for it. When Jiang Yi walked out of the coffee shop, he also breathed a sigh of relief, good thing Lu Duor promised. These temporarily do not have to worry about the orphanage, just need to wait for the money earned, and then the 2 million, back to Lu Duor on the line. And stay in the coffee shop female college students, no, now should be called the female shopkeeper, looking at the location of Lu Duor sitting in a daze, always feel where the strange. Could it be that Lu Duor likes the boy just now? Thinking of this, the female college student shopkeeper also shook her head, this is so possible, it must be that she thought too much. But when Jiang Yi returned to the orphanage, he found that a familiar figure at the door. Jiang Mo? What are you doing over here so late? What time is it? What did Jiang Mo, this little girl, come to find him for? And Jiang Mo was very excited to see Jiang Yi come back and went forward. Jiang, brother Jiang Yi, can I treat you to a meal? When these words came out, Jiang Yi also pondered for a moment. At this moment, Jiang Yimo was also looking at Jiang Yi with a nervous face. In fact, this time, she came with a mission. Seeing Jiang Yi's somewhat hesitant demeanor, Jiang Mo's hidden earpiece also emitted a voice that only she could hear. Brother Jiang Yi, I only came to invite you as a friend, it has nothing to do with the Jiang family. Since Jiang Yimo had said so, Jiang Yi also nodded. Meanwhile, Jiang Huang, who was directing Jiang Yimo not far away, was relieved after hearing Jiang Yi's voice of agreement. She could tell last time that although Jiang Yi was still cold towards Jiang Yimo, he was not that annoying. Then it would be possible to use Jiang Yimo as a breakthrough. It's so late, how about tomorrow? Can't. I. I've already made a reservation. Looking at Jiang Mo's nervous appearance, Jiang Yi was also a bit puzzled, but in the end, he didn't say anything. Alright then. When Jiang Yi followed Jiang Yimo to the city center, it was already close to around 12 o'clock, but the entire night market was still crowded. It had to be said that the nightlife in High City was still quite okay. Brother Jiang He, look at this. Saying that, Jiang Yimou then handed the small flower turtle in her hand, to Jiang He with a happy face. Ah, uh, didn't we say dinner? Jiang He was also unable to hold his forehead, how come this Jiang Yimou is still as playful as before? It's just that, just play with her for a while. Jiang Huang, who was not far away, just wanted Jiang Yimou to act according to the plan, she realized that her microphone which was connected to Jiang Mo's earphone was out of power. John Huang had no choice but to silently pray that Jiang Yimou would remember to get down to business. Brother Jiang He, let's play for a while and then go, okay? Jiang Yimou was still a child after all, plus during this time, he was either in school or stuck in the Jiang family not allowed to go out. Whatever, anyway, I'll send you back at the right time, don't blame me for not reminding you then. Aha, uh -huh, I know. After saying that, 
Jiang Yemo carried the flower turtle trapped in a small transparent ball in his hand and happily strolled around. Looking at Jiang Mo's happy appearance, Jiang Huang, who was following behind the two, was still angry at first, after all, it was so hard to ask Jiang Yi out. But now Jiang Huang realized that perhaps Jiang Yemo lacks the nourishment of love just as Jiang Yi does. Yes, Jiang Yemo goes to school far away from the capital city, it's hard to come back a few times a year, and who in the Jiang family has the time to go play with her? Jiang Huang is also a long time, did not see in Jiang Yemo body like now this smile. You're in the Jiang family, no one accompanies you? Looking at Jiang Mo's excitement into such a state because of a small flower turtle, Jiang Yi also frowned. Third sister and second sister are not at home, and mom and dad are both busy, I also have to take piano lessons, art lessons, music lessons. Jiang Yemo counted, it seemed that except for the last lantern exhibition, she had been staying at Jiang's house since she came back from summer vacation and hadn't gone out again. But shouldn't vacation be a time for students to take a good rest? When these words came out, Jiang he was also silent for a moment. Oh right. Eat. Brother Jiang he come with me. Jiang Yemo suddenly remembered what Jiang Huang had explained earlier and also pulled Jiang his hand and was about to rush to the reserved restaurant. And at this time, Jiang Huang, who saw Jiang Yemo not far away remembering her previous instructions, was also relieved. It's okay okay. Just the next second, Jiang Yi pulled Jiang Yemo back, and by the way, he also removed the earphone that had been hidden in Jiang Mo's ear. Looking at the earphone in Jiang Yi's hand, Jiang Mo's little face instantly turned white, she didn't expect that this was actually discovered by Jiang Yi. Yes. I'm sorry brother Jiang Yi, I. It's okay, follow me. Jiang Yi directly interrupted what Jiang Yemo said, glanced toward the crowd not far away, then directly stomped the earphone. You open to play, don't think about anything else, understand? Jiang Yi looked at the pitiful Jiang Yemo in front of him and also sighed, today is considered as a vacation for her. And not far away, Jiang Huang also understood that everything Jiang Yi did just now was to show her. Just like this, Jiang Yi kept bringing Jiang Yemo to play until 12 o'clock. But even though an hour had passed, Jiang Yemo still couldn't get enough. Everything and everyone here was fresh and interesting in Jiang Mo's eyes. Brother Jiang He, this is for you. With that, Jiang Yemo pulled out a somewhat transparent stone from his pocket and handed it to Jiang He. What's this? The two of them just sat on a bench in the night market, and Jiang Mo's short legs just wiggled and wiggled. Jiang He raised the stone above his head, trying to see something so by the neon light. I don't know, but brother Jiang He, don't you think it's pretty? Jiang Yemo ate the colorful cotton candy in her hand, which was junk food in the eyes of Jiang's family, an existence that was never allowed to be touched. But now, she could enjoy such a big piece all by herself. Well, it's indeed beautiful. Jiang Yi also nodded, but didn't accept it. What's wrong brother Jiang Yi? Could it be that you also think? As she said that, Jiang Yemo lowered her head. She didn't dare to take out this long cherished stone at school, in front of Jiang family, because she knew that once she took it out, she would be laughed at by others, and would even be threatened to throw it away by Jiang's family. However, this stone was a unique existence in her eyes. Could it be that the only way to measure the significance of a thing is how much it is worth? Jiang Yi looked at the little girl's lost little look and also touched her little head. Don't care about what others think, including me, go be yourself, got it? Only, Jiang Yemo didn't seem to understand Jiang Yi's words, she just nodded her head as if she understood. Jiang Yi didn't expect Jiang Yemo to understand at once, but he still hoped that Jiang Yemo would not be bound by other people's eyes. Alright, don't hide, come out. As soon as these words came out, Jiang Wu Jiang Huang, who had been hiding behind a tree and slowly observing the two, also trembled slightly. Biting his lips, Jiang Huang finally chose to appear. Little Wa, sister just wanted to. Stop. I don't care what you want to do, and there's no need for you to explain to me. Jiang He also directly interrupted Jiang Huang. He was not interested in what Jiang Huang was going to say next. When you have time, bring Jiang Mo out more often, don't leave her alone at home. Looking at the somewhat nervous Jiang Mo, Jiang He also stopped saying anything and turned around to leave directly. Brother Jiang He. This time, even if Jiang Yemo shouted at him, he didn't turn back again. When he returned to the orphanage, Jiang Yi but found that Lin Ruoli that little Ninny hadn't slept yet and seemed to be waiting for him. What's wrong? What time is it and you're still not going to rest? Only, the worry on Lin Ruoli's face has long exposed her inner thoughts at this time. Brother Jiang Yi, in fact, no matter if the orphanage will be demolished or not, we will be separated one day, right? Lin Ruoli just looked at Jiang Yi, she wasn't a child anymore, these things, will always appear in front of her as she grows up. Separation, is everyone's compulsory lesson, no one can avoid it. At this moment, Jiang Yi froze as he listened to Lin Ruoli's words. He originally thought that Lin Ruoli was worried about the orphanage, 
but he didn't expect it to be. But Jiang He also understood that Lin Rory was right. Even if the orphanage was saved, how long could he stay with Lin Rory? After the college entrance exam, he would have to report to the university, and by then, if he wanted to meet again, he might. Ahem, let's talk about these later, it's raining, quickly go inside. At this time, raindrops began to fall in the dark night, under the dim light at the entrance of the orphanage, one drop at a time appeared to be a bit dazzling, which also gave Jiang He a chance to pull away from the topic. I don't want it. Lin Ruoli's eyes were glazed with tears, more dazzling than the rain. Why, must we part ways? I want to be with everyone in the orphanage, I want to be with Granny Dean, and I also want to be with you forever. Tears indisputably slipped down, speaking of the young girl's worries. At this moment, Jiang He didn't know what to say. He wanted to say some words of comfort, but to Lin Ruoli, what could it do? It would just add to the sorrow. Sorry, I'm fine, I'll go back to the house first. Lin Ruori casually wiped the tears at the corners of her eyes with the back of her white hand, turned around and went back to her room. Looking at Lin Ruori's back, the memories of those years came flooding back. Lin Ruori was the one he had watched grow up, from a little bit of a little carrot head, to the present pavilion. During this period, Jiang He always protected Lin Ruori as his younger sister, and he did. In Jiang He's eyes, Lin Ruori was his own sister, even if some misunderstandings happened during this period, this point, Jiang He never wavered. Time is like a catalyst, letting two people meet, also letting two people part. Until the next morning, Jiang Yi never saw Lin Ruoli again. Jiang Yi is not good to say anything, Lin Ruoli has grown up, these things, need her to face alone. Just these, for a young girl who just went to high school, is it too heavy? Perhaps, only Lin Ruoli herself knows. Meanwhile, Jiang Huang is still staying at the company and not going home. It's good that she has a resting place in her office, but living like this for a long time is not a solution. However, Zhang Huang didn't care much about that anymore. Pulling out her cell phone to call Zhang Zhang, Zhang Huang knew that she would have no chance to get Zhang Yi's forgiveness once he got into college. What's wrong big sister? At this moment, Zhang Zhang was practicing on the sheet music. She had already figured out that she would give up her achievements in film and television and concentrate on music. Zhang Jiang had started out in music before, but because of her haste, she opened up a path in film and television. But after this period of experience, Zhang Jiang also understood that fame and fortune were not that important to her, even if she got the position of movie queen, so what? Only by quieting her mind could she create songs that could tug at the heartstrings. Third sister, this is, perhaps, our only chance. Listening to the voice on the other end of the phone, Zhang Jiang fell into silence for a while. She understood that Zhang Huang was right, once Jiang he got into university, he would inevitably leave High City. By then, there would be no more chance to go to. Big sister, go ahead, I'll listen. But Jiang Jiang added another sentence. The premise is, don't hurt Xiao He anymore. When these words came out, both of them fell into a moment of silence, and at the same time, they secretly nodded in their hearts. Don't worry, it won't. What several people did not know was that Jiang Zi had also returned. Jiang Zi came back this time because she wanted to see Jiang He one last time. Because, she had decided to go abroad. At the same time, also wanted to see the Jiang family, whether it has will make changes. When Jiang Zi came to the Jiang family villa, she happened to run into Lu Ru who was just about to go out. Little. Xiao Zi. Lu Ru looked at her second daughter in front of her at this time, simply could not believe her eyes. But Jiang Zi's next words were like a pot of cold water, splashing on Lu Ru's head. Has little Wu gone home yet? When these words came out, the air was a bit silent. Lu Ru just wanted to say something but was directly interrupted by Jiang Zi. You don't need to say, I know. Then Jiang Zi looked at the Jiang family villa in front of her again and opened her mouth. This time I came back because I want to tell you guys something in person, I'm going abroad. As soon as these words came out, Lu Ru was also startled violently, and hurriedly pulled Jiang Zi's arm with a deadly grip. No. No way. I don't agree. Why do you want to go abroad? Lu Ru understood that once Jiang Zi went abroad, it would be difficult to meet. But Jiang Zi just shook her head, she came back this time, just to inform. Whether they will agree or not, she will leave. Suddenly, Jiang Zi received a call from Jiang Huang. I, listening to the voice on the other end of the phone, Jiang Zi was also in a choice. She didn't want to bother Jiang He anymore because she knew that Jiang He was already hurt. However, she really wanted to. Let me think about it. After saying that, Jiang Zi hung up the phone. Sorry, I have to go. After taking one last look at Lu Ru again, Jiang Zi stopped speaking and turned away from Lu Ru's bondage. Looking at Jiang Zi's departing back, Lu Ru could no longer hold on, squatting and sitting on the ground with tears streaming down her face. 
Why in the world is this ah? Why are all leaving me? But what caused all this is not at precisely Lu Ru's own. Eccentricity and prejudice are Lu Ru's murder weapon, and Lu Ru is the real murderer. At this time, walking on the street Zhang Zi, looking at the sight of the crowd coming and going, she once again thought of that pair of siblings living in Dali. The living conditions of the two are not good, not even blood relations, but regard each other as the most important family. And the Jiang family was obviously living in affluence, yet they had turned into what they were today. Little Wa, what should my sister do? Jiang Zi for a moment, is also caught in the choice of life. She could choose to go abroad directly and never bother Jiang He again. But in that case, she was afraid that she would never get Jiang He's forgiveness in her life. Yes, how do I deserve to get Xiao Yi's forgiveness? Jiang Zi smiled self-deprecatingly, then placed the folding drawing board in her bag on the street and began to draw portraits for free for the pedestrians passing by. Also take advantage of this time to think about what exactly she should do. Suddenly, a silhouette seemed to recognize Jiang Zi, immediately squeezing through the crowd and rushing to Jiang Zi. You are, teacher Jiang Zi. After confirming that it was Jiang Zi herself, Zhu Xian was even more excited to the point of being unable to speak. That's right, this girl was Lu Cici's best friend from before, Chu Xian. It was only that Chu Xian was an art student and had gone to take the art exam during this period of time, which was why she hadn't appeared. Hello. And Jiang Zi also smiled, she was also often recognized now and was already used to it. After slowing down for a while, Chu Xian was able to speak normally. One must know that Jiang Zi could now be considered the modern art world, the leader of the younger generation. How many people wanted to visit Jiang Zi? but didn't have the chance, because Jiang Zi simply didn't have a fixed location. Today she might be in high city, tomorrow she might go to another city. I, can I have an autograph? As soon as these words came out, Zhu Xian also looked at Jiang Zi with a face full of anticipation. However, Jiang Zi shook her head. I'm not a star, so forget about the signature, I'll draw you a portrait. After saying that, Jiang Zi made Zhu Xian sit down in front of her. Ah, ah, really? Teacher Jiang Zi I'm not dreaming. Chu Xian simply couldn't believe it, if this matter was known by those of her art exam classmates, they wouldn't die of envy. I'm afraid that even the invigilator, would have to be nonchalant. Just a moment. After saying that, Jiang Zi entered the unique state of painting, devoting herself wholeheartedly. It had to be said that Jiang Zi's basic skills could be described as very solid, and her use of the paintbrush had already been perfected. In less than 10 minutes, a marvelous portrait was completed. Looking at herself in the drawing board, Zhu Xian's admiration for Zhang Zi could be said to be on a higher level. Alas, it would be good if CC was also there. Zhu Xian sighed, this opportunity can be said to be once in a million years, if Lu CC is also there, let teacher Zhang Zi help paint a picture how good it should be. When these words came out, Zhang Zi was also instantly startled, but still asked uncertainly. The CC you said, is it Lu CC? And listening to Zhang Zi's words, Zhu Xian was also startled. You also know CC? It really was Lu CC, Xiao Yi's girlfriend. Instantly, Jiang Zi's breathing turned heavy, this counted, a really good opportunity. Looking at the phone in her cell phone where Jiang Huang had just called, Jiang Zi also stopped hesitating. She was going to try one last time. Little Wa, my sister just wants, to make you no longer hate me. At this time, Jiang Zi no longer had the luxury of hoping that Jiang He could forgive her. After determining the time of the next meeting with Chu Xian and making sure to bring Lu Cici, Zhang Zi also called Zhang Huang. Okay, I'll see you in a while. After hanging up the phone, Zhang Zi looked up at the somewhat gloomy sky, the rain last night did not seem to satisfy these dark clouds in the sky. Perhaps a bigger rainstorm was brewing. When the three people sat down face to face again, a sense of heaviness, immediately surged into the hearts of the three people. Obviously not long ago, several people were all living in the Zhang family, but now the entire Zhang family. This is our last chance, no matter if we succeed or not, we can't bother Xiao Yi anymore. Zhang Huang, who was the eldest sister, took the lead to break this silence. Once these words came out, Zhang Zi and Zhang Jiang both nodded. By the way, is Zhang Li now, still in the Zhang family? Zhang Zi looked at the two people in front of her, she knew that several people might not be willing to face Zhang Li's matter. After all, the three of them, before, but in order to protect Jiang Li, they did a lot of excessive things to Jiang He. Jiang Huang was silent for a moment, and finally spoke the truth about what happened years ago, after all, none of them were there when Jiang Li was revealed at that time. In fact, before Xiao He stole my jewelry, she was framed, and the person who framed Xiao He was Jiang Li. Once these words came out, the two people on the opposite side were also directly dumbfounded. Big sister, you. What did you say? Of course, it was still Jiang Jiang who was the most surprised. 
In fact, although she knew that Jiang Li was not the one who saved her, she did not say anything because of that. But now, Jiang Huang actually said that Jiang Li falsely accused Jiang He of stealing jewelry. I, I was before. Jiang 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 desperately covered her mouth, not wanting to let herself cry out, but tears were still sliding down her cheeks. Before I, for Jiang Li, I almost made a move against Chao He. I, Jiang He had returned to the Jiang family once before, and she was about to teach Jiang He a lesson because she couldn't stand to see what he did to Jiang Li. But now it seems that she is simply, simply an animal. At this time, Jiang Huang also stood up and went forward to embrace Jiang Jiang into her arms. She, at first, was equally hard to accept when she learned the truth of the matter. After all, no matter what, they had really spoiled Jiang Li as their own brother for so many years. Even when Jiang Yi, the real brother, returned home, they still didn't drive away Jiang Li, still as usual. But now, big sister, I, am I really, really unable to be forgiven by little Wa? Jiang Jiang hugged Jiang Huang in front of her tightly, and in her voice, it was full of choking. I don't know. At this time, Jiang Huang was equally incomparably confused. What she did back then was even more excessive than Jiang Jiang. By the way, do mom and dad know about this? Are they going to kick Jiang Li out? Jiang Jiang wiped the tears from the corner of her eyes and asked Jiang Huang. They know. Jiang Huang didn't go on to say the next words, but the two could guess. Why? Jiang Jiang also stood up abruptly, his eyes filled with anger. Is it for that bullshit Jiang family reputation? I'm going to find them now. With that, Jiang Zi was about to get up and go find Jiang Qin Lu Ru to ask for clarification. Don't go, it's useless. When Jiang Huang said this, Jiang Jiang also froze in place. Yes, it's fruitless. Just why, it was so hard for her, so hard that it was hard to breathe. Jiang 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 could hardly imagine how Jiang Yi had spent this year, in the Jiang family. And the three of them, the same culprits for all this. Jiang Zi looked at the people coming and going outside the window, unconsciously placing her hand on the glass, feeling the slight coolness coming from the glass. Xiao He, will you really, forgive us? If they could cherish this love of Jiang He at that time, how good it would be. May everyone, cherish love. At the same time, Jiang Qin, who had just returned to the Jiang family villa, found Lu Ru at the door. What's wrong? Looking at Lu Ru whose eyes were red and swollen, Jiang Qin was also frowning. What in the world had happened? Xiao. Xiao Zi is going abroad. Lu Ru's voice with a sobbing tone, grasping Jiang Qin's shoulder hand, are trembling. When these words came out, Jiang Qin also fell into silence. Let's go, all of them. I'll see what else they can get up to after leaving the Jiang family. In Jiang Qin's eyes, over the years, the achievements of the others were all inseparable from the Jiang family. But he had already forgotten that when Jiang Zi wanted to take the painter's path, he was the one who had been opposing it. Even Jiang Jiang was, at that time Jiang Qin also tried his best to stop. After all, in his opinion, these are useless things. Just wait, the orphanage will be demolished soon, and then Jiang he will come back to beg us. But Jiang Qin suddenly thought of something and turned around to leave. I'll personally go to the scene, I'll let that kid know that leaving my Jiang family, he doesn't even have a place to stay. And Lu Ru just wanted to say something, but when the words reached her mouth, she couldn't say anything. This will indeed make Jiang Yi hate them, but this is also, the only way to let Jiang Yi go home. Lu Ru was still fantasizing that when Jiang Yi went home, Jiang Zi and the girls would also return, and the Jiang family would still be as lively as usual. At this time, Jiang Yi, who is still packing up at school and preparing to go back, is completely unaware that Jiang Qin has already followed the staff of the government welfare organization to the orphanage. Mr. Jiang, isn't it not good to do this? It was still the same three staff members who had paid a visit earlier. They actually didn't quite understand why Jiang Qin was so obsessed with this orphanage, but Jiang Qin had, after all, contributed a great deal to this social welfare program, and it could be said that more than half of the funds were donated by Jiang Qin. What's wrong with it? Is it bad for those orphans to merge earlier? This place is so far away from the school, and the conditions are also very average, is it not good to pick them up earlier and still enjoy more benefits? When these words came out, the three staff members also nodded, what Jiang Qin said was indeed reasonable, by picking up these children to the orphanage in the city earlier, they would also be able to enjoy better accommodation as well as education. But there was still one staff member who said, but, we previously promised Granny Dean that we would give them two months in the orphanage. But before the staff member could finish his words, he was interrupted by Jiang Qin. Do you think that an old lady can really come up with two million dollars? With these words, the staff member also fell into silence. Indeed, not to mention an old lady, even a young man like him, wanting to gather two million in a short period of time was almost impossible, unless a loan was taken out. 
However, the security deposit required by the government cannot be paid in the form of a loan. This is because this security deposit is supposed to guarantee the quality of life for the children in the orphanage. All right then. When the few people appeared at the entrance of the orphanage, the dean's granny, however, had already been waiting at the entrance. Seemingly, she had already expected it. Mr. Jung, goodbye. At these words, Jung Chin also stepped forward with some embarrassment. Granny Dean, how have you been doing all this time? After all, at that time, Jiang Yi was the one who Jiang Qin personally picked up, and it was also Granny Dean who personally did the formalities for Jiang Yi, so the two naturally knew each other. And why Jiang Qin was embarrassed, naturally, before, he had signed a guarantee that their Jiang family would not treat Jiang Yi poorly, and this was what every family that wanted to adopt, or take away their own child, had to sign. However, Jiang Yi is now actually back to the orphanage, even with his toes to think, also understand, Jiang Yi this year, in the Jiang family is not good. You should ask, if Jiang Yi has had a good time. In the tone of the dean's mother-in-law, there was a questioning as well as anger, which also startled the several staff members at the side. You have to know that Granny Dean basically never gets angry, unless, looking at the skeptical eyes of the few people beside him, Jiang Qin couldn't help but be flustered. But after all, Jiang Qin was someone who had seen great storms, and quickly stabilized again. Let's talk about this matter later, we came here today to talk about the orphanage. He just didn't believe that the old lady in front of him could take out two million dollars. Granny Dean, this is also for the good of the children. Don't you want them to have a better life? It had to be said that Zhang Qin's moral kidnapping tactics did have a knack. In a few words, she pressed the problems in the children's lives onto the head of the dean's mother-in-law, as if as long as the dean's mother-in-law didn't agree, she just didn't want the children to have a better life. Let's do it this way, I'll give you one day to think about it, and we'll come back tomorrow. This one day's time was naturally reserved for Jiang Yi, for Jiang Yi to beg him. Just as Jiang Qin was about to leave, a voice appeared in his ears like thunder. Wait. Only to see Jiang Yi step forward, directly ignoring Jiang Qin and coming to the three staff members behind him. This is two million dollars in here, you guys can check it now. With that, Jiang Yi handed over the card in his hand. At this moment, several staff members also looked at each other in disbelief, and Jiang Qin was even filled with shock. This this this, how is this possible? You're a student, how can you have so much money? Zhang Qin grabbed the bank card in Zhang He's hand and immediately called the bank. And Zhang He looked at the exasperated Zhang Qin in front of him and couldn't help but let out a light laugh. Mr. Zhang, do you want to check again if these are stolen by me? But Zhang He also suddenly reacted, why was Zhang Qin here? What? There really are two million dollars? Are you guys mistaken? Zhang Qin had trouble accepting it for a while. How could he not expect that Jiang Yi could really come up with the two million dollars? But Jiang Yi is just a student, what big shot can he know? Or was it a loan? But as soon as this idea appeared, it was negated by Jiang Qin. Jiang Yi was just a student, how could the bank give him a loan? Even if it was one of those black net loans online, it was impossible to come up with so much money at once. How could you possibly come up with so much money? It's impossible. Suddenly, Jiang Qin looked like he was sure of something. It must be from your three sisters. At the end of the day, it's still up to our Jiang family. When these words came out, Jiang Yi was also almost angry and laughed. No, Jiang Qin are you brain dead? Do you think Laozi will go to your Jiang family? Really, no one would take him, Jiang Qin, as mute if he didn't speak. You you you. Jiang Qin was also angry enough by Jiang Yi for a while, this kid actually dared to scold him in front of so many people. He is. You what you? By the way, what are you doing here? Jiang Yi frowned slightly and just looked at Jiang Qin. Instantly, Jiang Qin also couldn't help but panic, he didn't expect Jiang Yi to come back so early today. This matter, it's you who messed up, right? Jiang Yi also probably guessed it. No wonder last time at the Lantern Fair, when facing Jiang Qin, he always looked like he had a plan and was sure that he would return to the Jiang family of his own accord. It turned out that he was waiting for him here. Jiang Qin, we severed our relationship long ago, there's no need to engage in these cheap tactics, right? Zhang Yi really didn't know what was going on in Zhang Qin's head. To actually use this kind of cheap tactics to threaten him to return to the Zhang family. But isn't Zhang Qin the most disgusted with him? Isn't his leaving just what he wants? You still have the nerve to say that. Zhang Qin was already infuriated at this time, anyway, everything he did was for the Zhang family, he was never wrong. If it wasn't for you. Stop stop stop. Zhang Qin just wanted to blame everything on Zhang He, then he was interrupted by Zhang He. Are you trying to say again that if it wasn't for me, Zhang Zi and the girls wouldn't have left? Zhang He knew that Zhang Qin would say these words. 
Once these words came out, Zhang Qin was also stuck in his throat, unable to say anything. Mr. Zhang, since the deposit is in place, we'll go back first. But before leaving, the kind of surprised gaze that several staff members looked at him still made Zhang Qin's heart clench for a moment. I. Zhang Qin still wanted to explain something, but in the end, he had nothing to say. Zhang Qin, why exactly do you want me to go back? Aren't you guys happy without me? Zhang He really couldn't figure it out. He really wanted to ask Zhang Qin what exactly he was thinking. You are my son, and even more so, a part of the Zhang family, living in an orphanage every day, what does it look like? Zhang Qin said it with such righteousness that he almost even believed himself. But Zhang Yi wasn't that stupid lack who believed whatever Zhang family members said in the beginning, and directly snorted out a laugh. Not Zhang Qin, what you said, do you believe it yourself? Also his son, when that severance agreement, can be he personally signed. That more than a year, Zhang Qin's disregard and prejudice towards him, Zhang Yi but more than anyone is clear, now say that he is his son? Doesn't he, Zhang Qin, find it funny himself? You're actually afraid that the fact that I'm the Zhang family's true young master, yet I'm living in an orphanage will be exposed, and will damage the Zhang family's reputation, right? When these words came out, Zhang Qin was also stunned. You. What nonsense are you saying? How could I possibly? Alright, alright, hurry up and get lost, don't bother my life anymore, you don't want me to blow up everything that happened before, right? Zhang He knew that what Zhang Qin cared most about was the reputation of the Zhang family. And now, he is not Zhang Qin's opponent, he can only use this as a threat. You. Very well. When you come crying to beg me, don't regret what you say now. After saying that, Zhang Qin then directly turned around and left. And at this time, Zhang He also received a call from an unfamiliar number. When Zhang He connected, it was Lu Ru's voice. Little. Xiao He, I'm Mama, have you been doing well recently? At this time, Lu Ru does not know that Zhang He has already recognized Zhang Qin's trick, and even made up the 2 million deposit. She now thought that Zhang He didn't know anything, and was now raising money all over the place to keep the orphanage. At this time, she called Zhang He just to remind Zhang He of the Zhang family, and then, of course it's good, I simply don't feel too comfortable without your Zhang family bothering me. Zhang He didn't hang up the phone the first time, he just wanted to see, what kind of calculations Lu Ru was playing. Is. Yes. Lu Ru was also a bit embarrassed for a while, but still said to Zhang He on the other end of the phone. Little Wa, I. I heard that your orphanage is going to be demolished recently, do you need mom's help? But before Lu Ru could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Jiang He. Where did you hear that from? Jiang He said somewhat playfully, he wanted to see what lies Lu Ru could pull. It's. It's what was recently reported on TV. At this time, Lu Ru has been a bit flustered. She is afraid that Jiang He already knows something, and will hate her at that time. I think it's Jiang Qin who told you. Jiang He was also unapologetic, directly tearing apart Lu Ru's hypocritical cover. Instantly, Lu Ru on the opposite side, after hearing these words, her body trembled violently, even her cell phone almost didn't hold it steady and nearly fell on the ground. Little. Xiao He, you. You know it all? Seeing that it was impossible to continue to hide, Lu Ru didn't pretend to be stupid anymore, only that her heart had already panicked. She didn't expect that Zhang He actually knew the truth of this matter so quickly. Xiao He, as long as you are willing to go home, not to mention 2 million, is 4 million, 10 million, mom will also give you. Lu Ru until now, still thinks that Zhang He is worrying about the orphanage. She also can't care that much anymore, as long as Zhang He is willing to go home, she has hoped to make up for her love for Zhang He. That's really thanks to Aunt Lu, but no, I've already paid the deposit. After saying that, Zhang He then directly hung up the phone, and then took a long breath of relief. Why do you have to wait until you can't keep it, only people no regret. Zhang He was not a cold-blooded animal, he had fantasized countless times before that Zhang's family would be good to him, would treat him as a loved one. Even sometimes dreaming of these, dreaming of Lu Ru who is gentle to him, Zhang Qin who is strict but kind to him, and the three sisters who always spoil him. Whenever he dreamed of these, he did not even want to wake up, because he knew that once he woke up, these will all be in vain. Yes, people always do not know how to cherish. At the same time, is the Zhang family Villa Lu Ru, has been completely dumbfounded, dumbfounded standing in place, a long time not able to come back to God. Until Zhang Qin appeared, Lu Ru also can no longer hold back, went forward to desperately slap Zhang Qin. It's all your fault, it's all your fault. Looking at Lu Ru's tearful appearance, Zhang Qin for a moment, also do not know what to say, just let Lu Ru padding. Uhu, little will must hate us now. Until there was no more strength, Lu Ru sat down on the ground, tears constantly smashing on the ground. She now really regretted, why did not stop Zhang Qin at first? 
However, in this world, where is the medicine for regret? Don't cry, there will still be a way. Jiang Qin saw that Lu Ru had already cried into a tearful person, and also went forward to softly comfort. What way? You say it. Lu Ru's voice was already hoarse, she really didn't know how to make Jiang Yi come back. This way, when Jiang Yi finishes the college entrance exam, we'll organize a promotion banquet for him, and at the same time tell everyone that Jiang Yi is the true young master of our Jiang family, Jiang Li's twin brother. By then everyone will know, Jiang Yi will come back even if it's for his own face. But Lu Ru was shaking her head. Little Wu won't care. Lu Ru knew that Zhang Yi was not the kind of person that Zhang Qin was dead set on losing face. Enough. What I say is what I say. I just don't believe that Zhang Yi he can refuse. Zhang Qin thought right, in any other person, he would not refuse, after all, the Zhang family is an absolute behemoth in the sea city. But only, Zhang Yi will. A hurt person, and how would, care about this? Zhang Yi, where did all this money come from? The dean's mother-in-law waited until Jiang Yi hung up the phone before she came forward to ask. To be honest, even she was a bit skeptical about where Jiang Yi got this money from, after all, two million is really not a small amount. Cough cough, borrowed from a friend, but dean, don't worry, I'll be able to pay back this money soon. This is not Jiang Yi bragging, now Zhou Ruoyan's ramen restaurant is ready to open a second one, and there are quite a few admiring partners. Originally, Jiang Yi wanted Jiang Xian to help him keep an eye on it, but I don't know why, Zhang Xian has not come back until now. Right, there's also this bank card, Dean, you can take it back with confidence. Saying that, Zhang Yi then stuffed the bank card that the Dean's mother-in-law had $1,800,000 stored and was going to leave for the children back into the Dean's mother-in-law's hand. Then she turned around and ran away, not giving the Dean's mother-in-law a chance to speak. But Zhang Yi just ran to the corner, and bumped into Lin Ruoli who had been eavesdropping. At this moment, Lin Ruori had long since burst into tears after learning that the orphanage wouldn't be demolished. Don't cry, didn't I say before, just leave this matter to me? Jiang he said with a smile, and just wanted to touch Lin Ruori's little head, but his hand stopped in midair. He only remembered now that Lin Ruori had already grown up and it would be inappropriate to do so again, so he withdrew his hand. And when Lin Ruori saw this scene, she couldn't help but feel a trace of loss rise within her heart. After she went to high school, she hated when Jiang Yi touched her head, thinking that Jiang Yi still treated her as a child. But now, it was already begging to be done. I'm going back to the house. After saying that, Lin Ruorui casually wiped her tears, turned around and left. Regardless of the final outcome, she would cherish the time she spent with Jiang Yi, even if it was already counting down. Rest early, don't stay up late. Jiang Yi wanted to say something, but in the end, he shook his head and just told her not to stay up too long studying. Meanwhile, Lu Cici who had just returned home, the doorbell rang. Cici you go open the door. Mother Lu was preparing dinner, so she asked Lu Cici to help open the door. The moment Lu Cici opened the door, she was also very surprised. Xin Xin. That's right, the person who came was exactly Lu Cici's good best friend, Chu Xin. Chu Xin also went forward and hugged Lu Cici in her arms. Ooh, did you miss me, sissy? I missed you to death. Chu Xin's eyes were moist. During this period of time, she thought about Lu Cici almost every day, but she could only chat with Lu Cici through her cell phone. Is Xin her here? Just in time to eat together. Lu mother also wiped her hands and said to Chu Xin. Lu's father also went forward to clean up the table and added a pair of chopsticks for Chu Xin at the same time. After all, Chu Xin had known Lu Cici from a very early age and had often come to Lu Cici's house to dine with her, so Lu father and Lu mother were also very welcoming. They were naturally happy that Lu Cici could have a genuine friend. He he he, then I'll trouble uncle and auntie. What a thing to say, quickly sit down, it'll be ready in a moment. After saying that, mother Lu rejoined the kitchen. Soon after, when the dishes were served, the several people also took their seats in turn. Xinxin, how did the art exam go? Saying this, Lu Cici looked at Chu Xian somewhat nervously. When these words came out, Chu Xian also smiled faintly. Third in the entire high city. Chu Xian's talent was still very high, coupled with very hard work, it wasn't very surprising that she was able to rank so high. Hearing this, Lu Cici also let out a sigh of relief. That's good then. Lu Cici was also afraid that Chu Xian would lose the election and had been worried for a long time before, but now that the dust had settled, she was relieved. What, you still don't believe in my strength? Chu Xian gently nudged Lu Cici's forehead. By the way, Cici, uncle, and aunt, guess who I met on my way back? Chu Xian looked at the several people with some excitement. I met teacher Zhang Zi. Teacher Zhang Zi even drew a portrait of me. When these words came out, Lu Cici was a bit puzzled, because she didn't know Zhang Zi, 
but rather Jiang Yi had a sister before, who seemed to be named Jiang Zi, but it shouldn't be such a coincidence. Jiang Zi? That young leader of the painting world? Lu's father and mother had heard of it. Right now, Jiang Zi could be called the undisputed leader, and even some of the older painting masters had to recognize Jiang Zi's status. Yes, yes. Teacher Jiang Zi is really super nice. There's no shelf at all, and I heard that she even donated all the money from selling her paintings to welfare organizations before. Saying that, Zhu Xian's little face was filled with admiration for Jiang Zi. Right, CC, MS. Jiang Zi said she wanted to meet you, did you know MS? Jiang Zi a long time ago? Zhu Xian looked at Lu Cixi with a face full of anticipation, if Lu Cixi really knew Jiang Zi, then wouldn't she be able to ask Jiang Zi about painting? Ah, uh, I, I don't know her ah. Uh. Lu Cixi was also full of doubts, she indeed didn't know Jiang Zi ah, uh. then why did Jiang Zi want to see her? Or is this Jiang Zi, Jiang Yi's sister? Ah, uh, Cixi you really don't know teacher Jiang Zi? Then why? At this moment, Zhu Xian was also a bit puzzled. Why don't we go and meet tomorrow? What if you're the one who remembered it wrong? After all, this kind of opportunity could not be missed, and Chu Xian also wanted Jiang Zi to leave a portrait for Lu Cixi. Then, well, since Chu Xian had opened her mouth, she couldn't refuse. Besides, it didn't necessarily mean that it was really Jiang Yi's sister, it might just be a coincidence. Lu Cixi did meet one of Jiang Yi's sister, it was called Jiang Huang it seems, but she didn't have a good impression of Jiang Huang. After all, they treated Jiang Yi so well before, how could Lu Cixi feel good about them? So, until the next day, Xu Xian waited for Lu Cixi at the school entrance early. Mr. Jiang Yi, borrow your little girlfriend for a while. After saying that, she directly pulled Lu Cixi away. Lu Cixi originally thought to wait until before departure to explain to Jiang Yi, but now Lu Cixi didn't have that chance at all, and was pulled away by Xu Xian. HM? Xu Xian? At this time, Jiang Yi was also confused. But since it was Lu Cixi's BFF, he couldn't say anything. It was just that he didn't know what Chu Xian was taking Lu Cixi to. Forget it, let's wait until tomorrow to ask. Zhang Yi also had to go to the ramen restaurant to help, after all, now the ramen restaurant can be said to be very busy, basically every day will be bursting orders, sometimes two stores at the same time cannot be busy. Lu Cixi is not good, after all, this silly girl, every time have to help his favor, let him how to say cannot be. At the same time, Zhang Zi, Zhang Jiang, Zhang Huang several people, already in the booked restaurant waiting for Lu Cixi's arrival. Don't say you're Zhang Yi's sister later on, got it? Zhang Huang said to Zhang Zi. Because before, she tried to ask Lu Cixi out but she was rejected directly by Lu Cixi. So she guessed that Lu Cixi must have known something that made her so hostile to her. I know, you two hurry up and hide. Zhang Zi was also somewhat speechless as she looked at the two behind her, didn't she say that she would be fine on her own? must follow over. When Lu Cixi and Chu Xian appeared in the restaurant, Zhang Zi was also instantly nervous. This was the first time she had seen Zhang Yi's girlfriend. Teacher Zhang Zi. Chu Xian was instead very generous and went up to greet Zhang Zi. Is this Lu Cixi? Zhang Zi was also quick to invite the two to take a seat. Hello, I'm Lu Cixi. Lu Cixi also introduced herself briefly to Zhang Zi, but now she had begun to doubt Zhang Zi's true identity, after all, she was certain that she didn't recognize this woman after meeting Jiang Zi. Then what purpose did this woman have in coming to her? Quickly, please sit down quickly. Jiang Zi thought about how to pull away from the topic when Chu Xian spoke out and asked. Teacher Jiang Zi, how did you come to know CC? Chu Xian was really interested in this matter, her two big eyes blinking and blinking as she looked at Jiang Zi. When these words came out, Jiang Zi was also startled and hurriedly explained. It's just that it feels quite faithful. I also have a friend named CC. Last time I heard you mention these two words, so I thought of meeting up. Jiang Zi also reacted quickly. She absolutely could not be exposed now. Really? Really such a coincidence. Chu Xian was naturally defenseless against Jiang Zi, foolishly believing it. Right CC, can I paint a portrait of you? Jiang Zi also directly took out a drawing board, wanting to use this to increase the distance between her and Lu CC. The two of them, Zhang Jiang and Zhang Huang, who were not far away, also looked at each other. Is second sister okay? Zhang Jiang said to Zhang Huang with some worry. It shouldn't be a problem, after all, Lu Cixi hasn't seen Xiao Zi. Even if Zhang Yi had told Lu Cixi about these things, Zhang Huang did not think that Lu Cixi would be able to notice. As long as they got on good terms with Lu Cixi step by step, and then confessed their relationship with Zhang Yi when the time came, Lu Cixi would definitely help them. With Lu Cixi's relationship, even if Jiang He is reluctant, he won't avoid them, and then they will have a chance to fight for Jiang He's forgiveness. 
Even, letting Jiang He go home is not impossible. This time, they put all their expectations on Jiang Zi. After all, this was indeed a once-in-a-lifetime good opportunity. At this time, Jiang Zi had already finished her portrait of Lu Cixi, and then handed it to Lu Cixi. After Lu Cixi took it, she also said thank you. Seeing that Lu Cixi did not look skeptical, Jiang Zi was also relieved. But suddenly, Lu Cixi looked straight at Jiang Zi and asked, You are actually Jiang Yi's sister, right? When these words came out, Jiang Zi instantly froze in place. Even Jiang Huang and Jiang Jiang, who were not far away, were startled violently. I. For a while, Jiang Zi was also at a loss as to what to say. Only Chu Xian was still looking at the two in a daze. What did it mean? Could teacher Jiang Zi be Jiang Yi's sister? CC, I don't mean to deceive you, can you listen to my explanation first? Jiang Zi also stood up directly and looked at Lu Cixi with a face full of anxiety. She was truly surprised that she was actually discovered by Lu Cixi so quickly. I have no intention of blaming you. Lu Cixi shook her head, she indeed did not mean to blame Jiang Zi. I, I just want to ask little Wu to give me a chance to redeem myself through you, Cixi. Suddenly, Jiang Zi fiercely stepped forward to hold Lu Cixi's small hand, her eyes full of pleading. Cixi, help your sister this time. Jiang Zi is also really anxious, she knows that if this time is not successful, the next time you want to ask Lu Cixi out, it will be difficult. Looking at Jiang Zi's pleading look, Lu Cixi just shook her head. Why? Could it be that? Don't you want Jiang Yi to return to his own home and feel the warmth of affection again? Seeing Lu Cixi's refusal, Jiang Zi's breathing intensified quite a bit, her eyes were even flooded with tears, she really wanted to be good to Jiang Yi again. Not really, on the contrary, I very much hope that brother Jiang Yi can have a home of his own. Lu Cixi also looked at Jiang Zi in front of her and said word by word. Then why? But before Jiang Zi could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Lu Cixi. Brother Jiang he actually desires affection more than anyone else. Lu Cixi's eyebrows lowered. How could she not see that Jiang He that buried in the bottom of the heart of the sadness? That kind of deep bone marrow sadness, and how can it be easily erased? Jiang He used to have more expectations on affection, now there is more disappointment, even despair. This also made Jiang He lose his ability to love and be loved for a while after he was reborn, he even had no feeling for life, which is why he thought of dying when he was kicked by Jiang Qin and spit out blood before. As Jiang He's brother's former sister, you should definitely understand Jiang He's brother better than I do. Once these words came out, Jiang Zi also fell into silence, the hand that was holding Lu Cixi tightly, also quietly loosened. Yes, how could she not understand, Jiang Yi's current state, how could she not know, Jiang Yi has been disappointed in them. But people are like this, even if there is only a sliver of hope, they have to try desperately. How could Jiang Zi not be? One drop, two drops. Crystalline tears, crossing Jiang Zi's cheeks, dripped down into the teacup in front of Jiang Zi, making a crisp sound. CC, please, help me, okay? Even if it's just once. Just once. Jiang Zi was thinking all the time, if she could have said a word for Jiang He when Jiang Li intentionally smashed that puppet, even if it was just one word, Jiang He wouldn't have turned into what he is today. But what Jiang Zi didn't think about is that if Jiang He didn't care anymore, how would she have thought about that? And how could she feel that she did wrong? If Jiang He didn't leave the Jiang family, perhaps, their attitude towards Jiang He would still be the same as before. Would they have noticed their favoritism and prejudice towards Jiang He? Obviously not. Looking at the sobbing Jiang Zi in front of her, Lu Cixi just sighed. Perhaps Jiang Zi really wanted to be nice to Jiang He at this time, and was really trying to get Jiang He's forgiveness. However, the current Jiang He no longer needed these. Late affection, no, should it be late affection twice, can it still be considered affection? The first time, Jiang Yi had already given the Jiang family a chance, even if he had been an orphan for 16 years, he had never resented the Jiang family. But this time, Jiang Yi will never turn back. I'm sorry. After saying these words, Lu Cixi got up and left her seat, then walked towards the door of the restaurant. And at this moment, Chu Xian was already completely confused. No, this teacher Jiang Zi, is really Jiang Yi's sister? And the words just now, what forgiveness, what regret, what is all about ah? Cici wait for me. Chu Xian saw Lu Cici leaving and also hurriedly got up to follow. In Chu Xian's eyes, Lu Cici is still more important after all. The two Jiang Huang and Jiang Jiang, who were not far away, saw that Jiang Zi was about to break down and also hurriedly went forward to comfort her. Big sister, it's all my fault, I clearly know that Shouti cares the most about that puppet. As expected, in Jiang Zi's heart, she always holds a grudge against that puppet. Little Wa, you obviously have promised sister that you will take it obviously promised her, why, 
put the puppet back to its original position. Put the puppet back in its place, take back your love. Looking at Jiang Zi's crying appearance, Jiang Huang's heart was equally unfavorable. Shua, what do you really need to do to come back and forgive them? Until the next day when she saw Jiang Yi again, Lu Cici did not hide the fact that she had seen Jiang Zi yesterday. Looking at this silly ninny's little expression full of guilt, Jiang Yi however just smiled faintly. It's fine, just see it, I don't care anymore. Yes, if he was angry about it, wouldn't it mean that he still cared about those people in the Jung family? But the current Jiang He has long been indifferent to these, just like the last lantern festival, even if Jiang Huang told the truth of that year in front of him, he just stayed on the sidelines as a melon eater. Just what Jiang He doesn't know is that Jiang Mo is now carrying a small bag with a round hat, standing somewhat nervously at the school gate waiting for Jiang He. She was sneaking out of Jiang's house, and had to rush back before Jiang Qin and Lu Ru went home, and in her bag was a gift for Jiang He. In fact, on Jiang He's birthday last time, she prepared it for Jiang He early. But at that time, Jiang He had already left the Jiang family, she didn't know where Jiang He was, and she didn't dare to go and give it to Jiang. But now, she wasn't that afraid anymore. Brother Jiang He is very good to her, and she also likes Brother Jiang He, and even more like when she is with Brother Jiang He. Big deal. The big deal is to be scolded by Jiang Qin. But remembering Jiang Qin's terrible appearance when he launched his anger, Jiang Mo's small hand still couldn't help but grip the strap of her bag tightly. Coincidentally, Jiang Xin and Jiang Bai also at this time, returned to the school's entrance. Of course, the current Jiang Xin naturally didn't notice this nervous little girl at the school entrance. Go apologize to Jiang He later, got it? At this time, Jiang Bai changed her usual craziness, just like a cute and well-behaved little white rabbit, just nodding her head vigorously, and also rubbing herself into Jiang Xian's arms from time to time, as if she was afraid of something. Sister, I promise you everything, don't leave me behind okay? On this journey, Jiang Xian has promised Jiang Bai countless times, but Jiang Bai seems to have absolutely no trace of security, from time to time he has to ask Jiang Xian a sentence, and only after getting Jiang Xian's affirmative answer will he calm down. Looking at Jiang Bai's pleading and pitiful appearance, Jiang Xian couldn't help but sigh. For some reason, Jiang Bai didn't seem quite right this time. Even Jiang Xian took Jiang Bai to the hospital. The doctor said that it might be a dependent personality syndrome that arose from a major blow, counting it as a very common symptom. Just need to pay more attention. Jiang Xian this also put her heart down, as long as it is not a serious illness. It was probably caused by the fact that the matter of the Jiang family being snatched away by someone else in her hands was too great a blow to Jiang Bai, after all, Jiang Bai used to be such a proud and crazy person. Well, I won't leave you behind. At this moment, Jiang Xian seems to have returned to the day when her parents had an accident, Jiang Bai was also so dead holding her. Just then, a yellow-haired punk stared at Jiang Mo at the school entrance. Hey, little sister alone? What's in your hand? The little punk blocked in front of Jiang Mo. This was the first time he had seen such a cute little girl. This also made the punk, who originally just wanted to extort some money, get up to mischief. I, I don't know you, please get out of the way. Jiang Mo clutched the small bag in her arms deathly tightly, fearing that it would be snatched away by this bad guy. Get out of the way? How about this, show brother what's in your bag and brother will get out of the way. Saying that, the little punk scared and laughed as he went to snatch the bag in Jiang Mo's arms. In his opinion, Jiang Mo was dressed so well, she must be a rich lady. And the things in the bag, which could be valued so much by her, were definitely worth a lot. No. No way. Seeing that the punk was about to make a move on her, Jiang Mo's eyes were red with anxiety, and she could only hold the bag in her arms in death, but she was a junior high school student, how could she possibly outrun this punk? Just the next second, a scream rang out. Ah. Pain pain pain. Quickly. Quickly let go. It's going to break. The punk showed his teeth and hissed loudly, like a pig killing scream, even startled the sleeping security master in the guard booth at the entrance. Jiang Bai, call the police. Saying that, Jiang Xian had one hand in a death grip on the punk's arm, and one hand threw her cell phone to Jiang Bai, telling her to call the police. You you you, you wait for me. At death's door, the little punk was still mouthing high, but Jiang Xian was not spoiled at all, and once again increased her strength, and even the sound of joints tearing could be heard. In an instant, the punk was also no longer rampant, and repeatedly begged for forgiveness to Jiang Xian. For this kind of punk, Jiang Xian dealt with, naturally, is easy to use. There is no two or two meat on the body of the thing, all day on the street loitering, now actually dare to commit crimes in front of the school. Soon, the siren of the police car came, after all, this is in front of the school, what accident, who cannot afford. Thanks. Thank you big sister. 
Zhang Yimou still had tears in his eyes at this time, obviously frightened. As for the punks, they had been escorted to the police car before they realized the seriousness of the matter. Intent to rob a minor, come back with us to be investigated. Then there was a pair of bright silver white handcuffs that appeared in front of the punk. I, I didn't. I was just joking with that little girl. I'm not. The punk still wanted to argue, but was directly interrupted by the police. There are surveillance cameras everywhere here, do you think what you say is what you say? Be honest and cooperate with the investigation for leniency. This is a robbery, is a felony, not to mention the object is still a minor, afraid that there is not a three or four years cannot come out. Until the police car left, Zhang Xian squatted down to comfort the frightened little girl in front of her. It's okay, next time don't come out alone, got it? Zhang Yimou also nodded. I'm here to find my brother. When these words came out, Zhang Xian smiled slightly and touched Zhang Mo's little head. It's still some time before school ends, why don't you come with me first, I'm the school nurse of the school. Aha, uh -huh, thanks big sister. As for all this, Zhang Yi naturally didn't know, he also didn't expect Zhang Mo to come to him. Until the end of school, Zhang Yi just wanted to bring Lu Cici to help out at the ramen store, when he realized that Zhang Xian was actually waiting for him at the entrance. Brother Zhang Yi. At this time, Zhang Mo, as soon as he saw Zhang Yi, he also jumped up with two tears in his eyes. Zhang Mo, why are you here? And Zhang Xian was also a bit surprised. She didn't expect that this little girl was actually Zhang Yi's sister. As for Lu Cici, she had seen Zhang Mo during the Lantern Festival, and she also quite liked this kind little girl. After Zhang Xian recounted what just happened to Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi also immediately frowned. You're a little girl, don't you know it's not safe to come out alone? Zhang Yi's voice was so loud that it instantly brought Zhang Mo, whose emotions had just stabilized, directly to tears. Oh who, yes. I'm sorry, said Zhang Mo while crying, from her small bag to take out that late birthday gift. Looking at the very simple kitten pendant in front of her, Zhang Yi also couldn't help but be stunned. Zhang. Zhang Yi brother, this is a birthday gift for you. Zhang Mo's voice was still choked with sobs, but looked at Zhang Yi with some expectation, expecting Zhang Yi to accept it. Do you think, just such a broken toy, I will rare? Zhang Yi condescendingly looked at Zhang Yimou, his voice was with coldness. The moment these words came out, not to mention Zhang Yimou, even Lu Cici and Zhang Xian, they were all surprised and looked at Zhang Yi. How could they not believe that Zhang Yi would say such words? Zhang, brother Zhang Yi, this, this is me personally sewing. Zhang Mo's heart was half cold at this point, and his eyes were losing color. He he, something worthless, just take this to fool me? Saying that, Zhang Yi then directly brought Zhang Yimou to the school entrance, and in the process gave Zhang Yimou a car. Hurry up and roll home. After saying that, Zhang Yi then directly slammed the car door. Uhu, brother Zhang Yi I was wrong. Zhang Yimou sat in the car, crying while trying to explain to Zhang Yi, but Zhang Yi didn't even look at her again. Master drive. Looking at Zhang Yi gradually disappeared in her field of vision, Zhang Mo's tears were like broken pearls, constantly smashing on her hand that was holding the simple kitten charm. Brother Jiang He, obviously. Obviously you are not like this. Jiang Yimou even felt that it was a little difficult to breathe. Her brother Jiang He, was the one who would take her out to play, the one who wouldn't laugh at her love of transparent stones. But now, she seems, lost forever, her brother Jiang He, has been watching the cab leave. Jiang He and still do not forget to send a message to the driver, let him take care of more care of the little girl in the car, be sure to send her safely back to the Jiang family. Brother Jiang He. Lu Cici looked at Zhang He's back and couldn't help but speak out. I'm fine. Zhang He shook his head, indicating that he would let Lu Cici rest assured. The reason he did that was because he was afraid that Zhang Mo would come back to him again. This time it was Zhang Mo's luck that he happened to run into Zhang Xian. But what if Zhang Xian wasn't there? What if there was no one else around again? In that case, Zhang He simply couldn't dare to imagine. Therefore, Zhang Yi would rather Zhang Mo hate him and be afraid of him than Zhang Mo being hurt because of him. I really thanked Dr. Zhang this time. Zhang Yi thanked Zhang Xian, this time it was really thanks to Zhang Xian. And Zhang Xian also waved her hand to indicate that she was fine, but she was more worried about Zhang Yi. Zhang Bai you come out. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Bai, who had been hiding behind a pillar, came to Zhang Yi with some trembling. Zhang Bai? Zhang Yi rubbed his brow. He couldn't say he was much disgusted with Zhang Bai, but he definitely didn't have a good feeling. At this time, Zhang Bai had also lowered his head and stood in front of Zhang He. Yes. I'm sorry brother Zhang He, and sister Lu Cici, it was me who was bad before. Saying that, Bean Sai's teardrops kept sliding down Zhang Bai's cheeks. You are? Brain no problem? 
Zhang Yi looked at Zhang Bai with some skepticism, this was the first time he had ever seen Zhang Bai admit his fault. Alright, alright, it's good that you know you're wrong. Zhang Yi was not a careful person, besides, just now, Zhang Xian also saved Zhang Mo, he naturally wanted to return the favor. Sister CC, I. Lu Cici also nodded, she also knew that Zhang Bai only cared too much about Zhang Xian to do these unthinkable things. Let bygones be bygones. Meanwhile, Zhou Ruoyun was at the ramen store accounting for the recent books. Lu Duor had gotten acquainted with Zhou Ruoyun over time. Plus, Zhou Ruoyun's nature was very much to Lu Duor's liking, and also began to genuinely take Zhou Ruoyun as a friend. Enough. Closing the ledger, Zhou Ruoyun also took a deep breath. She could, finally, redeem the ramen store. Ruoyun, what are you? Lu Duor inadvertently discovered the airplane ticket Zhou Ruoyun had booked, and also rushed over to inquire. Well, I might be leaving soon. Zhou Ruoyun didn't hide anything from Lu Duor and said so. For a moment, Lu Duor also froze in place. 4. Why ah? Isn't business booming now? Wouldn't it be better for you to leave now? But before Lu Duor could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Zhou Ruoyun. Don't worry, the management system of the store is mature now, it won't be a hindrance if I leave. As for the profits, I won't want them anymore either, just leave it all to Zhang Yi. When these words came out, Lu Duor became even more anxious. Why ah? Just want to, go out and have a look. Zhou Ruoyun smiled, then pulled Lu Duor's hand and sat down. Don't worry, maybe, I'll be back soon. But, was it really as Zhou Ruoyun said? If she would really come back, how could she bring her sister with her? But it was good, after all, since she and her sister were born, they had been suffering from misery, and it could be said that her mother's death had long since crushed this young girl, who seemed so strong and incomparable. Tough? That's just armor forged from grief. Now can have this ability to go out to sea, perhaps, is also a good choice. Actually, it's because of Zhang Yi, right? Lu Duor's eyes caused a layer of water mist. At that time, she was also present at the Lantern Fair, so she naturally knew what had happened. Well, Zhou Ruoyun still didn't deny it, only a trace of imperceptible sadness flashed out of the corner of her eyes. See see she's not that petty, Zhang Yi didn't say anything either? Lu Duor was also a little anxious, why did she leave, why did she leave? But Zhou Ruoyun just shook her head. CC is a very good person, but I can't care about her feelings just because she's a good person. Yeah, good people always get hurt because a lot of people don't care about the feelings of good people. Oops, why are you still crying? I'll go and order you a bowl of secret ramen. Zhou Ruoyun also stood up as if she had regained her original essence. But no one knew that in the moment she turned around, the tears had already fallen. From meeting to parting, it is always overwhelming, no one knows in the great road of life, the next second will meet what people, and will say goodbye to what people. The only thing we can do is to cherish. I didn't expect that the mess. Zhang Bai would. Walking on the road to the ramen restaurant, Lu Cici's small hand was held tightly by Zhang Yi. Lu Cici also did not expect that Zhang Bai and Zhang Xian would actually be driven out of the Zhang family, and that Zhang Bai would also turn into that coy appearance just now because of the stimulation. When the two of them arrived at the ramen store, they happened to run into Lu Duor who was about to leave. What made Zhang Yi somewhat surprised was that Lu Duor's eyes were slightly red, as if she had cried. But with Lu Duor's character, who could make her cry? M.S. Lu, you. But before Jiang Yi could finish his words, Lu Duor just glanced at Zhang Yi and turned to leave, she promised Zhou Ruoyun that she wouldn't tell Jiang Yi about her leaving. Ah, uh, seeing Lu Duor ignoring him, Zhang Yi didn't say anything else and turned around and went into the store. Skillfully, he went to the back kitchen to change into his work clothes, and just as he was about to start helping out, he realized that Zhou Ruoyun seemed to be a bit off as well. Miss Zhou? At this time, Zhou Ruoyun's back was turned to Jiang Yi, but her body was trembling slightly. Ah, uh, what's wrong? When Zhou Ruoyun heard that it was Jiang Yi's voice, she also hurriedly washed her face with water and wiped away the tear tracks on her face. Seeing that Zhou Ruoyun was fine, Jiang Yi also let go of his heart. Just always feel we're not right, just now Lu Duoyer is, now Zhou Ruoyun is also. Is it that the two have something to hide from him? But Jiang Yi didn't say anything, since they weren't willing to say, they naturally had their reasons. And Zhou Ruoyun quietly looked at Jiang Yi who was working seriously beside her, for some reason, there was just a kind of unspeakable emotion that melted away in her heart. Even, she gave birth to a kind of imagination, imagine Jiang Yi as her boyfriend, imagine the two of them together for this small store and work hard. She really didn't want to leave. Zhou Ruoyun bit her lips tightly, and in attention, the sharp kitchen knife will be her white tender fingers cut a wound. Bright red blood is also nonstop along the fingertips drip down. Seeing this, Zhang Yi also hastily drew a few pieces of paper and handed them to Zhou Ruoyun. 
What's going on? So careless? Zhou Ruoyan took the toilet paper in Jiang He's hand and didn't answer positively, just silently walked out of the back kitchen. This also completely confused Jiang He, is this Zhou Ruoyan sick? Jiang He also completely did not expect that the culprit was himself. CC, I want to talk to you, okay? Don't bring Jiang He along. Zhou Ruoyan directly pulled Lu Cici out of the store, while Lu Cici was likewise looking at Zhou Ruoyan with some confusion. What's wrong Ruoyun? I'm sorry CC, before it was always me who was running away, now I won't. Zhou Ruoyan smiled and said to Lu Cici, she couldn't avoid it anymore. That's right, I do like Jiang He. When these words came out, Lu Cici was also stunned, she didn't know why Zhou Ruoyan told her this. CC don't misunderstand, I don't mean to steal Jiang He from you. Zhou Ruoyan also waved her hand back and forth, she didn't want Lu Cici to think she was demonstrating. Well, I know. Lu Cici also shook her head, she knew that Zhou Ruoyan wouldn't do that, if Zhou Ruoyan wanted to do that, she wouldn't have been avoiding Jiang He since the day of the Lantern Festival. CC, I'm sorry. Zhou Ruoyan wanted to try to stay calm, but emotions are not something that can be controlled just by saying it. I'm really sorry. Zhou Ruoyan covered her eyes with both hands, desperately trying to stop the tears from pouring out but her voice was choked with sobs. At this time, people were coming and going on the street, and the two of them were standing so quietly in the crowd, it was so conspicuous. And at this time, Jiang He, naturally, was unaware of everything that happened outside the door. When the two returned to the store, Jiang He had also taken off his work clothes and was ready to take Lu Cici back. And Zhou Ruoyan also went straight into the back kitchen without saying another word to Jiang He. Walking on the way home, Lu Cici also suddenly came in front of Jiang He. What's wrong? Jiang He asked with a smile. Brother Jiang He, to be able to meet you so early, Cici is really lucky. Lu Cici went forward and hugged Jiang He. She was glad that she was the first one to bravely confess to Jiang He, she was really glad and blessed. Whether it was Lin Ruoli or Zhou Ruoyun, they were both very, very good girls. If Lin Ruoli could be braver, or if Zhou Ruoyun had met Jiang He before her, perhaps, the person standing beside Jiang He right now wouldn't be her. Is that so? It's equally my luck to have met you. Although Jiang He didn't know why Lu Cici would say these words, he was indeed lucky to have met Lu Cici. It was Lu Cici who made him rediscover the ability to love and be loved. Borrowing the streetlights and the neon lights of the street stores, Jiang He aimed at Lu Cici's cherry lips and lowered his head. This time, he would not back down. This three-day vacation, where are you guys going to play? Yeah yeah yeah, it's the last three days of rest, make sure to relax and unwind. Ugh, I'm going to sleep at home for three days and three nights anyway. Every day get up earlier than the chicken, sleep later than the dog, and then do not take a good rest rest, I'm afraid that from the sudden death is not far away. Approaching the college entrance examination, the last month of each school will give senior students three days of vacation to relax. At the same time, will also be the last day, the organization of class teachers to go to the students' home home visits. Second middle school was naturally no exception. Classmates, be safe on your way home, you can go now. As the homeroom teacher left, the classroom also erupted into violent cheers, after all, it had all been suppressed for too long for too long. Zhang He, are you interested in working out with me? With that, Zhang Yan looked at Zhang He with anticipation. No, I still have to go home to revise. Zhang He also directly refused, he could study until 3 a.m. every night now, and his grades could be stabilized in the top 10 in the whole school. It was indeed possible to go further, but if it was about reaching the top, it was still very difficult. After all, when it comes to the top 10 position, they are all highly talented and very hardworking beings. Brother Jiang He, can we go out together tomorrow? Lu Cici just finished packing her school bag, then walked to Jiang He to invite Jiang He. She wanted to take this opportunity to date Jiang He again, after all, the last time she was disturbed by that social youth, she didn't want to leave regrets. Okay, it just so happens that I'm also tired. When these words came out, Jiang Yan was also stunned, but quickly reacted again. You you you. Didn't you say you want to review? Why did you say yes when people invited you by Lu Cici, and you said yes when I invited you? But before Zhang Yan could finish his words, he was directly interrupted by Jiang He. Next time for sure. After saying that, Jiang He then directly pulled up Lu Cici's hand and ran out of the classroom, only leaving behind the impotent and furious Zhang Yan. Damn it! Zhang Yan admitted that he was sour, after all, a good girl like Lu Cici is really an existence that can be met but not sought. But he was also happy for Jiang He, he could obviously feel that Jiang He had changed and become more cheerful, which was a good thing. At the same time, Jiang Family Villa. Jiang Qin was chatting with several business partners at this time. Recently, the college entrance exam is coming up soon, that kid of yours is probably going to give you a long face again. 
When these words came out, the other two also nodded. After all, before, whether it was Zhang Huang or Zhang Zi Zhang Zhang, the results of the college entrance exams were the best in their families, both earning face for Zhang Qin. Ah, it's all because of that kid's efforts, I also think highly of him. Zhang Li recently in order to curry favor with Zhang Qin Lu Ru, is also no longer cover up, directly by cheating on the top 10 of the grade, and even by the class teacher called Zhang Qin, specially praised Zhang Li progress is very big, concluded that Zhang Li has been able to book Qingbei. To know, Zhang Huang several people although the results of the top, but from the Qingbei, there is still a lot of distance. Now that Zhang Li has given Zhang Qin such great expectations, how could Zhang Qin not be happy? Just in time, Zhang Li also returned home at this time. Little Li quickly come over, these are your uncles and uncles. Zhang Li also greeted this person respectfully. Good good good, what a talented person. When the next time old Qin organizes a promotion banquet, the uncles will give you a big red packet. Once Zhang Li heard this, he also thanked him repeatedly. Until a few people left, Zhang Qin began to ask about Zhang Li's recent achievements. At this time, Lu Ru had also come downstairs, and she was likewise a little worried about Zhang Li's recent state, fearing that Zhang Li was under too much pressure to study. I'll keep it up, mom and dad, just rest assured. Zhang Li was very confident. As for why he was so confident, it was because cheating was just too easy in his eyes. Anyway, as long as he had the money, wouldn't it be fine to bribe a few teachers at that time? These years, he was too smooth, so smooth that he thought the college entrance exams were nothing more than that, so smooth that he thought that the college entrance exams were the same as the school exams. By the way, I heard about brother Zhang He's recent grades. Of course, at this time, Zhang Li wouldn't forget to step on Zhang He. What's the point of mentioning him? Didn't he say he's in the top 200 in High City? Let's see how he ends up at that time. Zhang Qin was also furious when he heard about Zhang He. He never believed Zhang He's words, he was still waiting for Zhang He to fail the college entrance exam and beg him to return to the Zhang family. But Zhang He is really not in the top 200 of high city now, but in the top 100 of existence. Of course, is certainly not compared to Zhang Li this top 10 genius. But when Lu Ru heard it, she was not calm. Old Qin, how about? How about I go find a private tutor for Xiao He? But before Lu Ru's words fell, he was rebuked by Zhang Qin with a chortle. Find what private tutor? Isn't he capable? Can't pass the exam he naturally rolled back. Just Lu Ru but did not put Zhang Qin's words to listen in, still intends to go to find Zhang He to talk properly, at least cannot let Zhang He so degenerate. Anymore. But in fact, in the end, she still trusts Zhang Li's words more. Early the next morning, Zhang He packed and prepared things, ready to go out to find Lu Cici. But Zhang He just opened the door of the orphanage, is Lu Ru's face. With a bang, Zhang He directly slammed the door shut. Looks like I got up violently, go back and sleep some more. Zhang He thought he was hallucinating and was ready to go back and lie down some more. But the voice of Lu Ru behind him, still let Zhang He recognize the reality, just now he saw, is indeed Lu Ru. His grandmother, originally a day of good mood, thinking of a good date with Lu Cici, to make up for the last regret, who knows the door opened storm. Xiao Yi don't go, mom wants to talk to you. Lu Ru took a look at Zhang He directly shut the door, also anxious to go up and keep knocking on the door, afraid that Zhang He ignored her. There was no way, Zhang He couldn't stand Lu Cici up, after all, she reopened the door. 5 minutes. Shall he give mom 5 minutes okay? Lu Ru also knew that Zhang He didn't want to hear her voice at all, but she only needed 5 minutes. After all, the college entrance exam really wasn't a small matter. Up to this point, Zhang He didn't reply, he wanted to see what this Lu Ru could say. Xiao He, the college entrance exam is coming soon, mom doesn't have any other meaning, she just wants to find you a private tutor to tutor you, at the very least she can. But before Lu Ru could finish her sentence, she was directly interrupted by Zhang He. It's that little brute Jiang Li who said it again, right? Don't even have to think about it, besides Zhang Li that little brute who else could be so boring? The two people who had laid hands on him before hadn't given up the black hand behind the scene yet, so it's better that it wasn't that little brute who did it, or else he wouldn't show any mercy. Zhang Li He. Lu Ru just want to subconsciously say that classic quote, suddenly thought of what, also did not say down. Zhang Li He is also for your good, right? If you want to say it, just say it, it's not the first time. Zhang He also scat a laugh. Okay, okay, whether I can pass the exam or not has nothing to do with you, you still worry about your good son Zhang Li. Zhang He had seen Zhang Li's existence on the general list last time. Not only was he in the top 10 of Hai Gaoshao, but he was also in the top 10 of the whole high city, and he didn't know how Zhang Li managed to do it. Hopefully, when it came to the examination room of the college entrance exam, this little beast would still be able to laugh. 
Little Wa, you are, in fact, still complaining about mom right? Lu Ru looked at Zhang He's departing back and said softly, but mom also has bitter feelings, mom also hopes that you all can stay by her side. She just hoped that both Zhang Li and Zhang He could be by her side, she just hoped that Zhang Li and Zhang He could get along well, could it be that this was also wrong? When these words came out, Zhang He also stumbled and nearly fell. Nerve. After saying this, Zhang He stopped paying attention and directly left. Zhang He's heart at this time only has two words, speechless. Could it be that he didn't want to get along with Zhang Li? Which time is not he let Zhang Li? And which time have they ever been towards him? Now tell Zhang He that she Lu Ru wants both of them by her side? Is his brain bad, or is Lu Ru's brain bad? Meanwhile, inside the detention center, Li's father and mother are being interrogated, of course, the two are separated. But in the face of the police interrogation, Li's father just like a dead pig is not afraid of boiling water hot appearance. The most important thing is to go in and squat for a few days, Zhang Li's five million dollars, he is absolutely impossible to let go. You have to think clearly, once convicted, it's five years to start. The old policeman who interrogated Li's father, calmly sipped a mouthful of tea, he also knew that, against this kind of old man, cannot use the previous set. Once these words came out, Li's father was also immediately unable to sit still. Comrade policeman, don't think I'm so blind. I didn't cause any substantial harm, how can I be sentenced to five years? At most, education plus detention for a few days. With a bang, before Li's father could finish his sentence, the old policeman directly stood up and slapped his hand on the table. Attempted kidnapping, how many years do you think the sentence will be? Instantly, Li's father was directly stunned, how could he not expect it to be so serious? Finally, I'll give you some time to think about it, whether to tell the truth, or to fight it yourself, you decide it yourself. After saying that, the old policeman will directly walk out of the interrogation room, he is to let Li father anxious, only anxious, will mess up himself. As for father Li, he seemed to be in deep thought. At the same time, Zhang Huang and Zhang Jiang are sending off Zhang Zi at the airport. Xiao Zi, aren't you going to say goodbye to mom and dad? Zhang Huang looked at Zhang Zi in front of her, she understood that even if she didn't want to let go, even if she stayed, Zhang Zi was determined to go. No need, they never recognized me anyway. Zhang Zi smiled faintly, as if she had long looked away. When these words came out, Zhang Huang and Zhang Jiang both fell into silence. Zhang Zi was right, in Zhang Qin's eyes, as long as something doesn't help the Zhang family, it's all a non-starter. I'll go and give Xiao He a call. Zhang Huang was also a bit anxious, at this time, perhaps only Zhang He could make Zhang Zi come around. Don't. Zhang Zi was just about to stop it when Zhang Huang had already called. And naturally, Zhang Huang used an unfamiliar number, the previous one was naturally blacked out by Zhang He. Xiao He He won't come. Zhang Zi shook her head, she now truly understood Zhang He's determination to completely sever ties with the Zhang family. How do you know without trying, you? You are his own sister after all. Zhang Huang actually has no bottom in her heart, but she knows that if she fails to keep Zhang Zi this time, I'm afraid she won't come back. At this time, Zhang He, who had just arrived at the door of Lu Cici's neighborhood, ran into Chu Xian, Lu Cici's good girlfriend. Alas! Zhang He student? What a coincidence! You're here to find Sissy, right? Chu Xian learned that Lu Cici was on vacation and also came over directly without saying hello, thinking to go out shopping with Lu Cici. But if she knew that Lu Cici and Zhang He had agreed to go on a date together today, she definitely wouldn't have come to disturb these two, after all, no one wants to be stuffed with a mouthful of dog food. Ah, uh, actually today. Zhang He was just about to say that he was going on a date with Lu Cici today when he was interrupted by the ringing of his cell phone call. Xiao He. This is Zhang Huang. Zhang Zi she's about to leave the country, can you come over here, even if it's good to see her, big sis is begging you. When these words came out, Zhang He was also stunned. Zhang Zi is going abroad? What's it to do with him? At this moment, the three sisters on the other end of the phone were all anxiously waiting for Zhang He's reply, the most nervous one was not Zhang Zi, instead, it was Zhang Huang. But Zhang Zi also still couldn't help but raise a glimmer of hope. What if Zhang He was willing to come over? What if Zhang He forgave her? Even if. Even if he is willing to come over to see her off. But after a long period of silence, Zhang Yi's voice on the phone came, finally breaking several people's fantasies. Sorry, I have something to do today. Once these words came out, Zhang Huang also felt a wave of weakness in his body, almost about to collapse on the ground. You give the phone to Zhang Zi. Zhang Yi's voice came again, instantly causing the fire of hope to rise again within Zhang Huang's heart. Zhang Zi, on the other hand, trembled as she took the phone in Zhang Huang's hand. Hello? Little Wa. This was the first time the two had conversed during this period of time, 
and at the same time, it could be the last time. Last time you looked for CC, CC has already told me, of course, I have no intention to ask for guilt, it's your freedom. But what I'm trying to say is that the two of us have been strangers for a long time now, and I won't feel guilty if you leave the country for me or whatever. So, whether you go abroad or not, I don't care and won't interfere, just think for yourself. Zhang Yi's words reached the ears of everyone present. To be honest, Zhang Zi hadn't expected Zhang Yi to be able to say so many words to her. She had originally thought that Zhang Yi would scold her twice or tell her to hurry up and get lost. But no, Zhang Yi really stood as a stranger through and through. Well, I know, goodbye little wa. Okay, I'll hang up then, have a safe trip. As the phone hangs up, these two words, it seems that it also draws a period for the intertwined destinies of the two people. Zhang Huan, on the other hand, had long been sobbing uncontrollably. Xiao Zi, don't go, okay? Just in case. What if Shuo what he said was angry? What if he's just? But before Zhang Huan could finish his words, Zhang Zi smiled and shook her head. Big sister, I understand everything, I'll take care of myself, besides, if you guys miss me or I miss you, can't you still video call? Communication is so convenient now. Xiao Zi. Zhang Huang bit his lips to death, even if blood seeped out, he couldn't feel the pain. It's the heartache that is the most unbearable existence. Alright, alright, big sister, third sister, take care of yourself. Zhang Zi went up and hugged the two of them separately, then turned around to board the airplane. Through the window of the airplane, Zhang Zi saw the turquoise blue sky, it was so peaceful, so peaceful. Goodbye. All is not goodbye, but when I look back, there is no one left. Zhang Huang sat on the bench at the airport facing Jiang Zi's departure, for the first time, she looked so helpless, so confused. She has been the pride of heaven since she was a child, with excellent grades and a good family background, and even in college, she was sought after by countless people as a goddess. But she did not care about love affairs, graduated from the university to focus on the cause of the Jiang family. Similarly, Jiang Huang is still living up to the expectations, hard to pull the Jiang family up several notches, and even already have signs of asking for the throne of the sea city. She didn't deny that when Jiang He first appeared in the Jiang family, she was disgusted. Jiang He was too cautious and always had a pleasing demeanor when he saw her. Therefore, in her eyes, she didn't see Jiang He as a family member, but rather the same as those outside, who were trying to climb up the Jiang family's ladder of prosperity. This is also why, in Jiang He was wrongly accused of stealing her necklace, she did not even investigate, to determine is Jiang He stole, even if Jiang He how to explain is useless. After all, the whole Jiang family, in addition to him, who else would it be? But now that I think about it, at that time she, and Jiang Qin Lu Ru what is the difference, are bias, and prejudice blinded eyes. When Jiang He resisted for the first time, she was shocked. She didn't understand why Jiang He seemed to have changed overnight. Jiang He would loudly expose the injustice he had suffered, no longer as cowardly as before, and never again would he curry favor with them, including her. When she thought, this is just Jiang He in order to attract their attention of the small trick, Jiang Yi is not hesitate to take out the severance agreement. But at that time, she was still naive to think that Jiang Yi was playing a trick to catch them, one at a time, then hurt Jiang Yi. Until the truth of that year surfaced, Jiang Yi was wrongly accused by Jiang Li, she only realized how wrong she was. Third sister, I'm wrong, I'm really wrong. Even though Jiang Huang clenched his teeth, tears were still flowing. Jiang Jiang Jiang, who was sitting beside Jiang Huang, looked at Jiang Huang's sobbing appearance and did not say anything, nor did she know what to comfort. You said Xiao Yi, back then, he was obviously wrongly accused, just because of one sentence, he really knelt in the rain for the whole night, why ah, uh, but did Jiang Huang really not know why? Maybe Jiang Huang, back then, really didn't know and just thought that was the punishment that Jiang Yi deserved. But now it seems that Jiang Yi merely, cares too much about them, even if he is wrongly accused, he doesn't want to be disgusted by them. However, this is only Jiang Yi's wishful thinking after all. When Jiang Yi, the same as also a person in the bureau, cannot see. In the previous life, Jiang Yi was burned to death, only to understand, do not love a person, even if that person is trying hard, but also not be cared. Therefore, how much Jiang Yi cared about Jiang family in the last life, how much he loathed them in this life. However, the current Jiang Yi has also reconciled with himself, choosing to ignore the Jiang family and live a life that belongs to himself, and in a new life, he will cherish those who love him, and even more so, he will live for himself. Eldest sister, if the plan still fails next time, I have to leave too. Zhang Zhang's slender leg swayed around, and the corner of his mouth lifted up a smile, looking somewhat relaxed. With these words, Zhang Huang could no longer remain calm. 4. Why? Just. Even if we fail once, isn't there a next chance? We can take our time. Big sister, stop lying to yourself. 
Zhang 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 looked at Zhang Huang and gently leaned her head on Zhang Huang's shoulder. In fact, didn't you and I already know the outcome? At this moment, the two fell into a long silence. I remember, when I was a kid, my parents didn't let me study music, so I ran out alone. At that time, I also leaned on your shoulder like this. As she said that, a few drops of warmth fell on the back of Zhang Huang's hand, and Zhang Zhang's voice became equally choked. You comforted me by saying, said people must have dreams, let me must persevere. Now, I've found my dream. She will keep on creating, keep on traveling, she will see the mountains and rivers, and put the dots, the true feelings of the people, into her songs. She wants more people to be able to realize that love is not infinitely prolonged, and needs to be watered with cherishing. Listening to Zhang Zhang's words, Zhang Huang was also in deep thought. Go on, sister will always support you. At this moment, the two of them seemed to have returned to that summer, the time when Zhang Zhang gambled and left home. Xiao Hua, can sister still, have the chance to redeem herself? Zhang Huang prayed inwardly, she didn't know if she could hold on. Maybe one day, she will also choose to leave. At this moment, Zhang He put his cell phone back into his pocket again. What he should say, he had already finished, as for what Zhang Zi thought or did, it had nothing to do with him. And at this time, Lu Cixi had also straightened her clothes and even put on a small light makeup, appearing in front of Zhang He. Xin Xin, why are you here? Lu Cixi was also a bit surprised. She didn't expect Chu Xin to come to her today. Wow. Cici you're so pretty today. Chu Xin came in front of Lu Cixi, poking and prodding here and there. This was the first time she had seen Lu Cixi wearing makeup. Today's Lu Cixi did not choose a skirt, but a clean ponytail, coupled with a pure white shirt as well as jeans, the whole person, although slightly gentle, but without losing the youthfulness. Oof, it's true that having a little boyfriend is different. Chu Xin also waved her hand, she understood it all. Wait, am I not supposed to show up here? Chu Xian only now realized that she seemed to be a light bulb now. Why don't you just come with us? Zhang Yi had planned to be polite, after all, it was Lu Cixi's bosom friend, he couldn't directly drive people away, could he? But Chu Xian didn't think that way. Really? CC you won't mind? It's fine. Lu Cixi also shook her head, Chu Xian had come, and was too embarrassed to let her go back like this. Besides, this matter was ultimately her fault for not talking to Chu Xian in advance. The matter has come to this, Zhang Yi naturally also has nothing to say, bring it on. That is, don't know why, in front of Chu Xian, both of them seem to be a little shy. In the end, Zhang Yi took the initiative and went forward to directly hold Lu Cixi's small hand. This scene, also let Chu Xian violently sour, she seems to realize, next, she will face endless, emitting love sour smell of dog food. At this time, she already somewhat regretted coming out with these two people. Do you want to eat ice cream? Xu Xian looked at the two behind her with some anticipation, Zhang Yi naturally had no objections, but considering Lu Cixi's body, she still said to Xu Xian, Cixi and I will just eat one. Xu Xian also gave an okay gesture and asked the clerk for two large cones. Zhang Yi also paid the money one step ahead of time, although he still owed two million dollars, he still had some money in his hand, and he believed that he would be able to return that two million dollars to Lu Duor soon. Lu Cixi gently bit the tip of a piece of cone, for her. A lot of stimulating food can't be touched, and too cold won't work either. But it was still no problem to taste it slightly. It's very sweet, brother Zhang He also tasted. Saying that, Lu Cixi personally handed the cone to Zhang He's mouth. At this moment, Chu Xian directly turned her head away. Didn't have eyes to see, really didn't have eyes to see. His grandma, if I had known earlier, I wouldn't have followed me here. Damn it. Cixi, let's go take a picture. Zhang He suddenly thought of something, pulled Lu Cixi and left. Chu Xian also hurriedly followed. In fact, this matter, Zhang Yi has always wanted to do it, but suffered from the lack of time, now it is just to take advantage of this vacation, to go to the consultation, or to prepare for the future. When the three of them came to the camera hall, there were also quite a few people lined up in front of the door. There were not only young couples, but also couples who came to take wedding photos. You guys wait a bit first, I have something to do. After saying that, Zhang Yi left first, leaving Chu Xian and Lu Cixi behind. What's wrong? Chu Xian also looked at Lu Cixi with some doubt, did something happen? But Lu Cixi similarly shook her head, she didn't know either, but she believed that Zhang Yi must have something important. Indeed, Zhang Yi did have something important, and something he had always wanted to do. By the side of the camera pavilion was the largest bridal store in High City. Through the glass, one could see all kinds of marvelous wedding dresses in the store. Zhang Yi also stood in front of the door froze for a while, or chose to step in. He knew that one day, Lu Cixi will leave him. He didn't want to cheat himself, 
nor did he want to let Lu Cici leave any regrets because of his evasion. He wanted, his beloved girl, to wear a wedding dress for him once. So, he is going to start preparing from now on. He wants to organize a perfect wedding for Lu Cici. Soon, Jiang he walked out from the bridal store, and he was just getting a general idea, to facilitate the advancement of his subsequent plans. But there is still a trouble thing, is how to let Lu Cici in the case of unknowing, let her pick their favorite wedding dress, this is more headache. But no matter what, Jiang he would work towards the most perfect direction. With the passage of time, a few people are also the end of a day of dating, although there is a big light bulb child. Dusk and sunset, the long asphalt road is also dyed golden. The sycamore leaves are still verdant, the summer breeze rustles, and the cicadas chirp incessantly. Lu Cici was holding the photo she had just taken in her arms, her footsteps were light and fast, her mouth seemed to be humming an unknown song. Brother Jiang He, these CC will treasure them for the rest of her life. She was truly happy and joyful today. A lifetime might be fast for her, but with these photos of her with Jiang He, how could it not be an eternity? Aha, uh -huh, I will too. Jiang He naturally responded with a smile, while extending his own hand to the girl in front of him. Looking at the two people in front of her, holding hands one after the other, the corners of Chu Xian's mouth also kept twitching. At this moment, she seemed to have eaten a whole lemon raw. How can one say the word sour? Can't stand it anymore. She also wanted to be in a sweet relationship right now, the sweet kind. The three days of vacation soon slipped away from her fingers, and as the last day was approaching, the homeroom teacher started her home visit. Jiang Yi's homeroom teacher, a middle-aged female teacher, surnamed Lin, treats her students very attentively, and has a general understanding of Jiang Yi's situation. In fact, she originally did not intend to go to Jiang Yi to do home visits, after all, Jiang Yi's situation is special. But after thinking about it, she still thought of making a trip, there are some things that she is not opposed to, but she still needs to educate appropriately. So, she also left Lu Cici and Jiang Yi's home visit until the end. When teacher Lin arrived in front of Jiang Yi's orphanage, Jiang Yi was in his room frantically brushing up on his problems, he needed to put in more effort in order to secure his position in the top 10 of his grade. Is student Jiang Yi here? As teacher Lin knocked on the door, Lin Ruoli, who was accompanying the group of little carrot heads to play in the courtyard, went forward to open the door. At the same time, the dean's mother-in-law also slowly came forward, it was natural to make contact in advance before the class teacher's home visit. Your little was homeroom teacher, right, please come in. The dean's mother-in-law was also very enthusiastic in inviting teacher Lin in, Lin Ruri also hurriedly went to pour water and make tea. As for those little carrot heads, they also all turned into birds and beasts and dispersed, one by one hiding behind pillars or peeking at the corners. Teacher Lin didn't care too much, she had brought many orphans, all of them were educated equally, and wouldn't look down on them because of anything, this is a teacher's responsibility. Jiang He, naturally, also heard the commotion and hurriedly put down the pen in her hand and went out to check. Good day, Mr. Lin. Uh, good day, student Jiang He. With that, teacher Lin flipped his notebook open. During this period of time, student Jiang He has made a lot of progress, teacher hopes that student Jiang He can continue to keep it up, and impacting Qingbei is not impossible. As soon as these words came out, Lin Ruoli, who was pouring tea for a few people, also shook her small hand and nearly spilled water. In fact, she was selfish. Once Jiang He got into Qingbei, that meant that Jiang He was going to go to school in the capital city, and at that time, he might never return to the orphanage again. Even if she could get into Qingbei with her grades, it would be three years later. Three years later, Jiang He was already preparing for graduation and internship, wanting to be together was unlikely and could even be said to be perfectly staggered. But no matter what, she still hoped that Jiang He would be able to exert his full strength, even if Jiang He would leave. There's one more thing, it's you and Lu Cici. Teacher Lin also no longer hid, her main purpose this time, was this matter, after all, Jiang He's efforts, she also saw it in her eyes, there was no need for her to worry at all. 